2023 has been a weird one. I know you guys want to see the zombies, so I'm going to make this quick. Thank you so much for the support on the channel over this year. I wanted to make this video as more of a send-off to one of the better series on my channel, and the one that you guys seem to enjoy as well. Since I released all the Easter egg videos all out of order, I've put them in order, and I've also added some little snippets to stuff I've done wrong in the Easter egg and me commenting on some of the stuff I do in the videos. So I promise you there's more to this than just five re-uploads. And if you guys do enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it, and if you want to see more content like this going into the new year, make sure to subscribe. Let's try and hit 15k before the end of the year, and that is literally tomorrow, by the way. Ambitious, I know, but it could happen. With all that said, enjoy this video. Just for the record, anytime you see this little profile picture cube spinning, that means it's future me talking and not the me in the video. Now, the BO1 video was definitely one of my weirdest ones to record. I had pretty much no prior experience with the Easter eggs on this, let alone the solo mod that I used, but I'm pretty sure we ended up getting them all done in this video. All in all, I'd give Black Ops 1 a rating probably around B tier. The Easter egg is that we need Gersh devices first. We also need a pack thunder gun. We need to get the pack a punch open and we also need to do a shit with buttons. Oh my god, that zombie went flying. But yeah, we're doing BO1 in this video because you guys seem to really enjoy when I do every single easter egg in a Black Ops game. So we're going back to the roots and we're doing BO1. I'm going to stay in the spawn room here for a little bit and just rack up some points, you know, as you do. Really hate how it's black and white until you turn the power on though. Like, I don't know why people enjoy this. Right, okay, that should be enough points to, you know, get get us where we need to be. Let's, uh, let's get this first door cracked open here. Like I said, I know basically nothing about Ascension. I could be going like the worst route possible, but you know, it's all that learning curve. It's all about learning stuff. Right, it's a 1250 door here. I know this area leads up to Jug, or at least I think it does. Oh no, Jug's more, that, I think Jug's more downstairs, isn't it? Yeah, it is, whatever. We need a thousand points anyway, and I think the box is up here, because this is where the power switch is, so. Using grenades here, because we've already run out of ammo. Oh my god, bro. Double points, that would have been nice, you know, before I started killing them all. Right, okay, let's go get the power on, and in theory, the box should be up here too, so we can start spinning that, and hopefully we get a decent weapon. All right, power. Oh my god, I'm blind. Right, the HS-10, it'll do. Would have preferred, like, a point weapon, though, I won't lie. Honestly, this Easter egg can go by really fast or really slow. It really just depends on our box RNG, and that's a common thing with these maps. Especially in BO1, anyway, because they all really rely on the Wonder Weapon, and back then, there wasn't really a way to get a Wonder Weapon for free. Okay, let's try it and, like, maximize our points here a little bit, because I do want to keep hitting the box just until we get, like, a decent point gun. Right, let's go back up and hit the box again. If we get Gersh devices here, this could be huge. Ah, sh Okay, monkey round. I forgot this was a thing. Uh, the HK21, sure, I guess. We just need to run to quick revive now and kind of defend it. <coughs> I also apologize if I sound like I'm, like, nasally. It's because, you know, I am. Ow, monkey. Oh, bro, they're taking my quick revive. No. Right, okay, let's just take the Lun Lunar Lander over there. We can do that, right? Yeah, we can. They've probably took my quick revive here, I can't lie. Yep, they took my f***ing quick revive because it's the slowest thing known to f***ing human existence. Ow, you hurt like a Let's grab another quick revive here. Right, okay, that max ammo helps out a little bit, I guess, since we can use our M1911 as a point weapon. But right now, we need to be getting all these Lunar Landers on, and I think there's one round there, because there's a symbol there. I have clocked, actually, that there's an MP5 on the wall here, so we'll use that a little bit and just kind of shoot them in the legs and stuff. We really just need to get as many points as possible for the box, and also to open up all the map for, like, the Lunar Landers, getting pack a bunch open, all that good stuff. Right, we have enough for Jug, let's grab that, and then that's out the way. I kind of forgot that you had to open that door to get the Jug, so unfortunately, we don't have enough now, but, you know. Door's open now, I guess? Didn't realize how expensive this map actually was. Okay, let's grab another clip here for the MP5. And then we'll just keep saving our points, I guess. Okay, we do actually have a decent amount of points saved up now, so let's go grab Jug, get that sword. We'll have another couple of hits on the box. Right, there's that. The f***ing crossbow, bro, come on. Let's, get, let's give it another spin here. Please give me the thunder gun or something, man. Galil? Okay, I'll take that, honestly. We do need Gersh's, though. I actually don't know how some people hide around in this spot. This is actually insane. F Teddy bear, bro. I don't know any of the box locations on this map. Come on. I suppose actually we could do the other lunar lander here, so let's call this down. Oh, I've got the sickles on this map. Monkey round again, bro. Come on. Now I've got to defend my juggernaut, bro. Okay, they didn't take any that time. That's good. Now I can get back to my lunar lander business. All right, here we go. It's nice that they're only 250 points. Like, if that if this was in like BO3, it would be like 1500, bro. But right, we've pretty much. Got to do this final Lunar Lander, which I do know where it is. It's like the opposite side of the spawn room. And then once we've done that, we need to just spin the box of Gershans. Right, let's go sort out this other Lunar Lander then, shall we? F***ing hell, it's round 11 already. Right, let's turn this on here. I'm going to try to get as many points as I can from this round, and then I'm just going to keep a last zombie. Honestly, right, I like Ascension. It just gets really dull sometimes. Like, the colour scheme makes me feel like I'm playing a f***ing 
black and white like 1920s picture film the easter egg i'm not gonna lie it was the first one so you gotta commend it for that but it is really boring but you know we're doing it for the content it's great it's great right off we go then this should be the last lunar lander hopefully and yes it is cool all right we got 5k points let's just go spam the box a little bit okay there's the box there we go i've been looking all over for this thing right give me the ghost devices come on come on crossbow again i'm not feeling that don't do me like that box come on ballistic night bro you're doing me dirty here box i'm not liking this but troishka dolls that would be useful towards the end i think china lake come on box please one more hit the famas okay i'll take it but i do want the gersh devices come the fuck on matryoshka's are nice though i like the monkey bombs i think we're just gonna stay here and farm points for the box here because that's literally all we have to do it's really annoying that it all comes down to rng honestly this famas is a great point weapon i thought it would be tearing through them still but clearly not oh my god double points holy you know, going back and playing these older games makes me realize how, like, reliant I've actually became on, like, Gobblegums. Because if I was doing this on BO3, we'd have the Gersh devices in literally, like, no time, bro. The RPK is an amazing weapon. I'm gonna trade the HK out because the RPK is just better. Don't need two LMGs. Law, bro. Like, at least give me a weapon I can run around with at least a little bit, like, quick. And it's moved. Okay. Okay, we got two more hits on the box here. Come on, please. Yes! Oh, my God. Thank God. All right, one more hit for the Thunder Gun. Thunder Gun? Thunder Gun? Yes? No? Maybe so? What's that? The HS-10 right now. Right, now we can start the Easter Egg, though. So, in theory, uh, I'm going to kill these zombies, actually, just so they don't piss me off. I'm going to chuck this Gersh device over there, and it should suck that thing in. Yeah, there we go. It's doing it. There we go. Right, second step of the Easter Egg, I'm pretty sure, is to go press F or E on that little computer thing. And I think it's towards the junkyard, so we need to actually head over this way. Elias Baney, thank you for subscribing. <laughs> I keep forgetting to turn them Streamlabs notifications off. If you guys want me to, if it gets annoying, just let me know. I kind of like them, though. It's kind of funny when I'm recording. Right, I'm pretty sure the computer's underneath stairs or something, like, in here. Yeah, it's there. Okay. Okay, I'm going to kill some zombies first before I go anywhere near that. Let's chuck one of these ghost devices, shall we? Let's make good use of them. Holy sh**. They're still spawning, right? This would be a good opportunity for us to get some extra points for the box because we still do need a thunder gun. We need it for the last step when we shoot the purple orb. Right, okay, let's go press F on this here. And there we go. I am, for this next step, going to grab stamina up, though, because we need to go about and hit four buttons within a minute 30. So let us grab an AK-74U just for, like, better mobility. And hopefully next round, it should be monkeys at all the round after. I'm not too sure. Right, if it's monkey round, we need to wait over here and press the button. Then we need to zoom off to the next closest one. Oh, it's monkey round right here we go one run 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 we need to get our asses over to widow's wine pronto not widow's wine sorry phd i'm in like bo3 mindset they're gonna start taking my perks as well that's not good okay there's the second one okay now the third one is speed caller but they're taking quick revive okay i'm gonna quickly run down and protect juggernog as well and we're gonna go get them off quick revive they are really hurting fucking hell there's a one there get off my qr you bastard they're gonna steal my stamina. They took my quick revive, bro. Come on. Right, we need to go quickly hit speed caller, and then the step should be done. There we go. Right, we did lose like all of our perks, but the step's done. That's all that matters. They're gonna take Jug now. We need to hurry back. I hate monkey rounds, man. Bro, where's this last monkey? I hear him. Oh, he got killed by the thing. There we go. The max ammo's over there. Right, we actually need to grab our third quick revive. Actually, such a pity. Right, there we go. Quickly grab our max ammo here. That was way too close. Right, now we need to go launch the rocket and get pack a punch unlocked. But first, I want to kill a few zombies because we've got to spend two minutes on that platform and round 15 with no packed guns does not sound like a bit of me. So I think we're just going to train and try and build points here. That's another max ammo. Let's use some Gersh devices here. That double points is going to make everything way easier. Right, let's quickly launch the rocket here. Just spin the box dead quick. Throw Gersh down. HK21, bro, come on. Give me a wonder weapon. Come on. You've gave me literally everything but the thunder gun now. Oh, come on. I've run out of Gersh. Right, I've launched the rocket now. We can go do that two-minute step, but we still need the thunder gun. We need it for the little orb step. Since we're doing it solo, we do need, like, the most power we have, and thunder gun's infinite damage, so... Okay, the org's not a bad weapon. I'll hang on to this. Oh, my God, a max ammo. That's perfect. We can use our gershes again. Right, okay, let's just stand on here for two minutes, and then we're pretty much done, I think. So how's the weather down there for you guys? Yeah, this step is very boring. There's not much I can commentate on. <laughs> right, there we go. It's done. Jesus Christ, that took its time. Right, and because we're doing this solo, we don't have to do the lunar step. So now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to rack up as many points as I can, get some packed weapons, thug it out for a little bit, try to get the thunder gun, and we'll see how it goes. That is a fire sale. Is there, a, there is a box location here as well. Okay, hang on. If this doesn't get us the thunder gun, I don't know what will. Let's chuck a Gersh device down here just so we can grab that uh, fire sale. Go chuck another one just for uh, some gigs here because there's another horde down there. I almost just picked up my Troishka dolls. That would have been 
Devastating. Right, come on. One more hit, one more hit, one more hit. That's the HK, bro. Oh, bro. Are we just, like, condemned to never get the Thunder Gun? I guarantee you the first time we spin this box here, it's going to shift. Dragon off. Okay. And there we go. It's shifted. Right. Hopefully, we should get the Thunder Gun on this next rule here. I think we should, honestly. And here it is. Okay, right. Come on. Thunder Gun. Thunder Gun. Spectre, bro. Come on. Who do I look like? Okay, the Spaz. Not ballistic knife, bro. This is criminal. Galil, it's a really good weapon, but, like, we just need that Thunder Gun at this point. The G11. Okay, well, seven rolls in, and we just still didn't get it. That is actually awful. I guess we're going another round on, like, the little Cosmodrop thing, whatever it's called, the lander. We do have a Gersh device if we get stuck in a situation here, but we should be okay. <laughs> Okay, that fire sale could actually be huge. We just need to clear out this horde a little bit here. Right, we do have fucking eight bullets, so I am heavily relying on the fact that we'll just get it here, please. Oh my god, thank f Oh my god, thank you, Jesus Christ. Right, I do need another gun here as well, because we have we are running criminally low on RPK ammo here. Okay, the glill's perfect, honestly. Let's grab that. Right, let's go pack this thunder. Well, we can probably pack both our guns here if we just play our cards right with the amount of points we get here. And yep, that's more than enough. Now, as long as all of the lights on the little broken rocket thing are on, where you throw down the Gersh device, we should be good to go, as long as we've got a pack thunder gun here. Right, let's chuck this in the pack a bunch machine. And let's chuck this in the pack a bunch machine as well. Now, hopefully we get this first try, because I tell you that I tell you now, honestly, I can't be asked to go another route essentially is boring the life out of me let's go through spawn then shall we now in an ideal world we should be good to go here so here we go let's throw down the gersh device here did we do it fuck okay we've got to go another round for max ammo bollocks it might be monkey round to be fair we can give it a go all we've got to do if it's monkey round is sit by jug yes perfect honestly all we got to do now is just sit by jug we'll be fine okay we actually got a free perk as well there because we used the thunder gun i had speed caller that's honestly what i wanted to be fair right i do feel a lot better now that we have a fucking infinite damage wonder weapon so we should be good to go honestly I keep hearing them tearing down that metal barricade and think the metal thing's about to spin. Like, this big thing here. But because we have no quick revive, that could have been absolutely detrimental. Right, okay. I'm gonna give this another go, and apparently all we have to do is just shoot the fuck out of this, like, portal thingy. Right, okay, let's give this another go, then. Right, okay, reload, reload, reload. Come on, surely. Right, let's give this one more shot here. Come on. Come on, surely this is gonna be it here. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Bro, am I doing something wrong? Okay, yeah, max ammo should really help out here. But let's give this one more go after we've cleared out this round, yeah? Right, okay, chuck the Gersh device down. Surely this is going to be close, man. Did we do it? I think we did it. Yes, we did it. It's floating up. Holy shit, did we do it? Come on, give me my perks. Give me my perks. Give me my perks. I think we did it. We did it. We got our death machine. That's it. I thought we got the perks as well, though. Oh, my God. Right, well, that's Ascension done. I really thought we got all the perks for doing that, though. Right, okay. On to Call of the Dead or Shangri-La, whatever we're doing next. Okay, Call of the Dead. Now, I can confirm to you guys that I have played Call of the Dead a grand total of about five times. And there's our boy, George Romero. And this is the first map ever to have fog worse than transit. So, yeah, this fucker's going to be following us about for, like, the entire game. So, we kind of got to be wary of that. And also, the spawns in this starting room, from what I remember, take fucking forever. And I'm getting, like, frame drops and stuff when I'm playing this. I don't why makes me ever so fortunate to have the version of black ops 3 but unfortunately we can't play that since we're playing bo1 maps so yeah our first course of action is probably to get the power on so we're gonna head over to the ship which is over to the right instead of traditionally you know going up to the lighthouse doing all that stuff we're also gonna quickly 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 grab quick revive here let's get that sorted jump back over across Ooh. Honestly, I don't mind George Romero as he's usually so slow, but when you're shooting into a horde and stuff and he's just there and then you've got to run all the way back down the lake if you don't have the VR-11, it's just a piss take, man. Like, he keeps you on your toes, but at the cost of, like, enjoying the fucking game. All right, okay, let's run over and get this first debris open here. All right, let's grab an MPL because we are going to need some form of a fucking weapon. Now, according to this, power's up here, so we will go up there first. Oh, that's a double point as well. That could be so useful. And the fog has cleared. Yeah, this map's actually a little bit dynamic. I kind of forgot about that. Let's just jump past George here really quick. All right, let's try and maximize our points here because I'm going to just shoot them twice and then knife them because weirdly enough, that rule still works with the MPL. Right, okay, we nearly got about 3k points here. So let's just, you know, oh, and max ammo. Very nice. Let's start getting some more doors open here. Head towards the power. And we'll flip those levers down for the Easter egg. And here is the power. So from what I remember, this one comes down once and then this one comes down one, two, three times. And and then to the right twice. There we go. Now we need to find the fucking door. So we need to go up by the lighthouse. I feel a little bit more versed on Call of the Dead since last time when I played it on stream. That was really bad. I couldn't even figure out what the fucking power switch was, man. 
get the other side of the ship open here as well because we I think this is where Jug is, if I'm not mistaken. No, Jug's all the way down there, I remember. You've got to be careful with this ship, man, because this is how you get caught up. I would ideally like to grab Jug first before we do anything, so. Use that M1911 a little bit here just to rack up some extra points that we can be getting on these zombies here. Okay, we got a death machine here. There is another round of fog coming through here, so that's kind of fucked. Let's get this door open here as we want to grab Jug. And here it is, right? We just kind of need to save up our points now. Then once we've done that, we'll make our way up to the lighthouse. And if we run out of ammo on the MPL, there's always the MP40 over here. I don't want to shoot George. I really do not want to shoot George. Ow. Okay, the MP40 is a thousand points. We're going to grab one of these here just because we're running solo on ammo for the MPL. And once we've racked up enough points for Jug, like I said, we'll go over to the lighthouse, do all the stuff the fucking Ultimus crew, I think, behind the door. And, you know, Bob's your uncle. Honestly, the Easter eggs on BU1 aren't too bad. I'd argue on BU2, they're so much worse. I think Shangri-La might give us a little bit of trouble, but honestly, I think we'll be fine. Right, we're literally 200 points off getting Jug here, and there's Semtexes on the wall, which we're going to need for the um, next step here, so it just makes it a lot easier. We Oh, I was going to say, we're 100 points short. There's another couple of zombies here. That's very nice. Carpenter, that's actually perfect as well. Right, let's quickly grab Juggernog here. Very nice. And grab some Semtexes off the wall, and we'll use the last of our MP40 ammo to grab some ammo for itself, then we'll head over there. How many points is this barrier here? This is 750. Okay. The reason why I grabbed Semtexes is for the those who haven't played Call of the Dead or don't know the Easter egg, there's a step where you have to throw grenades off this little, like, generator thing, and it just makes it a lot easier if they stick to it. But why the fuck is George angry? What? What did I do? Why is George at- Wait, no, he's not. Is he angry at me? I can't tell. It's an insta-kill. Nice. Ow, bro. They fucking hurt on BO2, man. Why is he screaming like that? Stop. And this is the room we need to be in. Hello, Ultimus. Okay, yeah, so essentially now we just have to find, like, this little fuse thing, and then once we've done that, we're onto the generator step. They're, they're gonna say a bunch of dialogue, but I'm not really gonna care around to listen to it. We're kind of speedrunning this. Uh, let's grab an MP5 here, since we need something to kill the zombies with us. We've run out of ammo in both of our guns already. Oh my god, they're fucking ruthless on this map. Round six. Seven, chill the fuck out. Why is George having a screamy if he's not running at me? Well, that was bullshit. I just got completely cornered. All right, there's quick revive again. That's our second one. I hope we don't have to use all three like we did on Ascension. That was ridiculous with the fucking monkeys. Let's grab a little bit more ammo for our MP5 here, as I feel like ammo's a little bit more important than grabbing jug again. All right, let's go and grab this fuse. It can spawn here. It's not there. Fuck. Oh, piss off, George, man. And there's the fuse. Very cool. All right, let's stick that in there, and then there we go. All right, I'm gonna train the zombies around here a little bit just so we actually have a fight chance of like getting perks and shit because i'm realizing now that if we don't like get set up a little bit here we're gonna be fucked since it's already round eight and this is bo one so it's pretty unforgiven i'm pretty sure now though we're onto that generator step i was cracking on about so if i go and quickly run back up here after george has moved there should be like a little red generator that we can throw a semtex off of i don't know how many is gonna keep spawning though so i need to be kind of cautious because we are running very low on ammo right yeah that's on uh lob a nade off that once again, I find myself buying ammo for the MP5K. Fucking hell, man. There's just no good guns on BO1. I'm gonna try and get the scavenger or some shit out of the box. We need an explosive damage weapon anyway. Speaking of that, where the fuck is the box? Oh, it's over there. So I think it's at the lighthouse, actually. It also really doesn't help that for some reason on PC, this map runs at like 4 F frames per fucking year. I don't know why. Like, my PC's more than capable of recording and playing BO1. I just don't get it. And there's Juggernaut again. All right, I feel a little bit safer now. Okay, there's another one of them red light things over there, which we can lob a grenade off of if we find the right angle. I think it's over here that you have to stand. Or, oh, wait, maybe it's more so on the other part of the ship. Right, let's go back to that bit. Oh, there's one here. Get that one done. And, yep, right, let's go off. That's two out of four. Very nice. I think we're going to have to do a complete fucking loop around the map if we want to get back to that other part of the ship. So let's just go through here, go up these stairs, and yeah, let's go back through spawn. Right, let's see if we can hit this one first try. I heavily doubt it, though. Oh my god, we got it. Right, that's three out of four. Nice. Now we just need to find the fourth one. Was that a fucking zombie on the zip line? What the fuck? Why didn't that one go off? Okay, that one definitely went off that time because it's just the red light's completely gone, but we also accidentally hit George. So we might be a little bit fucked. Grab some more MP5 ammo, bro. This MP5 is literally my lifeline. Holy shit. George just needs to cool off. Get in the pool. There we go. He's fine. Why does he keep screaming like that, man? Oh my fucking god, bro. I s no! No! Why? This map runs so shit on Plutonium. I don't know why. Right, we've used our third quick revive now. Fuck's sake. Right, so once we've actually cleared this fucking round, our next location for a generator is the stamina up machine, wherever that is. I think that's towards, like, the inner lighthouse and when you go down towards, like, the slide and stuff. So we'll go take a look there. Honestly, if I didn't have this MP5, we would have been so dead a long time ago. That max ammo was beautiful as well. Okay, well, I found stamina up. I just don't want to be here right now when there's, like, hundreds and hundreds of zombies chasing my ass. But it's good that we found it, at least. Oh, they're actually really slow when they're in the water! Oh my god! Oh my god! Oh my god! 
Bro, I'm getting like four frames a year. How am I alive? Okay, there's our last generator. That might be the last zombie as well, is it? No, there's a couple more here. Okay. All right, let's chuck that over there. Hopefully, it kills the gen. I'd imagine it did. No, it didn't, fuck's sake. Right, well, I hope that one does it at least. I think it, so it sounded like it did. Bro, how was that shit still on? Come on. I mean, I didn't ask for both of them to die, but you know what? Sure, I guess. I don't know how that thing's still on. Okay, let's quickly grab Jug again here. I hope I can still get back up through here. Oh, I don't know where the fuck I'm going. Oh, well, definitely not that way. Oh my god, MP40 ammo. Thank god. I forgot this war bike was actually here, bro. I'm so I'm like running about so frantically. Why does BO1 actually run so shit? Can someone explain it to me in the comments? What's this map mainly why it runs but so bad, I think. Death Machine, please spin up. Thank you. Okay, that nuke would have been nice like a while back because that's gonna end the round now. Fuck's sake, man. Oh my god, the box. Holy shit. I am so happy to see you. And you give me a fucking FAMAS. Wow, that is just the icing on the cake. I actually just got like a grand total of like 5 FPS while I was up there. What the fuck are they doing? Wait, I want to try clear out this horde, which we should be able to do. I don't know why this is running so poorly. Right, let's try and get this one off again. Right, come on. Oh my god! Almost just fucking killed myself. Right, I can't hit these and we're also about to run out of ammo again. So I think we're going to go spam the shit out of the box till we get a decent weapon. I ideally want like a ray gun or something, man. This is ridiculous. Okay, Matryoshka dolls aren't half bad. That's something we can use to kill the guy. We do need the VR-11 though. I do apologize though that my game's running so arse. Ballistic knife, you are taking the piss. Commando, that's something. Oh my god, Raygun, it's exactly what I wanted. Right, I'm going to make my way over to the ship again because I want to try and see if we knocked out that other one. Because I saw a red light while I was running about frantically looking for fucking MP40 ammo. I'm going to make sure that that one's gone off as well because I feel like this is this step's really buggy and I don't know why. Oh wait, yeah, shit, see, this one's back on as well. What's going on? And we've run out of grenades, brilliant. Right, I've armed myself with some more grenades here. Let's see if we can hit this. Yeah, that one's definitely off now. Fucking hell, right, okay. Let's go try the stamina one again. I think that barrier should be broken since we started a new round. And then after we've done this, I think all we need is a VR-11 and we should be pretty much good to go. Okay, in theory, they've all gone off now. So we can go back up and check the uh, the door. Then I think what we've got to do after that is knife the little fuse thing. Then it's human time. Right, okay, now we need the VR-11. And we did actually get all the generators off because I just knifed the door there and they said the quotes. So we just need to save up our points and hope to God that it works. We do need a little bit of that lady look on our side. I do also really want to get back to our training spot here. So let me pass Mr. Zombie. Come on, don't be a prick. And here's our training spot. This is where I want it to be. Now that we have a ray gun, I do feel a lot safer. We also have this commando here that we can use for points. I think we'll spend a couple of rounds down here. Maybe get like, I don't know, like 7 to 10k points. Then we'll just drain it all into the box. Then hopefully we should get the VR-11. You always get a double points towards the end of the round. It's not even funny. I suppose that now that is the end of the round, we can actually go up here now and just spin the box. It's probably going to move because we have hit it a couple of times. HK-20. Come on, man. That's the G11, not the VR11. Come on, box. Right, okay, box has moved. We've got to go look for this piece of shit now. Ugh. I hate RNG based steps. We're not going to enjoy moon, are we? Okay, box is on the ship. Let's go back down to our training area and we can build up some more points, you know, to hit the box over there. I don't want to go over there with like 2,000 points because there's really no point. Or well, 3,000 that we have now. I want to give these Matryoshka dolls another go because I remember them being insane on Ascension that we played earlier. Right, let's give them a go here. Oh my god, they're not like monkey bombs at all. They're just like massive. Massive frag grenades. They do a lot of damage though. Oh, that is a fire sale. Hold up. Fuck, we need to find a box location now. Okay, there's one here. Cool, 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 cool. The fucking CZ, bro. Come on. Fucking G11, bro. It's actually teasing me. Okay, one more hit. Come on, come on, come on. Give me it, give me it, give me it, give me it. HK21. It's not terrible, but it's not what I want either. I want this shitty VR11 that does no damage. Right, let's go over to the ship here and hit the box. And here's the box. Right, okay. Come on, give me the VR11. Come on. China Lake. We're going to get the scavenger before we get it, I'm convinced. I thought that was it there for a minute. Ah, bro, what did I tell you? Hello, scavenger. I love this wonder weapon. And there's the VR-11. Holy shit, thank you very much. Right, now we just need to kill a guy down here, then shoot him with a scavenger, grab the golden rod, and then we are done, bro. We're so done. And it's perfect. There's one more zombie here. Right, hang on. Get in there. Get in there. Right, there we go. Off he goes. Shoot him with a scavenger. Is that him dead? Yes, it is. No one's surviving that, bro. I am going to be really careful here and not die because we've literally just got to grab this golden rod and then we're done. Right, okay. Give me my golden rod. Thank you. And now, hopefully, now that we do this... That should be it. Knife that, and then that hopefully should be the Easter egg done. And there's our Wonder Wop, I think. Hang on. And boom. Yes, we have finished the Easter egg. Let's fucking go. All right, on to Shangri-La. Right, okay, here we are, Shangri-La. Now, I've played Shangri-La about a grand total of three times. So, going from that to jump into the main quest Easter egg is going to be fun. And I've also heard that getting the fucking JG, whatever the fuck, you know, the baby gun, is one of the hardest tasks to do in all the COD because there's no gobble gums. And it's one of the rarest fucking wonder weapons available in the mystery 
box. We're in for a long one here, I think. Unless we get some, like, incredible RNG. Holy shit, these spawns rival Sheen or Numa with how slow they are. Oh my god, don't double swipe me. I fucking hate the two-hit system, man. It's the one thing I hate about going back and playing all their cards. I'm gonna keep knifing the zombies here until we have enough points to essentially get the power, which won't be too long. Might grab myself an M40, you know, just to be safe, because I would like something that can actually shoot bullets. Max ammo, that's actually kind of perfect. We use the M1911 for some extra points here. You, of course, you always get the double points at the end of the round. It's just science. And the nuke! And the nuke when you've got a double points, bro. What is this fucking predicted pre-recorded gameplay? Alright, let's head down and get the power on. I know the basic layout of Shangri-La, to be fair with you. I'm gonna grab an MP5 as well. Box here. Is it fuck? Okay, and let's get this power on, shall we? One and two. Right, now we can actually get this Easter egg started. I don't want to get too ahead of myself, though, because it's important to, like, actually get set up on Shangri-La before you do anything else, because, like, bro, the rounds go by so fast and it's so close quarters. And also, I want to try to just optimize my run that little bit more, you know what I mean? Skewers! Ugh. Right, let's do this quick. Three and four. That should be it, hopefully. Yep. Right, okay. Let, uh, let's do this. Turn that on. Right, they're basically going to blabber on a bit, and then it should go on to the next step, which is go down the water slide for us, because we're doing the solo side. This just gets automatically done for us here. Where's this monkey? I want to get my 500 points. There we go. Right, there we go. We're done. It should come out of Eclipse automatically, I think. Yep, there we go. Nice. And that, I'm pretty sure, is the only step we have to skip to actually do this solo. I'm going to stay by here, though, so we can grab some jug. Oh, fuck. There's a fucking streaker zombie already. It's round five, bro. Chill. Oh, God. Wait, do we have enough bullets to kill him? Oh, my God, bro. That is actually fucking criminal. I forgot how annoying these fuckers are. Right, he's dead. Okay. I guess we can try and point farm so that we have enough for the box. But we're probably not going to get that many rolls on it considering it's nearly the end of the round. Oh, what the fuck is going on with that zombie? Where's that monkey? Where is he? Where is the little rat? Right, we got our 500 points. Bro, it's so cool how it does that. I never even knew that about Shangri-La. Right, okay. What I'm going to do is, well, very quickly, is we're gonna go back into eclipse mode so we can do the water slide step. Wait, why is the other switch like retracted in? There we go. Right, I think we kind of timed that eclipse a little bit shitly because um I kind of don't have enough points for the door and we can't take the water slide unless that shit's open. So we might have to do another eclipse here. It's fine though, it's fine. It's not the end of the world. I want to grab some MP5 ammo really quickly up the wall here just before we do anything. Make everything just a little bit easier. Right, we got enough points for the door now. Let's go get that open, then we'll head back up. Oh fuck, a napalm zombie. Cringe. Oh, I was gonna say, fucking hell, I dumped an entire mag. Oh, he's not dead. Right, let's head back up here through the water spout or whatever the fuck these are called. Now we'll go take the waterfall back down. Right, okay, let's try and hit this first try. There we go, we did it. Nice. And very nice. Hang on, let, let, let them do the thing. Stand on the grate. Yep, there we go. The fucking FAMAS, bro, come on. I just want that, you know, that little JGB1943 fucking JZB. I, I don't know, bro. Whatever it's called, the baby gun. You know what I want. Double points, that's nice. Bro, where's that monkey at? He's getting fucking knifed. That's a thousand points, bro. All right, spin the box here. Come on, bless me up, bless me up. Oh, bro, come on. We're going to be spinning this box for a long time. RPK, I'll take that. That's another fucking napalm zombie, bro. They'd be so useful if we were up to that step, but unfortunately, we're just not. I really want to kill that thing before it gets any closer. Yeah, that's fine. Bro, it's not going to get... Oh, bro. My box look is not with me today. Moon is going to be a doozy if we can't pull this. And it's moved. Isn't that just great? All right, the box is on the right side now. Oh, my God, bro. I'm stuck in the fucking mud. Don't do me like this. Come on. Oh my god, that can be terrible. I didn't realize how much that slows you down. That's worse than like the Origins mode. Please die. Okay. I suppose the box is down. Oh, be by the waterfall, won't it? It's like one of the most common locations for it. Yeah, there it is. Cool. All right, let's keep spinning it here. We need this baby gun, man. Bro, that's not the fucking baby gun. That's a crossbow. I'm so glad they stopped including like fucking RNG elements in the newer gods because this is ridiculous. Bro, I've just had the same weapon like twice in a row. I, I, is there three weapons in the box now? Well, well, that's nice. I like that. What would be even nicer though is the thing I need to fucking progress the Easter egg. But honestly, the Ray Gun should keep us afloat for a little while. That's nice. We just kind of need to build more points. It's also nice to know that the switch to turn on Packer Punch is just here. I have a feeling we could be going to like round 30 plus, depending on when we get this gun, man. I did say that with Ascension though, and we got the Thunder Gun in like round 17, I think, so it shouldn't be that bad. Oh my god, fire sale! Holy shit, run, 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 run. I need hits on that box, bro. Bro, that's the dual wield CZs. Is this a fucking joke? Nah, nah, one more, one more. That's the law. I almost just risked my life for the fucking M72 law, bro. Suppose they're decent points weapons though another fight bro fucking run it's like it's destined for me to get it come on 
Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. The RPK, I will take it again. Napalm zombie, don't fuck me over, please. Bro, the FAMAS. Nah, 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 nah. One more, one more, one more, one more. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Oh my god, okay, right. It gave us our fucking CZs back, I guess. Whatever. We can still hit the box, to be fair. We've got a decent amount of points now. We're gonna build this barrier, because why not? The Spectre, bro. Nah, come on, come on. I got one more good hit on the box before we have to, like, leave, because there's too many zombies. All right, we've got a single CZ now. That's actually just spitting in my face that little bit more, bro. I actually hate that spot that the box is in as well. It's too, like, everything's too slow. We're getting a shit ton of points, though. Oh my god, double points. Right, I think we should probably pack a puncher gun at some point. But for now, we should be okay with a ray gun. I do just want the baby gun, though. Like, this is ridiculous, man. We're gonna try save a zombie this round because we've racked up a lot of points that we can gamble here. Oh my god, I didn't realize he made a crawler. How was I making crawlers already? It's only round 11. Right, come on. Give me the baby gun. Come on. It's like the only weapon you haven't gave me yet. I don't know what that is. That's the HK, bro. It got me excited because it was a big gun. All that just for the fucking box to move, man. Well, to be fair, that's what I wanted, but, you know. I'm gonna grab stamina up here as well, just because it's gonna make traversing the map a hell of a lot easier. I know it's a waste of, like, two box spins, but it's fine. All worth it. That sounded very fucking close. Is the box in spawn? Oh my god, it is. Right, okay. Juice me up, come on. The CZ, bro, is not a juice up. Come on. I swear to god. Bro, we're not getting this gun, bro. We ain't making out of the hood today. Watch that be it. Watch that be it, because I wasn't watching, bro. Watch kettle never boils. Oh my god. Oh, that was a fucking napalm zombie, man. No, I actually want that double points. Monkeys, fuck off. I want that max ammo as well. Oh my god. Fuck off, man. Right, okay. Come on. Give me it, bro. Come on. None of this G11 shit. Okay. Okay. Me and the box are not getting along in B01. <laughs> <laughs> and it's moved again. Great. There's my favorite mystery box. Come on, you know you want to give it to me. Come on. Come on. We're friends. Come on. I guess we're not friends. Bro, I've got... This is my last night in 50, bro. You got to juice me a box. Come on, please. They're not bad. I'll, I'll take them. I'll take them. Got some monkey bombs there. I will take those. Okay, fire sale. Come on. Come on. Come on. Juice me up. Juice me up. Juice me up. Oh, my God. Oh, oh, okay. Okay, we got it. 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 I think we got it. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, okay, okay. Right, I need to calm the fuck down. I'm gonna keep a zombie at the end of this round, and then we'll start the Easter egg. Well, continue on with it. We just need to shoot down the little crystal thing from its pedestal, and then we should be good to go. Honestly, staying in the spawn room isn't half bad. Uh, as a fucking shrieker, bro. Please die, please die, please die, please die. I think if we're gonna be main in the ray gun as well, PhD might be a show. Right, okay, let's activate eclipse mode here. One, two, three, and four. And now we need to go find the crystal, shoot it down. I don't think it's on this side, actually. Oh, wait, no, it is. It definitely is. It's here. Right, shoot that shit down. Shrink it. Kick it. Knife it or whatever. Right, let's go. And there we go. Perfect. Right, that's that step completed since we're out of Eclipse mode now. Now we need to find the right gongs. So, clearly not that one. It didn't like it. Let's just go around and smack some gongs and see if it, see if it likes them. Nope, that one's glowing red. Doesn't like it. I can't tell if it liked that one, to be fair. Okay, so this one's a yes. What about you? That's a yes as well, apparently. I'm gonna grab PhD while we're down here, actually, because it's just an absolute must with a ray gun. Let's try this one? Nope, I hated that. Cringe. Try this one. Didn't like that one either. I think we did just try that one. What about you? No, it doesn't like you either. It liked this one. It also liked this one. Oh, wait, what? It liked that one. Was it? Was there one over here? Oh, yeah, it was this one, then this one. Yep. Now we just gotta find some more gongs, I guess. It liked that one. So, there's another one over here. Uh, well, there's the two over here that we know that work. It's... Is it this one? Yes, it is that one. And then there's the one over here. Then we just need to find one more. Let's check over here. Is there one over here? There's gotta be one, right? Is there one up here? There must be a gong I'm just kind of like completely running past. This one? Okay, like that one. I swear there's a one over here as well that we said was good. Is it you? No, it's not you. Okay. It's this one. No, it's this one. This one. This one. So there's one up here. So it's this one. One, two. And then it's the other two on the other side. Yes! We've done it! So, and then it's this one. Yeah? No, fuck! Do that one. Then this. And then quickly, 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 it should be this one. One more time because I'm absolutely stupid. So we've smacked the two over here and then it's just the other two over there. Right, okay. That one. And then it's the one over here, yeah? Is that it? I think that's it because they're glowing. Right, now we need a napalm zombie. I also want to go quickly pack a bunch of my ray gun, I won't lie. Right, let's go. Slap the ray gun in there. And there we go. Eh, yeah, fuck it as well. Why not? Why don't we just pack a bunch of, you know, baby gun as well since the switch was there? It's great on solo being able to pack like this, honestly. And there we go, the fractalizer. Right, now a napalm zombie would be very, very nice. Okay, we might have took it down, but that's honestly okay, right? We've got to lead this fucking napalm zombie zombie all the way through here to get all the leaks. But first, because I'm a big dumb idiot, we need to go and get the eclipse mode turned on. Grab ourselves QR again, just so we don't die. Right, quickly, quickly, quickly. One, uh, two, three, and four. Right, okay. Right, the gas pipes are on now. I was wondering why it wasn't working, but it's because, you know, we need the whole napalm zombie thing. And we also need it to be on eclipse mode, so that's fine. 
Okay, there's one. All right, I need to find another leak. I don't think there actually is another one here. Okay, there's one here. Okay, I think we need to bring him just that little bit closer. Not too close, though, because I don't want to fucking blow up. All right, there's that one. Let's lead him around here just so he doesn't fucking blow up like the last time. Oh, it's a little bit risky. Can't hear any leaks through here. I hear one here, though. I don't know where it is. Oh, there it is. Okay, cool. And I think that's the last one there as well. Okay, there's that one. And then this is the last one up here that needs to come on. That's it, I think. Now I think we can go back and pull that lever and he should be good. On the off chance that he's not, though, I don't want to kill this napalm. Yeah, I, I need to wait for him to come around this corner. That should be it. Yeah, nice one. Okay, cool. Yep, that means we've done it. Very nice. It should take us out of eclipse mode now. Cool. Right, okay, now we need to go and grab spike mores. Now, if we were playing Black Ops 3, it would just be trip mines, but because we aren't, we're playing BO1, we need the spike mores to plug up the holes in the other tunnel, which is on this side of the map, I think. Are spike mores over here, though? That is the question. I can never remember. Yep, there's the first hole, second hole, third hole, fourth hole. There's my spike mores. Cool. So what we need to do now is, I don't know if we really need to end the round, but you just plonk that there, and then plonk one just about, I'm saying, here. And we can probably use the napalm zombie here and just lead him through so he pings the spikes into the wall. Let's change the position slightly of one of them just so he does that one first. I think that did it. I mean, I'd hope. Do this one next, please. Thank you, Lazy Fruit, for subscribing. I think that was it as well. I'm not too sure, though. Right, okay. Spike more step. Now, we need to go back into eclipse mode so we're not an idiot and don't lead like a fucking zombie all the way through just for it to not work because, you know, we're not in eclipse mode. Who would do that ever? Totally not me. Bro, these walls are fucking annoying, man. Let's quickly activate eclipse mode here before we do anything else. There we go. Nice. And let's hurry back to that tunnel over there so we can plant the spike moles. Run, 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 run. Put one there. And put one, like, just about there. Right, okay, there's one. I'm going to chuck a monkey bomb down here just so I can plant this other spike mole in, like, the right location. So, what, it's, like, about... Let's say, like, here. Right, now, hopefully, they should start running back down here. Okay, the third one here. Okay, hopefully, that should be the third one. Maybe the fourth one, too. Okay, yes, it is. Okay, we've done them all. Nice. Okay, with that step done now, I mean, yeah, I know I, I, know I did jump cut a little bit there. That's just because I accidentally paused my OBS recording. But now we've got to go about and find these different fucking symbols on the stones and stuff. So let's go back into Eclipse mode here. All right, there's one. There's two. There's three. Is that four? No, that's not four. Oh, shit. There's another one, I think. Yep. Oh, fuck. There's another one. There's another one. There's another one. Right, okay. Let's destroy this thing here. And like a fucking idiot, I keep forgetting to go back into Eclipse mode. Right, one, two, three, and four. Okay, well, that thing did get destroyed. But like, these things I can still knife? Uh, Maybe we didn't get them all. Holy shit, that took way too long. Right, we finally did that step. Okay, so four dots. Then this one needs to be on three, right? Yep. This one needs to be on one. And then this one needs to be on C line dot. Like that? Yes. Oh my God. Thank God that step took far too long for what it was. Holy. Right. And now all that's left to do now, hopefully, is the gong step. So let's give it a go. One, two, three, four. This one. This one. That one. And then finally, this one. That's it. Right. Hang on. Now we've got to be mega fast here and grab our dynamite. So hang on. Yes, we got it. Nice. Right, now we need to go find out what fucking switch has the, um... Pack a punch thing on them. Once we've done that, we can blow up the wall behind it. And there we go. It shrank the fucking focusing stone. Cool, cool, cool. Right now, we need to go quickly find the pack a punch switch. And then once we've done that, it's home free. We have finally finished Shangri La. Right, okay. Let's step on this pack a punch switch thing here. Stop the monkey. Yep, nice one. And I think finally we have finished Shangri La. Right, there we go. I gave him his dynamite. And please hurry up so I can finish the Easter egg. And yes, we're done. Let's fucking go. Oh my god, I'm so fucking happy. I hate this map. All right, okay. On the moon. Okay, here we are. Our final map, moon. Now, whether it's speed caller or jug, I will be grabbing it either way because... For the hacker step, speed caller is very, very useful. So we're going to try and get as many points as we can here. I'm not going to be too butthurt if we can't get it, though. I ideally want enough points, though, to be able to leave the spawn room and just, you know, get the power and shit. All right, here we go. Harry one. Thank you for the sub, my guy. I don't know why I still have them on. Okay, right. We're just going to teleport now. I can't be arsed. There's too many zombies. Oh, my God. Teleport me. All right. Okay, we're fine. All right. Grab the PES. X. Fucking why is it X on PC? What the fuck? Right. Okay. Let's grab ourselves some quick revive. And let's head through this way. We've got death machines straight off the bat. Jesus Christ. Right now, we're just focusing on getting the power, not any box, anything, you know, like getting Gersh devices, QEDs, fuck all that shit. Just get power on, get the hacker out, do the Simon Says first, and then we'll be good. Let's open up Tunnel 6 here since we need that open for the Easter egg. Now, I would usually just straight up open that door, but we have no bullets, so I'm going to grab an MPL, and then we'll build up points as we go on. Not a bad Area 51 run, though. I do wish we kind of had Jug instead, though. Just means we got to kind of be careful of how high of a round we're getting to, because we're not getting Jug unless we go back. Bro, are these spawns just, like, fucked up?
up. Where are all the zombies? Jesus Christ, man. Right, okay, let's get that other door open. And here we are. Next door's 12.50. I'm going to try and maximize points because we want to get power on as soon as possible so we can start excavating. That's an astronaut. He can fuck off. Oh, double points. Perfect. Right, okay, let's get this door open here. And there's power. Right, okay, let's go do Simon Says. We can get that done straight off the bat since it doesn't need any, like, parts, any Gersh devices, shit like that. You know what I mean? Blue, blue, blue. Blue, 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 green, blue, blue, green, blue, 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 green, blue, red, blue, blue, green, blue, red, red. Right, there we go. Now what we can do is go look for the hacker and go do the panel step. Now there's only one zombie, that'll make it much easier. And we've got the points to open the door too, bro. We're doing well. Hopefully we get a good spawn on the hacker because it means we don't have to go another round. If it's not, whatever. It's only round four. It's not there. The spawn there, it's not there. Fuck's sake, please give me a good spawn. Yeah, there we go. Oh, there's fucking crawlers. I hate these things. Don't tell me that's what the last zombie is right come on oh that was what the last zombie was right let's get let's get this done let's just get this done actually i'm gonna hold off until we can get this top door open because some of the spawns for the lights can be in there and i also just want to wait till there's one zombie why did they bring back nova crawlers for this map man okay we're fully out of ammo oh shit we can't cook grenades in here fuck oh that's an insta kill that's kind of perfect actually right this nova crawler here is our last zombie so what i'm gonna do is open this door here grab myself an mp5k so we have something to actually shoot with run back down here fast 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 and hack this Right, go. Right, there's one on here. There's one on to the left as well. Get that off. Oh, they're all here. Oh, fucking Nova Crawlers, man. I hate them. Right, okay, quickly get this on. There we go. There's one here as well. And I think the last one will be in the lab, probably. Yep, there it is. Quickly, hurry up. Right, there we go. We're done. One, two, three, and four. There we go. Okay, there's a lot of zombies we've got to deal with here. Might be a good idea to try and go into the biodome. I'm not too sure, but we've done very well there, honestly. I thought that step would have had a couple of goals needed, but nah, we got this first try. We're doing well. Okay, let's get the biodome open here, because we do kind of just need to get set up as well, and the boxes here. Perfect. We need Gersh devices next, because we need to head back to Area 51. Right, okay, come on, juice me up. HS10, bro. <laughs> if our RNG is going to be the same as what we had in, like, Shangri-La, bro, we're not getting all the shit we need for a long time. I think we'll just train in here for now, unless Tunnel 6 comes up, which we will let happen. Oh, hang on. Right, no. We need to go stop Tunnel 11 from being excavated, because ideally I want that on. Also, you can fuck off. Okay, quickly hack this. Oh, there we go. Right now, we kind of just need to build points. And ideally, I really want Jug soon. I can't lie. Oh my god, Max Ammo. That's kind of perfect. Right, we've got a decent amount of points built here. Let's head back to the biodome and spin the box a couple of times. Maybe we might get the wave gun. I don't know, bro. All right, come on. Juice me up. Juice me up. Fucking law, bro. Nah, right. You know what? I don't want I don't want anything for the Easter egg. No, I don't want anything. Right, first psychology. First psychology. I thought that was the fucking zap gun because it was a dual wield. Oh, QEDs. They're a bit too early. Python, okay. Fucking Spectre, bro. Right, okay. We got QEDs. That's great if we were onto that step, but we're just not. Box is probably going to move if we hit it again, so let's just get out of the way. Oh, the Galil? Okay, that's a pleasant surprise. Yeah, I don't want to grab that nuke just yet, because realistically, we're just trying to build points. Right, okay, let's give the box another whirl here. I think after this, we're going to try and focus on Jug, because we're not having very good luck. Fucking G11, bro, come on. One more, one more, one more. It's probably going to move, actually. Yep. Right, teleport me, teleport me. Thank you. Right, drop down Jug, you know you want to. Yep, there we go. I think we'll train a little bit here, actually, because we can build a shit ton of points. Okay, yeah, we're running a little bit low on Galil ammo, but that's fine. We still have a G11. We could pack it, to be fair, but that would defeat the whole purpose of, you know, building points. Right, okay, AK should be more than enough for now, and this leaves us with a clip to kill any that's actually still left on the moon. Right, there we go. Right, my guess is that the box is in the power room, honestly. Right, yeah, it is. Right, we need to get rid of the hacker. Fuck's sake, man. The hacker's always a great tool to have on you. Oh my god, let me in! Right, box, come on. Don't fail me now. Give me something decent. Or anything at all, actually. Not the fucking China Lake, bro! And we downed because we got the fucking China Lake. Great. The fucking CZ dual wheel, bro. Nah, come on. Also, how many want to spawn? It's fucking round eight. All right, come on, box. Use me up before I have to run and get a quick revive. Come on. Ghost devices, that's it. Fucking brilliant. Right, I need to go run and grab quick, otherwise we are fucked. Right, okay, we're not losing all that progress. Not yet, anyway. Thank the fuck. All right, let's just use one of our Gershes here because it's going to make everything a lot easier. Please go off. Fire sale? That's kind of perfect, too, honestly. Oh, my fucking God, they're everywhere. Oh, my God, they're everywhere, bro. What the fuck? Nah, me and Moon have got issues, you know. All right, for the third time already, let's grab another quick revive. Jesus Christ, I'm not very good at BO1, am I? All right, okay, 10k points to spend on the box as well. We should be good. We should be good to go, honestly. Come on, zap gun. Come on. Fucking L90. I think this is the first time we've had a sniper roll across the maps, to be fair, though. Come on, come on, juice me up. Oh, ray gun? I'll 100% take that. Fucking law, bro. Now, nah, come on. All right, one more, one more. Galil. Okay, I'll, I'll happily take a fucking Galil. All right, let's go back to Area 51 because the light should be on now and we can chuck the grenade off that thing and then grab our stuff. You know how it is. We just need the plates essentially right yeah great the lights are on perfect now we do have to be kind of speedy about this okay run 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 go around go around go around right and then throw a gersh ah fuck we missed bro but that should be it hopefully yeah that's it great right yep they're on the teleporter pad now that's fucking brilliant 
Right, take me away, take me away. Right, they're there now, great. Now, even though how much I love them, we need to get rid of the ghost devices in favor of QEDs, for whatever fucking reason. Because the game just wants to be an absolute troll like that. Then we need to get ghost devices back again, and the box is moved. It's just our lucky day. Oh, the boxes spawn, absolutely cringe. Right, come on, just bless me up with QEDs straight off the bat. Come on, G11. <laughs> The fucking China, like, nah, bro, this box actually hates me. I don't know what the fuck that is. That is the Dragonov, okay. You know, I don't actually mind the Dragonov purely because of its, like, high penetration damage for high rounds. The fuck is that? Oh, the Spaz. Fucking Ballistic Knife. Right, okay, I guess we're going another round. Let's go back to the Biodome. Okay, I've won a couple rounds, got a little bit of pointage. Right, give me the QBDs, come on. Oh, well, I'll take that! Right, okay, we still gotta hit the box, though, unfortunately, because we do need QBDs still. Well, it's gone now. Right, box is outside now. Please just give me the QBDs, man. It'll just make our lives much easier. No, G11 again. You really like giving me the G11, don't you, Box? Bro, it's actually giving me the G11 like five times in a row. Fucking Dragonov, bro. Oh, why is it so hard? I just want QEDs. It's just giving me the Dragonov twice in a row. Bro, there's like five weapons in the box, I'm convinced. Oh my god, fire sale. Hang on. Go, 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 go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Fucking CZs, bro. This is a joke. The fucking FAMAS, bro. It's decent, but I just want the QEDs, please. That's my Christmas wish. RPK, okay. Not bad. One more hit, one more hit. Come on. Okay. Fucking Python, bro. Okay. Right, let's wave gun it up here. Actually, I suppose we should be probably be using the RPK just mainly for points. Getting these QEDs just to swap them out the, like the exact same time after just to get Gersh's is the most demoralizing thing about this Easter egg. The entire thing is just based off RNG. It fucking sucks. I suppose it's not as bad as if you're playing with four players, but like, it's still arse. Okay, the box has moved as well. Isn't that fucking glorious? Holy shit, he just burned an entire RPK mag. Okay, box, show me the QEDs. Come on. It's the fucking China League. Did the QBDs just not exist? Were they, like, were, they, were they removed in a hotfix or something? Like, I'm genuinely convinced like Troyok must have patched the game while I've just booted up uh, Plutonium. Like, come on. Okay, yeah, no, this is fucked. This is so fucked. I suppose the CZ isn't a bad point weapon, I guess. Oh, I swear to God, just give me the fucking QEDs. <laughs> Holy shit! Oh my god! Thank the lord! Right, I literally need them for one step. That is so demoralizing, bro. We don't even have quick revive. This is how, like, barren it's actually got. So now, in theory, if I just lob one of these off these plates, they should fuck off over here. Yes! Okay, thank god. Right, stick the golden... Oh, we can't. Oh, we need the pipe. Now, this thing has, like, a billion different spawns, and I can never remember where it actually spawns, so I kind of just tend to look around and then hope it's just, like, there. Okay, perfect. There it is. Cool, cool, cool. Now we can go upgrade the golden rod. Right, so in theory, now if we go up to this computer, do that, put that in there, and then do this. Yep, there we go. I actually forgot how long this step takes. Right, there we go. There's our charged golden rod. Right now, unfortunately, because it hasn't happened, we kind of just need to wait for the excavators. So let's kill the zombie here and flip it around. I think what I might do is just actually get set up. So, you know, PhD, Juggernaut, all that good stuff. Right, let's grab ourselves some PhD here and we'll teleport back to Area 51. Ooh, and careful. Oh my God. And grab Juggernaut here. Oh, fuck. It's speed caller. We've got to, oh, we've got to go all the way back around to get, just to get fucking Juggernaut. We've got to wait as well for the teleport. Oh, that's so long, bro. Why is it so hard for a motherfucker just to get, you know, tunnel pie or excavator pie or whatever it's called? Shit's hard out here, man. Honestly, we're doing incredibly well for not having quick revive here. It's kind of crazy. Also, for some reason, this fucking QBD gave me an org. I mean, I'm not complaining. It's a mint weapon, but like, I didn't even know the QBDs could do that. Right, let's quickly grab Jug here, and then hopefully when we teleport back and end the round, we should hear those magical words that Tunnel 6 is being excavated. I'm gonna pack a punch this org, actually, as well. Thank you very much. Right, very fucking quickly stick this in the pack-a-punch machine as well, since we're here. And grab it. Okay, that was far too close. Okay, I'm kind of praying we get it this round. Come on. You at home right now, say a quick prayer for me. Bro, your prayer sucked, I can't lie. Quick update, it's round 20 fucking 2. And, oh, oh, oh my fucking god. Got it fucked, I can't lie. Oh, 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 fuck's sake. <laughs> Always the last one, man. Ah, the Black Ops 2 video. Honestly, I give this video all of the credit for kickstarting the channel's direction and, and, and the uploads that came after that. Honestly, it was just perfect. Everything about it was so perfect. Now, pushing nostalgia aside, the Easter egg experience with BO2, not too great, but you guys seem to really, really enjoy this video, and I ran with the idea and did it with all the games because of it, so for that, it's getting S tier. Because it's just a good idea before we on the bus so the zombies start spawning a bit faster. Right, okay, I'm gonna quickly build the turbine here. Grab its final piece here. Uh, there we go. Okay, there's nothing here. I mean, it would have been nice for the hatch, but, you know, I guess it's fine. Galvan knuckles are always appreciated for this kind of shit. Drive, drive, drive. I don't care. Drive, please. Drive, 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 drive. Grab a B23R, because we are going to be running off the bus here. We're going to try and grab the jet gun piece before we do anything. In fact, no, 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 no. Fuck, fuck the jet gun piece. We're just going to run through the bus like you. 
usually because I feel like getting power on is like an utmost necessity and then we can run around the map because we can build up points go to town grab stamina make it a lot easier and also give me one minute much better this is what transit was supposed to look like all right let's just quickly end this round here that should wait that's not round where are they spawning in from then all right now ideally I want to get the box to move before we have to leave so I'm just going to open this door straight off the bat also I'm going to have a look if the hatch is in there if it is I'm going to leave it in there because it means that we can get the galvan knuckles even when we need to so we're going to quickly quickly check this little hut hatch thing I don't know no, it's the bat run round, but okay we'll put that on the bus anyway since it's a little bit useful all right there we go yeah this door open now I don't think we're going to get many hits on the box but if we do I want them to at least have a little bit of that EMPH bro the tower's already lit up holy well it's gonna be one more zombie but yeah as you can see the tower's already lit up orange which means we've done the maxis side now this video we're gonna be doing the rift off inside so we're gonna make that tower glow blue ah fuck okay is there a barrier or something I can rebuild that is criminal I want to have at least one hit on the box like come on it's gonna build the shield here for shits and giggles if both the parts are here right okay EMPs first hit come on I wouldn't even mind keeping the B23 off it means we get uh, EMPs that is fucking amazing we need explosive kills that's great right okay we got another hit on the box here please just give me EMPs no the cap 40 okay <laughs> The, all right, the bus is going to move now. He's, he's, peaked, he's peaked his little fucking head up. Yeah, he's he's, he's right, okay. We need to move. Raygun is an insane pull, though, because considering for Ricked off inside, you need to do 20 explosive kills. That makes everything way easier. Holy shit, where am I getting hit from? I was going to say, there's no way they crawled in through the hatch already. We really didn't do need to build points, though. That's our only uh, gripe here. Ow. Oh, it's a max ammo there. There's literally nothing at farm that we need. There's not even a jet gun piece here. We just need to move. All right, I think our next stop actually is the power station. So after we've done this, I think I'm going to just rake out all the points I have on the bank and just grab stamina up and go for a fucking joyride. Fucking, bro, you always get drops when you're on the back of the bus. It's so annoying. All right, okay, where is that power thing? There it is. Right, it's a fucking 50-50 shot whether or not this guy leaves while you're still in here. So you got to be quick. All right, slap that on there. Check if the switch is behind me. Where's the switch? Brother, where is the switch? Nah, no way we don't get the power built in time. You're joking. All right, there's the hand. That's fine. Quickly get the hand on here. All right, where's the switch at, bro? Oh, there it is. All right, we got it. 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 Kill these zombies here. Quickly, quickly, quick. Right, no, kill this zombie. Bro, fuck. Why do I keep hearing them, like, screeching? Quickly add this part here. Flick that on. Slap the fucking turbine down. Go, 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 go. Quickly grab the jet gun piece and get the fuck out of here, bro. Right, we did actually just take it down there, so we need to be a little bit careful. Right, quickly get on the bus. Close the door. Need to get these barriers rebuilt as well. Once we grab drug and stamina up, I'll be much safer. I'll feel much safer. We can also quickly run back here and go to the hut and grab that other jet gun piece, which is just there. Grab some old B23 armor. Right, let's get the fucking bank open, and I want to withdraw every point I have possible. Well, not that much, but you know. Right, that'll do. Right, I want to quickly run and grab stamina up because that's going to be so useful for the fucking denizens. Thank you. Gonna grab Juggernaut here. Right, now I feel infinitely safer. Right, let's go add this jet gun piece onto the buildable table and we'll run back through the hut and grab that one and we'll also grab the Bowie knife as it makes the, the denizens that little bit easier since we can't grab the Galvan knuckles. There we go. We should have enough ammo on the B23 out to last us like to not get the denizens on top of our head. Yep, okay. Fuck off. Just let me get to my house, man. It's over here. Okay, right. Where's this jet gun piece? Where is it? Right, there it is. Okay, Jesus Christ. I thought it wasn't here. Right, Bowie knife. Thank you very much. Right, let's head back over to town, put this piece on, and then we can go... I'm saying we go back to Bus Depot, mainly because we can loop back and get the main piece, and then loop all the way through to... Oh my god! I got jump scared there. I was going... Oh, bro, can we catch the bus quick? Nah, he's gone. By the time we put the piece on, he's gonna be fucking gone, bro. Maybe, maybe, maybe. I don't know. Hurry up, Stoolinger. Work those fucking hands, bro. Are we making it? Are we making it? Are we making it? Are we making it? I don't know. I don't know. I'd really prefer to get on. Yes. Okay. Thank fuck. I just don't trust myself to be able to jump over that because you can't just die even with Jug. It's like almost impossible to jump over it. It's going to farm this zombie a bit here since we're only adding pieces to the jet gun. We're also going to need to run into Nax to grab that piece. Then I think once we've done that, we're pretty much home free. If you guys are enjoying this video as well, make sure to leave a like on the video. And if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? More content like farming this fucking blue-eyed zombie, bro. He, don't, he, he ain't gonna do nothing. All right, I'm gonna quickly grab Quick Revive again just so we don't fuck up and die. All right, now we've just gotta wait for this shitty bus driver to move his ass. We're gonna get off into the tunnel to grab the jet gun piece here. And then after that, we're gonna try spin for some EMPs at Diner. All right, okay, I believe this is my stop, good sir. Where is the jet gun piece? It can be up here, can't it? I don't think it's here. It can also 
would be like by a car or something, I swear. Oh, it's there. Cool, 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 cool. We missed the bus, but that's perfectly fine. We're going to diner anyway, so like let him keep on keeping on, I guess. But I really do want to catch it at diner so we can get off at Nacked. Because that just makes that way easier. Grab some B23 armor on the way. And let's get have like four spins on the box. Come on, you know you want to give them to me. Monkey. Oh, that's literally the opposite of what I wanted, man. Come on. Give me them EMPs. The fucking foul. Okay. The executioner. It's a cool concept, but I actually hate the weapon. So the RPD. I, I mean, I'll take it, but I just really wanted EMPs. Right. We'll go withdraw some more points. But for now, let's get back on the bus. Oh, shit. I'm going to end the round as well, actually. It's only round six, so we'll be fine. What we'll do is we'll go to town, stick this jet gun piece on the billable table, and then we'll run all the way back to Nack and then grab that one. And then the jet gun should be done. We just aim straight up at the sky, let Richtofen say his quote, get some explosive kills with this really good pull ray gun. Like, that makes it so much easier. And then we just need EMPs. This Easter egg's actually really easy. It's just a jet gun that takes the most, I think. And if we were doing Max's side, I could not be arsed for the Avogadro. I remember when I did that with friends, it took so long. Okay, yeah, ideally we should have probably picked up this part next, but I just wanted to get, like, the one that's right at the start of the map out of the way. Because I feel like this is, like, a decent running distance that you could actually do compared to, like, town to fucking tunnel. I think I'm just gonna run to town from here because it's just honestly i think we'll be quicker than the fucking bus oh my god exploding denizen that shouldn't be legal bro i actually kind of forgot how long the fucking road is to town <laughs> right we're here it's fine it's fine all right get off my head we're here piss off cheers all right stick this on and then all we need is the knock piece bro can we not just pick it up now it looks fine also are these the last zombies if they are i'm gonna try getting down to one because i don't like zombies chasing me while i'm running through the fog because it just sounds like down sea all right so now for probably the longest run of my fucking life we're going to knock and totem and that's a denizen oh wait no it's not honestly with a ray gun this makes it a lot easier but i don't like the fact it still gives you splashback damage that is fucking criminal i've also noticed that i don't know if it's a plutonium thing or even just a it might just be a bo2 thing just just before they get on your head, you can knife and they'll die in one hit. It's kind of cool. Honestly, without the fog, denizens ain't shit. No way the bus has only just started moving, bro. Fuck off. Right, okay. Now we just need to run to the cornfield. We're nearly there. All right, and there is Nactar and Totem. Why is it in transit? I have no fucking idea. And here we are. Nactar and Totem. Right, I really just want this part and then I'll be out your hair, bro. Is this it? Yes, it is. That's a handle. And now we've got to do another one of the longest runs of my life. Actually, wait. Should we take the Should we take a risk? Should we take a little risk? I think we'll take a little risk. Oh, wait. Do we have a turbine? We do. All right, hang on. Let's take a little risk. This could go really poorly or really well. Right, cool. come on, Denizen. Right, yep, make your tunnel. Fuck off, cunt. This is the polar opposite of where I wanted to be. <laughs> right, okay, let's keep gambling. Oh, the bus, hello. Honestly, right, we've got to go back to town, though, so I can't be arsed. Come on, where the fuck am I? Oh, perfect. Right, okay, final jet gun piece, and bing, bada, boom. There we go. Thank you for the fucking jet gun. This absolute piece of shit. Right, now we need to go back to the fucking cornfield, to the pylon, and then shoot it directly upwards, and then we need to get kills with the ray gun. Oh, get off me. Jimmy Zelinsky, me and you need to have words about why you added these little fuckers. Oh, he's on my head. Fuck's sake. I see it. This orange pylon that's about to turn blue, bro. No more maxes for you. This part always confuses the shit out of me of which way to go. I think it's around here you go. Though. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's this way. It's this way. Has to be this way. Right, okay. We're here. Right, so I'm pretty sure what you do now is you just aim up and destroy the jet gun like this. I hope that was it. I really hope that was it. Oh my god. Wait, no. Fuck off. Bro, it, it didn't work. Oh, right. Back to fucking town we go, I guess. Oh my god. What a joke. I'll cut back to when we've got the jet gun back. Holy shit. Oh, wait, hang on. He just said a quote. Hang on. He just said you need the 115 from the zombies. I think he just means get explosive kills now, right? I mean, I think that's what it means. All right, now we've got to fucking reduce the power by a factor of four. So now I think that means grab EMPs and chuck them off the lights. Holy shit, I saved so much time there. I don't know why the quote was so late. Well, Denizen, fuck off, man. All right, now that we need EMPs, we need to run back to fucking bus depot. And I think what we can do is... Wait, can we jump over this? All right, turns out we can jump over shit like that. I always thought that you couldn't make that. I don't know why. We also need to grab a turbine from the fucking fucking bus depot bro I, I mean i did say that but actually putting it into perspective how far we need to run to do this step is ridiculous we also still need emps fucking rpg bro are you having me on i just want emps why is it whenever i need emps it just does not give me them like give me that nuke the cheek on bro no come on please don't move oh for fuck's sake man right i need to see where the box is at hopefully it goes to bus depot because it's just a run through there i think that might actually be farm I could be really wrong, though, and that could literally be, like, fucking town, but I don't know. 
No way the box is at fucking power station. I refuse to. Oh my god, it is. I've never seen it spawn here. Come on, EMPs. Bro, the fucking Barrett. What am I going to do with the sniper? Okay, cheers my Chichom back, I guess, or whatever it's called. The Chichom, Chichom, I don't know. Oh, oh, we got, we got them, we got them, we got them, we got them, we got them. It's exactly what I fucking wanted. Thank you very much, game. Right, now we need a fucking turbine. So let's go all the way back to Bus Depot, grab ourselves a turbine, and then we've got it. We're basically done. Right, we're nearly there, we're nearly there. I really wish we had Galvan Knuckles, though, man. That would have helped out so much. Right, we're nearly there. And once we've grabbed this, chuck the turbine down, chuck a re Well, you know, grab the turbine first, chuck a re-MP, and then chuck the other one. And because of the mod, it should just light up the tower blue. Right, uh, the fuck you mean I already have one? Right, okay, I'm gonna go around and then see if it destroys itself. If not, we have to go all the way back to town and destroy our turbine. Also, we are dangerously low on ammo. You know how all the things you could have gave me there, you give me a fucking double point? How many bursts the B23? It's way too many. Oh my god, I think we might die here. If we can survive and get to town and then loop back to bus depot, grab a turbine and then follow back through, we should be okay. If not, this run is fucked. And we've got to do this all with the B23R. You have no idea how glad I am that I picked up the fucking Bowie knife. I'm going to try and rebuild all the barriers really quick just so we actually have a fighting chance of getting back to town. I cannot believe that we had to do that to get our fucking turbine back. What I'll do is I'll cut back to when we're at bus depot because I know you guys probably don't want to see all this again. Oh my fucking god, thank god I'm Max ammo, holy. Right, let's go take the shortcut back to town because we, I forgot that's a thing. There's actually a little shortcut on the left here at the diner. Right, okay, here we go. Did we do it? Oh, we did it! Let's go! Yes! Holy shit! Okay, right, we did the Richtofen inside Easter egg. That took far too long, but we did it solo. Thank fuck. There we go, and the tower's glowing blue. All right, on to die rise. Right, okay, die rise. I've been at home basically the entire day, so I'm just going to bang out all these Easter eggs before I have to do anything. So right now, I've had a couple of cracks at this before, but I'm not the most versed on it, and especially with the solo mod, there's a bit of things that are, like, changed compared to when you do it with four players. I think the tile step's different. I think the Mahjong step's a little bit different as well. We'll just see as it will go. Okay, so we do have, in the first room here, we have a green one. We should also be focusing on building that trample steam. This is the most tedious process, I'd argue, in die rise, is when you have to build the trample steam, and it's all the way down here. It's it's the most annoying fucking thing ever. All right, there's our first piece. There's the flag. I think this is our third part, actually, because I didn't say anything while we were grabbing the other piece there. And then the last part, we need that little fucking engine thing, and then we're pretty much done with the trample steam. Right, okay, let's grab a B23R. And let's grab some quick revive, because this is Black Ops 2, after all. You know, the whole two-hit system. Okay, so that symbol there means blue is actually west. That's fine. Now we just need this little engine thing for the trample steam. And there it is. Okay, cool. Max ammo, that's always nice. Right, let's get this final piece on here, and then we can go get the power on, slick with fire, all that good stuff. All right, cool. And then we can get these the debris open and then we can probably just jump to the power switch basically let's see if we have some points in the bank as well because i did withdraw a lot more on my last attempt but i think i should still have a little bit left right we need to try and make this jump here right hang on oh okay that was just right let's see we've got some points we do very cool let's open this door up and let's flick on that power Right, now we've got to go on the wild goose chase that is finding all the slick with fire parts. I ideally don't want zombies chasing me as well because this is starting to piss me off. Because I'm trying to look in places and then I turn around there's just a set of blue eyes staring back at me. Okay, there's the foot. That is the stock. It's the first piece. There's the little thing down there. And the body, I think, can also be down here as well. Right, that's two parts. I think there's two more we need to grab. And there's the other one. There's the handle. All we're missing now is the little bottle, which is there. Oh, perfect, man. Only problem I'm having right now is ammo. We've got nothing. Right, let's just chuck a grenade here. Made a shit ton of That is a joke, man. Come the fuck on. Right, there's that. And finally, the little bottle. Perfect. Okay, give me the slick fire. I absolutely hate these jumping jack little shit. Oh my god, bro. I'm actually I'm like actually scared of these things. It's so bad. All right, there we go. Now we've got to do if it's not already built, I'm not too sure if it stays throughout the games. So we've got to build a nav card table, then we've got to st step on the gold symbols, excuse me. Right, okay. Now we've just got to find the other uh, gold symbol that actually lights up because it is random if you've got the mod on. Oh, I didn't realize this thing went further down. Holy. Right, now we should be going on the roof. And that we are. Thank you very much. Right, let's just quickly run and see if it is this symbol up here. If it is, that is incredible RNG. No. Of course it isn't. But let's see if Jug's here. That is Jug. Thank you very much. Do feel a lot safer now, considering we don't have quick revive, so we could literally lose everything. Yeah, fuck it. Let's grab an MP5 while we're up here. Let's go see if it's the quick revive symbol then, since we're up here anyway. I actually hate waiting around for elevators on this map, man. It's actually such a piss take. Like, literally the only way back up to the floor we were just on, like, in the starting room, is through the elevator. Pick up quick revive again for the second time. That's our second quick revive. It's only round seven, bro. I'm so bad at Black Ops 2. It's unbelievable. Right, okay. It does have a chance of being the one outside quick revive, but it's very slick. 
him. It is that one. Very cool. Okay, now we've got to go snipe these little fucking dragon ball things. Like, you know what I mean. Right, let's grab an SVU off the wall here and let's head downstairs. Maxis is absolutely yapping about something. I don't know what he's on about. Right, okay. So that one. Yep. And then that. Oh, no. That one. Cool. Now, because we're doing Richthoff inside, we actually have to shoot them instead of picking these up. So fuck this zombie off. And let's just shoot these. Right, there's one. We've got to do the other one as well. We've got to be a little bit careful. New round has started, so I'm going to quickly fire my last 10 shots into this ball here. Please hurry up. There we go. That should be it. Is it spinning? I can't tell. Oh, it's not spinning. Fuck. Oh, now we've got to, be, we've got to wait for our max ammo now. Fuck's sake. You know, if I had any other weapon but the fucking SVU, this would be great. But, like, I just don't. Well, the PDW's on the wall there, to be fair. Fuck it. Let's grab a PDW. Right, that's not a bad weapon at all. Right, I wonder if we can finish off this other ball here with these other shots I've got. There we go. Right, cool. Now we just need trample steam kills, and once that's done, it's Mahjong Step. Our ammo situation is scaring me a little bit, though. I've already jotted down a couple of the ones that we've seen. I know that north is first, and I know blue equals west, I think. After that, though, I know basically nothing. Right, I'm going to let this trample steam do its thing. We should be just about nearly there. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Right, hang on, hang on, hang on. Bro, reload the fucking gun. Holy shit. There we go. Oh, my God, that's round. That's not good. I think that's facing the tower as well. Uh, I hope it is. We should be nearly done with this step. We are going to need to grab Galva Knuckles as well, which is annoying. But we've got the point budget to do it anyway, so it's fine. Right, I'm not going to lie. I don't think the trample steam was in the right position <laughs> otherwise i feel like that would have worked by now right let's go grab another trample steam right we got a fresh trample steam here let's go back up and try this again also speed caller would be a shout i can't oh, it's gone fuck's sake right let's hop on here right we got nice max ammo here i'm gonna slap down my trample steam in that it'll charge up before the zombies start spawning and actually point it towards the tower this time right there we go you ever get the feeling that you're doing something wrong yeah yeah me too me too oh no there we go it did it i think i think anyway that just took far too many zombies yeah it did it all right cool it's on Right, now we just need to release the energy. So now it's Mahjong time. So I'm going to have to go about and look at all these locations. I don't know them all. We're going to grab who's who for shits and gigs. It's tutorial time, bro. Okay, I believe we have the order. If not, I'm going to kick myself because I think I've actually just outsmarted this. We do, however, need to grab Galva Knuckles. So before we go up there, I'm going to go quickly run back down and grab them. And there's the Galva Knuckles. Now, hopefully, if I'm not stupid, we can do this first try. I believe the correct order is North, South, East, West. And if it is, I'm going to be so happy. So we have north, south, west, east. Yes! Oh my god, we did it. Thank fuck for that. Oh my god, that took far too long. We actually completed the Diarize Easter egg. Holy. Right, okay, here we are again. Mob of the Dead. Now, Mob of the Dead is a map I know pretty fucking well. Like, I'm not gonna lie. I used to play this this stuff when I was literally like six with my brother, bro. If you're watching this, by the way, hi. <laughs> Just up my FOV a little bit there. Sorry if it looks a little bit weird, but essentially the Mob of the Dead Easter egg is fly the plane three times, get the golden spork, blah, blah, blah. Everybody knows how this shit works. Also, if you grab the double points on round one, you are a batty man. Hands down has to be one of my favorite zombies maps ever. It was the start of Jason Blundell's golden era. Little did he know he'd make Black Ops 4, which would upset the community for a fucking lifetime, apparently. Even though it wasn't even that bad of a game, man. I think we're just going to wait a little bit here for them to spawn in just so we can start to grab the uh, points here because we don't have any bullets and I don't want to waste points on the M4 and the Olympia, purely because all the doors in this map are so fucking expensive, it's ridiculous. Probably get some decent points in here, though. Come on, where are they at? Oh, perfect. Cheeky 800 points. Right, okay, let's see if the Warden's Key's here. It is not brilliant. What I'm going to do is, if I remember the route from, like, all these years ago, I should be able to get all this done in the Wanna. So, you go up here, you go around there, shock that, and this one. Then what you do is you jump up here, get that, that one. Bro, I'm so fucking good at Mob of the Dead, it's unbelievable. Get that one. Get that one. See, now you feel the tension starting to creep up because you can hear your heartbeat. Get that one on. And that's basically almost the entire map open. Now you just have to go down here, do the showers. But first off, we need the Warden's Key, so let's go back up here because I'm not an idiot. I promise. I'm going to grab one of these off the wall as well. Right, there's the Warden's Key. Box is in here. That's nice to know. Right, let's get this door unlocked and we'll go turn on the uh, generator for the washing machine. And after that, we need to go start filling up the dogs because we do need the Hell's Retriever. It's also just good to have in general. The Hell's Retriever is probably one of the best, like, tactical secondaries or whatever you want to call it. We had in Black Ops 2. Right, there we go. The MP5 in BO2, hands down, has to be my favorite weapon ever. Got an insta kill here, very nice. Means we can rack up some extra points here. Right, okay, grab this. I want to try and end this round really quick here because I want to be able to fill up the dog. I realized that we probably could have done it with all these zombies, but like, points is another league of great. Right, that is round, cool. Right, let's get this dog head done. Max ammo, very, very nice. Right, that should be one. 
I really hate doing this on a higher round than like one, bro. <laughs> because the two hit system makes this so much more nerve wracking. It's oh, it's unbelievable. I think two more needs should be done. Maybe three, I'm not sure. Oh, oh my god, no, there we go. He's done already. Cool. Right, let's grab some ammo for the MP5. And we're gonna go run up to the gondola and just go down the docks now. Get juggernaut and stuff on, get the generators on, blah blah blah. Bro, I absolutely love Mob of the Dead. I know I keep saying it, but it's just such a good map. And we got everything on before, so we're chilling, bro. All right, let's get this open. Grab quickly grab the shield piece here. Right, that's that open. Very cool. Right, I'm convinced we can quickly do these as well. It's that one, that one, and that one. I will say something, though. The map on solo is ridiculously easy compared to when you're playing with other people. I think we're going to save our points for Jug and just fill up this dog head here since it's only round five. And I'm going to look for the shield piece as well because it's always in here. Yeah, it's on the shelf. There it is. Right, let's start this dog off then. Honestly, insane to think that this feature was so good they brought it back in BO3 with the dragon heads and Dorais and Drac. It's, it's, this map was so innovative. Oh my god, okay, we barely made it out of that. Right, let's quickly get Jug on here, grab that, and then I'm pretty sure we're done down here for now. Oh wait, no, we can do the rigging. Let's do the rigging. Get that on. Buy this shit. Shit. Also gonna grab myself a Tommy gun here. Right, okay, let's see if the shield piece is here. It is not. It can also be around this corner, can't it? Right, it's not there. It's, it's right, it's up here. Cool. Let's open this door here. Unlock this. Bro, I am on it like a fucking carb on it. There's our final shield piece as well. Nine, seven, one. Okay, cool. Now we've just got to get past this absolute fucking horde of zombies to get down to the rigging, and that's going to make it way easier. And there's the rigging. Right, we can literally take off now, but I'd rather get the uh, the, the blunder gap first before we do anything and then convert it to the Asagat and stuff like that because I just want to be set up. You know how it is. And off we go. I think I'm going to go spend my last thousand points on the box. Hopefully we get something decent because this Tommy gun's great and everything. Also grab the engines here. It's just the fact that, like, it drops off so fast after about, like, round 10. I just want something decent. Like that, that'll do. <laughs> I forget how overpowered the weapons are on this map. Oh, fucking name a more iconic duo. I'll wait. See, look at that, man. We just made fucking 5k points. Also, the acid gas... Uh, acid gas? Acid gas... I can't speak. Acid gas bit is here, isn't it? Yeah, it is. There we go. For some reason, whenever I hit record on OBS, my, like, English dialect just turns to fucking mush. Right, let's grab ourselves the shield here. We are also looking for the, um, the green little acid blob. There, there it is. Nice. Then the briefcase is just dotted about. I can never remember exactly where it is. Gonna grab an Uzi off the wall here. Of course we get a max ammo as soon as we swap it out, bro. What a fucking coincidence. Ah, oh, fuck. That is such a cock block, man. Come on. Never mind. Dog's done anyway. It's fine. Right, let's quickly get the roof open, and then we'll head down and grab the Hell's Retriever, get the free blunder guy, and we're off. You can tell how much better I know this map already in comparison to something like Die Rise. Okay, the briefcase is at spawn. We can grab that before we leave because we need it anyway to make it into the blunder gas. I always forget double taps actually down here. And there we go. Right, the real test of skill here is can I remember where all the skulls are? And I actually think I can. There's one. There's a briefcase. And there's two. I don't think we got that one actually. I think it just hit off the thing. Yeah, there we go. We got it now. And there's two by the docks, and then there's the other one on the roof, and then that's it. Right, the first one's down here, from what I can remember, but it's going to be a little bit difficult considering it's a new round. Hang on. It's this one, isn't it? Yep, there we go. You know what it is? I absolutely adore the Uzi. I think it's one of the best weapons on this map, but it just has no ammo in its clip. It's absolutely ridiculous. Oh, fuck. Brutus. Where's he spawned? I didn't even see him. Oh, there he is. Absolute easy peasy. Right, we don't even need that buildable table. We're not going to use it anyway. Ah, fuck. This one always gave me trouble as a kid, and it still does now. There we go. Right, that, that was actually pretty easy considering how much I used to struggle with that. Let's grab electric cherry here. It's where the perk originated. It'd be wrong to not pick it up. Right, we'll grab this final skull, build the plane, and then we'll go grab the gl glat The blunder gas. <laughs> <laughs> that should be it, hopefully. Yeah. Oh, shit. Okay. Oh, 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 oh. Right, let's get this plane built. And there we go. Well, now, let's go pick up our free blunder gas. Quickly at the box, you know, see if we can get it out of here first. Imagine if we do. That would be insane. No, never mind. <laughs> right, okay. One of the coolest wonder weapons we've ever seen in zombies, the blunder gas. Now, we're going to go conv Now we're gonna go convert it to the uh, acid gas here, and then get it up to the Viltrotic Withering, and it's genuinely, I'd argue, better than the fucking thunder gun. Even though that shit's infinite damage, it's just infinitely cooler, bro. Right, there we go. We got an acid gat now. And honestly, I think I'm ready to just go fly. For the Easter egg, we need to fly three times to the bridge anyway, so doing one of them now probably isn't going to hurt. If you don't do that with your Hell's Retriever, you just have wrong him. Right, I'm just going to clear this round, upgrade my Blunder Gat, then get out of here. There's nothing really much to this place other than the Pack-A-Punch machine, and also probably packing the Death Machine wouldn't be a bad idea, but I just can't be arsed. Next time we come here, though, we'll do the Hell's Redeemer. Right, let's get this Blunder Gat Pack-A-Punched here. Quickly. Okay. Um. Holy shit, go for the acid thing, not me. Oh my god. Bro, I used 
every ounce of my fucking brain power to get out of that. We need a new shield now, fuck's sake. Right, the death machine's great and all, but not giving us stamina up alongside the biggest map in fucking BO2, aside from transit, is actually criminal. Right, we've just got to fly the plane three times, so we just need to wait until the end of this round. That's perfect. Quickly grab some speed cooler here, it'll just make everything that little bit easier. We can also run downstairs and grab double tap and switch that on and shit. I want to get rid of this death machine though, because I just can't be arse looking it about. Right, the Galil, that's actually kind of perfect. Ooh, let's see if we can get a ray gun, actually. I really want like, like a little pistol or something. Come on, you don't even want to give it to me? No, okay. Galil it is then. Right, there's the first fuel can. There's the second fuel can. I think there's another one down here with the big tank things. Yeah, there's one down there. Then we need showers and the one we go up to the roof. Yeah, that's fine. Bro, we're speedrunning this. It's such a shame that they never really took advantage of like the, like this part of Alcatraz because they could have done so much more with this map. I guess then it would have been a, maybe a little bit too big, but at the same time, it would have been so cool, man. Let's grab ourselves another shield here. And this is our second time going to the bridge, I think. So what we're going to do is we're going to save that zombie before we leave because there'll be one on the bridge. We can kill him, then come back, and then the, the fuel counts will be back. And we're going to do this stuff with the Hell's Redeemer this time. And off we go. You know the thing maybe to steer the plane, like, just a like, little bit more to the right after, like, you know, maybe the second time of crashing in the exact same place? <laughs> Who am I, right? Got a Galil packed here, you know, get that lamentation. Arguably one of the coolest ARs ever. I'm glad they brought it back from BO2. Right, and let's get the fuck. I think we'll do the Hell's Redeemer on the last one because I shot Brutus there and we're not allowed to do that. See, I'm using 100% of my brain power right now, bro. Right, now hopefully the fuel can should just spawn back in. Yep, there we go. Cool. One. Well, that's unfortunate. I just got down by a fucking Brutus. It wasn't even mainly my fault. It was the fucking vitriolic withering. Oh my god. Um, Run! Holy shit! Bro, we need points for Jug. This is crazy. Did we open this door? We did, okay. We really about to complete this? No Jug? That'd be kind of crazy, I'm not gonna lie. There's no way that was the entirety of round 14. Fuck off. Right, okay, I think we're gonna stay down here and try grab some Jug. Just for a little bit anyway, because without Jug, we're not getting anywhere. Right, okay, we made it. And we did get Jug. The only two that are left now is the one down here and then the one on the way up. And then we can start that. Right, this should be the last time we have to do this. Once we've done this, we can start on the spoon. And then I'm pretty sure we could do the Hell's Redeemer if we really want to. But I don't know if I'm arsed. I don't know if it's actually required. I really don't think it is. Right, now we just got to wait for the chairs. Then we'll head back and start the spoon. All right, so with a bit of luck and hopefully if it's going to work properly, this should just come off. There we go. Cool. Right, let's go shock the spoon. And then let's go grab it out the cafeteria. There we go. There we go. Now I'm pretty sure we have to input the codes. I don't think the golden spork's required. I will double check really quick though. Okay, so yeah, no, we don't need the spork. We're pretty much good to go. All we have to do now is enter this massive fucking code and there's no way I'm banging it out in every single one. So I think we might have to do this like incrementally with two, like two afterlives, which I'm not too fussed about. So it is one, zero. I have to go all the way down. Fuck. One, zero, one, three, eight, six. 872, and then it's 481. Yeah, there's no way we're doing that. I'm going to go do it again. Run! Oh my god, okay. And then the last one's 481, then we're pretty much done. That's it. Oh my god, there's a bot down the bottom. I've only just clocked because there's a, a boss fight coming up. Man like K. Tovsky. Three arc. It's unbelievable how easy this Easter egg actually is. We're probably going to die, I'm not going to lie, when we go to the bridge and fight this cunt. But, you know, it's fine. We still completed anyway. We're nearly there. And I think up here, this should actually be the final set of headphones. Yep. Now, all to let now, now, all the now all that's left to do is kill this zombie, grab our afterlife, and get to fuck. Here we go. Now, I've got no clue whether or not I'm going to beat this guy. He's a bot, so maybe, but I don't know. Wow, man. this was so It's such a cool Easter egg, even though it's so simple actually insane and there's my man there that's who we're gonna be fighting bro wait so do we have to res him or do you do it i think we've got a res him oh my god here we go <laughs> there we go mob of the dead easter egg done <laughs> <laughs> that was ridiculous. There we go. That is Mob of the Dead completed. Wow, I've never actually done that before. What a sick Easter egg, man. Genuinely. Right, okay. This is the final Victus map before the grand finale, which is Origins. But this is the actual end of the Victus storyline as of now. Well, you could argue that Tag the Totem continued it, but I don't really count that. I'm going to end the first round here just so we have enough points to, you know, open some stuff up and get the power on and stuff. But then we'll get the box locked down, spin that for the Paralyzer, and then we'll start on the Richtofen side Easter egg. I know we did Maxis for Transit with the boys. But that was mainly because the Richtoff inside required that you build a jet gun. I just couldn't be bothered. Right, okay, let's go. Right, let's build our Remington Chalk wall by whatever the fuck. It just gets us a thousand points. Nobody ever buys this. Grab Quick Revive. And what we'll do real quick is go up here. We are playing as stu- I was about to call him fucking- The thing Misty calls him stupid joke. We're playing as, um, Stoolinger right now. So we are going to hear all the Richtofen quotes, which is a little bit nice. There's our crystal. That's what I was looking for. Right, and let's get the power on. There we go. And for shits and gigs, let's quickly grab an M16. Just so we have something, you know, shoot the zombies with. And we can also go stick this piece on our guillotine here. Right, let's get Arthur. I'm still going to call him Leroy. Let's get Leroy out of this cage. Right, let's grab the booze here. There we go. Take that. Now, with a bit of RNG, the booze 
will spawn back in there. And it did. Let's go. Grab this. And I'm going to get him to open Juggernog as well. It's really quick. All right, there we go. All right, now we should have enough to open the candy shop as well and get the box locked down. We could also go use the bank as well to get enough points to grab all this shit. Bro, buried is so easy, man. It's ridiculous. All right, let's quickly get him to lock down this box then. Please lock it down. There we go. Holy shit, it's round three. Calm down. All right, let's go get the bank open. Withdraw all of the points that I have available to me. Spin the box. Grab Jug. You know, all that good stuff. Buried is one of the easiest maps out there. So hopefully we have a little bit left over. We do. All right, there's the wire for the guillotine. We need the Galva Knuckles. The dish is up there, and then the antenna is in the barn. So we'll, get, we'll work on that. There's that. There's the dish. Now, you see, the question is now, how the fuck do we get back into that barn? I can never remember. I think you have to go all the way back up. Yeah, we'll do that. And we're back. Yeah, the, the last part for the gu uh, guillotine, guillotine, I don't know, is down here. It's a little antenna. Uh, well, it is down here, isn't it? Now, oh, there it is. Right, let's get this open. Cheeky little shortcut back down to where we need to be. We can also grab Jug after we've done this. And we've basically just got to spam the box for a bunch of stuff that we need. Right, guillotine's built. Now, we just need to spin the box, like I said. We can also draw the galvan knuckles on the wall here and pick them up. All right, thank you very much. Grab ourselves some jug as well. And now it's box time. Watch us get it first right. Come on. Come on. Come on. All the time bomb. Something cool. That is not something cool. Cap 40. That's another pistol. I didn't like that. I think we just got the box pepper perk as well. The Galil. Come on, man. Monkey bombs. They're good, but I don't know if you can have them at the same time as the time bomb. I'm not too sure. The S12, bro. Come on. We're going to get every gun but the paralyze. I'm convinced. That's the Mark 2. I'll take that. And there's the paralyze. Bro, we're actually set up. We just need the time bomb now, but we'll worry about that when we need to worry about it. All right. Let's get these orbs done then. There's the first. First one. All right, there's one. There's a one in the um the mines up above, so we'll go on top of the saloon and do that one. Right, here's the other one. Now we need to grab the booze for Leroy to destroy the church, and then once we've done that, we have to go into the witch's hut. All right, there's our booze. Perfect. I want him to open the church purely because I just want Vulture in for the wisp step. It just makes it ten times easier. All right, there we go. And there's a, another ball here. Cool. That's it. Got one more to go. All right, I'm just gonna mail it until I have enough points for Vulture because I want that to be my fourth. We're actually speed running the buried Easter egg. Holy. All right, there's Vulture I prefer going into the witch house with literally no points so this works out perfect i'm pretty sure you can just jump over the rock with a paralyzer as well yeah you can cool wait for the bookshelf here i really couldn't give a fuck if they're taking my 50 points bro i came here for one thing and one thing alone and it's this Stamina up, that is literally perfect, that's what I wanted. There's the fourth one, and that's it. Right, now we need to have a look for this fucking lantern. I have no idea where it spawns. I think it's towards the witch's house, though. Yeah, it's here, okay. Right, we need to cook a grenade, and then get it down from the sky. Well, that was shit. One, two, three, four. Did that not do it? What the fuck, bro? That's not fair. Two, three, four. Thank you very much. Now we need to go back to the witch's house and charge the cunt up. Right, now we just need witch kills. Right, it should be one more witch, and then it should be full. No, how many witches is it? Is it ten? I have a feeling there might be ten. Right, I think we've done it. Rick Toffin's speaking to us now. We've got to go place it back at the saloon thing and then get the code. Honestly, on a scale of difficulty, Buried has to be one of the easiest steps in completing the super Easter egg for Black Ops 2 because its Easter egg is actually ridiculously easy. We're going to go withdraw a couple more points from the bank because I need to grab the time bomb for this next step because we're going around infinity. Oh my god, have I run out of points? No, I haven't. Right, okay, now we've just got to hit the box about a thousand more times and it's a little bit annoying because we can't even swap out like the Mark 2. Maybe we should grab Mule Kick? I don't know. We can't grab Mule Kick. Oh, do you know what? Fuck it. I'm swapping out the Mark 2. I just really want to get this as fast as possible. Okay, the Raygun Mark 1. <laughs> time bomb. Perfect. And we get to keep some form of a Raygun. That's nice. Right, okay. Now, let's go into... Oh, can you... How do you get up there without using the Paralyzer? <laughs> Bless me. I think you have to go up here. Because the Paralyzer on Plutonium is so buggy. Let's see if we can do this then. Oh, zombie, you just absolutely cock-blocked me. Chuck the lantern on there. Now, what the fuck does this mean? <laughs> <laughs> right, okay, now we need to go look for these fucking corresponding shafts. I did note them down because I had a key up in the last cut. So we need to find dry gulcher shaft, wherever the fuck that is. That's that one. Then we need lunge undermines. And then we need Bone Orchard Vein, I think. Where the fuck's Bone Orchard Vein at? That's Consumption Cross. Is it through here? Ground Bitter Pits. Bone Orchard Vein. There it is. Cool. Right. Now we've just got to follow this. Where'd it go? Oh, it's there. Okay. Right. There's the third. Oh, where'd it go? What the fuck? Bro. Where'd it go? It just vanished. I'm confused. Did we get it? Wait, hang on. I'm hella confused. Did we run out of time or some shit? Okay, let's end around. Bro, the wisp has just vanished. Right, let's try knifing these again then, shall we? Right. Dry Gulcher Shaft. Then we need the Lunger Old Undermines, which is this one. And then I'm pretty sure the third one's over by here. Now we need to go and do the wisp again. That was really weird. Did it just vanish? Like, did we fail the step? Ah, right. I think we ran out of time. Right, there it is. It's through there again. And then it's up there. We've basically just got to push this thing to the guillotine, and that is what we're doing. I don't know how many seconds you actually have to do this, but I don't think it's many if that's how fucking quick it went off. Has it gone again? Holy shit, that's... Uh, bro, that's ridiculous. Bro, where the fuck even is that? All right, there we go. Finally, I think I got it. 
I don't know. Did we get it? Yes? No? Is this Wisp Zombie Step now? I'm really not sure what I'm doing. Yes, it is. Okay, cool. Right, okay, yeah. I had to do that off camera. That was ridiculous, man. Put my fucking parkour skills to use. All right, yeah. We just got to get Wisp Zombie kills now. There. Oh, don't run away. There's three. Right, there's four. I think it's six kills you need. Or five. I'm really not sure. Right, yeah, yeah. There we go. Right, we're done. Right, now we need to go into round one Finity. So, stick that on there. And then, off we go. Nothing was found. This is arguably one of the worst steps searching for this fucking switch. Oh my god. And you can't kill any of the zombies either. There's another body. Nothing was found. There's Misty. Nothing was found. Okay, I kind of guess we weren't going to get that first try because a lot of this Easter egg is just timing. But we'll get a max ammo soon enough. And we'll do it next time. Right, okay, I grabbed a max ammo. It's time for a second bash at this. All right, let's give it a go then. And we fucked it up again. All right, third time's a charm. I just need another max ammo. Fuck's sake. Okay, we got another max ammo. We got another bash at this. All right, I'm going to hope this time that the bodies are just like kind of next to each other and not like miles away right, let's give it a go okay nobody there is there one here quickly search it nothing was found fuck's sake okay, there's another one here please just have it on you oh my god man steel ninja please hook me up bro oh my god <laughs> there's nobody there and there's not one here either oh my god fuck off bro i think we actually might have the most terrible rng known to fucking man I am forgetting about this body that can spawn over there, so we're gonna have to get that open just so we can double check it next time we go over. Booze is in here. Okay, that's fine. Okay, now we're just waiting on a max ammo again. Oh my god, like the fucking wind. Here we go. Right, this is gonna be it this time. Come on. We've got it, we've got it, we've got it, we've got it. So a body there. No, there is not. So a body no, that's not. There's one here though. Nothing was found. So one there. Hurry up. Nothing was found. I don't think any more bodies can actually be through here. We're gonna run. But even with stamina up, this shit takes forever. We've got it this time. Come on. Surely. Found a switch. Yes, let's go. Right, we're done. Right, now we just need to do the process of elimination step and then sharpshooter. I don't know if we actually have to do sharpshooter now that we're playing solo, but I'm not too sure. Absolutely perfect. And we're back. With all of these zombies still here, what the actual fuck? Bro, that's got troll -a -la 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 Right, here's the final piece. Right, now we've got to go flip all these levers through here. Now, I can't remember if there's the way to actually figure out which order they go in. I think it's really just process of elimination, though. Would love a fifth perk right now, I'm not going to lie. I'm hoping for speed call or a double tap. Oh, I guess we're not getting a free perk then. Fuck you too. Right, we need to find the switches now. There's not one there. Is there one on the back of this? Right, okay, let's give blue a try. If not, we'll just run back through. See, I don't I don't know how this works, bro. I can't lie. Right, first order we've tried is blue, green, yellow, red. Well, I mean, if it was going to work, it would have done it by now, surely. Okay, I think we're onto something here because two of them have stayed down. Hang on. So I've just pulled green there. Now we need to find blue. If not, we know the order is the first two that are already down and then blue, green. Oh, wait, no, red and blue are already down. So it's, so it's green, yellow? Bro, this step is so confusing for what it is. Here we fucking go. Thank the heavens. Oh my god, that, I think that was like my sixth attempt at doing that. That took so long. Oh, take my money. I don't give a fuck. Go buy yourself something nice. This recording's 40 minutes long and I'm only starting to use the first minute. Holy shit, that took so long. I don't think we have to do the sharpshooter step because I think it just does it for us. Did we do it? I think we did it. We did it! Right, only one way to find out. Let's go see if the tower at the top of Buried is lit up. And if it is, we did good. I think, anyway. Actually, wait, it should be lit up on the box, no? Yes! Let's go! Okay, I think we finally did Buried. I want to go double check, though, and make sure the tower's lit up. We got all the perks as well. That's another indicator. I just want to go see the tower. And yeah, look, look, look. There's blue sparks coming off the tower. We have actually finished Buried. Holy shit, that took so long. You guys have no idea. Right, well, on the Origins, the grand finale, and with that, in a bit. Okay, the last piece of the puzzle here. Well, not really, we just did a Victus map, but you get what I mean. Origins, the final map to release for Black Ops 2, and arguably the best one. Oh, that is perfect, the double points on round one. Hang on, right, hang on, hang on, hang on. We can make the absolute most out of this year. Right, 2k points, that's not bad. Let's try to get the gen on before the double points expires, because I think that gives us a little bit more pointage. It's also knife these guys, because we get 20 points per thing. The fact that we don't have gobble gums really gives you that, like, need for all the points you can grab in the earlier rounds like that should also be a double points here yep we should also grab a shovel we've already done that i've got dementia apparently but yeah i'm gonna kind of stay in here and get as many points as i can because we don't have a thing called never mind we don't have a thing called shopping free and gobble gums don't exist in this version of the game so we've got to kind of be careful of what we're spending our points on and shit like that right that was probably the most perfect we could have done it we nearly got 5k points right let's go through here good rng for the shield piece uh no so not also 
snowing yet, so we don't really have to worry too much about that. We're gonna grab an MP40 off the wall, and we'll get this next generator on. We also need to do that at an early round, because we can't just spawn insta-kills in. Right, let's grab this blue disc, and let's get the generator on. Get as many knife kills as I can here. I can't see the robot coming, so I don't think we need to worry about that too much. Let's grab this shield piece here. All right, let's go through no man's land and get this other side on here. Just in case as well that the robot comes, we do have both sides open. I'm just gonna keep double checking just as we're doing this. Especially with Black Ops 2, I feel like I can be very optimized with this easter egg. Okay, it's just uh, that's Gen 6, I think. Or might be middle, I'm not too sure. But yeah, I think I'm very optimized when it comes to Solo and Origins, which you kind of have to be if you want to do it successfully, especially on a game like this. Okay, right, let's quickly go and see if the shield piece is through here, which it should be. There's the visor, that is exactly what I wanted. Now we just need to worry about Gen 4 5 piece, and we only need to worry now about getting No Man's Land open, and it's round 3, so we're doing quite well. We need 1250 points. As for staffs, I think we're going to get the lightning staff out the way first, purely because it's the one that takes the longest and the one I'm not the most accustomed to, especially with these little... Oh, I thought it would be a power box there. Especially with the little power boxes and stuff around the map. I'm not too versed on them, so I have to look up a guide every time I want to do the light and stuff. So I feel like doing it on a low round will definitely help out. I ideally want to be like a little... All right, it's snowing. Okay, cool. As I was saying, though, I ideally want to be a little bit set up before round eight, just before the Panzer comes, because I really don't want to take it down then. Because I can't be all spinning the Wonder Fizz to get a quick revive piece. Okay, please give me the piece. No, we're just getting blood money. I don't mind points, but like I'd ideally like the piece. Is that all three robots coming? Yes, it is. Right, I'm going to quickly check if it's this one. I can't tell. Is this one? It is. Okay, I may or may not have took it down, but honestly, it's worth the win staff piece. Right, there we go. That was an amazing call for me to double check that robot there, and that was great RNG that it was on that side, but we did take it down. So, let's go grab Quick Revive, but let's not try take any more downs. Right, I would like that to be the last time we buy Quick Revive, but I have a feeling it just won't be. Bro, any drop apart from, like, 50-point blood monies would be amazing right now, I can't lie. Like, I feel like every time we've had blood money, it's just gave us fucking 50 points. Right, I need a Gen 4-5 dig site here, because I need to try and get as many ice pieces as I can before the snow goes away. Bro, we're just getting 50 points every time this isn't fair or funny okay this should be the ice piece dsr 50 i guess so right it should be here hopefully perfect oh wait did we not just oh my god i've actually got dementia we didn't grab gen 2 3 look at me talking about efficiency and all this shit and i can't even grab pieces i kind of refuse to believe we've run out of digs okay no. that is not what i wanted is there a one up here nope is there a one back here it's a one here though okay right that's the other ice piece that's perfect before i end the round as well i'm gonna go switch on gen 4 because it's just easier to do it while there's no zombies you can also grab the i think the lightning disc is over there is that middle robot no that's not middle that's gen 6 there's our lightning staff piece. Right, it looks like we're going to have to afford to take a round here because I don't think we're going to have enough points to open the Gen 6 area, which is a little bit unfortunate, but if it ends up being that it stops snowing after this round, so be it. I guess we can't really do anything. I also really want to grab Jug, so... Ah, fuck, man. Come on. I really thought it would have stayed. That's unfortunate. Anyway, we move. We move. All right, middle robot's up. I need to see where about it. Is that middle robot? That is middle robot. Okay. I, like, ideally do want to get this as well. I can't wait. Is that middle robot? Bro, bro that's not even middle robot. That's Gen 2, 3. What am I, what am I stressing about? What am I stressing about? It's fine. That double points would be greatly appreciated. All right, I feel a lot safer now that we got Jug. I did take another down, unfortunately, but that's okay. All right, there's the other shield piece that we need. That should really help prevent other downs because I just can't be arsed, man. This is one of them maps that if you lose all your progress, you're not playing the game for another week. <laughs> okay, I'm praying that it starts snowing this round. Come on. You know you want to? Oh, does it fuck? Right, let's try to get a better weapon than the, M the fucking MP40 here because this DSR is not doing it. Raygun, absolutely perfect. That should help out. That should help out a lot, actually. Especially with Panzer coming up soon. I do also want to grab Quick Revive for the fucking third time already. Origins is genuinely unforgiven, man. Let's grab the third Quick Revive that we have to use here. That is not ideal at all. Okay, maybe we can get some melee kills here and try and farm up some points. Or this might be the last two zombies. I'm not too sure. Oh, wait, no, they're still spawning. Okay, okay. Right, that's the last zombie. Right, hopefully it starts snowing. Come on. Nope, it's raining. Fuck's sake. Right, let's try and get this rock filled up before anything. I think you can use the shield in BO2. I'm not too sure. Yes, you can. Okay. Okay. Okay, right, well, let's go grab another shield since, you know, we already fucking broke that one. And there's our shield again. Right, let's head back over to the church really quick so we can try finish off this stone by the end of this round. I also want to get Gen 6 and 5 on. I'm not too sure we're going to get 5 on this round, but we can at least try. We can also grab Fire Disc. We haven't done that. We can also run around on the tank and grab Lightning Pieces. God, there's so much you can be doing in this map. Jason Blundell really thought of everything. Okay, uh, is that Gen 6? Was it middle? That's middle robot. Okay, right, we've got Wind Staff Piece coming up here, potentially. Right, to this side. Right, okay, perfect. We made it into the robot. Now we just need to grab this fucking wind staff piece. And there it is. Right, 
right, now we're waiting on Gen 6 for that. We can also grab the disc while we're down here. Turn on Gen 5. Bunch of shit we can be doing. Right, Panda's going to spawn this round, so let's quickly get this Gen on. Billy Brown, thank you for the sub, bro. Okay, that ray gun made that far too easy. Right, that's our first fire staff piece. Great, great, great. Right, let's continue getting melee kills here. And once it's cleansed, we'll turn on Gen 6. Right, okay, the stone's cleansed. We're going to leave that in there for now. Right, let's get this last generator on. Grab the other fire stone piece. Stone? Fire staff piece. Oh, if that's Gen 6 robot as well. I'll be a bit sad because I don't think we're going to get it in time if it is. Oh my god, it's this foot! Holy shit! Right, okay, perfect. Perfect, perfect, perfect. Right, it's ended round as well, so we should hopefully get snow. And that's our wind staff basically built. We can start on that soon. Hopefully it snows this round. I think it should. Is it really not snow? Okay, whatever. Okay, zombie blood. Grab a fire staff piece here. We've also got our fire staff built, which is nice. I'm going to leave that rock in there just for now, because it's not really something we need to prioritize. I want to go about shooting this plane down as well before we do anything. Wherever the fuck it is, there it is. Right, there's our fire staff basically built. We just need the disc, which I should have picked up before. Beforehand. There's a fire disc, that's that, and then we just need the Gen 5 disc. While we're going for this yellow disc, actually, I think we're going to grab stamina up as well, just because it's almost like a must on this map, especially in Black Ops 2. There's a yellow disc, very nice. Right, let's go make a start on the lightning staff pieces, and then if it ends the round and it snows, we'll grab the final ice one, and then once that's done, we can start upgrading them all and building them all and shit like that. This guy doesn't make it on the tank, I'll be very happy, but I feel like he's going to. Right, we've got our first jump coming up here. Hopefully, we make it first try. I really hope we do, because I can't be asked to go. All the way back around for the sake of one measly piece perfect right there's one of our lightning staff pieces that's gonna go to gen 2 anyway and there's only one zombie left so let's go grab our stone and chuck that into gen 2 we'll also grab another shield so we can start on the melee kills for that ah fuck the zombie died right okay never mind it's snowing it's fine it's fine it's fine let's quickly go and grab gen 6's piece here hopefully it's just first excite please nope okay you want to give me 150 points it's fine oh what gen is it three fuck's sake i think they'll take three to be fair with you with the route we've gone i don't know why i've gone so far around it the max ammo would be really nice though but i don't think we're gonna get it because of bo 2 shitty sprinting system nah it's gone fuck's sake man what a joke i fucking hate templar zombies man sod off thank you all right generators are back on there's our fucking i was about to say sixth piece there's our actual ice staff piece that we need i'm gonna start carefully killing these zombies because i need to know which one's last so i can go take this stone to where it needs to be i think that's the last zombie right it is all right set the stone down all right that's literally all i wanted to do and i'm pretty sure we have everything but the lightning staff pieces which we can go do now it's off right let's try get the double piece here because i just can't be bothered to go back around Got the lightning staff piece run 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 have we made it i don't know if we've made it i don't know if we've made it oh just about and with that that is all the parts for the staffs and we did that in under half an hour holy fuck i'm sad <laughs> <laughs> right, all that's left to do now is go unlock the mound, and once we've done that, we can grab the gramophone, black disc, all that shit, and we can start on all the staffs. I'm gonna do the fire staff last, as it's the only one that requires kills, but I'm pretty sure we can get the rest of them upgraded by the end of next round, apparently now. Fuck's sake. <laughs> it's fine, don't worry about it. Ooh, what's this? Uh, all left apart. That's a black disc, thank you. Okay, I'm not gonna stay by the mound when it's new round, especially that we've only got 20 bullets on our ray gun. I'm gonna wait until I can probably pack my ray gun, so I'm just gonna stick around and get points on my mp40 for now we could try fill up gen 6's soul box right now considering that it's actually just gone past so i think we have a decent shot of doing this oh my god okay oh that's a lot of fucking crawlers and that's a max ammo that's beautiful okay never mind i accidentally ended the round again it's fine well fine it's fine it's fine I'm gonna grab myself another shield here as well so we can finish the g strike grenades sooner or later right now though i want to start on the staffs Another Panzer, no match for me, and my fucking trusty ray gun. Oh, maybe when he's right there, though. Wait, he's dead, it's fine. Oh, it's a zombie blood as well, that'd be really useful. Oh, can this guy hurry up and stomp, bro? Right, let's get this ray gun packer punched. Thank you very much, and it looks gorgeous with that camo on. Where is my gramophone? There it is. Right, let's quickly set this down. There's another Maxis drum piece. Right, I think we're going to go start lightning first, so let's go over to the Gen 5 tunnel for lightning, it is. Pretty sure, anyway. Grab the gem, get that built, and we'll start in the upgrade process, as it's one of the easiest apart from the whole you know little fucking dial thingies but it's fine there's our crystal and we just need to head back through craft the staff come back through shoot these fucking teeth i don't know and bob's your uncle okay lightning staff come to me i have the others i don't know what she's on about saying you have to find the others bro look at my inventory right now if i remember the order correctly it is one three uh shit one three four five six three five seven two four six Perfect. Right, Gen 1's going off, so I think we're going to go out through the fire tunnel instead. Don't even know if it's going to give us enough time to get there, really, but we'll give it a go. Oh, wait, you can't do that on this, can you not? Oh, fuck's sake. Gen 1's gone, then. 
Out of all the generators to attack, you choose the one that's furthest away from what I'm doing. Fricks. All right, Gen 2 is fine. We just need to go get Gen 1 back on. What a piss take, man. I swear on BO2, Templar zombies are just a lot more common. Right, ignore the fact I took it down yet. We're just going to do the lightning switches and pretend that nothing happened. There's only one zombie left, so we shouldn't die. And he is respawning, which means he's full health, so you shouldn't die out. All right, spawn needs to be that way. Tank station needs to be like that. Excavation needs to be like that. I think Gen 4 needs to be on down or up or whatever you class is down or up depends. I'm going off a guide that's on my like next monitor, but I'm also going off memory, so I know this one is like that. Gen 5 needs to be on up, I think. And then the other two, I don't know. There's Gen 5. Now, according to this guy, downstairs church needs to be on left, and then upstairs church needs to be on down. And there we go. First try. Holy shit, this one usually always gives me trouble. Right, let's go shoot this, and then that's one staff done. Right, there we go. Right, let's go set this down in its pedestal, and then we can start on ice, which I think is fitting because it's snowing. <laughs> as long as them zombies don't die out, we should be good to finish this Easter egg. Because I can't lie, I don't have enough points for Jug, and if we, you know, round 15 spawns, we're dying instantly on bo2 bro there's the first one sat in there all right so exit out the same way just so we can grab the gramophone and then we can start on ice which i'm pretty sure i know like the back of my hand it's just a puzzle i struggle a little bit with pick up the gramophone and off we go all right we need to make our way over to the ice tunnel which is just around this corner there's our ice gem very nice all right let's go build the ice staff now the first course of action is literally just to build it and run back down here shoot some stuff shoot some other stuff then it's upgraded and with that there's our ice staff now back down to gen 6 this is actually such a piss take solo because you can just have so many different people pulling the the parts for you, the staffs, blah, blah, blah. But no one solo, you've really got to pull your weight with this Easter egg. It's not that it's annoying, it's just tedious. Like, the Easter egg's fun once you get past this part. It's just running back and forth constantly. That's you. Uh, hollow circle should just be one. That one, yep. Building circle is one, but with a line through it. So that's you. Treble filled is a line and then f so you so that should be that one and then that one there we go perfect okay right now we just need to go shoot a bunch of shit but the problem with that is is that we need a bullet gun i wonder if you can do it with grenades but i don't have hope for that we'll give it a go though if not we're gonna have to spend our last 2,000 points on a fucking war weapon right let's see then oh fuck okay right we need like an actual bullet gun oh that is unfortunate man oh we've actually got to swap our fucking ray gun out all oh, right okay whatever 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 oh i think that one actually means we get a pack a punch gun or that is double tap i don't know i think i might actually just be double tap never mind that's unfortunate either way though that we had to swap out the ray gun right, there's one there's the second one get that shot there we go now the last one is a gen 2 which is easy enough because it's just like literally behind the tank station that does remind me that we need to do g strikes once this round ends that needs to be like a priority of ours and there's our third one right cool we'll shoot the blue orb and then that's the ice staff done right there we go blue orb's gone let's head back over to gen 6 stick the ice staff down and let's go craft the wind staff then what's the then once that's done, I think we're going to have to hope and absolutely pray that we don't get fucked over by a panzer or something once this next round goes, because we need jug and stuff if we want to survive. And there's the ice staff. Cool. Right, let's grab the gramophone, head over to Gen 4, grab the little wind rock thing, and then fuck off back over to the crazy place, do another puzzle, and then shoot some more things. Oh my god, this map is so repetitive. This actually is, like, one of the most tedious Easter eggs ever. Like, look, I love Origins as much as the next guy, but the solo Easter egg just... Oh my god, bro, it just grinds my years because there's so much stuff that you think will be really easy but no it takes fucking nine years because you missed this or you missed that blah 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 anyway there's a fucking wind rock and the wind staff is now ours it's time to go back to the fucking crazy place now holy shit i'm losing my will to live but we do it for the content we do it for the content it's the last one come on this puzzle is pretty simple it's just like get the right order so i think if i'm not remembering this wrong it's that i think yep and then it's jesus christ i even noticed that zombie in front of me that and then double l yep like that and then on the inner sanctum thing it's double stick yep that's it perfect and now it's the foghorn step this is pretty simple to be fair with you it's just shoot that towards there oh shit <laughs> okay okay this is probably where the run ends if I can grab Jug before anything massive happens, I'm going to try to drain the points out of him really quick. If I can grab Jug before anything bad happens, we should be good. Let's just try to use the staff as well here. Okay, we've nearly got enough for Jug. Let's just keep our heads about us, okay? That's going to help out massively. Should hopefully give us enough points to get away with Jug and stamina up. Okay, never mind. We just ended the fucking round. Whatever. I do feel a little bit better now that we have Jug, though. Right, when you head over to Gen 5 anyway to grab the other Foghorn. And once we've done that, it's the one on the tank path. We can check if the Maxis drone piece is there. And then it's Fire Staff upgrade time. Shoot that one that way. That should be it. Yes, it is. Is our Maxis drone friend peace thing here? No, it was not. Okay, we finished the staff anyway. That's fine. Bro, we keep ending the round. This is going to end up getting us fucking killed. Fucking bro, come on. Ow. Ow. 
I would really prefer for this to not go off, honestly. Can't be asked to turn it back on. Right, there we go. Another max ammo. Always appreciated. Honestly, before we stick this one in... Oh, fuck. We haven't even shot the thing. That's fine. I, before we stick this one in anyway, I really just want to get these other two filled up. Can, does that even work? Please tell me that works. Yes, it does. Okay, right. I really just want to get one of these filled up beforehand just so we have something to run around with. Right, okay. I staff's done. That's actually perfect. Right, that's fine. Strongest staff we've got to run around with. That's fine. Ow. Oh, my God. Right, let's go shoot the thing. Do this right this time. And then we'll have the wind staff upgraded. I'm going to grab the oh, fucking Panzer, bro. You always come at the worst times possible. Oh, bro, that's just one shot him. Right, give me this max ammo. I'm going to pack my MP40 here because God only knows how weak it's going to be already. It's round 18. All right, then we can go plonk this down and then we can go finally craft the fire staff and sort that out. And there we go. Jesus Christ. Okay, I, yeah, I want to grab the ice staff just out of here real quick. Right, let's go do the last staff here. This shouldn't take too long. It's one of the easier ones. I think it is the easiest one, actually. And there's our fire crystal. And for a final time, here is our fire staff. Very cool. All right, cool. We just need to get kills now with the fire staff and then we're good as... We are... We are as good as golden. Oh, it still kills in one shot. Okay. I keep forgetting to do G-Strike grenades as well. That's going to end up probably getting us killed. Okay, that's our fire staff thing done. That was really, really quick, actually. I'm going I'm to whip out the afterburner here since we have double points and insta kill. We just have to go read the code off the church wall and then we're pretty much done. And the beauty is about Black Ops 2, we are 100% doing that fucking exploit because I am not waiting around for robots. This has already took so long. Okay, 5764 is the order. Let's drop down here real quick. Ah, I forgot how much health that takes, so... Five, seven, uh, that's perfect. Six and four. Perfect. Right, there we go. That's the thing shot. Uh, we did it. Yes, yes, I did. Okay, cool. Right, let's go place this in the crazy place and then we can get started once it's full. And with that and a bit of luck, that is all four staffs pretty much upgraded. I don't know where the fucking ice one's gone. That's fine. I don't really care. I'll just grab wind for now to fill this one. But once this is done, we can go chuck the fire staff in its pedestal like three times. And then after that, we just need to get G-Strike sword, which shouldn't be too difficult, honestly, as long as we've got the staff melee and the shield will be fine. And then we just have to build the Maxis drone, send them in, grab the Maxis drone, and we're as good as golden. Right, okay, I am fucking out of here. I don't want to die down here. This is the last thing I want. Right, we'll clear out this round, then we'll go do the uh, the step skip, because I, like I said, I don't want to wait around for these robots, as it's literally the step that takes the most time, I'd argue anyway. Okay, plonk that down there, grab it again, plonk that down there, grab it again, plonk that down there, grab it again, and one more time. Yeah, there we go, it's done. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that's fucking ridiculous, man. Right, okay. G-Strikes and Maxis Drone. Let's go quickly find this other Maxis Drone piece. I think the only other place it can be is Gen 6 Tunnel, so we'll go quickly check. Okay, it's not there, so I think we should probably go and check the Gen 5 path. Or is it the Gen... No, we haven't checked the Gen 4 path. We'll check Gen 4. There it is. Holy shit. Okay, I was looking for that forever. Right, we've got the Maxis Drone now. Oh, excuse me, Mr. Zombie. And now we need to go finish off the G-Strikes, and then we need to fill up Soul Chests, and then I think we're pretty much done. I'm gonna grab our free double tap here as well, because why not? More the merrier since we don't quick revive anymore okay let's finish off what we started here with the g-strikes okay it might get a little bit hectic in here but we should be okay if we get a panzer we can just one shot him. this is really fucking hectic for what it is man i just want my grenades hopefully once we've finished off this horde by just by meleeing them though we should have them oh shit that nuke is gonna fuck me up man come on why put it in front of the fucking door why i really do hope we're nearly there because i've put about like 10 zombies into this thing come the fuck on they're still spawning as well man oh my god that was way too risky all right i think we've done it i think we've done it i think we've done it i think i heard a noise and we did thank you for the g-strikes yeah i'm just gonna kill off a little bit of that horde there now we've just got to time how well we get into the robots and chucking the g-strikes and all that shite also while we're here there's a buildable table in here so please give me the maxis drone all right okay let's quickly check if it's this robot if it is that is incredible rng i don't think it is though no let me check the left side real quick nope okay that's fine we've just got to wait for the middle one okay, the robots are coming again hopefully it's this side please nope uh left side yes okay right it's left side cool 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 right stomp that is round unfortunately though so we gotta be quick go 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 let me out it'll be panzer too fuck we've really gotta be quick let me the fuck out bro come on okay hopefully that should be it i hope that's it that's it it's gotta be on it right right we're gonna have to go back and check gen uh, gen 3 can fuck off right now i don't need it i hope that blew it open what oh we've gotta go again man that's fucking ridiculous Right, we should probably go deal with these generators before we do anything else. Also, if that's the middle one again, actually, no, fuck the generators. I'm going to check if it's the middle robot again. It is, it is, it is, it is, it is. At least I'm sure it was. Yes, it was. Okay. Bang. Right, let me the fuck out, bro. Right, run, 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 run. That's going to be it, right? What the fuck am I doing wrong? 
Look, man, I'm going to keep it a book. I tried this step at least seven times over after this, and bro, it would not work. I was throwing the G-strike in the center of the thing. I was pressing the button. I was doing my thing, and it just it just wouldn't break. It wouldn't fucking break. So with that said, I'm going to end this video here because I'm class on Origins as a write-off. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it, and if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? It's completely free, and you can always change your mind later. First off, if you really are sticking around and hearing this after you've watched the previous two games and videos, you're a legend. Second of all, the Black Ops 3 video. This was a recent one. It wasn't too terrible. Experience-wise of beating these easter eggs, although one of them had to be done with a mod, it was very, very fun. BO3 always holds a special place in my heart, and I can't really fault it. I think we managed to get most of them done, bar revelations? You'll just have to watch and find out. During winter, human bodies have the thing of, you know, getting sick. I also might sneeze a lot in this video, so I, I do just genuinely apologise. I'll try to cut out most of it, but, you know, sometimes it might just happen mid-sentence, bro. I can't control that. All right, I am going to try to take full advantage of this round and not end it straight off, because we can probably grab something like a shop and free and get most of the rituals done round one. Because we're just trying to prioritize getting the swords done, getting the rituals done, then we can eventually do the easter egg. Because you know how things are done around here. They're done solo, and the Shadows of Evil easter egg can't be done fully solo, but because we're not using any other mods, we can actually use the solo mod to fully complete it, so this video feels a little bit more satisfying to watch rather than just be like, oh, yep, got up to this step, can't go any further. Here is our first game. Ga game worm? Gate worm. Right, okay, let's give the Gobblegum Machine a quick little whirl. That is, mm, could be something. Workaholic. I don't think I'm going to take that just yet. I don't actually need it right now. Oh, the round stinger, man. You know what it is? I do feel like I get a bit sick of this map now and again, but like still, the sound design, the graphics, the everything, they've just still held up, man. Right, come on, shopping free. No, man, is that round robin? Okay, round robin, I'll take that, honestly. We can just skip the round. The only reason why I'm doing that is just so we can get another hit on the gobblegum machine. And that is shopping free. All right, cool. Now, I know with BO4, we didn't use many elixirs. That's just because you are not really allowed as many as you are in BO3. And this might seem like I'm just giving myself really overpowered stuff right off the bat. But it's not about the way we do things here. It's about how f I was almost just about like completely void my point that I was talking about there. I was I, I want to say it's not about how fast we do things around here. It's whether or not we beat the Easter egg. So I'm not too bothered about using me uh, Mega Gobblegums. I need to stop rambling before I start going on about like world political events and then get myself cancelled. I'm pretty sure we got the entire map open there. I might be a bit wrong. No, we didn't get Footlight open. That's fine. We got enough points anyway to actually just go through it. So we'll just do first. Jump in here. Get this on. Smack that. Do actually need to keep in mind that those statues are useful to us in this run because we are literally going for the main quest and grapple over here and get this door open. nice grab the hair piece this open we should have probably grabbed like an rk5 or something since we're not really restricted to what weapons we can use funnily enough i feel like every time we play bo3 we're doing the challenge it's so weird to be doing it vanilla right, okay and that should be that ritual done now we need to grab this and get out of here because there's going to be a magua there's double points here though that's going to be massive money on the heads that we shoot here that's a thousand points per head bro we also need to grab the magua heart that comes out of him because we literally need everything we can get our hands on here. We need to look into building the shield too, since we got most of the map open. Oh, there's so much stuff to do. Right, okay, we got 5k points. We're pretty much chilling. I'm gonna go hit the box up there as well. I'm also gonna grab Jug. Why did I crouch? And get this up. The Haymaker, I will happily take that. You know, right as I said, we need to be looking for shield pieces. I probably just ran right past it. I apologize. I'm gonna go back up here. There it is. Yeah, I did run just right past it. I probably infuriated, like, at, le at least a handful of you. Right, okay. Let's head. Oh, god, no. I, f I always forget the route for canals. You gotta go down here. Here, then get this open. That. And then you can jump. Oh, that's the thing that kills us, that little jump there. There we go. Get that on. Do we have time to quickly oh, break up that crate? I don't know if... No, we don't. Oh, that's a shame. Grab the badge. And let's head over to the Ruby Rabbit. Get this ritual going. We're making very good progress, honestly. Once we've done this, we can start the swords. Then once we start the swords, we can upgrade them. And then we're pretty much like two steps away from beating the Easter egg. We just need the Apothecary Servant, though, for the flag step. Otherwise, it's quite literally impossible. Unless you're very skilled at the game. Which I am not. So, and our last one here is water for all. So, once we jump into beast mode, grab the shield piece. Up here. That is actually not where I wanted to go. Up here. Get that down. Jump across. And get this open. Firefox Gaming, thank you for subscribing. Where is this shield piece at? Though? There it is. Right, let's go get this fourth and final ritual done. Belt. Oh, and conveniently enough, the train's there as well. We can go get the symbols for the swords once we finish with the old pack a punch and unlock process thingy. Really couldn't find the words to describe the ending ritual there. This is why I hate recording when I'm ill, man. Right, there we go. That is the fourth and final ritual. Done. Grab the gate worm and run out again because we another Magua. Is that a transit reference? Luckily for us, we have a haymaker and this is like kryptonite to Magwas. Oh, I didn't actually pick up the Magua heart last time. That's really weird. I like never forget to. There it is. Got an insta-kill as well. Don't mind if I do. Right, I suppose we can go get the symbols now. Then after we've done that, we'll go unlock pack a bunch. So our first one here is double double. No, that's single single. I'm stupid. There'll be another one coming up, I think. Yep, it's just here. That is single double single. 
Right, we've got to wait for this thing to recharge, and then I think we need to head over to the canals. Right, okay, let's have a look. Let's head over to the canals. We already got that one. The last one we need is in, like, a circle window, from what I remember. I think it's this side we need to look out of. Where is it, bro? It's here, it's here, it's here. Four. Okay. Right, we have our combination now. Right, now we just need to head for the rift. Bro, we are on it today. Probably looking to get in the silver protector as well. He'll help out with the uh, flag step a lot. I do have alchemical on that, so we have infinite ammo with the um, apothecary servant, so that helps us out a bunch. But he still might be useful. Cool. Now, the only rift we have open is in the canals, so it's over there. In fact, quickly, I'm going to jump here. Go up here. Get that on, and then run over to the side and get the door open, just so we can get this last shield piece. Go. Oh, that is a lot of zombies for round four. There's a fuse. I am looking for the shield piece, though. I don't know where it is. There it is. Blends in so well with the environment, man. Right, let's go get this built, then we'll hit the rift. And there's our shield. Nice. Get this open, and off we go. Right, we'll go do the final ritual, input the symbols, and get started on the swords. One, two, three, and four. And chuck the magical football down, and it goes. <laughs> Insane to think how much relevance that little fucking object has in the zombies storyline all the way through this game and all the way through BO4, man. Yeah, yada, 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 you betrayed me, blah, 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 whatever. Right, let's input our code here. So it was this one, that one, and that one. Yeah, let's go. Get this open before I forget. We can also shock that on, this on, and get this door open. That's why, let's get stamina up on as well, because I never do that. There, stick this fuse in, because I'm a little OCD, and grab our first egg, chuck it in there. All done by round five, and that is a Mogwa. I kind of forgot he spawned in. Is a Mogwa a he, or is it a she? Let me know if you know in the comments. Oh, okay, that's a lot of zombies. I think that should be that egg. No, re really, what? How many souls does it take? I can't actually remember off the top of my head how many souls this thing takes. Oh, that's a B round as well, of course. You know, the one zombie type that doesn't count towards it any progress at the uh, eggs. Cheers, game. I do need a max ammo, though, so it would be nice. Bro, this pistol is doing nothing, man. Oh, well, he should be the last one, right? No, what? You? There we go, thank you. Grab Widow's Wine here. Might as well. We've got the points to do so. Right, there we go. That's the first stat you've done. Let's just go take it over to somewhere random. Since we're already out here, we might as well do canals. I know the box isn't open for it, but there's a little beast fountain ember thing right next to the box. It's fine. Crack this open. There we go. Actually, put my egg down before I start killing like an idiot. Death machine here is making this way easier. All right, and that's it done already. Jesus. I didn't know we were doing a speed run today. Let's go do footlight next. Set our egg down here. I think this is three out of four. I think there's going to be a mog with this round. I might be wrong, though. Also, I'm not going to touch any of the pods until they release purple, just so we have the highest chance of getting the tail. Just about done here, I think. No? There we go. Right, now, last one's in waterfront. That's locked, I think, but we can easily get that out when we have a beast mode. Fly through here. Oh, we didn't even get speed call on. There we go. Set that down. I'm pretty sure we'll get this done in with, like, one clip of the a maker here. Well, at least I hope so, because we're about to run out of ammo. Well, shield it is, I guess. There we go, it's done. Right, let's go take this thing back to where we found it, grab the sword, and we'll start the upgrade process. I'm gonna go pack a bunch of the haymaker before we start the arch oven, though, because we actually need some form of weapon. I'm also gonna quickly put stamina up here, chuck that back in here, and then grab our sword. There we go. Why is the Shadow Man just still chilling there? Must be something to do with the mod, but I think we've still gotta do all the rest of the stuff first. There we go. Yeah, because none of the keepers are here, so yeah, we've definitely got that. Now, we are playing as Jackie Vincent, so we are in the right district for his egg, which is the canals. We'll just do the one straight outside the canals as well, just because, you know, it's right there. Grab our arch oven and chuck that there. See, so the whole idea is this is that you're meant to use your swords to kill the Margoers and it upgrades the egg because, you know, you're killing them with the base model sword, but I've just, I've never found it any easier just to use the swords exclusively. Like, I swear they can cut off the Margo heads even if they're not open, but I just, I don't know. Anytime I go near a Margo, my anxiety just goes through the roof and he slams down and I lose all my progress. Now, I am looking for a fumigator because I've just saw a purple pot. There it is. Right, okay. Margo tail. That's not a Margo tail. Okay, it's a meatball round. Let's start this other arch over him, though. Bro, he died instantly. What happened there? Probably wasn't the smartest idea to do this on a meatball round, to be fair, because they are very annoying. Oh, God, don't die. I don't think we can get the Xenomatter until at least round 14 when bees and meatballs start spawning, so I think we're chilling, honestly. Grab the max ammo. I didn't reload. I feel like such a knob. Right, let's go do the one at Footlight. I think this is our second last one. I'm not wrong. Chuck that on there. Oh, the Haymaker honestly makes this like 10 million times easier. Right, he's dead. Come on, open your mouth. There you go. Right, and that is three out of four done. Pretty sure we have to end the round now, because you only do one per round, which is a little bit annoying. It's fine. Also, if you're wondering sometimes why I'm, like, almost slurring my words, I'm not. It's like, whenever I speak for longer than five seconds, my throat keeps closing up, because, you know, I'm not well. Really starting to get on my nerves. I'm, 
It might be for you too, so I apologize. Purple Pod. That's not a Marguerite's tail, though. That could end the round, to be fair. It's only round 10. It did. Nice. Let's go do this last one here at Waterfront. That's an actual Marguerite spawning in, man. Eh, so what? Right, that's one of them down. That's another one of his heads gone on the second one. Come on, he's nearly gone. There we go. And that is the Archer Ovum completed. Oh, that's the actual Marguerite that spawned in this round. Oh my god, there's so many. There we go. One more head. All right, and he's dead. Nice one. A nuke as well. Kind of perfect. Right, let's go run over to the uh, Ruby Rabbit, grab our upgraded sword, and then go to Nero's and start the flag step. Actually, are we not better off waiting for the Apothecary to serve? I think we probably are. Still, let's go grab our upgraded sword. Go. Nice one. Right, we should be getting the Xenomat around shortly. I'm going to go around looking for purple pods in the meantime. Okay, that's a purple one. Nice. Come on, Marguerite tail. Max ammo. I do kind of need that. We can also get the Silver Protector built, like I said. We just have to head up here. Use it just there. Right, that's two out of three. And then the last one, I think, is a waterfront. Oh, a purple pod. That was really coincidental, and that is nothing of interest. I'm sick of the sight of carpenters, to be fair with you. And there's our last fuse. We'll go stick that in in a bit right now. I just kind of want to end the rounds. That's perfect. The nuke. I don't think that ended the round. Or what? I thought that was like last zombie. Nah, but he was. Okay. Purple pod, please, bro. No. What about in canals? What are we seeing over here? Red. It's also red. Why are they taking so long? We are running really low on ammo as well. Like, that's why I want the Apothecary and Servant so bad. Because this haymaker just has nothing. Speaking of which. Right, okay. Is it a B round? I don't think it is. I'm not sure. Right, okay. Yeah, it's the round we need. Please, Xenomatter, I beg. Just spawn. There we go. That's it. There. Give me this. Why can't I pick it up? There we go. Okay, that's ammo like two. Now we literally just need to wait for purple pods. There's a one in there. This could be our lucky break. Come on. No. Okay, man of war, I will take for the time being, though. While we're down here, I stick the fuses in. Okay, there's a purple pod there. And then that one's still here, man. Come on, please. Yes, let's go. That's what I needed. All right, let's go get the apothecary servant built. Craft it here. Hurry up, please. Go. Right, okay. I am going to try to spin for an alchemical here. We should probably get it. No, okay. Thought the stars might have aligned there, but no, clearly not. That should be it. Nice. Oh my god, why now? Why have you got to spawn now, Margua, man? It's like every time we go two steps forward, we get, we get pushed like four back because of, oh, I don't know. Nah, you're getting a Margua this round, bro. But now you're going to have to go through seven pods to get one piece. I'm being negative. I'm being, I need to stop. I need to spawn. All right, there we go. Right, let's head over to Nero's place. Go press F on this book. And that, I think, spawns the flag thing in. Right, yep, there it is. Very nice. All right, let's go. And of course, the meatballs are already spawning. Right, let's go through Footlight first. Where is he? There he is. Okay, no speed caller might have been a bit of a silly decision, but I think we'll be okay. Oh, where is he? I hear him. Oh, there he is. Shit. Right, he's done. Right, reload before I do anything quick. Chuck one of them down. Chuck that down. I think I'm also going to pop one of these. I'm also going to whip out the sword. How do I do that? Q. Yep. Right, and then right mouse it. Oh, the sword doesn't do anything to him. Bro, no, 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 no. no. Oh, they broke it anyway, man. Whatever, whatever, whatever. I can never remember if you have to redo the entire thing or it's just the one bit that you fail on or do you have to go right from the start? Nope, it is right from the start. Oh, he's there. Right, okay. Pop this. Grab lag. Oh, you get max ammo anyway. What am I doing? It's fine. Plonk this down. Shoot him. Shoot that. Shoot him again. Yeah, no speed caller was definitely silly. Oh, he's there again, man. Oh, they broke it again. I need speed caller, man. I can't do this. I'm going to let a zombie down me just so I can get that perk slot back. Actually, wait, no. We can just go spin for perkaholic. What am I doing? See them? Oh, oh, bro. Wall power. Why would I want this now? There we go. Perkaholic. That's what I want. Right, one more time. Let's give this a go. Where is he? There. All right, yep. Go away. As long as we can get through this first bit here, we should be chilling. All right, there we go. We've done just about that. Grab this. And off we Third time's the charm, I think. Gone. Shoot him. Oh, God. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. Don't break it. I'm focusing so hard for this step, man. Come on. Right, yep, that's it. Wait for it and reload. Right, we're going to get this thing to the burlesque now, I think. Right, yep, there and there's the first set done. Cool. Probably a lot more painful than it needed to be, but whatever. And another max ammo. Alchemical, that's exactly what I wanted as well. And where did that Mogwa come from? Right, our shield broke as well. I'm going to go quickly run and grab another one. How many bees as well, man? Like, stop. Can't even rage properly because of how ill I am. Right, okay, the flag should come back down now, I think. Yep, there it is. Let's we'll start this now. We'll go do canals now i think here's the first spot chuck that down there here he is oh god i didn't get it did, did that kill him no it didn't sometimes the apothecary servant works great and sometimes it just doesn't there he is again kill him there we go no max ammo okay we'll pop one of these that's fine right, here's our next spot go away shadow man oh god please don't kill it don't kill my flag please man oh he's there again oh, ah! This step is the most annoying part about this easter egg. It's literally what gives it most of its length. I'm just going to replenish my ammo quick. Right, let's try this again. Put that down there. I'm going to shoot that now. You're fast enough, bro. Don't even need the apothecary servant. Oh, we're running out of ammo. I'm actually going to swap back to it quick. Jesus. All right, grab that. And off we go. Chuck this back down here. Oh, bro, come on. There we go. Oh, he's there, man. There we go. He's gone. Don't destroy my flag, please. 
Right, there we go. And chuck that down there. Right, there we go. That's two out of four. Progress, people. Progress. That's a lot of zombies. Right, that's that mog. We're dead. Why is this roar so ungodly loud, man? Try and maximize this drop that we're going to get here. We should be just about done with this round. Yeah, we are. Nice. Right, let's go get this third set done then. We'll do... Uh, let's do easy shoot next. Need to remember, we've also got a sword that we can call out. I keep forgetting about that. It's so useful. Right, chuck that. Cast the sword out. I mean, I, I, mean, I did want to cast the sword out, but it's just not letting me. Cheers. No max ammo is actually crazy, bro. My god, I've took the worst route possible through here, man. There's not two, like, locations in Easy Street, so it's really annoying to do this one. We're gonna have to run to, like, waterfront. Let's chuck it here. Where is he? There. Better get a max ammo for this, like, down the sword. It's done. I hate how they still spawn at you, like, when you're running up to the ritual centers. It's so annoying. Because I'm pretty sure the flag can break while it's on your back, and that is that one done. Right, nice. Three out of four. Got to clear this round, and then we can do the last one, and that's a mog. I hope he drops a max ammo, because we do kind of need one. It's a bootlegger. Really not having good RNG with this run. Mr. Steal Your Liver, thank you for subscribing. Alchemical perfect. Right, literally, I just need to end this round, and then we're good to go. Another good thing about the Apothecary Servant, you shoot one shot, and your specialist weapon's fully charged. Right, okay, the flag should spawn and then we literally just got to do a water front and we're done. Yeah, why not? We'll call him into. Chuck that down there. Where's he spawned in? I am going to pop this now, just instinctively. There he is. Oh my god, this is so much easier with Alchemical. It's unbelievable. This is our last one, hopefully. Oh, he's there. Right, that's it. Max ammo. Run down. And that is the last one. Nice, we're done. That step takes so long and we're finally done. Right, let's go kill the Shadow Man. First, let's kill this Margwa because I don't want him to kill me. Honestly, I think Alchemical might be the best uh, Gobblegum for us to have here, so we'll keep this on. And let's see if we can go do this first try. Okay, yep, all the keepers are going to raise up. Right, we need to kill this Margwa. Well, I can't remember if he just infinitely respawns, but I'm going to try to kill as many as I can, and then we'll hit the keepers just to make it a little bit easier. I'm going to throw my Widow's Wine Grenades away because I think that's the last zombie. I was wrong. There's only a few left, though. All right, he's dead. One, two, over here. Quickly, three. Quickly, man. Four. Oh, this is really hard with a short-range weapon, man. No, oh, that is really difficult, man. This B needs to go away. He's doing my head in. Wait for him to do his attack, then we'll go again. One, two, three, and four. Okay, so they just didn't attack him there? What? There and there. Okay, they're doing their thing. Shit, I need to reload, man. Come on. Yes! Yes! Oh my god, let's go. I always struggle so bad with that step. Bye-bye, Shadow Man. Later. Right, okay, we're at the last step pretty much now. We need to find a beast portal or a wisp to cleanse ourselves. There we go. Now we're chilling. Was it after we kill like a certain amount of Morgwas or something? I can never remember. That it just lets us go into beast mode. Right, there we go. It's on. Right, we need to dodge this and cleanse ourselves when we, you know, need to. And because of the mod, we just have to shock it once. And it should permanently stay on, apparently. Right, there's the first one. Run over to Waterfront and get this one on. It's that one. There we go. And we need to do canals. Go. Right, that's all three of them on. Now, I'm pretty sure we just have to call the tram. Right, I don't know where it was. I think it was at uh, canals, if I'm not wrong. Ow, that really hurts. We need to cleanse. No, it's Waterfront. Why did I say canals? Did I say canals? I've got Alzheimer's. Right, okay, let's go. The question is, do we need to shock the keepers? Or do they just do it automatically? I'm confused. No, we definitely need to... Oh, okay. We need to shock the keepers. Grab a cure. Now, here's the question. Do they just stay on? Okay, let's try this again. I think we need to run out of the train before it leaves. Or call it from somewhere. Can we not call it from canals? I think that's the closest one to Easy Street. Let's give that a go. This music is really anticlimactic for just running around. <laughs> please, just give me a max ammo, please. No, man. What about this one? It's a fire sale. A wall power would work. That's a perkaholic, man. Nope, and we went down to a mark. Work. Great. <sighs> right, okay, we've got to be fast here. What I'm going to do is I'm going to call it to the thing. Oh, fuck the lens. Hang on. I'm going to leave these marguers up here so they don't block me, man. This is... Oh, this is really annoying. Jesus. No, 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 no. Out of my way. I should really grab quick revive, man. Bro, I've had to swap out my haymaker for an unpacked HVK because this the Apothecary Servant just does nothing to them. Right, I'm grabbing quick revive just to be safe. Lens. Go. Canals, canals, canals. Right, we call it. Run down. Shock the keepers. Right, go. Let's 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 go. Can we make that in time? Do we do it? Do it? Yes! Bro, my plan was amazing. I, I knew it was going to work, bro. Oh, let's go! And that is Shadows of Evil solo. Oh, brilliant. Right, okay. The second map of Black Ops 3, The Giant. Now, I'm sure you all know about the way I feel towards The Giant. It's a great map. I love it. Whenever I want to play Der Reese, it's definitely the one I'll hop on. But not many people agree with me when I say this map does have a main quest Easter egg. It's just ridiculously short. It's just the flytrap Easter egg from uh, World at War and BO1. But the locations have been slightly changed. So, to make this a little bit more interesting, 
Houston. I'm not going to be using any Mega Gobblegums, and we're going to be playing this kind of vanilla, but we're going to be prioritizing getting the Easter Egg done. You know how it is. Because I feel like literally grabbing a shopping free run and getting power on, getting this open, in a matter of like five minutes, it's just way too cheesed for a video that's meant to be slightly difficult. You know what I mean? And also, my left nostril has finally opened back up. I can actually talk without sounding like Lois Griffin. Grab an RK5 here since we're completely out. Honestly, the best starting pistol. Well, not starting pistol, starting room weapon they've ever made. RK5 is unreal, man. Do you know what's something I'm kind of fretting about, actually? I have not done revelations like the actual Easter egg vanilla since I want to say, like, genuinely about 2017, and it was with four of the people who carried me. I think I was, like, not even 13 when I did it. Oh, my God. It's going to be fun doing that again. In brackets, it won't, because all it is is just shooting rocks until you get the right combination. Right, okay. Let's not worry about that just yet. Let's get this door open. Let's get this door open, too. And let's do the first step of this Easter egg, which is getting the power on. You just need to save up enough points now to get this main door open, which we now have. Why is Mule Kick in the doctor's office? That's such a weird choice from the game. Right, let's get this first teleporter linked. Kill these zombies first, though. And there we go. Right, what drops are going to give us? Give us something good. Oh, we already got double points there. That was what I was hoping for. Right, okay, hang on. Grab that. And now we have about 3k points to open the rest of the doors. Nice. Just completely ignoring perks. You know how it'd be. This is the cheapest teleporter to open. Get this one. Go. And we'll get this one linked. Go. I can smell the pack a punch machine, bro. And a max ammo. That is perfect. Not going to pick that death machine up just because I'm trying to farm points here. Nor that carbon because it'll just slow us down. Okay, yeah, I definitely didn't die trying to link a uh, ZB there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Who, who would do that? Who would do that? Nah, I'm not being funny. I did actually take, like, a massive L there and, like, die fully because I didn't have quick revive, but I'm basically back up to where we were, and nothing's really changed apart from, like, perk placement. So I've got the same weapons, didn't use gobble gums. You can check by the amount that I have, and the quick revive's here. So I tell you what, we'll put an ape, put an ape, put an ace up our sleeve and grab it just in case. We kind of do just need points now because all we've got to do now is link a ZA once that's done. We can pack a bunch of gun and then basically finish the Easter egg. This one really doesn't take long at all. Where's the box at? Of course it's in there. Here, I've, we're out of ammo in the RK5, so we'll quickly go buy some more. Go. Something I've always noted as well whenever I play this map, it has the mob of the dead round change. Never really understood why. Right, we just need enough points to open up that door and then we're chilling. Yo, trample steam pot? I think, though, first we're going to get a different weapon from the box. Hopefully it treats us right. Okay, the VMP, it definitely treats us right. Oh, a nuke, that wasn't what I was hoping for. Right, okay, let's go open this door. That open. Grab the pad and we'll run over to the mainframe and once that's done we just have to save up for pack. These zombies don't try and stop me. We actually need to be a little bit quick here because we haven't got that door open. Just about. We've made it right nice. And that is pack a punch open. Now we need to do is save our points which shouldn't be too difficult. Considering we got a wall weapon out the box this should be really easy. Got death machine here as well. Oh my god it just wants us to win. Grab some wall ammo and then it'll probably oh it'll be a dog run. That was a waste of points. Why did I do that? Oh that is really annoying. <laughs> like I knew what I was doing as well. Like oh it was, was going to be a dog run next run. I just pressed F. Whoa. What was the point? <sighs> My nose has gone back to being Lois Griffin style as well. Oh, it's all falling apart. We were there, man. We were there. We're about halfway there to pack a punch. We'll be fine. Double points. Even better. Oh, max ammo as well. Easy and we have enough. Nice. Just going to kill off as many as I can because we don't have anything to defend ourselves apart from this VMP. So if we put it in that machine and then get surrounded, it, we're, good, we're as good as dead. It's over. We slap that in there. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Hurry up. Right. This shot. Yeah, you want to play a game. Hide and seek. Blah, blah, blah. Send off the teddy bears. You know, this game just makes me say sentences i never thought i'd say out loud like ever where's this teddy bear at there's one there's another one yeah this really isn't hard once you get past the you know pack a punch in pot and our third and final one is just here i'm pretty sure in this furnace yep there we go and there's the annihilator we are done louis sanchez thank you for subscribing but yeah that's the giant that really did not take long at all all right on to the Eisendrak. arguably my favorite easter egg right okay der Eisendrak. no better way to start this off than hit the gobble gun machine for free and get the shopping for oh my god bro the RNG. Off we go. I was fully expecting that to take far longer, but whatever. Right, okay, we need to get everything open, bro. Get this open. I missed a beast today. Get that open. Get this open. Get this open. We're going to keep that door shut, though. Grab a Bowie knife. Power on. Turn it on. There we go. Leave them pack a bunch pieces there because I want it to actually spawn up there. That on. Get this open. Now, do we have enough time to get down into the Undercroft? I have not got a clue. Oh, it'll be close if we do. Every time we play BO3, we do this, and sometimes 
sometimes we get it, sometimes we don't. Oh, we got it. We're just too good, man. Right, let's get this teleported. And let's head back the way we came so we can actually get dogs. Dogs? Dragon heads filled up. We also need to grab shield pieces because we have neglected to actually pick up any. That one. There's our next one as well. There we go. Right, now we've got to wait for round one spawns to make their way from all over the map directly to here. This is going to take a little while. Right, okay, here's our first zombie. Oh, we have a boy knife. What am I doing? It's also round one. Definitely going to be going for the lightning bow in this run because I just really can't be bothered to switch things up. So usually with these types of videos to not make them feel the same. I'm like, yeah, yeah, we'll do like void bow this run. Nah, bro. I'm trying to give myself the best chance at the boss fight, not the worst chance. Okay, he should take this zombie and then he should need one more for round two and then it should be. Right, I'm just going to grab an Elkar 9 just for like points sake. I don't want to buy a VMP because we're going to be swapping this out for the KRM soon anyway. So it costs half the points. So why not? We need a gun. But that should be the last zombie for this dragon, I think. No, there he's done. Okay, right, let's head up here and do the second one. Oh, this is the worst part about doing some of these runs, man. Early rounds when you've run around the entire map with shopping free takes so long. Like, I know it's my own fault and it's kind of the trade-off you have for having the entire map open by this early of a round, but like, it is very slow. Okay, then one, two, three. I'm just gonna kill this zombie at the end of the round because I just want more spawns, man. That should be zombie number four, I think. That's number five. That should be number six. So, in comparison with Mob of the Dead, these take one more. That's weird. I think it's because they don't eat the one that activates them, unlike a Mob of the Dead. That is such a weird specific detail that I've noticed. I'm gonna get three of these switches on, just so we don't have to wait for the RNG anti grav. You can have it on demand for the uh, lightning bow upgrade step here. Start this one off. Bow by round three is kind of crazy. See, some people actually think that it's better to grab the shield than, like, saving this uh, first turn on the anti grav for the lightning bow step. And to that, I just say skill issue. He should hopefully be the last zombie. I hope so, because that'll be kind of perfect. Please? Yeah, let's go. And there's our bow. Very nice. Question is, do we get a Perkaholic next? Yes, I think I think we do. Ah, oh, war power. Unlucky. I suppose, actually, we can go grab the KRM now. Gonna grab quick revive as well. Don't know why I said it like that, but... And here's the Panzer Defeater. <laughs> Honestly, right? All jokes aside, this gun is amazing against the Panzers. Especially with head drama, hence why I put it on. Right, let's grab our arrow here. If I get these all one shot, you have to just watch the entire video, bro. One. Okay, you don't have to watch the entire video. But please do. Please. There we go. And our last one is down at the test site, which now... Be nice if we catch rocket test while we're here, but I highly doubt it. Turn on the landing pad. Get this shot. Go. Okay, no rocket test. We'll come back for it later. Okay, let's get this last switch turned on back here. All right, okay. Run along all these switches. Uh, while we're on the way around, actually, we can also grab the shield piece, which I think is above teleporter door. All right, there we go. And give me this piece. And let's get this shield built. Really weird how this was used in Dorizon Drac, and then there's never again in any of the ether maps. All right, okay, we need to do the urns now, which is basically you fill these up, then you shoot them again. I'm sure you've all played Dorizon Drac about a million times over. Over, but you know, I'm gonna explain it anyway because I do it in every video. I feel smarter. Okay, that's one. Go fill up the second urn, which is just down here. Now, back when I used to play on console, back when I was like 13 at a push, I always thought you had to take this one, jump over there, and then shoot it over there. But no, you can actually just get it out that window. Like, this is not common knowledge to me. Like, I only learned this like last year. That should be it, actually. Nope. Thought we were gonna hit that one first try. Come on. Yeah, there we go. Right, rocket test. Probably gonna be a dog round, though. Yeah, it's a dog round. Can we get a perkaholic now? No. What I forgot to do, actually, last time we were down here was teleport these pack a punch we we'll get that done there's a max ammo perfect we run alone on bow ammo so i was getting a little bit worried this is our last urn that we have to do and i believe that might be the last zombie we have to kill nope one more right there we go jesus man this is almost the most annoying one for me and i don't know why see i don't know why i just miss it i can hit it first try oh 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 hold that thought me i need to do this click that it's actually the worst piece out of the way just have to do the death ray and then the pads are okay that's it pull that grab it there you go come on this time surely bro we're burning too many rounds here. There we go. Right, that is the electric bow done by round eight. That's really not good time at all, but whatever. It's done anyway. Grab some jug, get this thing to rebuild our arrow, and then teleport these. And there's Pack-A-Punch. I'm going to chuck this in again, actually. Just get a double pack variant, because that was something we didn't do on Shadows of Evil, and I don't know why. Blast Furnace, perfect. And there's our Reforged Arrow. What we can do also while we're up here, if I get enough points, our max ammo too, perfect. We'll switch this on, and we'll also grab the other Ragnarok pot. Right, where's it at? There. Believe that is this Wonder Sphere down here. That rhymed. Yep, there we go. Chuck our arrow in there. Now we need, like, what, 20 zombie skills, I think it is? Shouldn't be many more kills now. Right, yeah, there we go. Chuck the bow in there. Leave it in there, and then run them back upstairs. 
Grab the old bow again. Why did my voice crack so hard there? Jesus. Yeah, I'm manly. I'm manly, bro. Would you? Right, we'll chuck this like that. And that's wisps. Go. Oh, we don't have stamina. That's going to be a problem. My bow, clock. Right, and they spawn usually within like quite a close vicinity of each other. So I'm banking my money on the fact that it'll go here. Yep. Is it in barracks? Nope. What about steady call on my phone? Yep. Let's grab stamina up here. Right, we'll check globe and stuff. It's probably at globe, to be fair with you. Never mind. That's oh, car. Let the last one be quick revive, please. Oh, wait, no, that's a done cool i cannot believe what i'm having to do it doesn't teleport you automatically on solo so we need 500 points so i'm going about proning against perk machines and i'm just gonna stab the last zombie like four times right are there any barriers in here that i can know they're all rebuilt for some weird right can this last zombie show his face please because i feel like that's gonna disappear soon oh it was a fucking oh go 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 it was a bowie knife shot right okay we're good we're good we're good oh that was really like nerve-wracking because once you end the round you have to go again blah 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 fuses tube and then code josh johnson thank you for subscribing that is D up L. And I think actually there'll be a panzer that spawns in. Yep. And he should drop the piece. Perfect. Right. Grab the piece. And our code was D up L. I'm over. Right. Then fuses we just grabbed. Chuck them in here. Swap that over. The monitors are on now. Nice. Then it was D up and then L. That's it. Grab the milk bottles and the little key card. And then we need to go back up to the death rate. Flip it back over to protect, I think it is. Or destroy or whatever. Let's it flip it back to what it was before. Then go do Simon Says. Chuck that there. And this one here. Flick that. And let's get this started. Up L D O L D up L L again L again. <laughs> Jesus man, uh, bro. <laughs> Uh, up, LD. That's it. Right, that's one of them on. Perfect. I think Rocket Test just went off as well, so we should be chilling. Fire that there. And then it is D up O L. D up O L. Up O L. L again. This game just trying to say I'm going to be taking L's. O. O again. Oh, shit. No. Oh, does that void the other one as well? I can't remember. What? How did I mess that up? It does void the other one. Oh, bro. I know this Easter egg like the back of my hand. How did I mess that up? I was saying skill issue earlier. I'm terrible. <laughs> Do we have to wait another round or can we just go again? No, we can go again. D O up L. All right, okay, let's try this one more time. L D up L D D again. L D up O O again. D L O. That's it. All right, we got there in the end. That's two of them on. Perfect. All right, we'll go bring Dempsey back home now. I actually can't believe I failed that step. I've literally played through this Easter egg. Like I said, I want to say like nearly 50 actual times. That's the first time in a while I've messed that up. Right, okay, let's call him in anyway. Let's stop Malden. Here he comes. Oh, uh, bang. Still so cool, man. Right, grab the drill device or the golden rod or whatever you want to say. Right, we need to go round now because I think we need to activate the wisps once more. And then once we've done that, pretty much boss fight. Oh no, let's keep a step. Getting way too ahead of myself. Right, and round. Right, wisp, where are you at? And you're not here. Okay. Oh, your barracks. Literally never ever see it there. I don't know why. Okay, it's not here. There's our second one. There's our third. Okay, it didn't actually go clock that time. Weird. Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies. What? Bro. Is it here? Nope. Very well be globe when we just ran past this. Yep, it's globe. Right, let's go ahead to the teleporter and we have enough points this time and we don't have to scrounge under perk machines. Reese 01329. Thank you for subscribing. Right, let's teleport back in time once more. Grab the Cronorium thing, tablet, whatever. You know, press the Cronorium, but it really, you're putting it in there and then grab this. Right, that is literally all we came here for, by the way. There's going to be another panzer here, I think. Yep, actual rookie of a mini boss, bro. Right, let's go. I think that's a dog round as well. Yeah, it is. Nice. Let's not start the keeper step yet. I'm going to wait till I get a full, like, clip of ammo and everything. Then we'll start. Right, there we go. There's our max ammo. Nice. Now we can go slap this real device into its comically shaped hole. And like, where's he going? Where's he going? Oh, upstairs first. Okay. Maybe he'll go courtyard? Maybe? Nah, that was like an ideal world type stuff. I think he's going to go here, which is why I actually closed this door. Because it means the zombies can't actually spawn in from behind us. Just makes this way easier. And let's start charging the souls. This Easter egg is so much easier solo. It's ridiculous, man. You don't need all four bows. Well, saying that, you don't even need all four bows when you're playing multiplayer. It's just, why would you play Dorizon? just to have one person have one bow. That just sounds like a snooze fest. He's going to go here next. Tablet in there and charge it up once more. I think you'll probably... Oh, that's a max ammo. Let's take advantage of that. You... Oh, so I thought he was done there. He's going to go up through where the other ring location is down there and then he'll come up through courtyard and that'll be him probably. Grab the max ammo. Okay, that's that one done. Nope, I think he's going to go courtyard because he's really annoying. He actually is. Oh my god. Okay, shoot that down. 
down. I don't know why, but this circle sometimes gives me trouble. Like, as in with going down, I think it's because of the amount of angles they can actually, like, come and swarm you from. Not gonna grab that nuke because the souls don't count. Should nearly be done by now, I think. I think it's... I don't know how this system works. It's every time we do DE. I have, like, this neuron activation as to how this works. I, it has to be round-based. There's no way it's souls. Way too coincidental. Yeah, there's hands up. Oh my god, don't kill me, 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 don't kill me. Right, okay. Circle time. Another panzer. Bro, it's round 17, not 70. Oh my god, piss off, man. Right, there we go. Another nuke. That might end the round, actually. No, never mind. It's definitely not gonna switch this round, I don't think. It needs more souls. It, it's like half and half. I don't know how it works. I'm not a nerd. Well, I kinda am. I can do all these Easter eggs. Oh, it's done. What are you doing? There we can move. Pretty sure once he's done his thing, we're, we're ready to go. Like, full ammo in the bow would be nice, but we get a max ammo when we go straight in there anyway. Oh, we also need a shield. And there we go. I'm gonna go quickly run upstairs and grab a shield while we have some downtime. There we go. And I'm gonna go spam the gobble gun machine because that... Oh, well. Mm, do we have bike speed call? No. We'll probably end up getting perkaholic, maybe head drama. I hope it's like perkaholic then head drama and not the other way around because that would just be really annoying. Please don't give me head drama. Oh, come on. Let's go. And head drama as well. Perfect. Chuck the tube on there. All right, kill these zombies and we are ready to go, honestly. Let's go. All right, 41 minutes in and we're already boss fighting. <laughs> I think that's actually a new PB for me. Don't need to waste ammo on killing them. It's fine. Run anti-clockwise. That's the Ragnarok's already charged. That's brilliant. Yeah, this boss fight's kind of anticlimactic, so you have to stick these down. Yep, there we go. Wait, which way is he facing? This way. Shoot one of these down quick. Shoot that into his chest and then open fire. There we go. Right, give me a max ammo, please, 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 please. Yep, there's one there. Nice. Right, he's going to spawn a load of panzers now. That's why we have head drama, though, because it gets rid of them in like two seconds. Bro, not the fucking triple whammy with the shock charges, man. Max ammo again. I'm not picking that up just yet. I don't need it. Bro, it is insane how well head drama works. Is he spawning more? No, I'm going to grab this max ammo now, then why not? But my Ragnaroks aren't charged. Come on, charge, 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 charge. Come on, man. I need them. Ch oh, oh, I thought he went in the middle. No, very good, very good, very good. Well, them little skulls are so annoying. Right, there we go. Chuck these here. Where's he facing? Opposite way. Shoot that into his chest. Go, go. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. Right, there we go. Ragnaroks, grab the max ammo. No way we get this done. Sub one hour. That's actually insane. More panzers. No match for my KRM, though. My 750 point wall buy. It actually, like, three shots them. I'm convinced if I got close enough, it would one shot them. Two max ammos. Sure. Right, our specialist is nearly charged. I thought he went in the middle there. I was about to cry. Right, they're charged. Come on. Go into the middle, man. He should be nearly there by now. Right, there we go. Put them down. Right, okay. He's facing this way. Shoot his chest. Come on. Come on. Come on, man. Did we do it? Did we do it? I think we did it. Yes! Let's go! First try! Sometimes I have to go for like four on that, but like, getting it back to back to back is always so satisfying. Alright, summoning key is charged. Pick it up. And that is the rising track done. <laughs> That genuinely took, like, less than an hour on the recording. That's sick. Was that a flawless game? It was. Oh, bro. I'm the best zombies player. Anyway, on to Zetsubo no Shima. Right, okay. Zetsubo no Shima. The second, third, fourth. I don't know how you'd call it in BO3 because there's a lot of maps in this game. But it was the second DLC. So let's grab ourselves a bucket here. We're also going to lob a grenade off this gobble gun machine. No trial. Okay, that's fine. Right, shopping free, please. That is not shopping free. Round Robin, I will take that, though. We'll kill all but one so we can get up to the altar, and then we'll pop around Robin. All right, here's our second last guy here. I think we should have enough to get through now. Right, okay, what are our challenges? Water five plants. Kill ten spore-infected zombies with headshots. Kill eight spiders with spores. That is actually a goated lineup, I won't lie. Water five plant. Right, we can, we can do that. We can do that. We can do that. We can do that. Right, there's one plant going already. No, we don't even have access to the water. The first symbol is three, two, one. That's the skull we need. I am going to pop round Robin now, just so we get, you know, the bonus points. Plus, we'll also quickly grab the skull, and we'll get a box it going. Of course, the XM53, my favorite weapon. Thank you. Right, let's get this first skull started then, shall we? Now, it is round two, so we can't just one knife them. I think we'll grab an RK5 or something. That's an actual zombie, because we're earning points off him. Oh, another seed. Perfect. Just need to keep them off here. Honestly, Zetabo ain't too bad. Like, I struggled with it a lot in my first, like, ever video in this series, but honestly, oh, I guess we'll grab a Shiva. It's not too terrible, honestly. Honestly. Right, let's grab this skull. That's that one done. And we'll head through this way so we can gauge what our next one's going to be. That is single, single. So 1-1. One, one. Chuck that back on here. There's the next one we need. Not going to waste my points in the box despite how much of a gambling addict I actually am. This door open. So we can get this started up. But first, there's a certain piece around here that I actually need. It's not there. Here. Wherever. No, it's there. Right, okay, cool. That's the gas mask piece. That's all I came here for. Apart from this, there's a spider here that we can kill with this spore if they come here. There we go. That's two. That's two for the challenges. Oh, come, to, come here, come here, come here, come here, come here. No, 
now. Okay. Yeah, make sure to keep them off the skull as well. And it's not down to spiders. Right, okay, the skull's done anyway. There we go. Don't know why I picked up the Shiva, but hey ho. Got a little harvest pod here. What we're saying? An XM53. Bro, it really wants me to take the XM53, huh? Right, we'll chuck this next skull down here. And uh, we'll pick a random one up since we don't know what's going to be on the other side. Now, ideally, I want to shop them for you. Also, do them spiders count for the challenges? I am just going to double check. I've got three out of three seeds. Yes, they do. Cool. Let's spin this here. Come on. Nope. Great power, though. I mean, this is an excuse to be a gambling addict. Watch, we'll get Marshall 16s, I promise. Vespa eye is not worth. I'm not packing that. Let's crack this open again. The ICR one is a shout, to be fair. Yeah, sure, we'll do that. Come on, where's this last zombie at? There we go. Right, come on. I need shopping free now. That's not shopping free. That is perkaholic, though. I'll take it. Right, is there any other challenges we could be doing here? We don't have access to water, but we do have hella access to spores. Kill 10 spore infected zombies with headshots. I can do it. One. There's another spore here that we can use. If they would hurry up. My god, they're so slow. Come on. We've got another spore here. My god, there's so many zombies here, bro. Come on, just walk through it. Nah, it's gonna go, in it? No, oh, there we go. There's another one. No more, though. Right, there's one more spore that we can use here. I'm really just trying to take advantage of the rounds, because I know we're, like, climbing up without getting much progress done. Don't want to grab that insta-kill at all. Right, but surely we're close to finishing that challenge. That felt like we got more than 10 there. Oh, I think we're literally, like, two off. Thankfully, there's a little spore growing here, which we can use. There we go. That's it. Done. Right, I'm not gonna worry about that anymore, because that's probably the one I was fretting about the most. All right, shopping free, please. Bro, come on! There we go, finally. Right, I'm gonna run this door, then this door down here, this one. Also gonna grab a Bowie knife, because why not? My massive pink knife, because I'm really manly. Green area open as well. This door open. Right, I'm gonna grab some green water. I also need the gas mask piece, which I think the only location for it not here. Yep, there we go. The shield piece as well is also on a tree. There it is. Chuck the green water in there, get the power on. Well, the temporary power. We need to do the same over the other side now. And I always run over to the other side like I'm literally got like 30 seconds, but I think the timer on this is like somewhere around three minutes. You get a lot of time with this. It's crazy. There's a next shield piece too. There's the blue water. Put that in there. And crack this door up. Right, can we kill the thrasher before it spawns? I really can't be bothered to deal with them. Yes, we did. Okay, nice. We can run straight at the power room because we, uh, we actually have enough points. I almost couldn't speak there. Claw off these webs. And uh, now we need to survive. We also need to get pack a punch built. There are so many buildables on this map, man. You know, honestly, when I used to play as Detsubo, I always thought this was like the hardest thing to do on the map. But it's so easy. How bad was I as a kid, man? Skill issue. And there's our pack a punch piece. Give that. Get the main power on and we're chilling. I'm going to crack this door open as well because I need to see if it's the right skull. It is. Right, we just got to defend this thing now. This map is definitely growing on me, man. No pun intended, but seriously, compared to the opinion I used to have of it, man, it's night and day. I think it's just because not many people really knew how to do a lot of the things on the map on release because there was just an overwhelming amount of stuff, you know, with like the KT4 and all the buildables and its upgrade path. All right, I'm going to chuck that on there. I'm going to look for this other pack a punch piece, which is usually in here. Thankfully, we picked up the Bowie knife, even though we're low on ammo. I'm chilling. Come on, bro. Where is it? Ah, there's the piece. Right, there we go. That's all I came here for. Can I leave now, please? Please. Oh, there's a thrasher, man. Can you kill a thrasher with knife in it? I don't think you can. Oh, he's enraged now, bro. I need a gun. We just killed it with a shiva. Okay. Right, chuck that on there. And then the final one is down in the mines. Right, okay, let's head down. We also need to go get the uh, fourth skull, which we can do this round. It's through here. Just buy a mule kick. There's our wheel. Now we just need to take the big dive We're down into the hole to grab the plant. Oh, I don't know why, but this always has my nerves on edge. I think it's just like enclosed spaces plus water. It's just not fair. Or fun. Right, there's the plant. Get me out of here, man. We use the uh, fast travel here to head back over literally to where I wanted to be. Get this door open and we can go grab the shield visor. Is it on here? Yes, it is. Nice. Should be spider around next as well, which means we can go do that piece for the KT4. And then the green little vial just comes when a zombie spawns with it. I am going to take the liberty and pick up some green water and just start watering plants because that is one of our challenges. Chuck that in there. Water it. Right, let's get this round ended. Then we'll go grab the other skull. Another seed for me. Thank you. Water it again. It should be spider around, hopefully. Yeah, okay. So I'm going to throw away my widow's one grenades send this cage down now we just need one of them in here not the entire horde there we go bring it back up send it before i'll say it again peter i have nothing against uh, spiders please don't flag my video and there's the part we no spiders were harmed bro trust me oh bro no come back i want to kill you with a spore there we go probably nearly got this challenge done actually i don't know how many more we need to kill though 
I think he's our last spider anyway, though. No. Got another spore here. There we go. Right. That, that wasn't the last spider we needed to kill, but I'm pretty sure we're, like, just around the corner from completing that challenge. I'm going to water this again. I'm going to go grab some more green water. I think we're one plant off being able to do that challenge. Unless it means separate plants, which I'm going to feel really stupid for. Oh, there's another spider there that we can use. Come on, quick. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Come here. Where is he? There's loads. Come here. There's loads of spores. No, I don't want you to convert with Thrasher. Oh, my God. Yeah, go away. You're big and scary. Yada, yada, yada. Does this count as a spore? Come here, man. Bro, it's almost like they know. Right, water this and see. Yep, there we go. Water five plants. It doesn't say different, so we're chilling. There we go. That, that's all of our tri uh, trials done. Nice. That was probably the best round of trials I've ever had. Right, okay, we really need to prioritize the skull now because we kind of need that for, you know, everything. Chuck that on there. Grab the last one. Now we need to head back to the bunker to go do the fourth skull. Then we can pretty much start the Easter egg now that we got all of our trials done. Only thing we need is the KT4. We're just waiting on that man with the green vial. Chuck that on there. I honestly think we're making pretty good time. We're about like 20 minutes into the recording. Also, having a pack a punch gun this early on is just so nice, man. There we go. That's the skull done. Right, let's head back over towards the altar. I am still yet to see my green man. Where is my vial at, bro? All right, that's our fourth one. I'm going to move because sometimes that can down you, and I don't know why. 48 dredge. Sure, I'll take it. Right. Let's start the skull. It's sick how they brought the keepers and stuff into the Ether storyline. I'm so glad they were, like, fully implemented. Because if we just saw them as a one-off in Shadows of Evil, I think it would have been a massive wasted opportunity. Right, there we go. That's the skull done. I'm going to put it away quick so we don't have to recharge it. Come on. Where's my green man? Locus? I don't want this gun, bro. Come on, Marshall 16s. I haven't had them in so long. Dingo is something I will take, though. Build the shield here. There we go. I'm going to go mesmerize that poster now as well. So we can use anywhere but here. I should probably spin for that, actually. What's that? Anywhere but here. Oh, God. Perfect. I'm still yet to see my man with the green vial. I don't know where he's at. Right, from what I remember, the poster is down here in this room. Yes. And there we go. I'm pretty sure we can literally just do this. And we're in the room we need to be. Perfect. There's the cog. And I'm out of here. All right. Used the other anywhere but here there by mistake. But it took me to where I wanted to be. I need lightning on my shield now, please. Like that. All right. We keep it when it's on our backs. That's fine. That's all I really wanted to know. All right. Now, here's the scary part. This is where we could lose all of our progress. And it's what happened the last time we were doing even BO3 eggs with BO2 guns from what I remember. We're not doing it from up here. No way. We're doing it from down here. It's way easier. Right. Zap that. And there we go. Right. There's the cog and my anxiety rests once more. That is such a scary step, man. Now I actually need the KT4 because I need to start upgrading this. But I don't know where my man is, bro. He's late on my delivery with this green vial. Surely he shows up this round, right? There he is. That's what I've been looking for. Right. Green vial. Thank you very much. I can go get the KT4 started and upgraded now. We should probably also destroy the wall that's behind the elevator to put the gears on this table here thank you very much right now we need to start this thing's upgrade process which honestly isn't too bad but we need rainbow water and stuff which we'll work on we'll work on fine first things first the easiest part you can get is the cage part where you have the little vial liquid vinium we'll do that first and we just missed the lightning strike oh or did we or did we no we didn't nice i'm so glad it lingers so if we shock this console that'll open up so will the cage get in and where's my skeleton at there's the vital liquid of any man needed so cool how they made this into an actual thing man right that's one part out of the way we need to go and grab the rainbow water next now getting this is a little bit finicky but we should be able to get it down why have i gone in here the little fast travel thing's not even in here so we need to time press an f on a rock of element 115 if we get it i'll be very surprised i don't think we got it you basically just got a trial and error it to be fair come on come on please Okay, I don't think you can just do it randomly. I actually think you've got to time it. Right, there we go. Right, I just had to watch a no-nonsense guide to actually get the timing done. Right, we're chilling, we're chilling. I need to be back over there anyway. Oh, and the sewer pipe's gone red. Oh, my God. Saying that, it doesn't take long to recharge. There we go. Bro, I keep hearing some guy whispering to me. It's freaking me out. We need to head down here because there's a little wall that we can mesmerize with our skull. Thank God there is an air spot down here. Give me this. Uh, Mesmerize. There we go. Right, okay. Let me get through there. Right, plant the seed. Rainbow water it up. Go. We're going to run out of air. Are we good? Right, we're good. Right, now we just need to end the round. See, round robins would actually come in really useful for this. Oh, and there's our last gas mask. Because that's round. We need to go back down and water that thing. If it's spider round, that is so good for us. It is. Oh, we are timing this so perfectly, man. Let's jump back down here. Now, I don't think the spore would have regrew by now. So I'm just going to try and get every bit of air I can before we go down. Quickly. Look, I know you're carrying a four-ton 
LMG, but swim faster. Oh, let me through, bro. Yeah, right. So yeah, end this round, do it one more time, and then end the round, and then we should have the plan for the Masamune. Please don't kill me. Holy. We might as well just stay down here, honestly. Right there, we get some more air. Let's head down for the last time, hopefully, and next round, we should see a beautiful Masamune plant. Water. Yeah, and we are done here. Honestly, a round robin right now would be kind of perfect. Now, I can never remember if there's a gobble gun machine down here. That's probably the fastest I've ever upgraded the KT4, by the way, as well. Right, okay, round robin, please. No. Game doesn't like us that much, apparently. The max ammo there. What we'll do as well is we'll just quickly mesmerize this wall. And we'll actually use a bit of the skull here because it's the best specialist weapon in the game. And that's round. Let's go grab this plant, upgrade the KT4, then we can start a tedious process, which is known as RNG Bullet Simulator. You've got to grow a bullet from a plant, which I think is a 1 in 5 chance. And there's a thrasher down here? Why? I don't know. As I was saying, though, yeah, it can either take five rounds or 500 rounds. It just really depends on how the game's feeling today. Right, give me this plant. There we go. Give me this air. And we need to get out of here, man. It is scary mid-round. Right, we're out, we're out, we're out. Shoot on that on the floor. Give this my gun. Or what? Wait, what table is it? Wait, what am I missing? I have everything, though. Oh, I need the spider tooth. I completely forgot about that. Oh, let's go do that now. Let's drain the water. I'll go pack a bunch of dingo, and then we'll go do the easiest boss fight of my entire life. Shuck that back in. Oh, I didn't know it was a thrash there. Give me that. 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 Let me out. Oh, shit, bro. He hurts. I don't remember him hurting that bad. Oh, we ended round. Okay, whatever. Right, let's go do the spider boss right? Shoot the webs off here. And here we are. I'm going to shoot one of these on the floor and then just lay into her. Like, bro, that's already phase one. This is like the easiest mini boss ever. Ow, 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 ow. Never mind. Never mind. I take back what I said. Jesus Christ. Right, okay, she should be dead. Like, now, right? Or soonish. There, yeah, there we go. There we go. Right, I was not about to lose the entire run to a spider boss fight, man. Right, give me the tooth. I'm gone. Give me Widow's Wine and get me out of here, man. I need my perks. Oh, give me the skull. Right, we out, we out. That was ridiculous how close that was. No, 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 you, no. Right, I need quick revive, please. Give me that. Oh, my God. Am I going to get a perkaholic? Is the game going to love me? That's another Thrasher, man. No. Wait, hang on. What? I lost my KT4? Oh, bro, it's so over. I've actually got to spin the box for it. Oh, my God. Okay, Fortune Fables the... Fortune Fables? Fortune Fables the bold, apparently. We got the KT4 back. Thank Christ. That could have been so much worse. You have no idea. You know, I wanted that to actually sound somewhat cool, but nah, I just had to go and mess up the one sentence I had to say. Right, hopefully it didn't wipe our progress with the Mass Amune. I can't be bothered to do all that again. Are we chilling? Are we chilling? Are we chilling? We are chilling. Right, nice. Give me my Mass Amune. That is going to be my... Ah. Uh... Right, okay, whatever. It's a mule kick weapon. Sure. Right, good thing is now we have the Masamune. Now to get the third cog, you need to shoot down the plane. And like I said before, we need a bullet to shoot down that plane. So, right, I'm going the wrong way for blue water. I'm just glad we actually have this thing upgraded. I can't do that again. Blue water, thank you. I'm going to go get a bunch of these plants started. There's one. Shoot with the Masamune. And we'll do the one over here as well. Water that one too. Shoot it. Now it's literally just a case of playing the waiting game. Top of my blue water, just so we can go do it next round as well. And there's my max. Oh, this is the worst step of this Easter egg, but I do it for you guys because I love you guys. Right, let's water that. Shoot it. And this one too. Shoot it. I actually really don't like Mule Kick, man. Like, Cold War, I got a load of comments on that video about me not liking Mule Kick, and it did cost me almost the amount of the totem run, but I still stand with my opinion that that perk fucking sucks, especially in the older games. Like, if we go down now, I've lost this Wonder Weapon and I have to upgrade it again and get it from the box again. Because, oh, I'm gonna give you a third weapon. I'm gonna use a skull here. I also wanna go grab more blue water. Literal farming simulator. Cheers, Treyarch. Go. Probably pack a bunch of this HVK if we're gonna be keeping it. There's that noisy ass plane that we're gonna be shooting down too. Also gonna grab myself a shield, and we should probably nip over to the other generator again just so we can go build the gas mask. Because, you know, it's good to have this thing built. Can you go away? There we go. This is the last round we need to water these two plants. Go shoot it, water it, and shoot. You know, honestly, I'm convinced they actually just added this step to soak up more time. Because without this step, the Easter egg would genuinely be like less than half an hour long. Right, I'm gonna upgrade this H from there. No, oh, that's a lot of zombies. Let me out this corner, man. Come on. Come on. Give me my weapon. Oh, the skull hands down is my favorite specialist weapon ever. Like, we're not talking BO4 standards here, but this thing is overpowered. Double pack the HVK again. And Blast Furnace, that's fine. We can go check if we've got our bullet. I highly doubt it, but you know, it's worth a look. Come on, please. Death and this one here too, please. 
Yes! Oh my god, okay. Oh, we're chilling. Right, I am waiting for a spider round. Because apparently that's the best rounds to do it on so you don't die. Oh, can we grab a death machine too? Yeah, let's go. Oh, death machine just annihilates the thrashers. It's so satisfying. And a max ammo. Oh, game, you're too kind to me, man. Oh, another death machine? Bro! You know, me and this game go way back. I mean, we literally do, to be fair. You know, shout out to myself for having the idea of growing two plants at once. Wonder, actually, if this plane flies over now. It would be really good timing. Please. Please, quickly. No, you're not going to do it? No? Nope. Okay. I'd much rather prefer to play it safe, then mess up, and then have to go another 10 rounds to get another bullet. Got a little bit here. Ooh, a fire sale. I might actually go try for some Marshall 16s. They're so useful for the fight, man. No, that's not the Marshall 16. Really risking my life for these two pistols, man. That's not it either. Right, if it flew over now, it would be great timing. Oh, there it is. Right, okay. We missed it, but I didn't I didn't shoot the thing. I just, I just I did, I didn't time it. All right, okay, because I don't know when I've loaded it. I didn't even hear the click. It is a spider round, though, so it's going to wait. Right, okay, we just need to wait for this thing. I'm going to kill some excess spiders first. Right, okay, the thing's on its way. Bro, why does it take so long to shoot that thing? I didn't shoot it again, but I definitely heard it get loaded that time. Right, okay, next time it passes over, we've got it. Right, okay, luckily enough, we've got a spider as our last zombie here. So literally, all we've got to do is shoot it now. It's definitely loaded. I heard it click. Right, here it comes. Bro, what the fuck am I doing wrong? It's not firing. I haven't fired it previously. I, I need to look up a tutorial, man. This game was released in 2015. There we go. Oh, my God. Kaboom. Where's this gear landing? Jesus Christ. I think that's just outside the bunker, to be fair. Yeah, there it is. Okay, that's all. Okay, we're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. We're done. Chuck them on there. Elevator's operational. Honestly, we're ready to the boss right now. I don't... Mm, yeah, no, we'll go now. Let's go. Let's go. I was going to try to get a different AAT, but honestly, turns fine. This boss fight really isn't that difficult. I didn't know that Thrasher could spawn there. That is an absolute troll. Is he glitched? Yeah, he's glitched. What? Can he not die? You're not meant to be down here, bud. There we go. On second thought, actually, I'm going to head back up because we need another shield. Let me out. Quickly grab another shield, then we'll go boss fight. I just blue balled you so hard there. I'm sorry. Go. Uh, There we go. Oh my god, jump scare. Right, okay, get me in the lift. Get me in the lift. Off we go. There's a little spider friend down here. What's he doing? Right. This boss fight is quite literally just training. We'll be fine. That. And let's get this started. Oh my god, my screen looks like when Brutus spawns in. All right, man, you don't mean that loud. I know I don't have game sound on in my videos, but like, Jesus, I'd be surprised if you didn't hear that. We just need to be careful with our ammo, honestly. Come on, show your little spore on your arm. You know you want to. Oh, max ammo. Right, okay, that's a spore. Shoot that. That's it. All right, it's just going to be a bunch more thrashers spawning now, which is fine. Oh my god, don't smack me. Ah! Come on, bro. Show your spore. I think he's showing it. Am I wrong? Yes, no. I am wrong. Where is it? There we go. That. Max ammo again. Thank you. Bro, these spiders are getting on my nerves, bro. Oh, I'm stuck in a corner. What? Okay, yeah, this is what I mean about this boss fight, bro. Thrashers are the either the easiest boss known to man, or they just one-hit you like that. It's not even funny. Jesus. That's his last one. There we go. Yes. Even though we took it down and lost all of our perks, we're chilling. That is ZNS completed. All right, on to GK. Right, okay, Gorod Krovi, the third DLC in Call of Duty Black Ops 3, and that is a perkaholic. I'll be taking that now. I usually don't like to take it round one, but I'm trying to do this as fast as possible. We also really want to get the round ended so we can get another hit on the gobble gun machine. We are looking for shopping free, just like any other start to a BO3 Easter egg, because it allows us to basically get the entire map open for free. Come on. That is not shopping free. That might be around Robin. Nope, that's emulation. Looks like we're going another round. That's fine, though. We have got a lot to do on this map. And I mean a lot. We got the dragons. We got the challenges. We got the trophies. A bunch of stuff, man. Okay, we're coming close to the end of the round now, probably. It's only round two. There we go. Come on, please. Please be the right one. No, bro. Right, okay, we'll give it another whirl. It might just give us round Robin, though. Yep, I knew it was going to do that. That's fine, though. Right, okay. This hit is pretty much guaranteed to give us shopping free, I'm pretty sure. There it is. And off we go. Pretty sure the best route to take is going up these stairs. Please get them two doors open, though. And then we'll head up here. Doesn't matter really which way we go. This open. Quickly get this open. That open. About halfway through, making good time. Power switch on. This side of the map open. We go. We gotta be quick. This door open. Right, okay. Honestly, that wasn't too bad. We got a lot of the map open there. The only side we didn't get, I think, was Supply Depot, but that's easily acquired. We got the points to do so. We also got our Dragon Command Cylinder. I'm gonna shoot down this trophy out this bloke's hand. That's the first thing we need. Right, okay. Deploy the first Groff module as well. Get started on the Dragon Command stuff. Where's it going down? Where's it going? Right, that's the infirmary. I'm just going to knife them here. We also need to look for the shield pieces after we've done this, which is not too difficult, to be fair. Almost took it down to a Groff module because I felt like stabbing them, but nonetheless, we got our Dragon Command circuit network thingy. Right, there's our first shield piece. I am going to spin the box quick because I want to try to get the Rigor Mark 3s. 205 Brecci. I will be taking that. The FFAR. Another good gun. The Dragon Command cylinder thing. Monkeys. 
Always appreciated. Oh, one off the PPSH. All right, we'll leave it there. We'll come back for the Mark 3s later. We don't really need them right now. What we do need, though, is the shield. And our second piece is over this bridge. There it is. And then the middle piece is back the way we came near Jug. Beyond this shelf, wherever the shelf is. It's not there. Okay. All right, it's on the car. There we go. And that is the shield. That is literally the only buildable minus Pack-a-Punch. It's crafted. And very nice. Now, with the shield, we can also grab another one of them trophy thingies. It's just through here on this pipe. There we go. Now, if we get enough points, we can also grab another one. It's under the giant eye beam trap. I think we have enough points for that, actually. 1,500. We need 200 more points. All right, there we go. Turn this on. We try to keep this zombie out the way. Because we can call in that Groth module, too. Jesus, how long does this thing last? All right, there we go. This should be busted open. Grab the little trophy. And call this in. Where did it land? Oh, God, that is far. All right, that's three out of six trophies. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Module's taking damage, whatever. I got it covered. Okay, we should be nearly done with this one now. All right, that's the last one. And there we go. Right, that ended the round two. All right, we just need tank factory. And then we've got pack open. And then we can go get the egg. Is there there any more of them little trophies that we can grab I'm trying to think no there isn't one's in the safe one you need the dragon strike thing for and one's in the toilet at pack a punch so we've pretty much done everything we can we're just waiting on dragon cylinder now can we get maybe a little immolation is that immolation nah that's from robin okay and there it is right okay tank factory here we come chuck that in there where's ahead and where's ahead complete opposite side of the map cheers yeah it's off my grop module now it's mine not yours definitely gonna try for another immolation though so we can get the mark threes bro i feel like i'm a speed runner right now Right, that's that done. Nice. And for some reason, this one's blue. Right, let's go stick these in the little console thingy. Then we can go fly the dragon over to get more trophies. Put that in there. There we go. I am going to pop this round Robin, though. Just so I can get another hit on the gobble gun machine. Because I want to see if we can get immolation. That does not look like immolation. That is a shot free, though. Come on, hurry up, man. There we go. That's what I wanted. Right, call this over here. I should probably also be on the hunt. Oh, that's another cylinder I'm never going to use. I was going to say I should probably also be on the hunt for our pink cylinder. But I just haven't seen it yet. Here's our dragon friend. And off we go. Right, okay. Let's go to this random house in the middle of a battlefield. And and for some reason, pack a punch is in here. Right, we're not leaving just yet, but I am going to come around here and shoot this down so I don't forget. Oh, okay, I don't have no ammo. All right, shoot that down. Grab the egg. Right, I'm going to start this lockdown now because we need this for another trophy. Right, it's this side first. Probably should have pack a punched my FFAR to make this a lot easier, but hey ho. I'm just going to grab this max ammo now. Right, okay, this should be this window nearly done. Are you last? Yeah, you are. Cool. What sides are going to be next? What sides are going to be next? Upstairs? Yeah. I've done some sort of challenge there. I don't know. Every time like, I do this lockdown, I always get something to do with manglers. I think it might be something to do with the mangler helmet but i never finish it and i don't know why i don't actually know what you like the requirements are for right, okay this window should be nearly done too i think no there's still a few more actually mangler down there should be another one like here yep go away you're the worst mini boss i don't know why you came back in cold war you were terrible which side which side it's this side isn't it yep right, we're about to run out of it ranged ammo that's not a problem though the brecci is still a very powerful weapon just gonna have to worry about ammo a little bit okay yeah we're running a little bit low on ammo it's fine though we've still got shield blasts i don't know why but like from clips i've seen from people playing gk they just forget they have the shield half the time and how powerful it actually is go all right there we go right, we've got 12 bullets in here we've got a full starting pistol not that that's any much use we also have the mg42 don't think can we use this no we're not allowed it's a valkyrie go away oh they are coming from all angles though jesus i didn't mean to pop that now okay we took it down it's fine it's fine this is my fault for not packing enough ammo okay we still have our shield we still have our shield i'm not worried you are oh we have monkeys what am i doing we're chilling throw another monkey here oh my god that's not that wasn't the last one what i didn't mean to spot in but whatever Okay, it's two shield bashes to kill a mangler. Is that it? Are we done? Please tell me we're done. No, that's another one, man. Monkey bomb, please help me, man. Oh, my God. How are we dying to the lockdown, man? Come back next round. That's outrageous from the gobble gun machine. Bro, I am taking on this mangler with an MR6, whether it means I die or not. Ow! Oh, my God. Oh, we have one on the bridgey. There we go. Right, we're done. Give me the crystal. There we go. Right, that was not worth off the stuff we just went. Let me pack my bridgey so I can actually have a gun. There we go. Right, that was ridiculous from us. We should not have downed that many times. Oh, the generator's on. All right, that's on. That's another trophy. We can also grab the dragon controller, but I'm also going to focus on the valve step because we need to do that. Grab quick revive while we're here. We need to find the one with a blue light or a green light. I can't remember. Right, okay. Our purple cylinder is in department store. Now we just need to find the green light. It'll be around here somewhere. It's not there. Is it here? Nope. Dragon command. You can see it from here, I'm pretty sure. Yes, it is. So this should be on one. It is on one. Firmary should be on one. It is. Wait, did it go off already? Really? No, to be fair, that light's still on. Armory needs to be on two. So up here. Yep. Supply depot also needs to be on two. It is on two. But the last one we haven't done is tank factory. This needs to be on one. I think that's it. And there is our pink cylinder. Very nice. Dragon egg must cool. Okay. So glad I placed that down while we're running through the fire. All right. I just need to end the round now because I need perkaholic, man. We should probably 
Also, also probably grab a shield. We can also actually chuck this code cylinder in here. There we go. And then type in the code, which is Kronos. Oh, there we go. That's the round. It means we can hit the gobble gun machine again. All right, confirm password. Are we good? We're good. Come on, Perkaholic. Bro, really? There we go. There's Perkaholic. Thank you. Right, we need to go get the rest of the little code unit thingies. Also, why? Also, what am I saying? Otherwise known as the trophies. God, I really can't speak today. Right, chuck that there. And there's our trophy. Right, that's four. What one do we need now? Oh, yeah, the one out the safe, and that's why we're doing the dragon. We can go back to Pack-A-Punch and grab that one. But right now, I really just want, like, better weapons. Is that going to end the round? It's round eight. I don't really know. No. Okay. Oh, max ammo. Oh, voice crack. <laughs> All right, okay. I literally just want immolation so I can try to get, like, a PPSH and a Mark III, please. Please, gobble gun machine. We go way back. That could be it. That wasn't it. Come on, immolation. Bro. Right, the dragon egg should be cooled now, actually. Yes, it is. Nice. Is that dragon going to perch down here? I don't know. No, he's not. That's a mangler. All right, we really... Really need napalm zombies now. I think he's coming down here. Is he? Flying very close. Oh, yep. There we go. Come on. Come on. Breathe your fire, bro. All right. There we go. There's a bunch. Oh, God. No, don't down again. No, no, no. Wait, what are we up to now? Penetrating multi kills. We need some sort of like better weapon for that, I reckon. Did that count? All right. Max ammo is nice and two carpenters. It's another shopping free, man. Just give me immolation. Come on. Right, there we go. Let's just clear out this Valkyrie round. We could, we actually, we could probably, never mind. I didn't think that would be the last one. Right. Okay. I was going to say we could probably use this to spend our uh, immolation, but no, I'm stupid. Still, we'll do it anyway. Come on, let's go. Here comes the box, and plop. 48 dredge. I do not want that. Put that down there. The Man of War. Good weapon. I just don't want it. SV Pro, the SVG. Man of War again. The MX Garand. That is not really helping me. Was that? It's the HG40, to be fair. Locust, that'll be good for uh, penetration kills. We'll hang on to that a sec. HG40 again. 48 dredge. Bro, we're just getting the same three weapons. Rig on Mark 1. Haymaker. Mark 3. So there we we go. Right, apparently we completed the uh, penetration kill damage one. Now we just need melee kills, and that, that's an insta-kill. That's perfect. Let's wait for this round to just start up again. Right, okay, I don't think we need many melee kills. And it's done. Yeah, there we go. Right, we just need to incubate the dragon egg, which is over at the warehouse thingy. We can also get rid of this locust now. And while we're over here again, grab the uh, toilet trophy. We should probably pack a bunch of the Mark 3s as well. Alright, welcome home. That's the trophy I'm cracking on about. And stick these in here. Thank you very much. And let's go start the easiest lockdown of our lives. We should be fine. We've got a pack of punched shotgun and the packed Mark 3s. We're, we're chilling. See, for the longest time, I thought this was time-based, but it's actually soul-based. Oh, that's it. Dragon Egg was cool. Right, we need to wait a couple of rounds now. Now would be a great time for a round robin. And, of course, it's going to give me a perkaholic. But the locust with an E low sight is so underrated. Is it a round I have to wait for the Dragon Egg, or can we pick it up now? No, it's another round, I think. Right, let's try to get another round robin. Shopping free. Still got the chance. And... Oh, bro, no! I didn't want immolation. Right, there we go. That's the one. I want a round rob. Nice. Free dragon egg, and that is us done. Right, let's go get our gauntlet, get the sixth trophy, then we can start the challenges. Right, hold that for reward. Thank you. And now we can do this. Let him go. And then, where's this safe? Punch this, and thank you for the sixth trophy. Also, this thing is just a lot of fun. Be a waste to just put it away, right? Right, okay, let's stick these here. Right, I am going to try to spin for an undead man. I don't think we're going to get it, though. That could be it. No, it's a shopping free. Still not bad. Right, undead man. That's what I'm looking for. Right, let's get this started. Valkyrie. Well, it's a good job we picked that up. I just picked it up, you know as a protective measure, but it's almost as if I can predict the future. Jesus Christ, I've got a high FPS. All the voice lines are, like, mangled. My boy Nemo comes through here, doesn't he? Yeah, there he is. Right, there's a mangler. There's another mangler. Right, they're both dead. There's a Valkyrie there. Go away. Leave him alone. Stop bullying him. Right, he goes all the way up, doesn't he? Yep. Bro, where are you going? Where are you going? This has honestly been pretty painless. All of it is definitely thanks to the mega gobblegum I'm using. Some might call it cheating, but I, you know what I say? Like I said in my gobblegum video, if you've been watching this channel for a while, if they didn't want you to use the for this map, they wouldn't have made them so tailored. Right, he's nearly there anyway. It's a good job he got there quick. There's a dragon waiting to breathe fire. Right, okay, and... There we go. Right, okay, that's one out of six done. Yeah, 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 keep yabbing, keep yabbing. Let's let me go again. Let's see. Bomb. Is it bomb? No, what is that? Oh, Groff module step. Easy. Yeah, the ray guns are like a must for this step, I swear. You can't really do much unless you have like a really high power sniper rifle. No, it is not taking damage. I am firing my gun. Jesus, why are these zombies so slow? Oh, undead man walking. Oh. It's my own fault, really. Right, there we go. We'll start running now. Fire off a couple of these. Little Gersh thingies. 
use the locust a little bit here, couldn't we? Okay, there's a few more coming. I'm just worried we're not going to be able to charge up a specialist in time. Or maybe it goes until it's charged. Right, okay, it's done. Uh, yeah, it, it definitely goes until it's charged. That was way too coincidental. Right, retrieve the cargo. Uh, go. So unbelievably well designed, man. <laughs> right, grab the cargo, and then we need to go give this to Sophia. And that is two out of six done already. You know, using this thing to get around isn't that bad of an idea, honestly. Right, give it to Sophia. And that's that one done. Right, start another one. Bomb? 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 No. Oh, is that Gersh? I can't be bothered. <laughs> <laughs> Hello. Yep, yeah, he's in here. I hear him. Yeah, I see him. There you are. Just keep shooting him. Okay, that's a lot of zombies starting to spawn in, man. Can, can he keep moving, please? Okay, that was actually quite painless. Usually he hides in places that are, like, really hard to see. Right, get in. Get in. Off he goes. Right, okay, next challenge. Is it bomb? Is it bomb? Is it bomb? Is it bomb? Nope. Right, okay, let's keep spinning until we get undead, man, because we kind of need it for this one. That's it, perfect. Where's he at? Little green mangler, bro. Okay, that's another one spawning, I just heard. Where is he, though? I think he's upstairs. Yeah, he's there. Okay. Yep, come on. No, don't do that. You're annoying me now. Come on. Ow, 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 man. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, I'm running straight for Jug, bro. That was outrageous. I just got, like, gangbanged by a Valkyrie drone and a Mangler. Yeah, you need to follow me, bro. Come with. Bro, could this actually be going any worse? Can the fire just clear? Thank you. Come on, let's go, man. Come on, you're almost there. Bro, you're nearly there. Just hurry up. No, 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 no. Come here, come here, come here, come here. There you go. Alright, four out of six. Done. Not bad. Oh, <laughs> it's an actual Mangler. Alright, we lost our Mark Three. We can get that back, though. It's fine. Alcoholic? Yeah. Immolation. Right, let's go get our Mark Three back. If I can get out this corner. Oh, nah, man. I'm just going to clear up most of this horde here. Also, the odds of us getting the bomb step are incredibly high now. It's literally like a 50-50 shot. Is that last? Mm, should be one of last, actually. I'm going to lob my Widow's Grenades now. We're going to go to a box location and spam it. All right, remember, swap out the Locust, not the M8A7. Let's see here. NX Shadow Claws. I'm not playing multiplayer. These are of no use to me. Locust again. L4 Siege is a brilliant weapon, but I don't really want it. PPSH, that's a keep up. Shiva, bro, I don't want that. Weevil, no. -uh. Mark 3 is perfect. Right, we're back. We're so back. Right, for the final time, let's head back over to Dragon Command. Well, not for the final time, actually. Why did I say that? I mean, for, like, the final time, probably the Pack-A-Punch. Right. Chuck these in there, and I will also chuck this in here. Right, now we can leave again. <laughs> All right, we need another undead man just in case it's bomb step because I don't fancy doing it with a bunch of zombies running after me. So if we get it here, we're chilling. If not, we go another round. Nope, that's not it. Could be a round robin. Oh, that's perfect. Actually. Valkyrie, I should not waste this. My God, the PPSH is just amazing. I never get to use it enough when I play this map. All right, that's last. Okay, that's not what I want. Flip the round again. That should be it, hopefully. Shopping for... Bro, I just had this. Okay, my gobble gobble orders are all out of whack now. I think it slowly randomizes as the game goes on. All right, undead man, that's what I'm looking for. All right, let's start this. It's probably going to be bomb step. Yep, okay. Right, okay, I gotta go. Right, our first one's infirmary. Go, 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 go. Go. Next one is armory. Oh my god, Mangler, where'd you come from? This one. Our next one's department store, which is the fastest way through is through here. If I can get my movement down, Jesus, man. This one next. Wh I totally 100 million percent didn't die on the uh, bomb step. Who would die on the bomb step? Only noobs do that, bro. Right, infirmary. Our next one here is armory. It's all the way down the stairs. What a time for a Valkyrie round, man. Yep. And then it's dragon. I hate this step solo. There we go. And then it's department store and then it's tank supply there uh, right tank that is not this side it's the opposite we need to go across the bridge why have i gone this road i am such an idiot man there it's all the way up the top as well it takes like nine years to get to it yep then the last one supply depot okay we're nearly there we're nearly there we're nearly there please 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 is that it we good yes okay all right we're chilling we're chilling we're chilling we're chilling right although that was the in the last game that was our second last one we're not up to the second last one that was our fourth challenge done all right okay we need to clear up this valkyrie round because one i need ammo and two we can't progress if it's a valkyrie round and there we go nice progress people progress next one's either going to be computer download or gersh so either way we're chilling all right let's see what is it what is it what is it okay gersh i hear him he's in here i think yeah there he is all right he's gone through a wall but he went over this way so i'm reckon he's like around this area let's take a right here and let's go investigate a little bit he shouldn't be too far i hear him where are you hiding gersh there he is oh i don't want to chase him around i was going to shoot him again there oh he's up here anyway all right i'm going to grab another shield quick because we are pretty defenseless without it i won't lie right okay he's moving towards dragon command that's it and then the last one we need to do is the computer download and off he goes all right that's that one done and then the next one should be computer download right light up light up light up yep all right her secondary server is over in the pack a punch house and we have i think enough ammo to survive down there so if not i think that is our max ammo on yep it is and and an insta kill we're chilling bro and our gauntlet's charged yeah we are hard to get chilling did i forget the key card i forgot the key card didn't i if i forgot the key card i'm gonna be so annoyed man 
I spammed F on her. Why didn't she just give me it? No, 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 no. Oh, my God. You know, when I go up to her and spam F on her for no reason, it's not just because, oh, I want to waste time. It's because I want the key card game. All right, okay. Never mind. I'm an idiot. The key card's here. Yep, 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 yep. Laugh it up in the comments. Come on. Timestamp me. Put me on live stream fails. Do what you want. <laughs> Bit far. Oh, another max ammo. It's like the game knows I'm worried about it. Alright, let's call the dragon over here instead because the other one won't cool down for some reason. Right, okay, let's get on. And this time, let's actually do it properly. Right, okay. Computer, computer. Chuck that in there. I'm pretty sure off the top of my head it's just manglers that spawn, so we can probably just cheese this. This might actually be the slowest computer. Bro, this is the same computer they used in Blood of the Dead. You're telling me this thing's from 1912? Yeah, but the Mark 3s, this really is not a hard challenge. We're nearly about halfway there. As long as we don't run out of ammo, we'll be fine. I'm pretty sure there's a max, yeah, there's a max ammo there as well. You see, what would have made this challenging is if they threw th pants and sold that at you. These just pop like balloons. They're like dogs. Bro, the stomps they are, they make are genuinely kind of scary. Come on, it's nearly done. So usually I'd commentate more of a stuff like this, but there's just nothing to commentate on. Oh, I killed a mangler. Sick. <laughs> yeah, we're just about done here. There we go. Right, can I have my key card now? Yep, thank you. Go take this back to Dragon Command. Give Nikolai's power core, and then we are boss fighting. Right, where do I give this to? Is it in this tray? No, is it actually on Sophia? Yeah, there we go. Right, all six of the challenges. Challenges are done now, I think. Right, okay. It's give me my power core. Thank you very much. And then, I'm pretty sure we just go to the back of the map, whip out a gauntlet, and it automatically flies off with the power core. Okay, get the gauntlet out. All right, I'm going to kill these zombies first, though. All right, he should fly off with the thing. No? Is he? Yes? No? What's he doing? Oh, is it because there's zombies here or something? Or maybe I have done something wrong. What, what, what am I meant to do first? Right, okay. I think that maybe we've done it in the wrong position. Let's go try towards the right. Because I'm looking at that little bit of a no-nonsense guide in the year 2023, and he does it towards the right. So, like, over here, and then launch the well yeah there we go he's delivering the power core cool right okay i'm gonna go grab a new shield and then we're pretty much good to go sophia will do our final cutscene thing and then we are literally boss fighting it's about time round 31 and two attempts in to this day gk still gives me trouble man we're finding ammo on the mark three not so much on the haymaker but we're still right she's gonna do her thing bye bye for you bald as hell all right okay off we go oh i'm being tossed and turned all over the place i'm getting a bit motion sick oh. right okay where's the button in the middle all right here we go and there's my boy all right he go okay right First stage, dragon. Pretty easy. You just gotta wait for his weak spots to come up and ow, 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 fire, 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 fire. If you just take care of the zombies before they like come too close towards you, pretty simple stuff. They won't hurt you too bad. See, the Easter egg definitely still gives me trouble, but the boss fight, honestly, not so much. Right, he's been attacked. Shoot his weak spot, shoot his weak spot. There we go. That's his first weak spot down. He needs th two more, I think, and then we fight Nikolai. Yeah, manglers start spawning now and it does my head in a little bit, but it's fine. Is so he gonna shoot his thing? Yep, nice one, Nikolai. Thank you. Right, c come here, man, so I can shoot you. There we go. That's his second one. And then the third one's on his head. And then that's when we grab the max ammo and then kill Nikolai. And Bob's your uncle. Oh, my God. So glad these aren't as hard as, like, the BO3 boss fights. Jesus, he's throwing fire. Bro, we grabbed the max ammo as we went down. That is criminal. Bro, I'm fighting Nikolai. No perks. I was just saying how much this doesn't give me trouble. Oh, no. Bro, is it over? Is it actually Jova? Ooh. Oh, my God. Shield, 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 shield. Them mangler attackers are going to be the death of us, I guarantee you. Uh, yep. Oh, my God. <laughs> Bro, I jinxed it. I jinxed it. Oh, we gave it a good bash. We had two attempts at it. Unfortunately, though, skill issue for me. I can't beat BO3 solo. No, no mods. Slate me in the comments, please. <laughs> right, okay. The last of them all. Revelations. And, yep, she has pal. Yep, take the pack of lunch machine. She has mate. Right, okay. One more again, one more again, one more again, one more again. Purple. That is immolation liquidation. Right, okay. Let's try to get the apothecary serving right off the bat here. That would be amazing. Best birthday gift ever. For those of you who don't know, today's my birthday, and I'm actually recording on it, so how sad is that? That is not the apothecary servant. Neither is that. Ragnaroks. Shit. Sure, they're always useful. 48 dredge, I don't want that. KN44, come on. Man of War. Apothecary Servant, that's what I wanted. All right, give me a decent sidearm. Argus, no, I'm not feeling it. We can keep spinning. Weevil, keep going. Tommy Gun, I do actually enjoy the Tommy Gun quite a bit on this map. Haymaker, uh, nah, I'm going to keep the Tommy Gun. Mainly because it's got high fire rate, it's got high damage, and it's got a high amount of ammo on its clip. I need a gun like that for the boss fight, so I think we'll probably end up hanging on to this. Need to remember to spin the Gobble Gun machine this round as well. Right, okay, come on, shopping free. No, that's not shopping free. Round Robin. Kind of useful. Come on, shopping free, come on. Oh, that could be it. That is it. Let's go. 
Right, we'll go the Origins way first. Actually, wait, no, 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 DE, DE. Right, we need to start looking for shield pieces and stuff as well. I'm going to go around the Kino way and then jump over the Mob of the Dead through the Rucked. God, there's so much distance to cover in this map, man. It takes far too long. All right, welcome to Kino the Totem. Why have I ran up this way, man? We'll get this door open. All right, we can maybe get a little bit of a Rucked open. Jump over. I think there's a door directly on our left here if we're fast. Yep, that's it. All right, there's a shield piece. All right, let's get this Corruption Engine on. All right, I'm going to work on buildables first, I reckon, because there's a couple that we need to do. Okay, that's that done. Clear out the majority of this round as well, just to build like, some extra points. Carpenter, extra 200, very nice. And I think that's a rock I need. Yep, there we go. Nice one. All right, that's part of the Apothecary Servant upgrade process, for those of you who didn't know. Although this map has been out for nearly like... It's like six plus years-ish. So if you don't know that, I have got no idea how. All right, that is a piece for the protector as well. Jump over the mob of the dead here. And we'll get this conversion. Conversion, corruption, always get that mixed up. Corruption engine started. Okay, we're running a bit low on the uh, Tommy gun ammo here. Shoot off one of these. There's another one of them rocks. Get that one. Oh my god, don't down to around four zombie Jesus. I think we might have to swap the Tommy gun out for something like a... What is this? HVK. Right, okay, that's round. I want to try and get this other rock. Right, okay, I can't seem to hit that thing. I, maybe I'm even at the wrong one. I don't know. We really need to start watching the rounds, though, because we're getting a little bit too high now. Okay, I'd really prefer if we got, like, you know, anything other than a raindrop, like maybe a Perkaholic or something. Loop back through here. I am going to grab Quick Revive just so we don't die. We're going to be waiting for Perkaholic, then we're going to wait till next round. I don't want to die, so... Electric Cherry, that's not bad. Where's the max ammo at there? But I really don't want to end this round because I don't want to start getting too high. All right, we got another rock there, I think. Yep, there we go. All right, that's two out of five. And I think we were aiming at the wrong one for Mob of the Dead, so we'll go back and do that in a bit, but I want to go get this last conversion. I keep saying conversion. Corruption engine on, bro. Because this one's still blue over here. We need it red. Okay, I think that's another one. I might be wrong, though. That was definitely not another one. It didn't get sucked in. All right, let's get this last one done here, then we'll go focus on the shield, and we can actually grab the rocket Shangri-La and here, so I would rather not kill this last zombie, but the fact we have Electric Cherry just means it's probably gonna happen all right there we go nice that's all for the corruption engines on why do i keep calling them conversion engine oh that's what maxis says in origins i remember right okay get that shot i think that should be one of them anyway yep there we go right, if we head through to nax we can get a better angle on the one up here head up here oh right we'll stop him did we already get the one at the house i can't tell yeah whatever right i can't see that one all too well there's a one in the rook that we can go hit it's on the opposite side towards the kino end so not the one that we've already got bees actually have to be the worst thing about bo3 man they're so annoying even their spawning noise is annoying. Oh my god, can the round just end, man? There we go. Never mind, I'm in the wrong location. Yeah, this uh, this Easter egg doesn't come to me naturally, so I apologize if I'm running around like an idiot. If I'm not wrong, it's more so over this side. Yeah, there it is. I don't know if we got that. Yeah, we did. We shot it. Let's make sure the screen goes thingied. Yep, there we go. We got it. Right, our next one's in Origins. I'm going to pop this raindrops now because I really want a Perkaholic, man. I keep coming close to death. Right, there's Perkaholic. Nice. Wait, did we already get this one? Is this not just a Mob of the Dead one? I think this is the Mob of the Dead one, hence why it's not there. I love how the round change music actually changes depending on what map you're in. It's so cool. What a great attention to detail, man. There's a max ammo. Nice. There's our other shield piece. That's what I was looking for. We also need to find the keeper protector stuff. Right, I'm gonna go check if we can chuck this into the pack a punch machine because I don't know if we're done now. If we can, that's a W. If not, we're gonna have to go and find the one that we missed. Right. Yeah, right. We did it. Nice. Alright, pack a punch gun. Come to me. Thank you. All right, we need to spin for another immolation as well because we need little Arnies. That can kind of completely slip my mind. I mean, that was my main worry out the way they upgraded apothecary servant right immolation please no that's not immolation shopping freeze nice though raindrops i don't want that come back next round bro that's not fair right there's our third shield piece as well right we need to get anti-rev on i say this every time we play rev why is this in like revelations it's meant to be like a harken back to all the old zombies maps and this is just like kind of satia right okay third shield piece thank you we'll go build this in knock just now we're making good progress we need to sort the keeper out next with his little rock let's get this built and now I feel infinitely safer. We actually need to head back to D one more time because I need the little gem with the Keeper Protector, and that's usually over here. If I'm not wrong, the little statue, the third piece, there's the gem, is usually in Origins. So we'll just head through the portal. It's way quicker. We'll head through Mob, grab some HVK ammo while I'm here. Is it here? No, it is not. We'll head up through here because it can also be atop the mound. There it is. That's what I'm looking for. And construct the summoning altar. Sure. Right, there we go. Protector's online. Nice. So the buildable's done. Now we need to go back to spawn because we need to shoot the gravestone. Richtofen. And it's Dempsey, Takio, Nikolai. There we go. All right, let's go check these jump pads out to make sure the rock isn't in Shangri-La before we go looking any further. No, it's not there. The round did end though. That's annoying. All right, it can also be in Kino. So it's a good job we're in DE. Well, like Verruck to Kino. 
Okay, is it here? Yes, it's there. Okay, cool. All right, we need to go find the nearest altar, which I think is literally just here. Yep, spawn them in. Are right, you going to follow me? All right, come down here. Come down here. Come down here. Stop it. Just ignore the zombies, bro. Come on. Your pathfinding kind of sucks, I won't lie. Come here. Jesus, man. Oh, my God. He ended the round as well. All right, do your thing. Do your thing. I didn't mean to take the jump pad, man. All right, okay. Do your thing. Quick, quick, quick. There we go. All right, it's got to defend him now, which shouldn't be too difficult considering we've got literally the best weapon in the game. I can't remember how long this takes. I think it's just a couple of rounds. Oh, that is a really bad time for a Margot to spawn. He needs to hurry up, man. Oh, yep. No, he's affected by the Ragnaroks. That's fine. Go away, man. Get off him. Bro, he's invincible. All right, I'm going to round robin it. Hopefully, it kills the Margot and stuff. No, I don't think it did. Our boy is still going strong, though. I respect it. Oh, the Apothecary actually does kill the Margot in this. Jesus, how long does he take with this? Death machine, nice. Means I don't have to use my apothecan. Bro, it's been nearly five rounds. Are you good? There we go. Are you done? Right, yeah. Right, there's our audio reel. Nice. We can head back over to Nacht now. I need a raindrops or something, man. I think that's it as well. No, that's immolation. We need Arnie's anyway. Right, okay. The first of three. Chuck this on here. Right, let's head back through the spawn so I can use its box location and try get little Arnie's. The odds of us getting it, though, are pretty slim. Oh, I didn't mean to pick that up. Means I can't spawn them in now. The SVG? Is that a thunder gun? Bro, I will be taking that. Gotta make sure that's not my mule kick weapon, though. I don't think it is. The SVG is my mule kick weapon, which I am more than fine with. Come on, you know you want to give me them. Shiva, Dingo, I would keep this, but I need to keep cycling the box. Kuda, Dingo again. Bro, it just wants me to keep it. Dracon. Bro, it's giving me everything but the Arnies. Come on. Brecci, and it's starting to flash. Please. I suppose we can go hit the box normally. We've got the points, too. Does it always spawn here by default? Oh, Lil Arnie's perfect. Right, I really want, like, a raindrops or something, just so we have a source of max ammo before we go and do the next step. Please be raindrops. Please. No, it's emulation again. I don't even need anything else from the box. We've literally got everything we could ever want. Is that a shopping free? I don't need this, bro. Round robin. Oh, max ammo. Raindrops. Nice. Oh, our shield broke. We actually need to go get another one of those. There we go. Right, let's jump through and let's start the Arnie process. I think I'm going to go, like, left or right. Probably be a wise idea to clear out the round as well before we start this. Right, there we go. Right, there's one. There's two. And there's three. Oh, right, yep, there, there's the Margo spawning in. Nice, nice, nice. We're getting a max ammo from the B round as well. So, we're chilling, we're chilling. I think having access to a Thunder Gun definitely makes this step way easier. Right, that's one of them dead. All right, I really need to pack this thing. Chuck that in there. I said chuck it in there. Yep, there we go. All right, give me the Thunder Gun back, please. The Zeus cannon. Oh, is that the last Margwa? Yes, I think it is. It's an insta kill. I don't need that. What I want is bees to give me uh, my max ammo. Clearly, we didn't kill the last Margwa. It's an insta kill again. Right, okay, max ammo. Perfect. Right, okay, I'm going to wait till the end of the round just so we don't get hooked by a zombie spawn. It's a good job I kept track of watch, one, watch ones, which ones we've done. We're going left to right. Right, okay, I think they've stopped spawning. Just about. Chuck that in there. There's one. Surely there's another one around here. Right, there's another one. Chuck that in there. If that zombie. Bro! Chuck that in there. And there's another one here. All right, there we go. There should be more Margwa spawning in now. And I think I just heard them. Yeah, there's fire ones this time. That's fine. It's another one dead. Could be one more. Then we're going to do this one more time, but we got raindrops, so we should be chilling. Right, that's the last Margwa there. Max ammo as well. Perfect, man. All right, we've definitely not done this one. Put that in there. Done that one over there. There's one here we haven't done. Two. And there should be one more somewhere else. Done that one. Done that one. We've also done that one. That's a panzer. I don't think we've done this. Jesus Christ, don't down me. Oh, right, yeah, the Margwa's are spawning in. Panzer, what? Hi, man. What's your problem? Go away. And he ended the round. Brilliant. Another max ammo there as well. I think this is our last round of Margwas. I think you've only got to do it three times. All right, okay. I think that's it. All right, now there should be a reel somewhere on the little bridge up here. There it is. Fury move, man. We need to go to Kino to Totem, so let's go through DE. And our little radio that we have to put the reel on is just here. And that's it. All right, one more to go, and then we're on to first stage boss fight, I think. All right, okay. Now that we're on to the third reel, we actually need to get a packed bullet weapon. Now, I don't know about you, but I'm not going to use the 48 dredge mainly because i don't really like the weapon um so i think i'm gonna get something a little bit more you know reliable we're just gonna grab the hvk back off the wall and mob of the dead because once that thing's packed bro the amount of ammo you get with it is ridiculous go all right let's go get this thing packed i say this every time but genuinely like the grossest animation i've ever seen bro chuck this in here all right okay not gonna double pack it because i don't really need to all right let's go to d8 because the first bone that we can get is in shangri-la there we go it's gonna rise up then we shoot it with the apothecary and off it goes there's a one that's spawned
one here on the church. Now, this one's a little bit hard to see, but I think if we use our keen eye, we can probably see it. Yeah, I'd prefer to not end the round as well, so I'm just going to throw my Widow's Wine Grenades away. Okay, the round ended on its own. It's fine, though. Oh, there's a Panzer coming, man. I don't want to deal with you. Right, there we go. He's dead. We also just unlocked a challenge for whatever reason. I'm going to love a little Arnie. Right, okay, there's the next one. I just managed to see that one. It was on the little outcrop there. Right, shoot that. Right, it's gone. Our next one's in Origins. We can go jump over there. We're we'll lobbing the little Arnie's to make our lives a little bit easier. Right, there's the next outcropping. And then we shoot one of these. And off it goes. Yep, this is the Revelations Easter egg, everyone. Right, there's our next one. Shoot that. Just gonna wait to hear the noise for it first. Yep, it's gone. Right, our last one, funnily enough, is in Knocked. On this little roof piece here. Or like here, or wherever. Somewhere. Right, yeah, yeah, yeah. I shot it. It's floating up. You can see that. Shoot that. That's the hand piece. Right, and then our last one's a DE. It's actually on the wall ride, which is the most annoying part. So we need anti-grav. Is it on? Nope. Oh, oh, perfect. Right, hang on. Oh, we shot it, but we fell, man. It's fine. I'm sure we'll get another go, right? Yeah, of course we do. Get my Apothecan server out here because we are going to need to shoot this thing. If we hear the noise, we're good. Yep, right, we're good. We got it. Nice. Well, you guys can't hear the noise, but I can. I've seen you guys' comments, by the way, about the game audio and stuff. I'll include it in the next video. I've just gotten so used to this system. I really don't want to, like, botch up video audio, then have a whole video ruined. Do you know what I mean? Right, okay. That's all of the bones there. Or it should be, I think. There's only one way to find out. We'll just shoot this. Yep, and they've gone in. Nice. There's the body of Sophia. Shoot it again. Right, she's gone in there, and then there should be an audio reel. Yep, there we go. Let's go take this to the top of Origins, and then that's the third reel done. Although the rounds are pretty high, I still say we're doing pretty well. Right, we need to go take this to the top of the mound, so let's go up the stairs here. For some reason, the mound is just, like, by Gen 3, and the flogger's also here. Welcome to Revelations, I guess. Where is this radio? There it is. Right, stick that on there, and that's reel 3. Hello, Sophia. Right, now I'm pretty sure we've got to charge it up with crystals, like the little turret things. You'll see what I mean when I get there. We have, like, a bajillion points, so that's fine. So if we go on here and then point the turret up to this rock here. Yep, that's it. We need to do that for every corruption engine, I'm pretty sure. So we'll just run through Nacht and do it. Let's do DE next. Let's jump on the turret. And then is it this one? Yep, there we go. The next one is Verrucked. There it is, I'm pretty sure. Never mind, I guess that wasn't the right rock. What am I looking for here? Right, okay, the turret at Varuk doesn't seem to want to cool down, but there's the rock we need for mob. And the one on v the Varuk island is on the left. I was aiming at the one on the right like an idiot. Right, is it cooled down? Right, yeah, we're good to go. This one? Yeah, there we go. Right, that should be all of them. Are you powered up now? Yeah! Right, she's going to go to Kino and we have to do first part into getting in the boss fight, which is grabbing the Cronorium. Right, okay, she's going to plop herself down on top of that Kino teleporter. And there we go. Right, where's the Cronorium at, bro? There it is. And we get a nice little bit of downtime. We can't buy that off the wall, unfortunately. Right, the Cronorium was literally all we needed to go in there for. And she's just going to sit up there now. Right, I am going to try save one zombie at the end of the round because I have got a fetch quest I need to do. Oh, I didn't mean to pop a raindrops, man. I mean, the death machine's nice. And the max ammo, grab that as well. You know, of course. And do we chuck this on here? Yep. Well, I think we know where our first egg is. There it is. Right, let's go do our first egg, and then we'll, we'll just do them one by one, because that's literally the only way we can do, but I mean, like, I'm not going to go about and collect all four of them and then fill them all up, because that's just pointless. Right, okay, off we go. Right, let's just chuck this on here. Now I'm guessing we literally just have to kill zombies, yeah? Yeah, right, it's soul chests. Oh, it's making a weird noise, man. Can't actually remember off the top of my head how many zombie souls this takes. Come on, man, I don't want these spiders, I want zombies. Let's go throw an Arnie, honestly. Might be the best bet. Oh, they don't count. Oh, wait, no, the gateway's done. Right, I'm going to leave them in there. Let's go look for another egg. We'll go DE next, I think there's one at Shang. Okay, I don't think I eggs here, I think it's at spawn. Is it next to Quick Revive? No. No, it is not. All right, it's there. Nice. Right, let's go fill this one up. Back and forth, back and forth. Chuck this one in here. Right, we're probably going to have to go at the least, I want to say, like, round 28 to get all these filled. No, my luck, it'll probably be about 30. I am going to get a double pack variant on this HVK, though. Get yeah, dead wire. Perfect. Right, that one's done. Let's go find another egg. Right, the third one's probably going to be in Verrucked. I mean, this is not where I wanted to be, but sure, game. I'm pretty sure I went through the Verrucked tunnel, but I might be chatting out my arse. There's our third one. Just looking for that all over the place. Oh, my God, get me out of this corner. Right, let's go take this third one and fill it up, and then grab the fourth one, and then get it. Probably get it done by a lot sooner than I thought, actually. I thought they'd take far more souls. And off we go. Right, which ones have we done? That one and that one. Let's do this one next. Right, okay, I think that should be it full. Yep, honestly. Honestly, I, they take so little to fill. That's crazy. Right, next one we need to be in is mob. There's our fourth and final egg. Right, we can take this back now. Sure, why not? We'll turn on the flogger. Shopping free. I want to try spin for another raindrops. This raindrops, perfect. And the last one. Then after this... 
It's the most tedious step known to man. Hopefully, it's not a B round, although I do need ammo for my HVK, but it's a war weapon. I really can't be bothered for a B round. Oh my god, man. Just spam the thunder gun at this point. Right, we're literally almost out of thunder gun ammo, Jesus. Right, okay. Pothkin servant it is. I hope we have enough ammo. Where's my max ammo? There it is. Nice. Let's get all my weapons reloaded. And the thunder gun. Oh my god, how many mini bosses do you want to spawn, bro? Sod off. There we go. Right, there we go. That's all four of them. They have been born into this world. Right, I'm going to pick one up. And let's go find its location. Right, we'll go check spawn first. Right, do I hear any beeping? Oh, yep. Right, that's the first one. Right, let's go grab another gate worm. Maybe this won't be so tedious after all. Well, the back and forth aspect of it is really annoying, but it's part and parcel of playing a four-player Easter egg solo. Let's grab another one. Right, we'll go check DE next. Oh, I hear it. It's beeping at us. It's beeping at me like crazy, but I don't know where it is. Right, so for the past, like, 10 minutes, I've been kind of worried that, oh, I've messed this step up, or it's glitched or something, but no, I just haven't picked up the rune that we actually uncovered. You know, the whole reason for this, like, that's why the DE one wasn't working. Right, there it is. Thank you, that's what I needed. Runes of creation. It's honestly one of the weirdest steps I've ever done. And this is coming from someone who's done all the BO4 Easter eggs. Right, so it should be here, yeah? Yeah, there we go. Thank you. Right, let's go grab ourselves the next one. Right, okay, grab this little fella. Um, did I grab him. Says I have, but he's not disappeared. Right, yeah, there we go. Right, let's go check Mob of the Dead next. Okay, it's not beeping just yet. Oh, I hear it beeping. There? Yeah, there we go. Right, thank you for the rune. Uh, we need to go back and grab the last one. And our last little fella is right here. And this Mog was still chilling in here, bro. Right, that means surely our last one has to be in Verrucked, right? We've been everywhere but there. It's not beeping at me just yet. There's a location here for it. Nope, nothing. Oh, oh, there we go. Right, there it is. Oh, we don't have any shield. That's why I'm kind of like taking so much damage. Right, grab that. And that is all four. Right, we can go mini boss right now. Let's go grab ourselves a new shield of Fury out of my way, bro. And then we'll get a max ammo from raindrops that we have. And then we're chilling. Our Ragnarok's are charged as well. Right, we're good. We're going to pop one of these now. The nuke just makes things easier. Right, shield. And head back to Kino. Right, mini boss. Right, we need to go start the Cronorium step first. Right, all I'm going to do is I'm going to throw a little Arnie really quickly. Hurry up. Right, there we go. And we're going to flip open these pages. Right, it's that one first. I'm going to... What's my next one, little bro? Come on. That one. Throw another Arnie. This is why we have them. Right, that's third. And what's our last one? That one. Right, we're done here. Right, I'm going to throw the last little Arnie. And we'll get some more when we pop our raindrops. All right, we're looking for one with two wings. It's not that. I'm going to pop my raindrops now. It's not that one. That's it. It's the first one. I need to lob my max ammo. Lob my max ammo. I mean, my... Cr my bro, why about the same words? Cronorium. Right, we need the one with two little wings facing upwards. That one. And it's like this little one with a bow at the top. I don't know how to explain it. No, it's not that one. Not that one either. Yep, that's it. Bro, but the death machine... Oh, my God. It cooked me, bro. Go for the Arnie. Go away. That's it. That one. And then our last one is like that with a circle in and lines. That's it. That's it. That's it. That's it. There we go. And we're good. Right. That was the correct sequence. All right. What's the first challenge, Shadow Man? Fire. That's really easy, I think. We just got to keep our distance and not go in the fire. Grab the max ammo now. Why not? All right, we need to watch out for these fire mogwas because they do actually pack somewhat of a punch. And the fire zombies. That's also, you know, a little bit worrying. They're back from transit. Not good. Ow, 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 ow. Them slam attacks hurt, man. All right, that's one mogwa down. Ow, I'm on fire. Use the HVK a little bit because, you know, I want to conserve on ammo since we've got another, like, three things to do here. Right, there we go. That's the first stage done. There's another max ammo for us to grab. Thank you. I said thank you. Give me it. Right, what was the next? Void. Oh, be careful. Throw some more Arnies. That's what they're there for. Having this thunder gun definitely helps out, though. Right, there's another head gun off that one. And this one should be dead. Yep. The other one should follow suit. There we go. What's next? What's next? Anti-grav. Okay. Oh, wait. No, it's walls. Just stay away from the uh, electric walls and stuff. Kind of like the crazy place, but you down if you touch them. I think it's just regular Margos for this one. Throw another Arnie. Stop. Get these furies off my back, man. They're really starting to annoy me. Right, it's nice that the Apothecary Servant actually does damage them. Oh, my God. Right. No, no, no. I'm not about to go down right now. No way, Jose. Too many furies for my liking, man. That's more Margos spawning in, man. I'm going to love my last Arnie. Right. There we go. That's that done. The next one should be anti-grav. It's the only one we haven't done. Yep. Right. Stay out of the red. What kind of Margos is it for this one? Just normal again? Oh, no. It's all of of them. Shit. Get out of that one. It's about to go off. Oh, yeah, we're chilling. We're chilling. This one's actually kind of fun. Right, we need to just be careful, though, because if we stay on here long enough, we're going to start taking damage, and after you just get shot by a Mogwa, anything can down you. Right, he's dead. You kill another one, and then we're out of here. There's another one spawning. What? Game's trolling me now. It's not even trying to hide it, either. Right, there we go. Are we done? Bro, can these Furies go away? Right, summoning key. Thank you very much. And we're done here. Where's my summoning key? There. Right, let's go throw this off. All the stuff we need to throw it off. Right, the first one's actually here. It's just a little chandelier thing. Can we punch? We can 
punch zombies with the summoning key. All right, let's chuck this up here. Oh, that was definitely not close enough, apparently, and it's gone outside the map. You know, radio. Bro, do I just suck at, like, throwing this thing? Now, this might look like I've got myself into a bit of a pickle, but no, nope, we can't buy a gobblegum, therefore the summoning key is glitched and it needs to spawn back in somewhere. Yep, there it is. Thank you. All right, let's go give this another go. I don't know why it does that, man. Oh, bro, it's done it again. All right, so if I gotta down myself again. Yeah, I can't buy a gobblegum. Bro, what is this step? I can't buy- What? Wait, is my step just glitched? Bro, that's not fair. Bro, I'm not gonna lie. I've been trying for like 25 minutes tops to get that somebody key to come back. There was nothing I could have done. It wasn't letting me buy in perks. It wasn't letting me buy in gobblegum. What is that step? Someone needs to tell me down in the comments, bro. I am so sorry for not completing that. That was ridiculous. We were like one step away from boss fight. Is there like something I should have known there? Please let me know down in the comments and I'll rebound this Easter egg. I swear to God on like an unlisted video. That is actually really annoyed me. What a joke. And here we are to the bulk of the video call of duty black ops 4 now this video took me a while and i'm not talking oh it took a couple of days took maybe a week no this video took me like i want to say the best part of a month learning these easter eggs for the first time failing them still failing them on the recordings that we definitely didn't get all of them done i'm pretty sure we filled about three of them definitely the worst in win loss ratio they were also so difficult man you've got no idea some of the steps and buildables you had to go through to get these done were just ridiculous and that's why i think you should even if you've seen the video before give it a second watch man but yeah this one definitely took the life out of me and for that honestly it's getting a b tier it wasn't the most enjoyable experience and i was very very frustrated by the end of it i was just happy to get out for you guys though which i kind of understand you know new storyline new everything it's all greek mythology and stuff start killing around one zombies here because we do need some more points we got burned out as our top elixir slot as well which is decent although i would have rather like anywhere but here but whatever beggars can't be choosers and it is random right get this on get this altar on that's the first one so the first step of these two is actually getting pack up on john and getting pack open on this map is pretty simple i'm not gonna lie he's got to find four altars and two of them we can get open right now i'm gonna nip down here quick and see if we can find the shield piece it's not there this is one of the maps where you really can't be like doing much on these rounds honestly you get the shield built you can maybe get a free crack and go on like around nine but it's quite a high round map for the easter egg at least it all does depend on rng because you can just get the cracking from the box all right the shield piece isn't there it means it's down here there it is nice double points please yes Oh, right at the end of the round, uh, bro, it's just, it's it's the Roman W special. Double points at the end of the round. Why do I expect any less anymore? All right, let's go get the water drained. Or is this the way at the uh, altar? I can't remember. No, this is water. Let's get this drained. All right, we did manage to get a couple of kills on the double points at least. Right, here's a second altar. Turn that on. There's one at the bottom of the grand staircase, and then there's one... Hang on a minute, I'm having an Alzheimer's moment. Where's the other one? Oh, yeah, mail room. Right, we got, like, basically 2,000 points. I wonder what we can do with that. Is that another zombie down there? Right, we can kill him as well. Nice. Or her, sorry. We do not assume genders. On the Roman W YouTube channel. Assume an agenda of a zombie, bro. I'm gonna get cancelled. There's also a little piece I'm looking for in here. Yep, that's the distillation kit. I wanna get through the grand staircase, though. So can you please let me go back through? Yes, and there is a way through here. Nice. And you go all the way down to D deck. Because there's another one of these down here. That on. I'm gonna spin the box here just in case we do get good RNG and maybe get the crack and first hit. Please. No. Okay, double cross, whatever. We need to end the round now, anyway. Because we don't have enough points for the door. I just felt like being a bit cheeky and relying on RNG. We'll give it another go because I'm a gambling addict. No. Okay. Do need to keep our eyes peeled for the other shield pieces as well. But we'll head towards the bridge because there is a shield piece in here. It's not there. Um, is it on the bench? I've never had it spawn here, right? It's in the other location. It's like on the railing around here. Around somewhere. It's usually right there. Oh, wait, is, is it on the bench? Am I tripping? What? Bro, it wasn't there. No, no, no. Am I? I, I must be going and sit. Oh, I was checking that wall. My bad. My bad. Right, let's go get the fourth altar here. Down in the mail room. Then we can start on the symbol step around four. We're not doing too bad for time here. First drain the water. Then get the altar on. Nice. Right, that's pack a bunch open. Step two is complete. All right, let's go run around and see what we can find. There's a symbol there. What symbol is it, though? It is if i don't get smacked by this zombie here oh there's a few oh, i'm just gonna end the round i don't care it's a triangle so i think that's fire what time is it that is pointing to four five yeah is that four five yes that is four five all right let's go have a look for the other locations then pretty sure there is one up on the bridge under the desk so we'll go have a quick look there yep it's there i don't know what symbol that is i think that's air or earth that's 10 11 let me just double check i'm reading that right on oh, nuke i can't pick that up man i go around the other side now yeah that's 10 11 and the symbol was earth right two more to go is it here actually yep it is that's downward and that's water so water is whatever the grandfather clock says here five four 
And the last symbol we're looking for is A. Right, let's go check the third class, like, births area. And then I'm pretty sure the only one we haven't checked then is one that I'm completely forgetting about. It'll come to me once we look at this one. Is it there? Oh, no, it's not. Okay. Right, let's go check the first class lounge. I think that was the one I was forgetting about, the one in the window. Yes, there it is. There's uh, A. And then the time is... That is 3-3. Three, three. All right, let's go input them. This dial is... So this needs to be all the way over here. Oh, these zombies are going to get annoying, man. All right, then this one is... Water on four. I'm going to kill this zombie just so we have a bit of time to enter these. So that means it should be all the way over on the half one, like that. This one is... I don't know what that symbol is. Is it Earth? Earth 11, so that goes like that. And then Fire 5 is on full, like that. Right, now we've got to go all the way over to the other side of the map. We're going to go take the fast travel. And we've got to go enter the first numbers on the other side, then down in the engine room. So this one needs to be all the way over to the right, if it would do it. There we go. I'm going to clear out some of these zombies here, because we don't need them all. We don't need any of them, actually. There's no soul steps on this Easter egg, I don't think. And Earth was 11, so that goes like that. I lied. Earth was 10, and we did the wrong position anyway. So that goes like that. There. Right, now we need to go down the engine room. If we can get this done before Catalyst zombies start spawning in, I will be one happy bunny. Why am I heading back towards the other side of the ship when the engine room is literally right here? Fire on right half, like that. Let's not die. And then this goes on full. Yeah, there we go. Nice. We did it. Heard the noise. All right, we can start the outlet step now, but now we need catalyst zombies. And the problem with that is it's not round nine yet. So in the meantime, I think I'm going to go hit the box. Come on, give me the Kraken. Does that look like the Kraken to you? Essex. The Mog 12. I'm going to whip out the specialist here. All right, we've got some more hits on the box. The S car go. It's not bad by any means. It's just a, like a little point weapon. Max ammo, sure. Get the box open again. A Mozu, terrible. Satisfying, but really bad. The Vendetta, a weird ass sniper rifle. It's not even really a sniper rifle. It's like an AR kind of thing. Okay, box is moved. All right, electric is here. That's good to know. We should also really get the shield built, huh? The last piece is in the uh, state rooms, which we can go do now, actually. We'll just get that done quick. There it is. There's the last bit of the shield. It's going a bit stir crazy there. I couldn't find it. All right, let's go find the mystery box again, and we'll go build the shield. Okay, that's acid. That's good to know as well. Well, so first class lounge is acid. Get this built on this table here. Hurry up. Right, thank you. Use the shield weapon here just to kill them off. Oh, we have a specialist charge. What am I doing? Just trying to get as many points as I can before we go find the box, because I'd rather get them to move than run out of points and then have it move when they get enough. That makes sense. Right, it's over this way somewhere. But full power, I'll be taking that. And yeah, we'll crack this door open. Why not? Bro, where is the box at? While we're in here, actually, though, we can look for that piece with the distillation kit. Where's it at? I know it's here. Yep, there it is. Nice. There's the mystery box. Jesus. Right, okay. Oh, it's not going to give me it, is it? Please, man. BMP, Black Ops 3 Classic. Zwile, I'll take it. It's a decent LMG for now. Hope we do get it here, though. Please, man. That Switchblade, Vespa, whatever they call it in this game, the Spitfire. Oh, the Helion Salvo is something I'll take. Right, that's one of two weapons that we actually want. Right, okay. Let's get out of here. We want to be well clear of this area before the Catalyst starts spawning in. Purely because I just don't want the spawns to be fucked up. Right, they're starting to catalyze. Okay. Get me out of this area. Wait, is this... All right, that's water. Okay, well, that's good to know. We've got an acid one here. Acid is first class lounge. We can get that done now. There's an electric one as well. But yeah, this is acid, right? Where's our acid zombie at? There he is. Kill him. And that's that one done. Nice. Oh, there's an electric one. Jesus, I'm being fucking blinded. I think that one did it anyway. All right, there's an electric one here. That's at the grand staircase. We can go get that one done as well, I think. Okay, our fire one's not there. All right, see if that spawns the portal. I don't know if you can only do one of these per round. Oh, yeah, definitely. That's unfortunate. I'm really happy we got the Helion Salvo, though. That is something. Oh, yeah, sparking now. We need an electric one. We need to keep spinning for the Kraken as well. Oh, I thought I killed him. Oh, my God, there's one of these. Oh, there we go. All right, give me your key, bitch. Repair our shield as well. Bro, did he not drop a... Oh, he didn't drop a fucking thingy key. That's annoying. All right, I need some zombies to catalyze. Oh, water, bro. I don't need you. Fire, I don't need you either. As soon as we get this electric one done, we can go do, I think, water, and then we can go find fire. So we'll probably have this done about round 14. Why is it spawning so many, like, of the ones I don't need? And why is there another one of these already? Oh, there's a, oh he's there. No. I don't want to accidentally kill him. Right, give me that key. Did I pick it up? I think I did. I'm being stunned to shit by these electric zombies, though. Do need them, so can't kill them. Oh! Right, electric, come here. Quick, quickly. That should be it, hopefully. Yep, there we go. It's on the floor. Cool. Get me off of that thing. Jesus, I don't want to do that one yet. All right, I've got a water zombie. 
zombie here. I'm gonna go and find the box real quick, wherever that is. All right, all right, we know where it is. It's engine room. All right, two out of four ain't bad for round eleven. But I really want the not the helion sample, the Kraken man, like so bad. Can't be asked to do the free glit, like the, not the glitch, like the quest line. It's just so long. A pair of shield. It's gonna move as soon as I spin the box. I already know. No, it's gonna give me the demon or the demon or whatever. It's moved. Okay, something's telling me the box is in the mail room. I don't know where though. Oh, there. Okay, the VKM. I don't need that. Cordite. ABR, bro. M16. My box has moved again. Okay, please just give me it, bro. Come on. No, it's the Hades. Useful, but I don't want it. I think I've had every weapon but the uh, thingy now. Ballistic now, bro. Oh, okay, a Akaramba's kind of clean, but like, come on. Give me it. Last thousand points, bro. Come on. Oh, it hates me. All right, let's go do this other power outlet then. It was on the third class births area, so come on. You know you want to give me a water zombie? Give me a fucking electric zombie. Bro, come on. Oh, this game hates me, man. Oh, fire cell. Maybe it doesn't. Hang on. Come on, bless me up. MP40, bro. Yes, let's go, bro. Oh, that's literally all I wanted. And now we're chilling. Let's go. I've got both weapons I need. I just need a water zombie. Okay. Rounds are getting on a little bit now. I just, I don't want it to become like round 24. And we still haven't done this step. I'm sure we won't, right? Max ammo. Oh, that's a blight for the man. Bro, we're getting really shit RNG here. Can I please just have a water zombie? The fire zombie. I swear to God, it's actually just giving me everything but a water zombie. Oh, fuck this shit, man. I'm going to go look for the fire outlet. I can't be arsed. It's just giving me everything but the one I want. Is it here? Yes, it's here. Okay. A little bit of RNG on my side this time. Thank you. Where is my fire zombie gone? There he is. Kill him. Yep, right. Okay, that's that one done. And then we just need to do water. So now, hopefully, the only catalyst that will born, born, spawn this round is water. I hope so, anyway. Because as, as long as we get this done, we're chilling. Then we go pack the Kraken. You know, get the other distillation kit piece. Get the acid kit piece. And then we're chilling, bro. Yep, there's already a water zombie there. That's perfect. That should be it. Yep, there we go. There's the circle on the floor. We are good. I keep getting full powers this run. Grab a little bit of shield repair. Where's the pack of punch machine at? Cargo hold. Other side of the map. Off we go. Right, the first one we need to do is acid, which is the first class lounge. But, but just before we do anything, I'm going to go get my guns packed and stuff. You know, the usual. Chuck that in there. There we go. There's my Kraken. And fuck it, we'll do the Helion as well. Right, we need to go grab Quick Revive as well, whatever that. Oh, it's in the dining hall, I'm sure. We'll go grab that now, then we'll start. We don't really need Dying Wish. Should be, should be okay, I think. Yep, there's Quick Revive. There we go. All right, here's the first one we need to do. Let's get it done. So this one's Acid, okay. Oh, there's the little Acid thing we need as well. Oh my god, don't go down for it, Jesus. Right, we got it anyway. Yeah, we need that little heart thing that, that's in my HUD now. Because we need to upgrade this Kraken to an Acid variant for one of the steps. Oh, we've got our uh, specialist. We should be fine here. Fuck this Blightfather in particular, bro. Should be nearly done now, right? I'm going to grab the Max Ammo before we leave. Yeah, I think that's the last. Yep, there we go. There we go. Sentinel Artifact just for me. Next one's Water, and that is Third Class Births. Sorry I keep pausing. I'm just checking my little chart. Doesn't this actually cause the water to start rising again? Yes, it does. Oh, where are they? I can't see them. I can't see them, man. What the fuck? Oh, hammer's ready. Perfect. But you can fire the bolt white. Oh, that's kind of cool. Fuck you, Blightfather. I'm being shot at from every angle, don't I, man? Right, we're done. Nice. Grab this. Oh, bro, let me out of here. Right, electric's next, and then it's fire. Electric's on the grand staircase, so that's just a little jog away from here. Here we go. Grabbing that max ammo now. Yeah, the electric one can get quite hectic, to be fair, because they stun you like fuck. As long as we got a hammer charge, in which we do, we'll be fine, though. Yep, there we go. Blightfather's dead. Oh, fuck, there's another one! Jesus, man, this, this has to be the worst one. It actually does. Blightfather's dead. That's it. Get this to lower down. Thank you. Right, and the last one is fire, which is just across from here. This one usually actually gives me a little bit of trouble, so we'll see how this goes. Where's the big guy? That's what I'm most concerned about. Oh, he's there. Oh, he's gone now. Right, I'm going to pick up my uh, hammer here and just use that. Ow, 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 stay back. See, them things, they give me so many issues because they take away like 100 health. So if you get smacked by two zombies, you just go down. And with a boss fight like Voyager to spare, you need every self revive you can, you can get, hence why I put on the talisman. I put on the talisman for every Easter egg, but you know, especially for this map, it's probably going to be helpful. Ow. Ah! Right, are we done? Yep. Right, I will gladly take the full Sentinel artifact off your hands. Right, and now we need the other piece for the distillation kit. And the last piece we need for that is in the cargo hold. So, oh god, don't call on me, please. Jesus Christ. Oh my fucking god, please. Oh, that was way too close. I hate this area. Let me out. All right, where's this last piece at? I know. Ow, Jesus, man. 75 HP? Really? There it is. All right, now we need to go back all the way to the engine room and then get this thing built. Where does this fast travel take me? Boiler room. Close enough. Build the distillation kit and can hurry up about it. Jesus. Oh, I'd love to save that last zombie. I really would. Because it'd make this next step so much easier. No. Quickly build it. Hurry up. Okay, ammo. Thank you. All right, now we need to shoot a shit ton of leaks. 
That one there. I mean, that one. Bro, come on. There's one. We've got plenty of ammo, so I'm not worried about that. I'm just more worried about the zombie dying out. Shoot that one, because I know I can shoot this one. Come on, bro. What What are the angles for these? Jesus, man. Oh, shit. Did you call your game, Treyarch? Right, there's that one. Come on. Give me this one. Why won't it let me shoot that one? Or this one? Why does the game hate me? So one up there. Yep, got that one. There's that one as well. Nice. There's one there. That one. Still trying to shoot this one, though. Yep, there we go. And one more, and I think it's literally just this. Oh, no, there's this one here. Come on. Nope. That one up there. Oh, I'm not sure. I'm shooting at the wrong pipe, man. There's the other leak. It's on the other end of the blue pipe. Why am I such an idiot? There we go. That's that one. I think we're literally missing one, and it's this one back here. There we go. Done. Right, and then we need to end the round we're on, and then the pack a punch should come here, right? Yep, pack a punch sent a lot of facts. Grab it back, and then that's that step done. Right, I'd like to drain the water of this place again, but I don't think we're gonna have time, because there's so many zombies spawning in, man. Please don't make me take it down on fire underwater. Please, God. God said, nah, you're taking it down today, bro. Oh, that's so shit, man. I'm oh, I can't even buy dying. Wish we're too poor. It's fine, though. Sod it off. I actually hate this guy, bro. Double points. Actually quite needed. We are in dire need of a max ammo as well, like Jesus. And a shield. We need, we're in dire need of everything. We'll get electric burst back. We also get stamina up, right? We're, we're, we're all right. We're all right. Okay, here's stamina up. Right, and that's all we can afford right now. Fine. All right, now we need to do the planet step. The lo and behold worst step of this map. All right, let's go find these symbols that we have to activate. Let's get this done. First one's right here. Yep, there's one. Our next one is down here. There we go. That's two. Eight more. These zombies. Our next one's over in the state rooms, which is just a jog away from here. By a mirror. Or like hidden behind a plant, if I can remember right. Yeah. Yeah, there it is. There's three. There's number four. There's our fifth one. This is our sixth one, I think. Seventh one. We should probably drain the water in here, huh? Definitely not the smartest idea to keep it, like, you know, flooded. All right, turn this back on. There's the ninth. I can't remember what symbol this number is, but I know it's the last one, I think. Oh, come on, man. Have you got to go prone? What a joke. All right, there we go. That's all nine, ten. I don't know. Okay, first up, Mercury. Now, where is it at? This one flies about. There it is. All right, there's the first one, hopefully. That looks about right. Okay, nice. Next up on our list is Jupiter. Saturn, I meant, sorry. All right, there's Saturn. There's the orb for Saturn. Get me out of here. Kill you, because you are doing my head. In oh, my God, please. Woo! Right, our next one is the moon, and we need to be in the dining room for that. Oh, my God. There's so many zombies, bro. There we go. Grab the orb, and there we go. That's the moon done. Oh, that nuke would be so useful. Grab it, man. Right, let's head up to the poop deck, because our next one is Neptune. Grab a shield while we're here. There's Neptune. There we go. It's up there. Right, our next one on the list is Mars. Okay, that should be Mars. Oh, yeah, it's coming. All right, engine room. Go, go, go. Grab it. There we go. Right, that's Mars done. Right, Jupiter's next. Where am I shooting Jupiter from to get more stupider? Right, we need to be on the poop deck again. And then where is it at? Jupiter, where are you at, bro? That's Jupiter. There's the orb. Oh, my God, they're all crowded around it like cunts. I hate how they coded it to fucking do that, man. Like, they, they specifically, like, did that. That's so annoying. Fuck you, Treyarch. Oh, the cargo hold was the last place I wanted to be. Right, next one on the chopper block is Uranus or your ass. <laughs> That wasn't funny. I didn't want to go to the poop deck. No, I wanted to be the opposite. I was there. Right, where's Uranus? There's Uranus. Haha, -ha, lol. Right, wait for this one to drop in. Right, off it goes. Give me the orb. There we go. Take care of these zombies. Right, our next one is Venus, and we need to shoot it from the aft deck. So there's Venus. There we go. Now we need to run to the millionaire suites. Go, go, go. Okay, yeah, there's a bunch of them here. Jesus, man. Right, okay, we got the orb. Nice. Oh my god, Blightfather, hello. Right, and the last one to do is the sun. Right, here's the sun. Shoot that down. Oh, come on. Come on. Can't aim that high. There we go. Ow, you bitch. Right, there it is. Cool. Pick it up. Pick it up, man. Right, there we go. Oh, shit, I'm out of ammo. Oh, come on, bless me up with one. You know you want to. He's the hammer, maybe? Nah, the hammer's not doing shit. Wait, so what do I do now? I've got no ammo. I quite literally have, like, zero bullets. Uh... Right, got a full clip of ammo. Let's give us another go. Come on, break, you fucker. Here we go. We've just got to be really careful here. Take our time, I think. You do get a lot of it from what I saw. Okay, we're through. Okay, this one's shot. Right, there we go. Run. Jesus, that is a few of them, man. Come on. There we go, max ammo. Bro, we're nearly there. We're nearly there, man. Jesus, my health is so low. What about the raw thing here? Hurry up, melt. Blight father, don't fuck me over, please, bro. Go. Last one. Come on. Yes! Okay. Okay. There's the boss fight thing. Right. 
We've got a few more things we need to do before we, you know, jump straight into it. But we're pretty much ready to go to the boss fight. We need to grab the Helion Salvo first, though, because I'm not leaving without that thing. Where's the box at? And there we go. That's what I'm looking for, the Helion Salvo. Pity is now. We've got to save up our points to pack a punch it. So let's get this round ended. Oh, yeah, and I should probably explain why things look a little bit different. And, you know, I'm like, I'm playing as Bruno instead. I think I was playing as, um, whatever the doctor's called, like the Richthofen clone. Shaw, his name is, I think. Um, I died in that game. I don't know if I kept it in the video, because this is, like, post-production. Pre-production, sorry. But yeah, I died at that little wall there, hence why I picked off from where we left off. But yeah, right now, I'm just trying to build some points so we can get this Helion Salvo fully packed, and then we're good to go. All right, I dare say we have enough points now. Let's head down. Pretty sure packs in cargo hold. We can quickly just chuck it in a couple of times, then we can head back up. Here's first one, second one, third, fourth, and fifth. That's just because I don't want Cryo Freeze. I want something better. Firebomb, that's what I was looking for. All right, we get a max ammo while we're in there. We'll go get a new shield, and then I'm saying we're, it's pretty much time for boss fight. The first two stages shouldn't be too bad. It's when we get, like, past stage three that it's going to be, you know, a little bit toasty. Stage was one and two are literally just, oh, survive in this room and then grab a max ammo at the end. But we're pretty much ready to go. Everything's charged up. Got homunculuses. You've got level three scepter of raw. I'll show you why I went for the scepter instead of the hammer beforehand. It's mainly because when you're doing stage three, it, things can get a little bit hectic and you can just plant that down and then focus up on the boss. To an extent, mind. Like, it only slows them down. It doesn't actually kill them once you place down the scepter of raw, but it does really help out. All right. Let's grab another shield. There we go. And without further ado, this is the moment you've all been waiting for. Here we go. All right, we need to swim out of this tree fast and plant our little artifact thingy-majig. There we go. Give it the artifact. I've never actually watched this cutscene before. This is kind of sick. Oh, those are all the planets. Okay. Yep, and then the massive ice spawns. Here's the massive iceberg rising from the ground. You know, I'm sure it's fine. This is this is normal. This is how the Titanic happened. What do you mean? All right. Here he is. I'm going to grab the max ammo straight off the bat because we're already way too low. My liking, anyway. Right, let's just survive. Shouldn't be too difficult. The one in the engine room down below is definitely going to give us some trouble, though, I feel. We do have all three of our self-revives as well, which is handy. Like, very handy. Oh, you have no idea how glad I am to be finally boss fighting, man. Literally, this Easter egg took me about three days to complete. Sat in college, right? Thinking about how fast I'm going to do the rest of the Easter egg once I get in, into the house, man. <laughs> Honestly, this is quite tame so far. It's not too bad. We've got to do the engine room next and it's the exact same thing just with he can fire these little like wisp things that make the zombies stronger i think and then stage three when is when we need to start really worrying i've noticed that if you clip him in the right like area with the ice variant of the kraken it one shots him that was a two shot there i don't know why i think you've got to get him dead in the head that rhymed the helion salvo also one shots him okay we're doing well we're doing very well oh there's a blight father okay he made a ruin my day blight fathers have to be some of the scariest bosses we've had man like what the fuck is that thing it's terrifying ow can you sod off? Would also really prefer to keep my dying wish charge just for stage three because it does come in very handy. All right, that's the first stage done. Let's go. There'll be another max ammo and stuff in there for us that we can grab. Might hold off on the carpenter though, just for now. All right, we'll hold off on both of them actually. We've got like a decent chunk of ammo. Yeah, these things, they don't actually damage you. They just make the zombies harder to kill. Not too terrible, not too terrible. I haven't noticed anything. I mean, it's just started, but it doesn't seem very like over the top for a boss fight, especially for its second stage. I guess it just kind of eases you into it because there's fucking five stages. I think this might be the longest boss fight in COD. Well, I might be wrong. Ancient Evil might be a bit longer. I'm not too sure. I'm just going to grab the max ammo now. We'll leave it off on the shield for a little bit. Ice variant has to hands down be the best version of the Kraken. It just slows them down so much. It's brilliant. Right, I'm grabbing the shield thing, carpenter, whatever it's called. See, those bosses are really, really easy to kill. The problem I have with them is that if you get cornered with one, you are fucked. Here's a Blightfather coming to ruin my day once again. Should hopefully be the last of the enemies, I think. We've had a Blightfather now. Nope, they're still spawning. All right, okay. Are they still spawning, man? Oh my god. When's this stage gonna end? Using all my ammo up. Oh god, please don't break my shield. Right, that's stage two done. Let's go! Right, this is the uh, be-all, end-all here. Right, I need to get at the back of this place here and then watch where he's shooting down. I am gonna quickly grab the max ammo, though. Not die to the beam, you know. Standard. And the uh, carpenter here. Right, run, 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 run to the back. What side are you shooting from first, bud? There. Ooh, we need to be careful, man. All right, we got some decent shots on him there, to be fair. I'm going to stick this down. Oh, where's my my scepter of raw? What happened? You know, if I wanted to pull out my shield, I would have said I wanted to pull out my shield. I'm panicking a little bit. There we go. Get some shots on him. Right, okay. It hurt. It said. 
Okay, the beam's firing again. Can we get a cheeky little shot in and get a couple in? There we go. Don't get cornered, though. Chill. It's this side this time. Yep, fire your beam. Bro, what do people want, man? Go away. My phone ringing. You're distracting me. Suppose we can just use the scepter of raw here. We'll just make our lives a little bit easier. Try to get some shots on them. Yep, there we go. Oh, there we go. That's stage three done. Let's go. Easy. Right. Don't think we need the max ammo just yet, but I will grab the carpenter because we just need to stay on top of the shield. All right, there he is. We just got to wait. All right, we get some shots on him. Nice. We're doing well. We're doing well. Charging up a scepter would be nice. I'm going to throw a homunculus so we can try to get a shot on him here. Oh, we don't have... Oh, we might get one on. Need to stay on top of the ammo as well because, so, like, j Jesus, bro. It only has four rockets, not 40. I'm going to grab the max ammo here. You're going to fire your beam. You're going to do your thing. Yep. Okay, okay, okay. That's stage four done. Not bad, not bad. Right, stage five. This is where things can get bad. We kind of just need to completely focus everything we have on the boss. Got a shot on him there. Nice. I'm going to throw a homunculus. Make things easier. Jesus, man. Get a couple of shots on him again. Nice. The homunculus is doing bits, bro. There we go. Got another shot on him. Oh, shit, 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 shit. Stun him. Stun him. Okay, no, we're good. We're good. We're good. Didn't want to pop my dying wish there. We're fine. We're fine. All right, we'll grab the max ammo now. And the carpenter. Why not? Shit. Try to get some shots on him. I think we got enough there. For another homunculus. We do have the thing to do it. The budget. Get some shots on him again. Okay, I think we're nearly there. He's going to do another one. Oh, no. Never mind. Just a beam again. Oh. Oh, wait. Shit. No, he's charging up. Fuck, 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 fuck. All right, no. We stunned him. We stunned him. We stunned him. We're good. Thought we completed it there. I was jumping. <laughs> get a bit too excited too early. There we go. He's charging up again. Get some shots in. Oh, come on. He's got to be close to being dead now. Speaking of which, our shield is not looking too good. Get some shots in on him. Oh, surely he's nearly dead, man. Stick this up here. Um, oh, fuck. He's charging up again. Oh, we might go down here. It might be over. Come on. Wait, no, we're good. We're good. Oh, did we finish it? Oh, my fucking God. Let's go. Voyage of Despair. Suck my nut. All right. On to nine. I know that seems really anticlimactic, but uh, honestly, bro, there's nothing else I can really say. <laughs> Oh, I'm happy though. I'm happy, right? Voyage of Spare. First one down. Let's go, bro. Right, okay. Here we go. Nine. First map on the BU4 chopping block. Now, we are going to start ourselves off with a little challenge here. Got to get six equipment kills, bro. We can't even do that on round one. It's only five zombies. That's over already, bro. Right, one more here. Oh, oh, oh. Never mind. There's six zombies on round one. I didn't think that existed. Bro, you're joking. Oh, my God. How did I miss that shit? Now, we got to wait for our dodgy fucking grenade to finish. Recharging in the bottom right. Right, okay. Finally, our fucking grenade recharged. Right. Come on, please kill one. Yeah, there we go. Cool. Grab the heart here. Ow. Bastard. Knife kill 13 zombies. Okay. Got some bonus points here. We should hopefully get it this round and then we can run around with shopping free and basically open the entire map and then start appeasing all the gods. But first, I want to try to get the free scorpion wonder off thing, you know, like with the free fetch quest. You know what I mean? And if you are wondering, I am playing this on controller. Now, I don't usually play a lot of zombies games on controller anymore, but BO4 is like the only exception. I don't know what it is. I'm just a lot better on controller than I am keyboard and mouse. I think it's because you can definitely tell that this game was just completely completely designed for controller like from the hood to the fucking gameplay to everything man jesus christ right there we go right what's another challenge come on slide on right that's the perfect one right let's pop a shopping free here and away we go we'll come back and do the blade challenge after i'm gonna grab stamina up as well actually oh bro you can't open doors while you're drinking perks that's ridiculous cold war on top crack this open if we're fast we can get every uh like area open and we won't have to worry about like point budget or anything crack this open crack this open oh i don't know where i am man get this open this one are we gonna be able to get this one over here yes we are right we at least got everywhere down here open and if we didn't i'm sure we've got the points to you know sort it out right let's go slide under a blade trap without taking damage then we'll get our free pack a punch weapon then we can actually start on opening pack a punch because that is the first step of this easter egg switch this on there we go pretty pain I'm not gonna lie. Right, where's my shield piece? I know there's one up here. There it is. Right, let me grab this here. Grab this as well, because we need that for the acid trap, for the free whatever. I can't remember its name. Is it like the, the segment of rot? No, that's the staff thing that you get as a specialist. Right? I don't know what it's called. Segment's kiss? I don't know. Right, it's some of the champion here. I'm gonna try to keep the round as low as possible. Right, okay, there's the first head. The second one here. I think these are just gladiators. That is really easy. I can't believe they give you a pack a punch weapon straight off the bat. Tom Van Hersel, thank you for subscribing. See, I I was thinking about turning these little alerts things off because like you know i'm not streaming i'm not live or anything but it'd just be kind of cool if you were watching the video and you just see your name pop up i think i'm just gonna keep them on to be fair with you let me know in the comments if they do get annoying though and i will switch them off i just think it might be cool for some viewers i don't know right the other shield piece can spawn
one down here. Is it down here? No, it is not. Okay. Patrick Gissel, thank you for subscribing, bro. I'm getting too many now. I shouldn't have said anything. <laughs> right, we've got the third champion here. This should be easy enough, honestly. But there we go. There's the third one. Now we've got to cross over here and get the fourth. I do really want to build the shield as well, because having that on strap is just always nice. Is it here? No, it is not. Right, we'll sort out the gong first before we start worrying about any of that. Go. What's this one again? Is it? Yeah, it's just two gladiators. There's our shield piece anyway. Oh, fuck. We ended the round. Whatever. It was bound to happen. It's fine. Oh, can you sod off with your axes? There we go. Right, let's go get pack a bunch open, and then we can focus on the Easter egg, because we can actually start it. Right, okay. Chuck these here, and then we'll run around and grab the acid trap pieces. I think there's one right here. Question mark. Yep, the gear. There it is. And there is a piece right here on the wall. I think it's the chain. Yes, it is. Okay, very nice. Now, we could go look for the skull now, but nah, I think we're going to go do the free scorpion gun thing. We need to look for that little pot of fire that we can shoot down. I think it's in this corridor here, like in a, in a barrier or a window or something. No, it's not there. There it is. Shoot that over. Right, and then we got to go look for the arrow up top. If you guys don't follow B4, you probably don't know what I'm on about, but we're just trying to get a free wonder weapon right now. Right, where's it pointing? That is uh, that one. Okay. Well, we didn't open them gates, so we're going to have to go back into the, the sanctum thing, but let me just make sure what color it is, because I don't know the names off by heart. That is blue. Light blue. Bro, you can tell how much I just don't play this game. It's crazy. Here's the head thing that we need, and now we need to go build the acid trap. I think it'd probably be good to just, you know, get this area open as well. Crack this open. Put the little skull down here. Oh, have we got to build it first? I'm confused. Yep, there we go. Right, and then turn that on. Bro, I could really do with a max ammo run right now, I won't lie. That's probably going to end the round. Oh, never mind. He spawned in here. Come on, give me a max ammo. Bless me up. No, full power. Okay. Okay, so now we kind of just have to wait for the crowd to, you know, chuck stuff at us and maybe give us that, you know, cheeky little vase that we need for the a little step where you get the acid from the tree, but they're not going to do it because they're bitches. So what we're going to do is we're going to go start on the main quest. We need to go look for a skull down below in the pack-a-punch area and then pull out our hammer and it should pop out the wall. Now where that skull is, I've got, I've not got, and it becomes increasingly more difficult when you've got zombies tailing you. That's not good. Go away, man. Oh my god, there's tigers! Alright, okay, maybe fuck that off for now. Let's go back up top and see if they give us the little vase because I just heard a quote there which means we could possibly get it. We do really need a gun though because we just completely ran out of ammo. Right, okay, we've got a max ammo here. That's fine. Got a full power there. That's always nice. Oh, we've got two full powers. Okay, hang on. Yeah, there we go. There's our gift from Circa. This is what we needed. Thank you. Right, let's grab this full power again. All right, we don't want to let the round get too high here. So here's the hole in the tree and place down the cup. There we go. Right, and that'll start dripping. Yep, there we go. All right, we can leave that to do its thing. I still need to look for this fucking skull on the wall. Oh, don't be a blight father. I was going to say. All right, we've got a nuke. That's perfect. We should also probably look into getting the Helion Salvo sooner or later because it is just a good weapon to have for any, like, BO4 thing you're doing. Better than any wonder weapon in the game, so... I'm going to try and make a crawler here, actually. No, it killed all the zombies. That's great. And here is our skull. Because see, it's got a little blue marking on the top of it. Right, okay. It's a max ammo round. I think we're just going to grab a swordfish off the wall here and call it a day. Don't know how good this thing is, but we'll find out. Chuck in the pack-a-punch machine as well. Honestly, right, round 10 getting the skull step. Not terrible, but it could have been a lot better. Our venom for the mystery box should also be done, so we can go grab the wonder weapon soon. They must have upped the spawns on BO4 or something, man. There's too many zombies. I just want to start the Easter egg, bro. And I'm just getting bombarded. Okay, there's our skull. Perfect. Right, now we can go get our free wonder weapon and then we can actually start grinding this skull down into bone marrow because for some fucking reason we need that. There's our full vial and hold square to poison the mystery box. Give me that free wonder weapon, bro. And also lag my entire game. Yep, cheers. All right, cool. This is literally all I wanted. Now we've got to go find this little like grinder thing that we've got to power with it. It's actually down here, so it's funny enough that we are down here. Now, if I can remember its spawn locations, that would be great, but I just can't, so I'm just going to have to keep scouring about. Is it here? No. Nope. Oh, it's there. Okay. Stick the skull in there. You gotta get a charge shot on it as well. Yep, yep, there we go. Is it doing it? Yeah, it's doing it. Charge up another shot here. I think you gotta do it three times, or is it four? I don't know. It's just until it turns into bone marrow. Right, there we go. Now we need to get bad affinity with the crowd, because funnily enough, we need actual poo to make this fertilizer. So we're just gonna keep running through the fire here and waiting for our health to regen. Right, there we go. It's almost fully red. That's what we need. Right, there we go. Fully red. That's exactly what we needed. Come on, crowd. You know you wanna do it. Do your thing. Can I, can I throw grenades off you and you'll do it? Right, there we go. This should be it, I think. Yep, there we go. Perfect. Right, now now, the only thing we are missing is the little spike of wood that drops off one of these spires here that we need to go and chuck, bro. Fuck off. You're not an electric zombie. You're not him. As I was saying, we need to get one of them axe things to throw his axe off that spire and he'll break off a little bit of wood that we can pick up and we need that. Right, I'm going to level up our fucking axe thing, the hammer, whatever thing here. Come on. You know you want to spawn them in game. Don't be a knob. Right, here we go. Here we go. This is the round I was waiting for. Hopefully it's not tigers. I think it should be gladiators. Right, yeah, there. Right, chuck your axe. Come on. You know you want to do it. Yep, that's it. Thank you for the little bit of wood. Chuck it on here and then we've got to wait a couple of rounds for it to go charred and black and whatever. For now, we can go and kill these guys because they have no use used to us. 
Oh, Z Harmony's really not doing much anymore, huh? Right, there we go. Nice little max ammo. We can go grab the rest of our perks as well. We should probably do that. And also build the shield. How many parts are we missing? One. All right, there's Dying Wish. I think it's 5k for this perk, man. Oh, there's the final shield piece anyway. Cool. And Electric Cherry. I'm going to go build the shield quick downstairs as well. Because it's just useful to have on, even if we're not using it for the Easter egg right now. I'm gonna clear them all out here with my specialist weapon. We've got to wait this round anyway. So we're not really doing any harm by killing all these zombies here. That is a fucking napalm zombie. All right, let's quickly build the shield. Come on. Give me. There we go. All right, let's get this Death of Orion packed because we might as well. It's not that good anyway, so Pack a Munch is probably definitely going to help it out. Sir Ket's Kiss. That's where I was getting that from. It's actually called the Death of Orion. Okay. Jesus, yeah, this said Harmony is dropping off, bro. I suppose we can go check on the wood, but I, don't, I doubt it's going to be done, to be fair. But if it is, that doesn't mean we can continue on with the Easter egg. Nah, it's not done. The amount of this Easter egg that is just waiting for the rounds to like go past and everything is just fucking ridiculous, in my opinion, man. It's the game. The game wants you to get up to a high round, so it becomes more difficult. But, man, I miss when you could just do all the steps like as fast as you really wanted to and not necessarily limited by what round you're on or waiting for something. And I think that's why BO3's Easter egg really shined in comparison to these and also because BO4s are just an absolute clusterfuck, I won't lie. Suppose we can try out the Death of Orion here. I doubt it's going to do much, though. Ow. Fuck off, Tiger Man. We do have our level 2 hammer here, so we are gradually leveling that up, which is great. Now that we have a little bit of free time, I think I'm going to go hit the box, actually. Okay, right. Let's pop an immolation here. Ideally, I want the Helion Salvo. I don't think we'll get it, though, first try. Cap 45, don't do me like that, bro. Come on. Tiger Shark. Not terrible. VMP, bro? The vent right, I guess we're taking the VMP, then. Let's head downstairs and quickly pack a bunch of bro. I didn't feel like... I can't I always forget this is in the game. And it also has a MAGA 50 for some reason. I don't understand why. All right, let's go check on the wood. Surely it'll be done by now, right? Where is it? Yeah, there we go. It's all charred. Okay, yeah, this VMP is good as well. All right, okay, now we need to find the bowl, which is back here, and let them mix together, I guess. Which is, again, waiting another couple of rounds. Actually ridiculous activities from BO4. Especially this Easter egg, man. Honestly, brazen bowl, best one to weapon. Ah, it's a Blightfather. Bro, Blightfathers don't even give you drops. That's criminal. Right, is the funny dung smoking yet? No, it is not. Oh, my God. All right. Right, gladiator around that actually comes in a little bit clutch because it's basically a round skip. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck off. Bro, they are eating my bullets. All right, there we go. And that's round. Hopefully it should be done by now. I don't know if it's three or two rounds you have to wait. All right, nah, cool. It's done. All right, now we've got to shift it over to the Danu tree and then wait another two to three rounds. Bro, this Easter egg is hella boring. <laughs> it's fine, though. It's fine. We do it for the content. All right, chuck this here. All right, there we go. Now we've just got to wait for it to start smoking green. We also need firebomb on our gun, so we should probably work on that. Just need to build points, honestly. Oh, my God. Let's use a hammer here. Bull power has to be the most broken drop, bro. I've had this specialist out for, like, fucking three minutes now because I've just been getting really lucky with drops. All right, once this round's done, we'll clear out this one, round 18, and then we'll go down and get firebomb on the gun because we should have enough points by then to basically cycle every single one. Oh, fuck. Oh, the fire is so bad, man. Okay, we've got a hammer again here. I'm going to use the shit out of this thing. Oh, my God. There's a load of them. We have a hammer level three as well. That's great. I suppose we should probably go get firebomb now since we've got a bit of downtime. It'll just make this VMP fucking insane by the time we're done with it. So I'm not complaining, really. We've got the points to do it. That in there. Killer what? That is not what I need. Cryo freeze. Nope. Firebomb. Perfect. All right, let's see how the VMP does now. Oh, yeah. That's so much better. All right, let's see if it's smoking. Are you smoking? No, you're not. Come on. Oh, this is such a joke, man. I hate having to wait. I'm like so impatient. I'm so ADHD brain. I would fancy a max ammo right now, but I don't think we're going to get one. Oh, 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 oh. No, no, bro. That would have just been so perfect. Insta kill does work out as well, though. Ow, ow, ow. Fuck. How am I almost going down on insta kill, bro? That's criminal. All right, let's go check this thing. Oh, we ran out of ammo on the VMP, bro. Maybe we'll get blessed. Maybe we'll get blessed. Right, it is. Sw yes, we got blessed. Let's go, bro. Oh, my God. There's tigers as well. What? Hammer fucking takes quick work of them, like. Right, there we go. Ow, 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 ow. Oh, we've run out of a shield. That's why I'm getting hit so much. Okay. Right. Let's try to get this kill quick. All right, yep, there we go. It's done. It's done. It's done. I don't know what I dropped. Ooh, carpenter. I do really want another shield, though. You actually underestimate how hard BO4 is sometimes. I know I've, I used to say, like, oh, you get jug when you spawn in, blah, blah, blah. Honestly, it's still quite difficult. I do need out of here, bro. Right, we've got to go start that Danu thing. So I think we've just got to go get kills with a specialist over it. Right, let's go appease Danu. All right, pull out specialist weapon. Start killing zombies and they should teleport us. Right, there we go. Off we go. We've just got to shoot these little red pocket things. Yep, there they are. Oh, this is bad, bro. I'm glad we got a shield. Fire off one of these and then lay into it again. I think this step's really all about patience because you can go down so easily in it, bro. Yep, there we go. Insta kill. That is actually kind of perfect. Right, there's one of the pockets gone. 
on. Maybe burned out would be good for this. I don't know. Come on, one more. There we go. Right. Thanks for the max ammo. And then this is the last one. Oh, be careful, be careful. I am gonna grab I'm gonna pop a burned out here. Come on, it should be nearly done by now. There we go. Right, that's Danu done. Right, that's one of the gods. Right now we need to go about and look for little brazen bulls to shoot with the shield, because we're gonna go do this one next, which is arguably one of the hardest ones. This one up there. Just trying to clear out the round so we can go look for more of them. But I did see one above the thing. Right, okay, there's the first one. Bro, this VMP is doing nothing now, man. All right, there we go. There's the first sacrifice. We're going to go find more now. Let's go have a look underground. Okay, there's not one here. There's none there. Okay, there's one. Really trying to be careful not to end the round here because I can't be arsed. And there we go. There's the second sacrifice. We need two more. There's another one. Shoot that. Run. I will give it one thing. The scorpion gun, not too terrible for taking out gladiators. They kind of fall like regular zombies once you start shooting them with this because it just takes off all their armor instantly. All right, there we go. And there's our final one. Okay. One's going to come out the wall here. Yep, there we go. All right, that's the final one. Okay, I want to try get a gun that can actually kill zombies now from the box. So we're going to go locate it. Because after this, we've got to kill a bunch of zombies in a certain order. And I want a gun that can actually kill. Rather than just like dump 80 bullets into them and kill about four. Right, where's the box at? Oh, it's downstairs, isn't it? The Hitchcock? Nah. Helion Salvo, that will do. Right, let's get this shit packed. Bro, you can get AATs on a rocket launcher. What? Was that a thing in BO3 or was it just like a BO4 thing? Right, okay, we've got it in the highest tier pack. I suppose let's go start this step then. Right, okay. I need to get the little guide pulled up to read the symbols here. Hang on. Okay, so our first one is brawler. Our second one's electric. Our third one's fire. And then our fourth is water. Okay, right. Where's the brawler at? Where is the brawler? Can kill regular zombies, just not the special ones. That's the electric one. That's a fire one. Bro, where's the brawler? Come on. That's water. Bro, they're all here but the one I need. Oh, for fuck's sake, man. The fire one exploded and killed them all. Now oh, we have to go another round now. Great. Bro, the fucking Helion salvo was ridiculous. It's my first time actually properly using it, like, fully packed. Fucking lion rounds me means we have to go another... Oh, never mind. All right, it's done. I was gonna say means we have to go another full round, but no, never mind. All right, let's see. Is it the same order? No, it's not. Great. Fire, gladiator, brawler, and then what the fuck is that? Blight father, bro. No. All right, where's the fire zombie at? I'm gonna kill him first. Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? Where is he? There he is. No way that didn't one shot him. Fuck off. Right, there we go. He's dead. Right, where's the gladiator? There's the gladiator. I fucking hate the Sekhmet's kiss, man. Oh my god. What a shit wonder weapon. We gotta go again. Okay, I shit you not. It's took me two games. Fucking nine million rounds to get the first one done. But we finally did it, bro. Look at that. Now we gotta do that shit all over again. I'm the only weapon here. And let me out here. If anybody in the comments calls God mode, by the way, I, I you, you can't open the fucking console on BO4. And I'm gonna aim a knife and show you. Now, I'm not using God mode. This step has took us far too far fucking long man i just want to have this easter egg over and done with right let's do the next one all right okay fire poison electric water that's gonna be a fucking doozy the way i've kind of figured it out though is you just got to stay on top of the regular spawns and then you can uh, no i want fire first not electric oh my god that's poison see fire is one of the most annoying ones to get first Ow, man. Come on, where's my fire zombie? There he is. Shit, I gotta be careful. Right there, and then it's poison next. I gotta get, got get him out of that group, though, bro. Okay, that's poison gone, somehow. Then we need electric, which he sometimes stops in the middle, so that's kind of useful. Hang on, like that. Yep, he's gone. And last one's water. Yep, that's it. Oh, my God, yes. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Oh my god, I'm so happy. Okay, okay, right. I need, I need to remember, it's still mid-round 25. Oh my god. Oh my god, okay, 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 okay. Ra has been motherfucking appeased. All right, we gotta do these two fuckers next. I am gonna wait till the end of a round, though. It feels so good to have that one out the way, man. It was giving me so much trouble. Don't want to end this round. I just want to get to, like, the last zombie-ish. Oh, fuck, man. Why did it have to give me a nuke? It just did that to be a troll. Fire sale? I mean, we can't really use that at the minute. Is it gonna be a funny round? Yes, okay. As soon as we get through this round, we can start on the next one. We're probably going to go into the boss fight, probably like round 40, maybe. Like round 35-ish. Right, we're going to wait till the end of this round, then we're going to go proceed with, I think it's Zeus next. This has been an absolute doozy of an Easter egg, man. I'm saying that like it's done. Still got ages yet to go. Right, okay, that's round. Right, let's ascend this screw to the top. Did it go to the top? Nope. Almost there. There we go. Got to find three more. I'm so glad we did this at the end of a round. It takes so long. There's the other one. Oh my god, please don't kill him. Holy shit. Well, me trying to make a crawler did end the round, unfortunately, so I think it's over. Two. I need another one. Fuck. Oh no, it's so... I'm popping a burned out, bro. Raised. We need to look for the one in the Danu tunnel. I think, so. I think that's the last one I haven't raised. Yep, this one. When... Oh, bro. 
that's so fucking annoying, man. This isn't even the hard part of this step either, bro. It's just I'm having the most annoying fucking look all the time. I actually don't like this map. So I, I, I actually, I used to love it. I used to think it was a, I think it was, I was on par with BO3. I hate this map so much. So why is there a wonder weapon, right? That has 90 bullets. Fair enough, right? That probably means it's a little bit underpowered. That's calm. So why is there a wonder weapon? When, when I've shot five rounds into the boss zombie's face, it does nothing. Hmm? It's pack-a-punched. It just, it just, no, no, I just want to do anything. I'm actually losing my mind with this map, man. Right, okay. Are we done with this step? I just raised the final one. Are we done? Riley vibes. Thank you for the sub, bro. We are done with this step because we're allowed out now. Great. Right, I'll tell you what I'm going to do. I'm getting the fucking Helion Salvo and I'm going to go pack a bunch of it because I need a weapon that actually kills and I'm sick of using this Z Harmony. The only reason why I held on to it so long was for the raw step and we've done the raw step now, so I'm done. Give me the Helion Salvo. Don't do me like this. Come on. Not the fucking Locust, man. The Hitchcock... Uh, the, oh, no, no, what's it called? The Essex Model 07. What a great weapon, by the way. What a great weapon for round 28. All right, let's go get our perks back. I'm so upset, man. Electric Cherry. Fucking Dying Wish. And it's still not recharged. Honestly, right? Dying Wish is good when it's fucking charged. When it's not, when you're just waiting about for it. It's a waste of a perk slot. Where's the box, bro? Give me the Helion Salvo this instant. Yeah, I, I, I did ask for the SDM, didn't I? Can get a little. What is that? The fucking RK7. Who do you take me for, bro? What's this? The Rampart? I, I feel like this would be... I think I feel like this is kind of like the Scar, but I'm not taking it. I want the Helion Salvo. Is the Helion Salvo just been removed in some sort of hotfix? Like, what? Huh? Huh? Is it just not in the game anymore? Can the box actually move as well? This is such a bad location for it. Yeah, there we go. There's my favorite mystery box in the whole wide world. Now, give me the Helion Salvo. But no, that, that, does that look like it? Why is it... Why does the Argus look so fat on this game? Who knew an RPG could be so rare? Okay, the Micro MG. It's not a bad weapon. I just don't want it. Oh, we got Homunculus. Okay. They're quite useful. Okay, that's the box moved again. We just not getting the Helion. Is that just how this goes? And the round ended. Isn't that fucking great? One more hit. The fuck is the Vendetta, bro? What is this shit? Right, give me a war weapon. I'm throwing a fucking homunculus or whatever they're called. Right, I need dead wire, bro. Come on. Yes. Okay. Yes. 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 Yeah. Perfect. 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 Right. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm gone. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. And right, now we gotta fill up these little electrical podiums here, which I'm working on with fucking killer what? Oh my god. This is definitely one of the longer steps. Oh my god. Right. There we go. That's one of them done. I think. Question mark. No, what? How many does it take? Right, I'm going to try to upgrade my weapon a little bit more and see if it, like, fixes out the problem that we're having of dead wire not killing them. Green Ross. Okay, we're at max and we have killer, killer what? That's kind of perfect. Right, let's see if this does it. Please? The fuck am I doing wrong here, bro? Something's telling... Okay, there's one of the things lit up. Thank fuck. <laughs> I'm losing my mind. Oh my god, I'm still losing my mind, man. This Easter egg is killing me. Bro, it's giving me fire. I, I just want, like, a... I don't know, maybe an insta-kill or something like that. i could throw one of these in here. See if that does anything, I guess. Not a single killer water zombie from that. Okay, cool. This is actually abysmal, man. Gladiators are pissing me off, man. Right, okay, there's another tower lit up. That's two out of four. Okay, we're, we're making progress here. This is a, this is actual progress. Holy shit. Okay, this one here's got to be close. We've filled up, I think, three. Got to have so much patience for this Easter egg, man. It's crazy. Oh, my God. Two more of these towers left to do. Then we've got to do the specialist thing. Then we've got to do a whole other fucking god, which I think's him or him. I don't know. And now they switch the fire on. Isn't that great? Okay, that's another one. Done. All right, three out of four. Using the homunculus might be the strat. I don't know. Right, I'm going to get rid of these fucking gladiators, man. <laughs> They're so annoying. I actually feel like this map is literally... How can we make the most annoying features known to man? Because I don't feel like this when I'm playing Blood at all. Give me this. Oh my god, a max ammo. It's kind of perfect. Right, okay, we're fully done. Four out of four. Holy shit. Right, I am going to go get myself a brand spanking new shield. And we're going to go do this. It's just a specialist weapon. It is round 33 level health, but I think we've got it in the bag. Bro, we'll be fucking lucky if we get in a boss fight by round 40. Holy. There's the shield. My beloved. Oh, you can't just go for it from here. Oh, can you? No, okay. We've actually got to finish the fucking round. That's so annoying. Maybe we should go try for a, a Helion Salvo. In fact, yeah, let's go do that. I just want a weapon that can kill, man. And that's literally the only one that really can at this point. Please. The fuck is that? The ballistic that bro. No, no, no Helion Salvo for us. Okay. I'm trying to think if it's even worth it at this point. Oh my god! No, 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 no. No, 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 no. I almost just went down. We'll give the box like a couple of more spins until it moves. Bro, how hard is it? Does the he I'm convinced the Helion Salvo doesn't exist. I'm also convinced this Wonder Weapon was probably designed by like Jason Blundell's left toe. It's so 
bad. Was that? Nothing at once. The fucking mog. I'm mogging right now, bro. Where is the Helion Salvo? Oh my god. Oh my god. I didn't think this day would come. Holy shit. Put that in there. Please tell me I'm still recording. Yes, I am. All right, Helion Salvo. Here I come. Absolutely perfect. We got this thing fully packed. Right, I'm ready to go into that thing. I'm going to go kill this last gladiator here. Give me my max ammo. Right, we need to run. We have a full shield. We don't have a full specialist, but we can get that really easily because we get it anywhere when we go in. I'm very nervous because I don't want to lose my self revives, especially not for the boss fight. Right, let's give it a go. Oh, full power. All right, okay. Here we go. We got this. We got this. We got this. We got this. I think. I'm just going to keep using the little, like, burst thing we have on the hammer here. Seems to be doing bits. But we actually have, like, a train of them. What the fuck? Oh, we had to die in wish already. That is criminal. We have to send out a homunculus here. Yep, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it, do it. Surely we're nearly done now, man. Another homunculus going out. Oh, my God. Of course. Of course we go down during this bit. Why wouldn't we? Why wouldn't we? Are we done? Or did we lose because we went down? Oh, no, we're done. We are done. Christ alive, man. I'm just going to pop this now because I, I just I can't be asked to go and run grab perks again. I don't know what we got, but it looks good. Oh, we got... We, is that PhD? No, that's not PhD. A little bit of a shame. All right, let's try save a zombie because I do want to do the trick shot soon for the next one, which is this... No, this fucker. Jesus! Jesus! Round 34 is not fun, man. Oh my god, that carpenter's so clutch. All right, I think now we're pretty much ready to start the trick shots. Now, these can be so difficult or so easy, depending on, like... I want to say skill, but it's also a little bit RNG because that BO4's hit red is, like, notoriously terrible. I think it's trick shot time anyway. Yes, it is. Okay. Oh, I thought we had it there. Oh, did they all get witness wailed? No. Probably one of the hardest steps, honestly. It's just constant trial and error. Okay, we got a crawler now. That's good, but if he dies up, we're kind of fucked. There we go, finally. Right. I know I keep tending to do a lot of the harder ones off camera, but sometimes I just need to buckle down and focus up. So I do apologize if it looks like I'm, like, I don't know, maybe cheating, but I don't see how I possibly could, bro. Like, look, F and knife, nothing, aim and knife, hang on, hang on, nothing. Oh my god, it activated a ring. Oh, I'm cheating. <laughs> okay, there's our second one. Honestly, the first one's probably the hardest. Okay, this is our last one here. Please just work first try. Nope. Oh, this one's going to be a pain in the arse and that zombie might die. No, he's good. Is that it? Yes, that's it. Oh my god, let's fucking go. Right, all we got to do now is step on that pressure plate back there. But we need to be careful because it sends us into like this lockdown Gorod Krovi type shit. And it's round 34 and it'll be round 35 by the time we go in. But I honestly think we're kind of ready. We've got to fully... Uh, nah, yeah, we're ready. We're ready. Where is it? I didn't mean to throw homunculus, bro. Oh, you can put them away in this game that's sick all right okay here we go i think the strat is probably going to be to use the death of orion here and try and slow them down before they come in let's just try and take our time with it here okay yeah the helion salvo is definitely going to help out here just need to be watchful of our ammo as well we we'll chuck a homunculus here because we are running out of ammo in the death of orion is that fire zombie gonna fucking die jesus surely that won't be it do we get a max ammo or something i'm, I'm kind of desperate for one uh oh i'm gonna pop a, a little burned out here just to be safe so honestly, it isn't too bad. Now that I, I think this is definitely helping out, but do you know what else would help out? A fucking max ammo. Please, game? Can you just be nice for once? Oh my god. Right, okay. We're back. We're so back. It's probably going to be a blight for though, and it's going to fuck us up. To be fair with you, if you're patient with the death of Orion, it's not too bad. Yeah, I'm going to get rid of this poison zombie straight off the cuff here. I don't want anything to do with that. There's another one here. Nope. Nope. Okay, there's, an there's a couple of these coming in now. I would use the trap in the middle there, I just saw, but I feel like it would be more of a danger to me than the fucking zombies. Okay, there's more spawning. I heard the noise. Surely we're nearly done right now. There's been like five waves. Come on. Oh, we got another max ammo. I'm not complaining. There's probably going to be a blight father. That's the only other enemy that hasn't spawned in. Oh my god. I didn't expect them all to start spawning in like that, bro. Don't do that to me. Don't spawn tigers and then and then just spawn a whole ass horde of zombies in front of me. I'm going to try and save my specialist for the blight father. Okay, it's getting a little bit hectic now. I'm going to throw a homunculus here. Lob that over there. Please don't kill me. Winter's wheel's got my back. But there's still more spawning in. I see you down there. We done? No, that didn't sound like... Oh, that was the Blight Father spawning in. Okie dokie. Well, you know what that means. That's getting shot. There he is. Right. He's getting flung just here. Now, where's Mr. Blightfather? There he is. Hello. Yep. Not so big and scary now, are you? Are we getting the max ammo? Have we finished it? What, what's the crack? Oh, no. The key was just on the floor there. Cool. Right. I think we're done now. Uh, honestly, I think we're done. We just have to boss fight now. Okay. Yeah. There's the portal for the boss fight. Right. I don't know what to do here. Are we ready to go? Most definitely not. <laughs> Look at our ammo, bro. Okay. Full power's nice. Fuck off, man. Not now. Not now. I think I'm going to go one more round just in case we get the max ammo round because I don't want to go in there with like fucking 13 bullets in the Helion. Use my specialist here and try and get rid of a lot of them. Just get me the next round, bro, because I know it's going to be a max ammo round. I just know it. Are you going to give me a max ammo? No, you're not. You're going to give me a nuke. Okay, it should be a funny round. 
If not, please give me a max ammo. No, full power. Wait, it's it's useful. Please. Yes, 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 yes. I knew I was being smart there. Once we get that max ammo, we are fucking gone, bro. All right, okay, let's use the specialist hammer here. Should be the max ammo. Yes. All right, okay, here goes nothing. Here it comes, I think. I think it's the elephant first, not the gladiators, and then there's another elephant. Or is it gladiators? No, it's gladiators, okay. <laughs> this is doable, because I've got the Helion Salvo. We can just be using the uh, the Death of Orion as well, because it chains. Okay, that's a max ammo, very nice. I'm just going to keep my distance with them all, really, because the axe throwers can only throw so far. Using my Death of Orion as well. It's another max ammo. Okay, I'm going to make the most out of this then. How come when the Helion Salvo locks onto something, right? It'll just go straight past it. I don't get it. Okay, Tigers don't need the rocket launcher. They can just get deal with this. Oh, God. Okay, we dying wished. Okay, I'm not uh, right. I'm not taking any chances. Fuck it. We're just going to use this. Thanks for the 500 points. Okay, there's a max ammo there. Perfect. I'm missing an enemy here. Oh, God. Here comes the elephant. I was not expecting that. Okay. 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 We're doing this now, are we? Oh, my God. That thing's actually terrifying. That is actually so scary. Oh, my God. There's zombies now. There's zombies. There's zombies. There's zombies. There's zombies. Right, can you just fuck off? Oh, my God. God, bro, his attacks are crazy. It's a max ammo there, okay. That will do. Homunculus out, bro. You gotta keep shooting its ribcage, man. Just gotta keep shooting its ribcage. Now they're spawning gladiators. What? Nah, that's not fair. Run, 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 man, run. Okay. I can't tell if we're doing damage. I think we are. Let's lob another one of these. Surely he's nearly dead now, right? Oh, stay behind. Stay behind. All right, he's almost gone. He's almost gone. Oh my god, what's he doing? Whatever he's doing, I'm moving, bro. Is it a bad time to tell you that this is my first time doing this boss fight? All right, I'm gonna lob another homunculi so I can focus up on him. Jesus! Oh my god, did we kill? Right, okay. That's the first elephant down. I am, bro. I'm so proud of how far we've came. I'd like to shout out my mother, my entire family bloodline. Let's fucking go. Right, shock horror. There's another elephant. <laughs> okay, here's the second one. Is this one any different? I, I, I kind of doubt it. Do we shoot its head? I don't know what we're doing. Ribcage again? Yeah, ribcage. Okay, it's fine. Just do it exactly how we did it before. That must be a new attack because that feels way too overpowered. She just shoots all that shit around. That's not fair. Jesus! Okay, that max ammo would be much appreciated right now. And that full power. It's a lob of homunculus. Bro, I swear to God, move. Jesus, 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 Jesus. Regen my ammo. Regen, regen, regen. I have quick revive. This feels criminal, bro. <laughs> It's actually terrifying when it starts charging at you. I don't like how fast it drains my HP with this one. That's cringe. Let's lob one of these again. I'm so glad we pulled them things from the box, bro. Ow, 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 ow. Is that his armor gone? It just, it just made a trumpet, bro. Yeah, his armor's gone. Right, cool. Fuck him up. Oh my god, what is that attack? What is that attack? What is that attack? He, like, actually almost juked me out. I'm gonna pop a stock option here, just so we have infinite rockets. All right, lob a homunculus. Far, far away. Keep shooting it, keep shooting it, keep shooting it. Oh my god, have we done it? Have we finished nine? Are we done? Please tell me we're done, bro. Please, please. Are we done? Oh my god. Oh my god, you have no idea how long I have waited to finish this stupid fucking easter egg oh my god bro this is actually hype right okay on to the next one okay well blood of the dead this is gonna be a long one now i'd be lying to you if i said i haven't already had a couple of cracks at this bro i've had like four attempts so far and they've all gone south but uh, this will be the one this will be the one one two and then knife right wellens were twice not like the knife compared to the traditional eight for whatever reason but we want to kill enough so that we have enough for both of these doors but we want to save one zombie right okay like that and then we can get this door up we can also get this one open and once we head down here we can get the first power switch on and then now we can open up the catwalk if you're wondering why i didn't pop my shopping free as soon as we spawned in we're gonna do it on the main island just so we can get as much open as possible this catwalk still gives me the nerves man it's actually still so difficult All right okay dogs are spawning in now okay warden's spawning in that's perfect try and run past them all here but now i'm pulling out the specialist fuck it come on die you stupid piece of shit come on how many Kaze slashes can bro take? You mean to tell me the Wellen is stronger than that thing? Okay, whatever. Right, we have our first shield piece. Let's hope the second one's right here. No, it is not. Right, we'll do this. We'll pop this shopping free now. Get this open. Jump down here. Get that open. Gonna run back and get the roof open because we have enough points to get down to the second power switch anyway. Get the cafeteria open. Get this open. We definitely probably could get a couple of more Citadel doors open if we're fast here. I don't think we're gonna get all the way down to power. We might get this next one open. Yeah, I think that's pretty much all we got time for. Maybe the showers too for fast. Get that open. Oh. 
Yeah, we got it. All right, let's go get this second power switch on then, and we can also look for the other shield bot. Not there. That open. By here? Please be by here. Nope. Okay. Is it here? Yes, it is. Right. Crack this open. Get this other power switch on. Gonna grab an ICR off the wall. All right, nice. He gave us some extra points too. Perfect. Get the docks open, and that is pretty much the entire map, I'm pretty sure. We also got after tasting of a third elixir slot here. That's always nice. We'll go grab our third shield part, and then we can start doing some stuff and things. We need to get Pack-a-Punch on first, not power. We've only just done that. There's the other shield piece. Get this shield built. There we go. Grab this acid gas piece. Acid gas? Acid gap piece, because why not? End the round. Get our 300 points. Should be a dog round now that we can use to our advantage, because we need to get the shield and stuff all charged up. Yeah, it is a dog round. Cool. See, they just pop like balloons. If we did this with zombies, it would just take longer. There we go. Full blast. All right, let's get Pack-a-Punch on then. Bosh. It's another warden, bro. How many times does he want to spawn in? And why doesn't he get stunned when you knock off his helmet like in BO2? Double points. I suppose we can use a little bit of it here, but I want to save the zombies for this next dog head that we're going to go do, because we need to start on the Hell's Retriever as soon as possible. We need it to actually start the Easter Egg. We should also work on the Blunder Guy after that. Here's our first dog head. I don't know why I don't pick up the ICR-7 enough. It's such a good weapon. It's literally just the ICR from BO3, but better. Got another one here. Got two more of these to do. There's one on the Warden's House, and then I'm pretty sure there's one in New Industries that will do last. I think he needs two more. Maybe one more. Oh, wait, no, that's it. There we go. All right, okay, let's just get this round ended. The round change music, bro, everything about this map is just so solemn. I actually really like the atmosphere that we're going for because, you know, we're all kind of dead and whatever in Blood of the Dead, but whatever. Uh, 191 is our combination for the rigging. Let's get this other dog head filled up. Same shit as before. That's his second one, so he needs four more. I swear it's six. It has to be six, right? Because 666, it would just make sense. It's his third. It's his fourth. I think this is his fifth. Right, no, so it's five. Okay, wait, whatever. All right, let's drain these zombies here so we can get another charge. We're going to need it soon anyway. All right, there we go. What was this again, quickly? 191. All right, last one's a new industry, so let's go get this finished. It's a shame they didn't incorporate the uh, Golden Gate Bridge in this. I really would have preferred if you could just build the plane again and then just fly over the pack a punch instead of the system we got in this, but they did have to change it, otherwise it would have just been the same map. They did make a lot of changes though compared to Mob of the Dead. Like this whole catwalk area, new industries, all this stuff was just not here. New industries. Here's a mystery box as well. I'm gonna start spinning this so we can upgrade our shield. The Helion Salvo. Well, that's a keeper. All right, let's get this dog started. He's nearly done now. Get another hit on the box. All right, he's done. Cool. Oh, come on. Give me enough of the fast travel. No, you're joking. Can I stab him twice? All right, no, there we go. We need to go take the fast travel from the showers, which we'll go do now. All right, this is the fast travel we needed because it takes us directly through the path of the Hell's Retriever. Also, this is such a cool attention to detail because it's like the little like thing where you pick it up as fell through over the years, bro. Just the amount of detail that used to go into zombies maps is actually crazy. All right, let's start the Hell's Retriever. Free blunder get upgrade thing here. There we go. There's the first skull. Go get the one on the roof. I always struggle with this one on the roof. I don't know why. Let me just double check where it is. So it's there. See, like that. How doesn't that grab it? I don't understand. There we go. We got it. Nice. All right, we need the one down at the docks and then New Industries. Oh, on the way there, actually, we can probably grab the Warden's Office one. There we go. That's that one. Oh, while we're here, actually, we can also do this. I think the code was 191. If not, I'm going to feel like a massive idiot, but we can just do this. Hang on. There we go. And then 191. Yeah, let's go. All right, and then this big cage here drops down, I'm pretty sure. Yep, there we go. We need to go here anyway, and this is a part of the Easter egg. So first, let's grab the skull. There we go. And Spirit Blast this. Go away from my Hell's Retriever to charge up, though, first. And then blast this. We need to kill the zombie anyway, so... And then throw a tomahawk off that. Cuts off the arm. We get the spoon. And our last goal is all the way back at New Industries. We need to also start working on our Path of Sorrows down at the bottom, our specialist weapon. Because we need that shit level 2 if we want to get the free monkey bombs. Fuck it, we'll pull it out now and just start clearing out some zombies. Because we might as well. There's literally nothing else we can really be doing. There's our last skull. Alright, we'll just head back through this way. And there it is, our free blunder gas. We can start upgrading this soon. I'm just thinking, is there anything else we could be doing? We can go knife the wall, but realistically, not really. There we go. Right, and we'll just end this round now. Carpenter, perfect. Whilst we're charging up the uh, Path of Sorrows here, we can also start the upgrade process for this. We just gotta chuck the blunder guy in there, and then we gotta charge it up. With the Helion Salvo's only other weapon, I'm a little bit worried, but it's only round six. We should be fine. Honestly, camping at the stairs might be the play here. Oh, what's this? Please be like, oh, something useful. Let's go. Oh, the Warden's on his way. How many Helion Salvo rockets, bro? I was actually better off using the Retriever. Also, that nuke doesn't help. Right, whip out the Katana. We need to charge it up anyway, so it's a good use. 
All right, okay, that's all of it charged, but we're still going to use the katana because less zombies to worry about whilst we're running about looking for these barrels to upgrade it to the magma gat. Oh, come on, it's nearly there. All right, that's definitely last zombie. All right, deposit the essence. Pick up tempered blunder gat. Run. That one. Need to be very careful not to click because it like halves the time that you have when you shoot it. There we go. It's a barrel here. Yep, there we go. Now, this is the longest one. You've got to be super fucking quick. Jesus, there we go. There's a barrel just here. Yep. And there's a one just outside new industries. Chuck this in here. And there we go. Genuinely quite a fun upgrade process. Just still a bit nerve wracking every time I do it. Fucking warden again, bro. I think that would be a good idea idea time which one do i want to say to start grabbing our perks though anyway because quick revive just lets us regen much faster oh max ammo we gotta end the round again anyway so that's fine all right he's dead double points oh that could come in very handy i'm also going to charge my shield because we are getting up in the rounds now round eight this is what i mean bro getting a full charge on the shield is actually so difficult once you start getting up into these rounds I'll quickly use a helion blast here loads of points all right let's use our specialist weapon here D please don't tell me we cleared out the entire round i would be very upset that's at level two now anyway i think the bar's full i'm not too sure though and i think now would probably be a great time to upgrade the shield but we just got to spin the box till it moves dog round two oh, bro he locked the fucking box no okay that's can't go come on give me the lock just give me it early come on no okay hades is a good weapon but we have the helion and the magma guy i think we're literally the best we could possibly set be set up minus perks time slips amazing for upgrading the shield but we just don't have it oh the mog bro no, come on oh full power that's actually huge we get the lock here no okay bro okay right let's forget about the shield for now because we're just dumping our points into the box i think i'm gonna go use my full powered katana here to try and fill up this monkey statue well at least get it a little bit of the way there all right okay let's get some kills i don't think it'll be enough on the first try but worth a go i never get enough on the first try because they spawn way too slow oh no hang on we're getting a few now nope okay we must have got a decent amount on that monkey though right okay let's go back to new industries and upgrade the shield all right okay thingy is grab it there we go oh it's a full power okay are these motherfuckers still spawning because if they are i'm gonna go back and quickly charge up the uh, monkey statue again that's actually godsend rng if it is i don't know if it's gonna be enough though honestly i think i'm just gonna play it safe and end the round it's only round 11 it shouldn't be too bad we're just waiting for this little guy's head to go red and then we can i think you throw your redeemer or you shoot it or something and it floats off then you get three monkeys right, okay let's start killing come on surely it's nearly done now warden please don't fuck me up okay it's done never mind we can leave we can leave oh shit Okay, let's charge up our shield since we've got a load of zombies that we have no use for, apart from, you know, souls. Oh, it's a waste of blast to get out of that. All right, we've still got two, whatever. If we head back over here, in theory, there should be some... Oh, I'm an idiot. I forgot to shoot the fucking statue. Oh, my God. I'll be back. All right, there we go. We also definitely need to grab stamina up because we are running so slow, man. CC21 Savage. Thank you so much for subscribing, bro. Did no 21 Savage like zombies content. And here's our free monkeys. Nice. Whilst we're down at the docks again, actually, we can also grab stamina up, which will speed everything we're doing up tenfold. Let's grab stamina up. If Packer Punch is down here, I think I'm going to pack the Magma Gat as well. Usually does go down here first. No, it's not. Okay. All right, let's force spawn a Warden in. You can do it by typing in 666 here. There we go. Because we need him to shock slam the door. Now, everyone thought that you couldn't get one of these till round 17. But because of my boy Glitch, I figured out that you can get it a lot earlier. Shout out to him because I've been using all of his guides for these. All right, let's charge up a monkey. Chuck it down at the door. Shock slam. Oh, he didn't do it. All right, got max ammo. We got another go. I hope that Warden doesn't die. Please do it. Yeah, there we go. Right, grab the red orb and then turn this on. What a sick little mini cutscene, by the way. And this is the Warden. Right, okay, now we need to go find the Cronorium. So, we need to head back over to Richtofen's lab. And there'll be a Cronorium book on the floor. Then we need to go look for the birds. Then once we found the birds, pick up the Cronorium, place it on this chest, and we have to start the five challenges. Now, the bird step can either take, like, five minutes or two hours, just depending on what spawns you get. But I think we should be okay. We should really repair our shield as well. Place that on here. And then we'll grab the book. Yep, this stupid-ass bird took our book. Okay, yeah, I did kind of forget we're mid-round. So let's just try and kill these until we get, like, one zombie that we can just run around. I think I'm going to go fast travel back to the island, though, because I want to repair this shield because we've got blasts left on it. Right, we can't get hit. We actually just need to make a full bell for the gondola. Grab the shield. Right, we actually kept our charges. That I was fully expecting to just lose them. Let's try to get it up to four charges here, just so we have enough, like, on strap constantly. Right, we have three. Then we need some more zombies. 
Right, full four blasts. There we go. Right, we've got a couple of zombies left now. Right, let's go and look for this bird. Oh, wait, hang on. We can probably kill these two. Right, and they're our last ones. Right, he's not here. This step takes so long, man. I think he's down at New Industries because we've went to every area now. Uh, Electric burst. I'm not going to pick that up just yet just so we don't end the round. Definitely do need to grab other two perks at some point. Right, now our points could be used for something more useful, though, which is fast travel. Bro, he's just not here. Maybe he's at the docks? I don't know. There he is. All right, there's one bird down. All right, let's repeat the process and go again this round. We just got to, like, you know, fight our way through. I also really want to find Pack-A-Punch. I don't know where it's at, though. Oh, nuke, perfect. We can go check the docks, but I doubt it's down there. No, it's not here. Okay. Oh, I think the bird's here, though. I just heard it. Yeah, it is, it is, it is, it is. All right, let's clear out this fucking horde. We can whip out the Path of Sorrows. It's close by, bro. Ah, there he is. Okay. All right, that's the second one done. All right, let's go find Pack-A-Punch. suppose we could check down by the powerhouse, although I doubt it'll be there. There's the Pack-A-Punch machine, all right, let's chuck this in. There we go. And let's do the Helion Salvo. Oh, we can also double pack it. Let's go. Before I get rid of these monkeys, what I think I'm going to do is chuck one. We'll wait for some zombies first. And then we'll charge up our shield. Because now that it's round 15, it's going to be insanely difficult to, you know, do the thing. Of course, the warden has to fuck that up. Cheers, mate. Never mind. I guess we'll do it later. Also, my shield's about to break. I'm going to put my katana away, then charge it up again. Bird isn't here, I don't think. I can't hear it. Nah, I really don't think it's here. Right, let's go back to the prison. It's not in the cafeteria. Is it here? Nah, I still don't hear it. I have a feeling it might be down at the docks this time. Could also be on the roof. We haven't checked that yet. While we're up here, actually, let's repair the shield. I think he's down at the docks. I still don't hear it, but where is he at? Here he is. He's our third one. All right, now we need to listen out for the other one. But first, we need to, like, end the round. So, all right, once we've done this, we can look for this last one. Then the bird steps over. We've got the crinorium. All is great. Then we start the challenges, which are arguably the hardest bit. I hope it's not the lever one first. Just give me something easy, like, you know, Michigan Avenue, where I've just got to lead a guy through or something like that. Like I said, I was going to do before, throw a monkey, and then... Oh, I didn't want to throw another one, but sure. Oh, Carpenter, let's go. Right, we've got a couple of souls there. we still only got two blasts, though. Just having as many spirit blasts is so favoured. All right, okay. Right, I'm going to use my katana here because I want to get this. Oh, no, we've already got it up to level three. Okay, these are our last zombies. All right, we've got to listen out for one, but we're not allowed to look at it. Okay, right, he's on that wooden post just there but we are definitely not allowed to look at him because you know we're just not i don't know why it's just one of the steps i need my house retriever back first before we do anything but we're also need to get spawn in a zombie's blood so we can actually see that thing and like bring it into life all right okay let's go grab our house retriever again bye bye monkeys all right let's go get our free zombie's blood then shall we quickly blast this there we go. And then eight, seven, two. Pop a temporal gift. Grab this. Run, 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 run. Right, there we go, I think. No? Really? There we go. There's the crinorium. Got a little bit worried there. Right, there we go. Right, great, 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 great. That's amazing, right? We can head back up now. Bro, the zombies plus lasted forever. And fuck it, we'll craft the acid gag kit. Just for completion's sake. And I definitely did make the right decision to charge up our shield because we've got three blasts left. Every time we get a challenge, we've got to go down here and input it in the numbers we get into the Citadel Tunnel's, like, number terminal thing so by having all these charges it just makes everything way easier all right okay let's put the crinorium on his chest right our numbers are 714 for the first challenge okay let's go get these inputted then right okay so 714 please don't be the fucking simon says symbol translation bollocks one i really can't be bothered for that to be my first one just give me like michigan avenue or like the banjo one something like that no it's not michigan avenue where's it shining is that the showers or is that the docks i can't tell where that's going i think that's showers because oh yeah it's showers all right we got the banjo one first i think let's just double check here yes we did okay let's bring this here right okay now we've got to stand in here and get zombies kills this is this is why it's one of the easiest ones because it's just kills let's not fuck it up now that i've said that yeah <laughs> okay yeah this ring moves about as well oh, it's dog round bro i mean i'm not complaining about more ammo but like i just want to get on with the challenge oh they count the souls never mind we we'll try to get a shield blast here because we've used them all now spoiler alert i fucked it up and now we have to do it again i've just inputted the numbers i don't know if we get the same challenge though i'm kind of praying on it the fucking circle was it was killing me because i wasn't killing enough zombies inside of it okay where's the beam going is it down here no it's a completely the challenge uh oh if it's the most code one we're kind of in luck if not i don't know bro oh it's michigan avenue okay All right, let's make this actually a thing let's kill a zombie whip out the shield All right spirit blast them then we'll pop an undead man All right okay 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 we're getting there we're getting there we're getting there undead man is definitely helping out here what a shout from the guide i'm following by the way to use this gobblegum honestly oh god there's a fucking warden and dogs 
Right, okay, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. The orbs on the floor. I'm just being surrounded by like 1,500 different zombies. Doesn't help that this fucking warden will go away either, man. Should really be using them dogs to charge up my shield, man, but I could not give a fuck. There we go. Full power. Nice. Right, I need that orb that he dropped, man. Oh, please don't kill the last zombie. Right, nice. Right, let's go get another code. Okay, stop. 536. Actually, I think I'm we're going to have to go another round because I've barely got any charges in my shield. Or not, actually. Hang on. Fucking hate this map so much, man. I just down to three zombies. Nah, I've got to go rebuy my perks, for fuck's sake. Well, here's a plus of the next time we're down. We won't have to do that because we'll be fucking dead. Electric cherry. Hang on. What was it again to get the three, four things? Because I know when it's sparking, it means you can have it. Yeah, there we go. You just press F on it. There. Oh, my God. There we go. Right now, we have a full charge. We can actually do it this round. I think our code was five. Three, six. If not, I'll just do it the other way. Fine. Was it that? Yep, there we go. Let's go have a look where it's beaming down. Definitely not here, which is somewhat good because it means that it's not the most cold one yet. I really want the banjo one next. And I think it might be actually because it's shining down. Okay, it's not the banjo one. Where's it at then? Oh, God. Is it the lever one? Oh, my God. Why the round end? What? I mean, it's shining in new industries. I can never remember what one this is, though. All right, this is the one where you've got to drain them a bunch of times, right? Get this to come into real life, and then we'll head over to the original Mob of the Dead spawn room where we need to kill a singular zombie and then start draining them. All right, okay, we killed one. That insta kill is going to be really handy. Where's my ghosty boy at? There he is. All right, come here. All right, we need to start draining him. Shit, there he is. <sighs> Keep draining him. All right, we need to get another spirit blast quick off these zombies. Fuck, we ended the round. Okay, right, we're nearly there. We're nearly there. It's fine. All right, okay, he's fully red. He's fully red. He's fully red. We can't drain him anymore, no? Right, no, we're good. Let's get off the catwalk before they start spawning in, yeah? I'm just going to make sure he's still following. Yes, he is. Okay, let's wait over here for him to come through. Then we have to pull the trap. There we go. Okay, right. That's the second one done. Right, there's the second orb. Now, we should probably head back and, you know, grab a new shield and all that jazz. Because it's about a break. Right, let's head through. Right, we should start getting some uh, spirit blasts on the go here. It's a shame it takes about nine years for them to actually go into the key, but whatever. We've got a dog here. We can use that. I'm also keeping my eyes out for the uh, sparking power boxes here. Because it would just make my job a lot easier. But I can't seem to find them. How many charges we got now? Three. Okay. Right, we're good. We're good. We're good. We're good. Please don't kill them all. I beg. Right, okay. I literally just want one zombie. There we go. Right, let's go get our third challenge numbers then. The odds of it being the banjo one are like two to one. So it's going to be a long one, whatever one we get. I want numbers. 858. Javon Mills. Thank you for subscribing, bro. Right, okay. 858. All right, let's go look at the lighthouse and see which one we got. I think it might be the powerhouse one. I'm not sure, though. I'm going to go check the docks. Okay, yeah, it's the Morse code one. That's kind of jammy, I'm not going to lie. Because we do have a zombie left. Now, please don't kill him with a shield blast. Get him right away. All right. We've basically just got to trial and error this thing until it, you know, eventually works. What I'm going to do is I'll pop a temporal gift. We'll shock this thing again. Get a zombie blood. Eight, seven, and then two. Grab this. Run. Right, okay. One. Okay, so it's dot. Let me grab a pen and paper. <laughs> Dot again. Okay, so it's dot, dot, dash. That means the rest have to be dashes, right? Okay, so I believe our first number is two, though. So we got that. Let's fucking go, bro. We did it. Our code turned out to be um, two, zero. <laughs> Okay, I know I cut a lot of that out, but honestly, I I'll put a screenshot, right, of the things that I wrote down on pen and paper, by the way, bro. We're taking it back to, like, 2016 on pen and paper of the code that I got to prove that I'm not bullshitting here. All right, now we need to kill in the infirmary. But first, I need a new fucking shield. Oh, it's a dog round. All right, we can charge our shield. Okay, the dog actually counts as a soul. All right, okay, here's our guy. We need to charge this guy up with zombie souls now. Shouldn't be too difficult. We got we do have a magma gas. Bonus points. It's probably the most useful drop we could... Useless drop we could have got. All right, there we go. He's on the move. Got to keep charging him with these souls. I want him to shift because this infirmary sucks, man. All right, we got to lead him to the gondola. Right, okay, this gives us a little bit of downtime. Come on, little guy. This is a terrible time for the gondola than just not be here. Give me my specialist weapon. Come on, get in here, bro. Let's go. Yo, who's this guy, bro? That was a warden coming. Of course there is. Of course he's right there as well. I don't want to back myself into a corner. And that's perfect. There's a nuke. All right, come on, bro. Your house. It's here. Quickly. Yes, there we go. Right, okay, that's the third one done. All right, that's three out of five. I'm not doing too bad. That's another warden. Oh my god, man. That's another ward. What the fuck is going on? Just trying to get my spirit blast back up here. We nearly got four. Right, there we go. It's fully charged. I want to get to the end of the round before we try to do another challenge. I think they're still spawning, actually. Yeah, they are. All right, that's last zombie. All right, he's a runner. Good. Let's go get the numbers from the 
Warden's Chest book thing, whatever. And let's do the fourth challenge. It's probably going to be the lever one, but we do have a full shield, which I, then again, I don't even think is enough. I think you need more than that. All right, stop. Seven, four, eight. Okay, blast this quick. And then it's seven, four, eight. Wait, what? what? Takio said perhaps not. Did I type the code in? No way. Oh, I wasted a spe oh, spirit blast. That's so annoying. Hang on. What's the code? Se what, what the fuck? I put in seven, four, eight. All right, okay, one more time. Seven, four, eight. What the fuck? Okay, looking at that a little bit better. I've realized that's a four now, for fuck's sake. <laughs> Why am I such an idiot? It's four, four, eight. Are you got no, 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 no. That looks like a seven. I, I don't want to hear in the comments before you start commenting. If four, four, eight doesn't work, I'm going to point and laugh at you in the comments if you've, if you've done something before I've even put the code in. All right, four, four, eight. Sod off, man. <laughs> okay, I think this is showers. If it is, I'm going to wait till the round starts. And I'm also going to go grab a new shield. Okay, yeah, it is. It's the banjo one where you got to do a lockdown. So I want to be like as prepared as possible because we don't have any more self revives. We have a dying wish, which is good. We also have a charged katana. I think we're good to go, honestly. I just want to end the round first because I don't want to die like how we did last time. It just started draining my HP. All right, let's bring this to life. We got to wait on our friend here with the banjo. All right, let's grab it. All right, stand in here. Let's try to get some kills. I'm so glad this thing is still killing. Okay, now let's pull this out. Okay, that's it. I think we're done. Yeah, let's go. We got my boy's banjo. There's a nuke here. That's perfect. Right, let's give him it back. Yeah, he's happy. Let's go. Right, that's our fourth orb. Now we have the hardest one to last, which we'll do once we end the round. I also need to charge my shield for this. We need a full charge. I'm going to go check if the uh, the thing has it first, though. There we go. Oh, my God. Let's go. That was a complete guess as to whether it was that one as well. Right, we have a full shield blast. We need to save some zombies at the end of this round as well because we need to shock the thing, input the numbers, shock the thing into real life. Oh, God. We need to save, like, I want to say 15 zombies. We need more spirit blasts. One thing I will admit that the Asigar has over the Magma Gat is how fast it kills them. Because don't get me wrong, this thing's great. It's killing them, like, consistently, but fucking hell, man, is it slow. Can't tell if this is the last couple or they're just starting to spawn in again. I think it's the last couple. All right, we can go start the last one now. Now, here's the question. Did I pick up the orb in the showers? Yes, I did, I remember. I've actually got Alzheimer's. It's so over for this Easter egg, bro. Oh, we're nearly there. There's four things shooting into the lighthouse. Just need one more. Right, what are the numbers? 593. Right, so it is... Oh, God, I don't want to get caught. Yeah, that's the last thing I want to do. Five, nine, three. Let me out, bro. Fuck this shit. Oh, this is actually kind of where I need it to be as well, though. Okay. All right, let's bring this into real life. We should also probably boost the damage on our Helion because we're going to use it for the boss fight. And it's almost run its course for damage here. So we might as well... Right, I think that should be good enough for now. Now we got to go do Simon Says with these fucking generator lights, I think. I think that's what they are. I do want to save these shield blasts that we have left, though. So let's go repair our shield. We got the points to do it. Fucking 29,000. Okay, I cut the fourth and the fifth sequence because I kind of had to, like, stop my recording to record bits that I can watch back. So it was these three here. So that's this one. Then it was... Uh, let me stand here again so I can get my bearings. It was this one. So that's this. Right, okay. I've jotted down all the symbols I need. Oh, fuck. I need to get back in there. Oh, God. My shield's about to break. No, no, no. Shield takes priority, okay? We're going back up to fix the shield. Then once we fix the shield, we'll come back down, grab the punch card. Then we'll go do the translation bit. And then I'm pretty sure even this round, we could probably get the lever step done since we have three charges, I'm sure. Yes, we do. All right, that's the shield repaired. Still have three charges, yes? Yes. Cool. All right, let's go start the translation step. Quickly run back down and grab the punch card. Which is, should be just here on a shelf? Yes. Takio just asks, how does one read it? Well, we read it with a computer. It's a new industry, so we got a bit of fucking distance to jog like. Let's hope my shoddy drawings are enough for me to actually recognize what ones are which. All right, chuck that in there. And uh, now, okay, we've got a bunch of monitors. Now we've got to decide which ones are ours. Is that one of ours? Yes, that is. That's like a grid hex thing. Oh, that might have been the worst time for the zombie to die out, man. Looks like we're going another round. Fuck. Oh, I really thought we were going to get that done. Never mind. Oh, my God. I was not prepared for another wave. I was expecting a boss fight in that round. Fuck. <laughs> right, okay. I cleared out most of the horde. Let's go finish this code. Right, okay. So that one's that. Right, okay. Here's our last one. It's like that. Right, okay. Let's go see. Our ghost friend should be there. He should be, like, pulling levers already. But, like, we've got to tell him to pull the right ones. We need to figure out what generator is which. Not that one. That one. Right, okay. That's That should be one of them, right? Pull the lever. Pull the lever. All right, no. No, no, no. Don't pull that one. No. No. Not this one either. Fuck the zombies. It's not my smartest idea trying to do this. Okay, no, I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm out of here. I'm fucking out of here. Oh my god, new fucking industries. This is not where I wanted to be. Let me out. Oh my god. Gotta end this round again, man. I don't want a fire sale. Give me a nuke or something useful, man. I fucking hate this map. Full power, that's useful. Right, okay, he's dead. Double points. Yeah, sure. Another what? Right, okay, he's dead. What did he drop? Oh, max ammo. That, that's actually useful. Okay. It's an upgrade from last time. 
Another warden, but no, I can't be arsed. Right, okay, warden's dead. I'm actually, like, fucking sweating, bro. This Easter egg is taken out of me. I really hope our little ghosty boy is still there. No Easter egg should have you on round 32 and still doing steps. All right, we need the one at the end. Where is he? Oh, he's there. Oh, fuck, I actually need him to pull that one. I've got to wait for him to come around. It's fine. Pull, yeah, pull that one, pull that one. Okay, I didn't fuck it up. Good. Right, the one at the end is the last one we need, right? Yep. Yeah. Okay, is that the last one? Oh, fuck. Please don't actually pull it. No, he didn't pull it. He didn't pull it. He didn't pull it. We just have to go another round. Where'd he go? Oh, no. Ladies and gentlemen, I'd like you to put your hands together for the biggest bit of bullshit you've ever seen in your life. You see that there? Yeah, that lever's not supposed to look like that, right? It's supposed to be one way or the other. So you see how it's both ways? Yeah, that's not supposed to happen. So in my eyes, we didn't lose. We lost because of Jason Blundell's shitty code. Right, okay, here we are. Classified. Definitely my favourite BO4 map. Hands down has to be. I know there's probably a bunch of people in the comments that are going to be like, well, it's the simplest one. There's nothing really to it. It just looks cool. I, I don't know what it is. We are not going to end the round. We are going to get to round one and get the entire map open without... Never mind. I, I wasn't expecting that to be the end of the round. Never mind. It's fine. Don't worry about it. It doesn't necessarily matter. This Easter egg's pretty quick anyway because we're not doing the round 151. That is ridiculous. That would be its own separate video would make the video like i think at least four hours long where is this piece i'm looking for a little shield piece bro there it is crack this open is it on the chair no it's not we're gonna look for this other teleporter piece there it is all right let's try and piss off mcnamara here and we'll get ourselves a bunch of nova crawlers which in turn gives us a bunch of points and a bunch of points equals a bunch of doors simple math really bro okay we'll not end round two i think that might be the last zombie no it's not this one there right that's the last zombie <laughs> he's actually getting so pissed off this is the fourth time i've chapped on the window <laughs> right, there you go. Right, Samantha's pissed now. That right. Yeah, now she spawns in a bunch of these Nova fuckers, which in turn is going to give us a shit ton of points. Also got a Path of Sorrows charge. That's always good. I feel like this is a nice compromise instead of doing the round 151. Let me know in the comments what you think, though, because I will go back and do it in a separate video. Just not this one. Oh, double points. Could you have been any nicer to me? What an absolute night and day difference between this and a nine. Is that another one? It's an insta-kill. Bro, she spawned so many. This is kind of ridiculous. Is it? Does it stop? Surely it's done now. Right, okay, yeah, it is. Jesus, that was a lot of them. That's a lot more than I remember. All right, let's crack this door open here. And then we'll head downstairs. We'll get the power on, get the little amplification thing built, and then we'll start the Easter egg. It literally only takes about, like, 20 minutes if you know how to do it, really. Crack that open. This one open. I like how they um they decrease the prices of the doors, like, significantly from the original five. Like, that door back there, so it was 1,500. Now it's only 750. Great. Turn this on. Open this up. There's our other piece. If we head down here, the shield piece can spawn here. It's not there, though. Oh, that's dogs. That's a lot of dogs. That's because we're not moving on from the round. There's the visor for the shield. That's what I was looking for. War room. Yep. Get the server room open for the DEFCON switch. Hit this one. Then this one. Numero quattro. Un sank. Right, okay. Let's go get this last piece here. We can also grab the last piece for the shield once we've grabbed this one. And there it is. Nice. Oh, I changed the labs last second, man. And there's the other piece for the shield. Right, okay. Let's head upstairs. And we'll build the amplifier up here. Actually, no, scratch that. We'll craft the riot shield up here. Very much. Please go blue. Come on. There we go. And then we'll head down here and craft a little teleport amplification thing. Which I think the buildable table is over here? Yes, it is. Okay, right. Get that crafted. War room. Oh, fuck's sake, bro. That's going to keep happening, isn't it? Right, war room. That's where I wanted to go. Now that we're here, I'm pretty sure it's just as simple as doing this. Yep, there we go. Now, we can head over here, grab this, which is like this, this little key here. Don't know how people figured this out, but whatever. Take me upstairs. Yep. Let me head through to here, and where's the desk? That's not it. Is this it? No, is it the one over here? What desk is it that has the code in it, man? This one? Yeah, there we go. Right, okay, that's Dury. So our first code is 1380. Now what we do is we head down into the labs. Please change perfectly. No, okay. Right there. And we need to look for a certain window, and I think it's this one just here? Yeah, it is. Right, okay. So we need to get a frag grenade all the way back there. Oh, bro, come on. What? All right, fuck it. We'll end the round. Oh, I thought I was going to end the round. We'll use equipment here. There we go. That's what I wanted. 9912 is the Shangri-La code. Now we got to do some funny business with the DEFCON switches. Can this take me up to the second floor, please? Hurry up. There we go. I really love that feature, how it actually tells you where you're going now. Right. We need to hit these in a certain order. It's this one. 
And then I wanted a new area, which is the server room, which is just there. Honestly, this Easter egg's great. It should have just been the main quest, man. So that's three, this one, and then finally, this one. And we need to quickly run to a teleporter that isn't the one in the middle, because it won't take us there. President's room. Right, and then I think it's this TV? This TV? One of them. Oh, there you go. Right. 4503, and I can't... I think that's Kino? Is that Kino? I don't know. Right, okay, now that that's done, we can leave here. Grab time slippers, why not? But we do need to end the round here, because I need points really badly because we need to pack a punched weapon and we are also completely out of ammo right, let's crack the box open here please don't give me a, i was gonna say please don't give me a winter's howl a locust will do i guess for now 4503 was the last code we just got one more to get okay the cordite is way better than the locust for points so we'll use that I guess now we've just got to kind of play a game of Classified. We've done all this at such a low round, man. That's actually unbelievable. Kind of makes the map ridiculously easy if you know what you're doing. Oh, these are schematics for Ted. What the fuck? I didn't even know these were here. That's actually so sick. You know, maybe if we did have like a shopping free or something, we could have sped it up even more. But it's kind of fun to just have to actually play the game instead of just speed running. We're nearly there anyway. Bro, the round stingers on this map for a fucking season pass bonus that went all out for the soundtrack, man. We're nearly there. We might get it this round, maybe. Oh, no. Was it max ammo? Yeah, we'll probably get it this round. Right, okay, let's go get the DEFCON switches put on. There's DEFCON 2. I'm gonna rinse this man for some extra points. DEFCON 3, DEFCON 4, and DEFCON 5. Right, we actually get to go to Area 51 now. Chuck that in there. There we go. Can I just say as well that the teleporter on this game for Moon looks so fucking good, man. Look at that. I feel like that surely has something to do with, like, a side Easter egg. That looks way too, like, in your face to not be. Right, anyway, we've got a pack weapon now. We're good. Right, okay, now we've got to go shoot some President's Portraits. Let's go up. They got everything so on point with this, man. Right. Benjamin Franklin, Abraham Lincoln, Hamilton, Washington. No? Really? I thought that was the order. Okay, let's just try this. One, three, two, four. What, bro? Right, let's try this again. One, three, two, four. Bro, there we go. Right, 4093. Right, now we've got to get all these codes in the computer down below. Why did I say it like that? Computer. My accent doesn't even make me sound like that. Yeah, these dogs might be a bit of a problem if we're entering a code like. Right, okay. One, two, three, four. Get this back down to zero. There we go. There's the first one. Got to get this to 1380. There we go. There's the Reese. These images of the maps are so cool, man. Let's clear out some of this horde here. Twin Rip, thank is that how you say it? Twin Rip? Thank you for subscribing, bro. Next one we have to enter is Shang, so that's 9912. There we go. And then our final code here is the Kino de Toten one, which is 4503. There we go, and that should be it. But yeah, there's no way can't any more codes, right? Okay, cool. Now, I'm pretty sure we just have to go to Groom Lake and survive three rounds. So let's hit all these DEFCON switches. The Cordite should be more than enough to survive with. Four. And here's DEFCON 5. We have barely used the Path of Sorrows through this game. I've actually forgot we had it. I don't want to end the round before we go through, because it means we'll have to go to 13 instead of 12. But now, we've basically just got to sit here. Because this barrier will clear, and then there's a certain something waiting for there. You probably all know what it is, but for those who don't, I'm going to keep it a secret. Because, you know, I like making these videos a little bit intriguing. Bro. I think I'm mysterious. The gun on the shield is fucking insane. Right, okay. We should only have to go to round 12, but I'm not sure. We're running a little bit low on ammo, but we should be okay. I think next round will be a dog round. Oh my god, they spawn from everywhere, man. I think we are going to have to go pack a bunch of starting pistols here because we are completely out of ammo on the core dice. Oh my god. Okay. Right, now we have something to fight with at least. Oh, it's round 10, not round 100. Jesus. What is that? Full power. Right, let's not waste that. Right. Grab this. One more round to go. I'm going to pull out my katana here just to be safe. So I don't kill myself with those pistols that we just pack a bunch there because explosive damage on this game is kind of bad. Right, that should be it. Right? Let me through, question mark? Or was it three full rounds? Or is it going to come up now? Right, either way, it's a dog round. We'll be fine. Oh, I can't let them get too close. Right, there we go. Even if we have to survive a little longer, we've got more ammo on the cordite now, so we're chilling, bro. There we go. Bonfire sale and a max ammo. And there it is. The Winter's Howl. Let's grab it here. And why not? We'll pack a bunch of it. What a remake of a Wonder Weapon, by the way. I absolutely love this thing on BO4. We'll use it a little bit here just for you guys. This is what we worked for. But now we've got better things to do. On to the next Easter egg. Right, okay. Here we are. Dead of the Night. Now, I've played this map like three times, but you know what it is? We're going to try the Easter egg on it anyway. Now, I don't want to waste my shopping free here. I'm going to try to use it to the best of my ability. We need to get over there to unlock the Sentinel Artifact, which is basically the power switch of this map. So, we'll crack this first door with our first 500 points, and then what we'll do is we're going to press 3, and we are going to absolutely sprint for the life of us to get the Sentinel Artifact on. There you go. That'd be nice if it would hurry up. Yep, cheers. 
All right, okay. Let's head down here, get this door open. I'm probably not doing the optimal route, but, you know, I'm just trying to do as much as I can with as much knowledge that I have. This one open. Grab a Mozu, sure. Get this open. Grab a Bowie knife. Grab Dying Wish. Most expensive perk, why not? Is that everything that we can open right now? All right, okay, yes, I think it is. We got a decent amount open there, I think. Anyway. Right, we need to focus on Pack-A-Punch. So, our main priority right now is finding the three focusing crystals, I think they're called. And there can be one in here. We need to find it, though. Not in there. Oh, there it is. Cool. All right, we need to fill this up with zombie souls. Because you know, it's round one. They're going to be very slow, so. Oh, there we go. That's the range we're looking for. It was a good shout from me getting this fucking mozu. It's so satisfying. We need to be on the lookout for parts as well. We need to be looking for energy cores for the traps, too. Because they're needed for the Easter eggs. So we need to get one of them set up, surely. All right, okay. It's charged. We need to gaze into the stone. What challenge have we got for? First. That's a painting one, okay. There's our purple crystal. We don't need to worry about that, though. I'm currently looking for a certain painting. We're looking for the scared girl one, I think. It's the last one that you can possibly find. I think it's... No, is it this one? No, it's not that one. It's the other one. It's in, like, the tea room. This map gives me such, like, Resident Evil vibes. It's crazy. It actually really strikes a resemblance to the house from Resident Evil 2. Okay, I stand corrected. Maybe it is this one. Yeah, it is. There we go. There's our ghost. Have we got a follower or something? I'd imagine so. I've oh, got a part. It's a shield visor. Nice. Oh, fuck sake. She's gone behind a door that I don't have enough points points for. I guess we'll end the round. There's so many nods to like nine and stuff in this map. It's kind of crazy. They really try to go ambitious for chaos. It's so sad that it flopped. Right, there we go. Where are we going, mysterious ghost woman? Please don't tell me you're going up there because I need more points. Y you're a mong. You're a ah oh my god, bro. With BO4's weird ass point system, it's kind of hard to get points. We can focus on buildables and stuff later. Oh, never mind. There's a silver piece for our silver bullets. Oh, fire gate energy core. Perfect. Now, where's this last zombie at? There he is. Please just be a bonus point. No, nope, carpenter. Okay. Look at him waiting patiently for me. I respect that, to be fair. Right, okay. Let's get this next door open. Where are you actually headed, love? Oh, there we go. And there's my tuning fork. Thank you. Right, let's go get another crystal charged. And our elixir slot gave us aftertaste. That's honestly not terrible. Could have been a lot worse. We just done that one. I think there's a one in the master bedroom that we unlocked. It's the purple one. I think it's up here. Still kind of learning the layout of the map, so please bear with me. Here we go. Right, and he gets souls into this purple crystal. Then we got one more to do, then pack a bunch is open. I hope it's the clock one. Okay, it's crystals charged. Nice. It's also a specialist weapon, right? What one is it? Uh, that is... I don't know. Fuck. I don't know what one that was. It's one of them. <laughs> Right, let's go have a look at each fucking perk lo uh, location then. Oh, which one looks like... Is it? Is that raw? I don't know. I don't know my Greek gods. Might have been Danu. Right, we'll, we'll look, we'll look. Right, I think that was raw. So that's stamina up for us. So we need to go out to, out to the mausoleum if it's there. We can go check at least. Definitely not out here. Nope, that's Odin. He can be upstairs to be fair. We can go check that out. Is he in here? No, that is quick revive. There's also a location in the cellar, but I doubt it's the... Get this door open. I don't know where it's going to take me. Oh, it's just up here. Okay, it's the library. If I'm not... No, this is the bedroom. Here's the library. Or the study or whatever it's called. This is how you get through the mausoleum. Okay, cool, cool, cool. Question is, is the raw perk here, though? Nope, it's electric cherry. Bollocks. Okay, our crystal's not in there. I'm just uh, multitasking here to make sure that the other crystal is, in fact, in here. Yeah, it is. There's the blue one. No, our perk is not down here. All right, that means raw's in the greenhouse, which, unfortunately, is the most expensive route, I think. Because we've not been to the greenhouse laboratory yet, so I suppose we should end the round then. There we go. Wait, that wasn't last? Oh, hang on. We've got to maximize our points here. Stab them up. There we go. This map is fucking massive, man. It's so intricate. Imagine showing this to someone whose last game they played was World at War. The energy core, I will be taking that. We can still knife them here because we have a boy knife. I don't want to pick that nuke up. I'm trying to get pack a bunch open as early as possible. And since this is the only way we haven't been, I'd imagine it's through here. Yeah, it, yeah, it really is. Okay, let's get this gate open. It does the both of them. That's very nice. Ah, there's the raw statue. Right, cool. We just got to kill a bunch of these. What are they, werewolves? I don't know. Oh, these things. Okay. Oh, my fucking God. Bro, I'm pulling out the scepter of raw for this. They are actually terrifying. Jesus Christ, man. Tune and fork. There we go. Thank God. Right, one more stone to go, and it was down in the cellar. This is the clock one. This one's nice and easy. We should get this done this round, probably. Yeah, we're definitely going to need a better weapon than the Mozu soon, but it should do for now. We'll work on getting Alistair's Folly soon. Right now, I just want to fill this little crystal up just so we can get the clock one over and done with. Yep, there we go. Right, that's the grandfather clock. And if I'm not mistaken, that's just this one here, right? Yeah, it is. Fuck off, man. Oh, there's too many zombies for this. Oh, my God. Man, I'm pulling out the specialist weapon. Sod this. Right, he's a shambler. We should get this done. You're not. Away, man. We die. I am wished oh, already. Okay, round five, by the way. Right, there we go. And I think that is our tuning fork. Yes, it is. That's... Was that another bit of silver I just saw? No, it's not. It's the Mozu. Right, that's all three. And I also want a gun that's actually going to defend me, so we'll pick up the GKS here. Use the tuning forks. And that is Pack-A-Punch unlocked, I think. Yeah, there we go. Oh, my God. Oh, I forgot that spawns. Oh, my God. He does a lot of damage. 
motherfucker, you die. Like, nicest way possible. You are fucking terrifying. It's times like this where I wish I had a wonder what. That's actually so scary. All right, there we go. He's dead. All right, pack a punch is open. That is basically the first step of the Easter egg done. All right, like I said, we're going to go work on the shield now. Then we'll start working on Al Alistair's folly, get that shit upgraded, and then we're pretty much good to go. Oh, we also need to do silver bullets and stuff. But that's a piece of piss. All right, there's a shield piece. We need one more now. And I do believe it is near, like, the master bedroom area. I lied. It's here. There we go. All right, let's go get this thing built. There's a workbench not too far from here. I think it's literally in here. Is it? No, this is this study. I'm looking for the smoking room. I think that's upstairs. Oh, I'm so sorry. This is going to be such a headache. It doesn't help that all the rooms basically look the fucking same. That's the bedroom. Smoking room. There we go. And there's the workbench. Get this shield built. Oh, wait. It's custom for Chaos Maps? Oh, wow. This looks a lot different. All right, let's go get this funny Wonder Weapon pistol thing. Alistair's Folly. We need four symbols. And I do believe that is towards the cemetery. So we're going to have to do a 180 here. I feel like we're getting a lot done in like a short amount of time though. So, okay. So is it here? I mean, would it be there? Yes, it's usually there. It's not there. It's not there. Is it on the lion? It's not that one. This lion over here. No, it's not there. There we go. There it is. It's like a D with a line through it. Right, we'll jot that down. Right now, we're looking for the green ones. So that's going to be on the opposite side where the green house is fitting, I guess. Cheers, Treyarch. If I remember right, there's a fast travel here that we can use so we don't have to jog all the way around. Yes, there is. Mr. Green Symbol, where are you at? It's not there. There it is. Okay, it's another D. Right, and I think it's the east and the west sides of the house. So we need to go head over there for the yellow and red symbols. Then we have access to the pistol by round seven. Honestly, for a map as convoluted as this one, it's not too bad. But the layout and stuff is definitely going to get some, like, taken used to. We've got the shield built and we're going to go repair it here. And that is good enough for me right now, honestly. Is that a fucking werewolf? Oh, bro, they're actually terrifying. I'm going to try to clear out a few zombies here. So though it is only round seven, there is a fucking few of them. Buy some ammo off the wall here for my gun. All right, so we want to be on the east side. It's not there. It's not there either. I fuck with this weapon hard, bro. I didn't even know this existed. I thought all, like, the SMGs in BO4 were burst or something. There it is. Okay, it's another D with a... Bro, come on. How many? All right, let's go look for the yellow one now. Are you out here, Mr. Symbol? No, you're not. It's not there either. Check the opposite side here. No, it's not there. It's on the window then. It's up there. What is that? That's a Z or a 2. All right, let's go to the library and enter these symbols in then. Here it is. A double points at the end of the round. Brilliant. I'm going to kill. Bro, there are so many zombies left. I thought it was like the last one. Right there. Right, we'll enter the code now. It was D. Then it was another D. Then it was another D. Oh, wait, no. Shit. So it was D, D. And then the red one was, uh, was a... Oh, the red one was a D as well. The yellow one was a Z. Like that? Yeah, there we go. Cool. Alice, that's folly. Hello. Oh, this thing's sick. I've never actually used it before. It has fuck. It's like, like 100... A what? It has 100 ammo. Oh, can you sort it off? Before we start, though, I think we should probably get silver bullets on one of our guns because... If the first one we get is the mausoleum thing, we're, we're kind of fucked. Right, there's the second part of them anyway. We need one more. Oh, I love this wonder weapon already, man. Right, handily enough, our last one is in the wine cellar. And considering we're right here, that is, like I said, that is very handy. Um, Is it on the table? Nope. Is it on the table around the other side? Like here? Nope. Is it on the table? Well, wait, I'm all over the place. Hang on. Is it there? No. Is it on the opposite end? No. Is it on the... Uh, yes, it is. Right, cool. All right, let's go ahead and melt this silver down. There we go. Now we need the gunpowder pieces, so we need to go look for some charcoal first things first i think that it's going to just be dotted about all the fireplaces is it here nope there's our first piece nice it's in the master bedroom all right let's go find the funny poop and i do believe it's in the cemetery all right nice here it is all right now we need i think it's like sulfur or something i can't remember it's like, it's like a yellow substance but i know it's on the opposite side in the greenhouse so if you couldn't tell already i am following a guide but i know rough locations of stuff off when i've played with friends and it's not often i've played this map with friends as you can tell from my shit like game sense when it comes to the layout of the map. Jesus, we have 10k points. We really need to start getting like set up. So on this table, yes, it is. I'm gonna hit the box if I can get a better weapon than the GKS that I can pack and give silver bullets. And whoa, my frames are going crazy. I was like, nah. Okay, no, you know what? We'll just give the GKS silver bullets. I am gonna pack it first though. Or if I can find like maybe like a mog wall by, I'll stick it on that instead. There's the mog. Okay, right, we'll buy this. All right, we need to go one floor below and grab the silver bullets from the workbench, which is just through here, I think. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, Coolio. The mog now has silver bullets. I'm gonna go pack it once and then we can actually get started with the proper easter egg we gotta look through the crystals again there's the pack a punch machine wait oh wait no i kept the silver bullets i was so confused the icon just wasn't there for it takes a while to load in i guess right okay easter egg time oh we also need to get the chaos 
machinery, and we'll do that in a bit. All right, let's go find a gazing stone. All right, okay. Yeah, it's the um the beam one. This is why we need the silver bullets, because we need to shoot something on top of the mausoleum. The mausoleum's up here. I don't know why I was running towards the greenhouse there. See, I'm learning. I'm learning. Shoot that on the top of there. Hello? Right, yeah, it hit it. There we are. I was getting concerned that the mog couldn't reach it there. There we go. Now we've got to go turn a bunch of wheels until some guy's head drops off. And I know that sounds weird, but you'll see what I mean. It's a big statue. All right, here's where we need to be. Yeah, we just need to open up all three of these things. Now we've got to turn all these wheels until this guy's head drops off. And you've basically just got to turn them all to the left, really. I'm going to end the round just for keep's sake here. Um, I'm going to keep turning this thing until the green light's blocked. Right, that's the green one done. QQY, thank you for subscribing. All right, now we've got to do this one. I don't think we're going to have some time to do it, though. All right, no, the new round started. We'll try to get a crawler or something. Grab a new shield while we're up here, too. Bonus points that would have been useful, like, eight rounds ago. All right, try to get a crawler. No, because getting crawlers in BO4 is literally almost impossible, but sure. Well, right, that's the blue one blocked. All right, there we go. Oh, let's not die. Let's move. Let's move. All right, nice one. The head fell off. An electrified zombie. Oh, I thought those fuckers stayed in nine. I stand corrected. Right, I'm going to wait till there's only a couple of zombies left, and we got to go look for some symbols and some tallies. Well, it's easier if you treat them that way. According to my man Glitch, who I'm following very closely. All right, is there a one in here? I see tallies. Oh, we have a crawler. Okay, that makes everything way easier. Max ammo too. Perfect. All right, what is this symbol here? What am I looking at? That is just like a square, right? All right, then we need the scratch marks. So that is one, two, three, four, five. There's another three here, so that's eight. That's another five, I think. Yeah, so that is... 13. The the first symbol here is 13. Okay, we've got another symbol here. It's like a weird six with a tail. Okay, that's three scratch marks. That's another three scratch marks. I think my shield broke. Bollocks. Yeah, that's three. And then the other one's up here. That's five, I think. Yeah, that is five. So three, three, five. That is 11. All right, we've got one more to find. Oh, maybe I just didn't look hard enough. It is the wine cellar. Where's its symbol? Okay, the round ended shit. There's its symbol. Okay, so that's like a little curly whatever. I don't know. All right, we'll clear out this round and then we'll go looking for some more scratch marks because I don't want to die and I need to go get another shield and stuff like that. We should probably also look into getting perks. All right, let's grab another shield. Oh my god, can these things piss off? Definitely gonna grab quick revive. Purely because we need to regen faster. I also want to grab the other two, but they're quite far away. All right, we pretty much cleared out the round there. Let's go look for some of these tally marks. Now we gotta go input them, I think, somewhere. All right, that's five. So five. That's five again, so that's ten. And that's another five, so that's fifteen. Okay, the curly one is fifteen. All right, we're done here. All right, we need to go to the green house. We're making decent time on this, to be fair. For someone who's barely played Dead of the Night by themselves, we've already got the first challenge done. I think after we've done this, we're going to work on getting this upgraded because I'd rather do it on a lower round rather than a higher one because the upgrade process can be a bit of a pain in the arse sometimes. Okay, so our lowest one here was that funny-looking six. That one, and then it's like the little two or the square, whatever. Yep, this, and then it's a little swiggle. Uh, this one? Yeah, there we go. Okay. All right, okay, let's get the doors open. Hurry up. Bash it. There you go. All right, let's get this electric trap turned on. Run through it with a shield. There we go. Fucking Zetsubo no Shima in it up. All right, we ended the round, but that is fine. And then bash this. There we go. All right, we ignore how many attempts that took, and we ignore the fact that I've gone on two rounds since. I kept running, like, all the way around to do it, but we've done it anyway. All right. Now I'm pretty sure if we head down here, there'll be a stone. Yep, right, okay, that's the lockdown stone. We're gonna leave that in there for now, because I want to go get the Alistair's Folly upgraded completely. We need to do Chaos Theory first, which requires, one, a werewolf, and two, a shield. We can do the shield bit. That's no bother. The werewolf might be a bit of an issue, though. I don't know when they start spawning. May or may not have accidentally popped a Perkaholic there, but it's fine. That has gave me a shit ton of per- Oh, bro, that's so unfair. I didn't even mean to pop that yet. All right, I need my- um... I was trying to hit um, anywhere but here, but I panicked. I need my shield back. All right, there's my shield, and we'll go get this- the piece that involves the shield. I think it's in the library. Yeah, because this just doesn't look suspicious at all. There's the first bit. Now we need the werewolf. And I don't know when that spawns. <laughs> there's the werewolf I've been looking for. You need to be dead by silver bullets, bro. And there's the chaos material. Perfect. Right, I am aware that the round's getting a bit high now, but we're making progress. Good progress. Gotta get the annihilator. And I know I said I wanted to do it on a lower round, but I guess not. We need to head over to the greenhouse now. So I don't know why I'm on the upper floor. Hello, Luna. Got eight shots left in the folly, bro. Oh, God. There's the workbench we need. We're gonna clear out these zombies first, though. All right, let's chuck this in here. Jesus, it's taking its time. There we go. There it is. Now we should be able to craft this thing. Yes, we can. All right, okay, let's craft the chaos theory. There we go. All right, now we need to go straight on Alistair's Annihilator. And to do that, we need vampires. And vampires equals a lot of zombies swarming us because it's round 20. We need to kill them with charged shots, and we need the tornado one. 
So they drop these little things that we need to pick up. I think it's bile. Anyway, we'll go hang about the cemetery anyway. Because that's where they usually spawn. Okay, have we got any here? Any at all? Yep, I saw one. Definitely saw one. Yep, there we go. There's one. There's two. Oh my god, I'm like 50 HP. Okay, that's two out of three. Move. Right, shoot another one of these charge shots here. That's a tornado one again, but I've got none of the vampires, man. Come on. Nah, I'm sure we'll get it next round. It's fine. Then once we've done that, we can go back to doing the quest lines. You know, the gazing stone. We've still got to do another two. We'll probably be boss fighting probably at like around, around 30, 35-ish. There's a vampire. Please go tornado. No, fuck. Right, okay, this should drop one, hopefully. Yep, I see it. There we go. Oh, run, that's a napalm. All right, we've got a full thing of bile now. Nice. Where's that red two map? I see it. Oh my god, these things are terrifying, man. They're everywhere. Wait, did he die? Yes, there we go. Right, Nosferatu Chaos Material. Thank you very much. Right, we've got like one good opportunity to do this. Where's the other light gone? There, there, there. And there we go. There's the back chaos material. Right. Off to the forest for us. We need to get them to dig up these little, like, spots with mushrooms growing out of them. And then we're done. We've got the Alistair's Annihilator. We can continue on. I'm proud of how far we've come. Like, this is one of my first times playing Dead of the Night solo. And we've basically done quite literally everything. We just got the other two things to do than the boss fight. Oh, and the lockdowns. Forgot about that. Still got a fair bit to do then, actually. <laughs> right, here's one. All right, get the tornado one out of the way. Get an acid zombie. All right, there's the final piece. I'm out of here, bro. Probably a terrible idea idea on my behalf to go over here with no shield on round 28 but we move anyway we thug it out well there goes my shield where's the machine where's the machine chuck that in there all right there's oh you bastard it baited me i thought it was done all right give me this there chuck another one in there there's the other piece and now we can finally craft the final upgrade of this there's so many upgrades well quests and stuff all right alistair's annihilator thank you very much move there we go all right now we can finally get on with this easter egg let's go grab a shield and we'll go to the start the next um stone thing thingy. All right, here's our shield. There we go. Very nice. All right, let's go find another stone. All right, okay, let's start the effigy one. All right, now we've got to go look for some fucking tree branches. <laughs> Accidentally opened fucking Photoshop my PC. It was going to ruin the entire recording. I'd be lying to you if I said I would have been happy with keeping the chaos theory only. I apologize for the stuttering as well. I don't know what it is with Black Ops 4, my PC. It just doesn't like it for some reason. All right, anyway, first tree branch. Thank you. Second one. Cheers. This one too. Yep, thank you. This one. Cheers. There's also this one. There we go. Right, okay, there's the headstone with the 1912. I've got the green vision. All right, here's the little branch work thing that we were trying to do. And now I need to get the fire effect. Yep, that's it. And let's go to hell. <laughs> Right, the only zombies easter egg where you actually have to go to literal hell. Welcome to Dead of the Night. And now we're in Mob of the Dead Afterlife. Let's go. Right, let's go look for this ghost woman. We'll go check the Danu perk location, because according to the guide, that's the most, like, common place she can spawn. No, she's not there. Fuck off. Keep opening Photoshop on my computer, man. Is she down here? Apparently she can spawn down here. Yep, she's there. Yeah, there's a way too many zombies here. I'm just gonna plonk that down. Right, can you get moving, please? Thank you. Yeah, that drop is of no use to us right now. We're just trying to get this ghost to wherever she needs to go. Oh, they broke my shield man. Oh, there's a werewolf as well. Can you sod off? Come on, lady. Keep moving. Of course it ended the round. Why wouldn't it? Where are you going? Up there? Round 30, no shield is risky business. Oh, where's the stone? She just dropped it. Right there, get me out of afterlife. Get me out of afterlife, man. You know what? I spent about 10 years upgrading my thing just for it to not, like, one shot on round 30. That's a little bit sad. I mean, I'm not charging the shots, but still. Right, get me out of afterlife, man. There. Oh, get me out of here, man. I'm popping an aftertaste. I don't want to lose these perks. All right, we got one more left to do, and then we got to do the lockdowns, and then it's boss fight. All right, okay. Last challenge. It's the knight's one, right? We need to get our shield ready, and we also need... Do we have energy cores? Yes, we do. Cool. All right, let's go to the library. Stick an energy core in there. Okay, so now what we have to do is chuck this on, shoot that. Oh, is it, is it a charge shot? Hang on. Oh, fuck. We're out of ammo, man. Oh, that is the worst time. Jesus Christ. This might be a higher round than blood. One cheeky little max ammo later, and we're good. Didn't take long. Really got to be wary of how much ammo I'm using, man. This mog, by the way, like the shotgun, it's still really good. All right, okay, if there's a time to do this, I think it should be now, because there's still a few zombies that won't end the round if we use the trap. There we go. Charge shot. Give me the flames. And off we go. That one. <sighs> Shit. That one. Run. Then that one. And then this one. There we go. I think so. Anyway, did we not get it in time? I'm confused. I don't think we got it in time. I listened to the guide wrong. You have to do it in a certain order. My bad, my bad. All right, let's hope that the fire charge, whatever trap thing, doesn't need another energy cut. No, it doesn't. Okay. All right, shoot that into there. Get some flames. 
All right, go smoking room first. Where is it? This one. Nice. Back through to here. And then it's this one and this one. And then it's billiards. Go, 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 go. Hurry up. There. Yeah, there we go. All right, we need the gem it just dropped. There it is. All right, we need to do that for two more sets. And this on. And then shoot that into there. Get some blue flames. Probably going to end around. That one. Fuck. Did it wrong. No. All right, let's give this one more bash here then. Turn this on. Turn this blue. And then run straight through. All right, so the first one's by the Mozu wall by, which is this one. Then it's straight up the stairs on the right. There we go. Then it's this one. Resi Fury, thank you for subscribing. Although right now my attention is elsewhere. This one. Then quickly, this one. There we go. Blast. All right, one more. All right, okay, I've just ended the round. We need to be fast. So it's this one, and then it's this one, and then it's all the way over in the music room. Bro, this is so far away compared to the other two. This one. Quickly, it's this one. That's it, right? Yep, there we go. Give me the gem. That's it. We're done here. We're done here. Let's go. Now I'm just going to have to clear out this horde because our next step requires that we lead literal gems. Yeah, we've got to lead gems over to the forest. Then we need to charge up souls and then kill a werewolf in between them. Sounds easy enough, right? <laughs> so I'm going to come back once we've cleared out the rest of this round. All right, let's go pick up our pink gem friend. We need to go to the cemetery. So that is through this way. Yeah. No, I'm completely wrong. It's the opposite direction. Here's our pink gem. All right, now you, now you can see that's following us. Weirdly enough, that is really odd there's the second one his little buddy we just got him from there right okay next stop gardens there's one more gem we need to grab and then we need to go to the forest dump them there and then fill up the soul boxes but i think i'm gonna hold off on that just for a little bit because our annihilator is on nine bullets oh well it's got another clip but it's not my point all right here's the third one all right all three of them here nope this one still needs to follow come here all right yep there we go they're all following now be really simple if we could just use fast travel, but unfortunately we can't because they get lost. Straight past the woods of the forest from here, we should be good. I think they're about the same speed as these zombies that are behind us. Right, okay, here's the blue one. There we go. The green one's on his. Where's the pink one at? Come on, bud. we got to find your place. There it is. Let's lead them over there. There we go. Right, now we've got soul boxes to fill up. I need ammo, though, so we've got to go another round. That honestly did not take long at all. we got to max ammo. Go, go, go. We've been pretty lucky with the drops this game. All right, let's go and get these filled up then. Can you piss off? So these should just function as soul boxes, right? Yep, there's a tornado thing there. Oh, there's a fucking red one. Piss off. Yeah, they are. Right, nice. All right, that one's done. Or the pink guy should be over here. Yep, shoot one of them. We've got to do these twice over, so... Right there, he's gone. That's a full power. Oh, it'd be so useful. Where's our other guy? There he is. Well, he's moved, but it's fine. Right, he's at Pack-A-Punch now. He's at the right one. You're still here, though, so we'll shoot one of these. And that's that one done. How many are here? Right, one. Do another charge shot. Bro, the, this actually has to be one of my favorite Wonder Weapons. I will still say that the Cerberus is wicked from Cold War, but this is still really cool. Right, round 35, man, bro. We're going to be doing lockdowns, like, next round. Oh, fucking hell. Got to charge this guy up, and then he'll stand there. Then we need to kill a werewolf in the little triangle. Oh, the acid one is literally the worst charge shot. Please get me out of here. That was a drop, Annie. You know what that is? Fucking double points, right? They've moved it. Right, they've made the triangle. Nice. Ow. These fucking vampires hurt you now. Oh, there's already a werewolf here. Cool. I'm gonna pop an aftertaste just as an insurance measure here because I have a high feeling we're going down. Well, I mean, I just killed one inside it and it just didn't work. What the fuck? Oh, there's another one. They must just infra spawn them. Infra spawn them? What the fuck was that word I just said? Infinitely spawn them, I mean. Right, we'll use the scepter of all this time. Please die. Please die. All right, we'll die and wish it up. There we did it. We did it. We did it. We did it. Move. All right, we've done all three challenges now. Now for the lockdowns. We can probably get away with doing one with the ammo we have but it'll be a bit risky but we can give it a go no dying wish is a little bit scary right let's go do the first one that we did you know it only makes sense should probably get a full shield before we do that though how many shields have we bought this game i feel like we've bought like 10 million well you know not that high i'm just trying to be funny right okay let's start this i'd highly appreciate it if we didn't go down like right now yeah thank you it's gonna keep shooting my charge shot and stay back here oh my god man get off of me get off of me is that the fire one why didn't that shoot on the ground what the fuck as a wolf. This is how we deal with you. A big fucking laser beam. There we go. He's dead. Another what? Bro. I'm being trolled. I, bro, there's three. It's fine. We have silver bullets. We should be okay. Yeah, these, wo these wolves ain't shit, bro. There we go. And I think that is the lockdown done. Yes, it is. Perfect. Grab the stone. And I'll take that max ammo with fucking glee. All right, let's go do the other two. I'm going to go repair my shield and we'll go do the same thing. Next one's in the mausoleum. All right, that's a shield repaired. Let's go do the next lockdown. All there. All right, and off it goes. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please don't kill me. Please. Oh my god, these fucking... 
hate the vampires on this map. Like, they're past the point of being scary. They're just annoying. Because they lunge at you from, like, nine mile away. Come on, where are the werewolves at? It's spinning a bit faster now. I think that means they're going to spawn in. Ah, there's a fucking red one. Yep, there they are. All right, use a specialist weapon here because it gets rid of them in, like, two seconds. That one's glitched, I think. Oh, wait, no, it's just the scepter of our slowing them down. Come on, where's the... Oh, there he is. Piss off. There we go. I will happily take that stone off your hands, and I will happily take this max ammo. Right, two out of three ain't bad. I honestly thought these were going to be a lot harder. Let's go repair the shield, and let's go do the third one. Same deal as before. Let's just go get the shield repaired before we do anything. How long does Dying Wish take the charge, man? It's only halfway done. Does it get, like, longer as the rounds go on? I feel like it does. This will probably be the one that either downs us, or I, I don't know. We can anywhere but here, I think. And it'll just stop the lockdown, but I ideally just don't want it down, you know? <laughs> oh, death. Summon this fucking stone. <laughs> That's the worst charge shot variant, man. Because it just slows them down, right? It's the fire one out. Didn't think I'd have this much fun on a BO4 map. Like, 9's Easter egg was, like, long, but not good. Like, it took far too long and the steps were so tedious. But this, honestly, I've had a lot of fun. I'm saying this like I've finished it, but, like, we're getting pretty close to the boss fight now. All right, spinning a bit faster now. That means the werewolves are going to spawn. Wow, my frames are tanking. There's the first werewolf. Fuck off. There we go. Next one. All right, one more, I think. There we go. All right, there's our last stone. And I'm pretty sure somewhere, like, in this area, the boss fight arena is just around the cut. Yep, there it is. Let's go get a full shield. Let's go buy some ammo for the mog. Oh, we just got max ammo. We don't need it. And let's just jump straight into it, honestly. One shield repair. All right, I am fully ready to go into this boss fight here. Let's go. Look at this goofy R cutscene, bro. To be fair, it's animated. For BO4, that's, like, new territory. All right, let's get turning these statues then. Where's the green square? There. Ow, fucking hell, man. I'm 25 HP already. Nah, shut up, man. That one's already pointing the right direction. That one's pointing the right direction. I need a fully charged specialist. Turn that that way. Right, there we go. They're all in there. Right, I've got a fully charged specialist. Right, plonk this down. Quick, quick, man. Right, fire into his chest. Come on, come on, come on, come on. Yeah, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it, we did it. All right, we just got to do that a couple more times. I want to wait for my uh, scepter to run out, to be fair, though. Because I want to get that charge back up nice and quick. Oh, we're waiting, though. We can definitely turn these around. That one's right. All right, they're all right apart from that one. I want to charge my scepter up before we go for another attack. Okay, this boss fight's manageable so far. It's not too bad. Scepter's about halfway full. You know, it'd be nice if they stopped smacking my fucking shield, man. Come on, it's nearly there. Don't want to be wasting mog ammo on them. Bro, he's so loud. Right, okay, it's charged. Turn them over. Wrong way. Ow, fuck. That really hurt. This way. All right, there we go. It's all charged. Speaking of charged, I need one of these, bro. Come on. You fuck off. Plonk that down. Use the mog. Come on. Can't tell if I did it. I did it. I did it. Okay, okay, okay. All right, we're not done yet. We've got one more to do. And then after we've done this one, I'm definitely grabbing that max ammo. That one's aligned. What one's not aligned? This one. Chuck that there. Really wish I had Bandalier Bandit, but the version of BO4 I'm playing, just do you can't unlock it. There's no progression. It's quite nice how they just give you one like on deck there. That's nice. All right, Specialist's about a quarter of the way full. Shield's about halfway gone as well. I'm definitely going to grab that Carpenter probably quite soon. Probably should have put on Armamental so we could have got the Specialist weapon faster, but six and two threes really. We've still got enough ammo to probably do us until the end of this stage anyway. Because the next stage is quite easy. You just got to survive. Come on, bro. There's no way. This should be it. Yeah, it is. Okay, cool. Turn this over to the square. It's not aligned yet. What? Right, is it aligned now? No, there's this one that still needs to come over. There we go. Card shot. Scepter. Mog. Did we get it? Okay, wait. I don't think we got the first. I'm not sure. I'm grabbing the max ammo. It's okay. It's okay. Don't need to stress too much yet. One more time we should have him. I'm also just going to grab the carpenter. This needs to turn over that way one more time. There we go. I'm just going to let my blood wolf bite do the job, you know. It's charging up my specialist weapon and I'm saving on ammo. <laughs> Trying to kill like hordes of them instead of just singling out ones of them with the Alistars. Because I don't think we're getting another max ammo until we've completed this stage. So I want this to be the final one. We're going to start turning this statue over because we are very close to getting our specialist. Oh, shit, bro. Give me the specialist weapon man come on come on come on come on did we do it did we do it did we do it no oh my god bro okay maybe this boss fight's not hard maybe it's just tedious as fuck you know what i'm gonna do i'm, I'm in fact i'm gonna do this i'm gonna pop one of these and then turn it over oh, which direction would it be shit i don't want to waste this come on is it there yep all right come over here you big bastard there we go take that to the sh oh that should be it yeah come on yeah there we go i think it is now here's the question do we yes we do get another max ammo nice now we're on to stage two we literally 
just got to survive the onslaught. Oh, I'd be pissed if we died here. No, 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 no. Can you fuck off, you red gremlin? Ow, that napalm zombie almost has killed me. Oh, werewolves, what? I am quite glad it's not three stages of the werewolf boss because that does get tedious as shit waiting for your thing to recharge. I need to use a gobble gun, bro. Okay, we'll grab the carpenter now. Ah! That's the first time a zombie's got a hit on me, I think. Well, like, properly anyway for me to notice. Right, okay, that's it. I'm grabbing the shit out of this max ammo. And um, we've got to turn these until they go green now because we don't know where the circle is. Right, okay. Oh, well, there it is. It comes up after one. Right, we've nearly got a full charge on our scepter as well. Right, that's it. I'm 75 HP, bro. Plant this thing down. Come on. There we go. Shoot his chest. All right, that's one done. Nice. Oh my god, I'm getting bombarded by everything. I'm popping an aftertaste. All right, it's there. Of course, though, we're not going to use it straight away because we need to charge up our scepter. Oh, shit. They randomly turn and you lose sight of the square. Okay, that, that, well, that's okay, I guess. We're not even worried about that yet. Scepter's about halfway there. We do have a max ammo at our disposal as well. All right, okay. Scepter of Raw is charged. We need to find the square again, though. Oh, why are these two being weird? Turn you. All right, yep. I found you. No, not that way. This way. Yep. And then one more. This way. No, bro. The, oh, what the fuck? Why would I want it that way? There, shoot one of these down quick. There, he's coming. All right, chuck that down. He's on his chest. Yeah, we definitely got him that time. Jesus, this is a long-ass boss fight. I'm going to grab the carpenter and stuff now. Actually, I'll, I'll make better use of the max ammo and not grab it straight away like a little idiot. It's just charging the scepter that definitely takes the longest, man. If I knew we were going to be using it as much, I would have stuck on, like, armamental. I, I think that's what it's called. It's, like, the one that charges up your grenades and special we specialist weapon faster. Grab the max ammo now. Okay, specialist weapon's getting there. Those red little fucking vampire things are doing my head in. I can't believe we're doing this on round 36 as well. I mean, Blood of the Dead, we, we lost it because of a glitch. But like we were still on like round 40 and we weren't even boss fighting. I was so pissed about Blood of the Dead Man. Like, how can we get that far? Five out of five challenges complete and it glitches. Lever was in two places at once. How does that even happen, bro? The game's been out for like seven years. Alright, let's try turning this thing under the green thing. Yep, it's found it. It's this way I want you. Nice. And then I want you over this way. Oh, one more. Shoot that there. Come here. Come on, charge at us, man. There we go. Plant this down. Come on, he's gotta be surely like nearly dead now. Oh, Oh my god, one more. It must be. They've got plenty of ammo on the Annihilator. We should be okay. Yeah, it, the, the Annihilator would be great if they just took out this one because it just doesn't work. It's making me waste so much ammo. The lack of Bandalier Bandit here is showing. Come on, you're nearly charged. Oh shit, our shield's about to break. Fuck off. I hate the red one so much. All right, start rotating these to see where the green square is. Hasn't found it. Try the middle one. Hasn't found it. That's not good. Try this one. No. Where's it at, bro? There. Okay. And then make sure it's actually charged. Jesus. Tilt this over here. Oh, we changed them, the little rat. Is it here again? No. Oh, my God. Where's it at? Barely got any ammo, man. Where's this square? Wait, right, it's found it. Sod off. All right, okay, I'm just going to plant this thing down now. Hurry up. Come here. Come here. Come on, this has to be it. This has to be it. Surely it's done now, man. Is this a fucking joke? Bro, I've got no ammo left. What am I meant to do? Oh, there's no way we die by no ammo, man. Well, in times like this, I think you've just got to brute force things. Ow. Bro, these stat users are pissing me off. Why are you going the opposite way? All right, there you go. Oh, Jesus, man. It's going to shambles. We were there. We were right there. They're going to move in a minute. Oh, he's been trapped. He's been trapped. Oh my god, the amount of zombies is going to fucking kill us, though. Oh, there's the square. Come on, charge me, charge me, charge me. Oh my god, please don't down me. Bro, you ran through the square. How are you not stuck? Right, honestly, we've got 12 rounds of the mog left. If this next one doesn't kill him, I'm charging up my scepter with fucking grenades. If this next one doesn't kill him, it's so over, bro. You have no idea. Let's fucking go, man. Oh, I'm so smart. I'm so smart. Oh, my God. I paused the recording, right? Because I was like, right, I have to evaluate my options here. It's good. Oh, my God. Oh. oh, I need to calm down and explain. I am so sorry. Look at the state of the cutscene, bro. <laughs> right, I'm going to pause and explain what happened there. Just because you probably didn't get the gist. So, when I was down, I got access to a full ammo Alistair's folly. I'd completely run out of ammo in every weapon I had and I paused my game because I was like, can I use grenades? Can I use my knife? I had a serial razor. It just wasn't working. But I went down and I realized they gave me that. So I waited for them to go into the square, let the zombies down me and shot them straight in the chest and bing bada boom, we're in the cutscene. I apologize, it's really shit and I don't know why but that's dead of the night for you. Oh, if that's not going to make you watch the end, to the end, I don't know what will, bro. That was actually like fucking some Neo type shit from the Matrix. Right, okay. Here we are. Ancient Evil. One of the last maps. Well, it's the last K Chaos map. And for some reason on this map, they spawn like that? Like transit? It's a little bit weird. Right, let's kill these zombies here. Now, this is the map I literally know the least about. And it's also the one that has like probably one of the highest 
amounts of shit to do in it with all the hands of like Arenos, Gaia, all that stuff. So we're probably going to be in for a long one here. All right, we've got all that open. I'm going to grab myself like a GKS. Get that open. Run over the other side and try to get some doors on that side open too. This open. This open. Oh, I don't know where I'm going. All right, okay, let's get the Sentinel Artifact on. I think I've pretty much got everything that I could have got open in that time without getting the Sentinel Artifact on. So let's do it. Fucking skeletons. You've got to headshot them while they come back. I'm going to try to kill as many of these as possible because they do give you 10 points per kill. And there's Pegasus. Max ammo already. Thank you. All right, and that is the Sentinel Artifact on. Right, we're going to do the round three strategy where, you know, you go up to round three and then you start getting everything done then because I'm pretty sure that gives you enough points to basically start on all of the hands. So we'll give that a go. So we'll end this round then we'll get started on, you know, opening the rest of the map. You can get this door open though. This one open as well. God, this map is massive, man. And here's the hand of Gaia. Right, okay, we need to start looking for fallen hands. Double points, perfect. All right, let's try and make as many points as we can here. Here's our first shield piece. And also, uh, we said we were going to go look for the hands, but right now I think getting the Apollo's will is probably like top priority because it's used for a lot in the Easter egg. Is the golden bridal. This guy's gonna spawn now. We just have to, you know, shoot his weak spawn. Spoints? Point? Spoint? I can't speak. We've got a hammer. We might as well just use it now. Yep, there we go. And that is the shield piece I require. Thank you very much. And now we need to find the little spear. I think it's by the store of Athenians area. And here is the last piece. Right, okay, that's the shield sorted. Nice. There is not a lot of buildables on this map. Jesus. All right, okay, let's get this thing built. Definitely the coolest shield in BO4. Hands down has to be. So cool, man. There we go. There's our dormant hand. Right, we can go start on the hand. I think I'm going to do Gaia first. We might as well. There's another dormant hand, right? Wait, there's one by the store of Athenians area. That's good to know. Here's the hand of Gaia. Let's get this started. Nice little bonus points. It's always appreciated. And just like that, there's the fallen hand of Gaia. That was pretty simple, right? we got to upgrade this thing now. Actually, wait, no, we don't. It's the Gaia one. We don't need to. This one can just chill. All right, let's go grab another fallen hand. That was ridiculously easy. There's a one by the store of Athenians area. Maybe this map's not as hard as I thought it was. Pegasus is whinging because he wants me to come over. It's not happening. Pause at the hand. We'll put it back because we kind of need to. We want to pick up another dormant one because we need to do... Is it the... I can't... It's like a beginning with a H. I can't remember its name though. It's a yellow. I know which one I'm on about. Pick up dormant hand. There we go. Here it is. Hand of Himera. That's what it was. And you began with a H. But about the specialist. Just makes things easier, honestly. All right. And then that's that done. Nice. We've got the hand of Himera. Pretty easy if I do say so myself. Thank you. Right. This is the one that we need to get upgraded. And to upgrade it, we need to find a mirror. And there's one just outside side of the bathhouse here if we go down here shoot that one more time and then there we go grab the orb run chuck that i've been trolled oh left and right cringe there we go there's the first one right our next one's over by the bridge i'm quite glad we picked up this gks actually because we would have run out of bullets in the uh well and by now probably there we go we'll go this way because we'll run through the amphitheater area this one's really close there we go that's the second one done right the last one's at the temple so we need to head all the way back now here it is Knife that, then run. There we go. All right, okay. Prove myself to Hermera. We got, this is how you get the upgrade. Now we have the redeemed hand, and we just got to survive against some zombies. Oh, this is sick, man. Literally got like an orbital V sat. <laughs> if you remember that kill streak from BO2, you deserve a veteran's award. I swear to God. Oh, this is great. All right, that's us done. All right, that's the redeemed hand of Hermera done. We can put this back now because we can't actually take it. We need to find another dormant hand because there's now two more that we have to do in the underworld, but we got to ride Pegasus first. He just said where sorrow washes over and that's in the underworld. So we're going to have to go to Pegasus here. We've done well, though. We've got both the hands that we need. We don't actually need to upgrade the hand of Gaia. Hello, Pegasus. Let's go. Bro, what a sick cutscene, man. You can tell where all the budget went for zombies. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I'm gonna say. He has a dormant hand. Fucking skeletons, man. You ain't nothing. Right, whip out the specialist, get the bird out, put it away, and grab the conveniently placed full power next to us. Insta kill, perfect. Right, let's start the hand of Aronos. Aranos? Aronos? I don't know. Don't know how you pronounce it. I ain't Greek, bro. We are definitely gonna need a better weapon than the GKS soon, though. But for now, it's okay. And that's it done. Right, let's get this upgraded. We'll also get this side of the map open just so we can get the other eagle out of his cage. Shoot this down. Oh, have you got to use an actual gun? There we go. And then specialist it. Just need to kill these skeletons. Oh, there's a guy here. All right, pack a punch is open, I think. Or close to being open. Oh, max ammo. Perfect. All right, pack's open. Nice. Excuse my specialist on this guy. He's doing my head in. There we go. All right, let's get this uh, hand upgraded. All right, we need to launch a zombie off this massive feather. Like that? Yes. Shoot that. Oh, God. All right, there's one. Here's the next one here. And this is also where the Charon Shrine is. Oh, Sharon? Charon? I don't know. Sharon? <laughs> 
<laughs> oh, come on. Surely one of them's got a hit. I think that's a part for the Pegasus Strike as well. We'll pick that up. Oh, there we go. A zombie finally landed on it. But where's the feather gone? There we I can't tell if we did that one there because he said a uh, failure and then is never an option. Bro, I got trolled. All right, we got one more to do, I think. There's another part for the Pegasus Strike. All right, okay. Here's the last feather. Don't question why it's round 10. I was waiting for a max ammo. Leave me alone. There we go. There we go. I've shot it twice. Move. Right, let's get this upgraded. Oh, this has to be one of the coolest ones. It's literally like an infinite thunder gun, man. I feel like I'm playing like Skyrim or something. Right, we're done. Let's go. Right, we'll put that back and then we'll go do the last one. We need to find our last dormant hand, though. Just spin the box here, try to get a better weapon than the fucking switchblade. Ballistic knife, that's even worse. It doesn't even one knife anymore. Come on. The ABR, it'll do, I guess. Workbench of Hephaestus. Right, okay, that's in the underworld again. It's a good job I only came back here for the clue. Right, let's jump through. And there's our last dormant hand. Nice. Really want a better weapon before we start this ritual, though. Come on. MP40. I guess it'll do. Maybe not, actually. It's like not even killing them with four bullets to the head. Come on. Oh, no. I guess we are doing it with the MP40. It's just a specialist. Surely it's nearly done now. Yep, it's done. Right, grab the hand. All right, let's head over to the river and not die. Jesus, man. Bro, come on. There's no way we're going down already. Okay, that's the uh, talisman self-revive gone. All right, we're definitely going to need to buy some perks or something soon, but we need to head over to the river. I'm going to get cornered again, aren't I? No, I'm not. Oh, this is like the fucking wave gun, kind of. Oh, that's weird. All right, let's drink from the river. We're going to go find some coins now. False. That's one. It's a false one. It's a false one as well, man. Come on. Bro, come on. You're joking. How many false ones am I going to find? It's got to be a real one, surely. No. What? Okay, there's our second one. And there's our third. Right, there we go. Let's prove ourselves to Sharon, Sharon, Charon. I don't know. Right, see what the charge attack for this one is. Okay, it just looks like a lot of blood going between two hands. Right, what does it do? Right, let's get another reward going here. Kill zombies in location amphitheater. Okay, right, let's end the road. This one should be a little bit easier. We'll use the specialist weapon here. Oh, it's a blight father. It's a good thing we whipped this thing out. Go. We should probably also grab another shield. Oh, full power again. Sorry about the drastic jump cuts, by the way. My OBS just really doesn't want to play ball today. Like, I have had issues with BO4 throughout this entire recording. You can probably tell. Like, it's a little bit choppy. It's nothing to do with my PC. It's just, I think this game just is really GPU intensive, and I don't know why. Is it it runs fine it's just when it comes to like recording with obs it just shits its pants but yeah we're up to the um challenge step here and then we need to go grab another shield and then start a uh, knife and oil spills let's grab this max ammo all right let's go get another challenge do not take damage that sounds like a challenge for me bro with the hand of aronos this should be okay we've literally just got a thunder gun in our pocket let's get the specialist out again come on surely it's nearly done by now oh we should really be grabbing perks as well i've only just clocked that we have eighteen thousand points in fact no screw that we'll pop a perkaholic what did we get some shell bunch of stuff yeah it's not too bad i would have wanted windows whale but like you know it's okay kill zombies with equipment bro frag grenades it is i guess right okay epic reward we're good let's use our thunder gun hand here just get rid of these zombies we'll grab a fresh shield and let's go claim our reward what in the fuck is that oh death perception melee it and then yep we got an on fire spear now we're gonna go find some oil spills here's the first one there's the second one the second there we go we're gonna need to grab a new shield though because this one's about to break grab this relight it and there's the third one and that's that step complete the sh the screen is shaking god i can't speak today right we need to go back to the underworld to grab the hand of sharon good job there's a portal right here here we are right these are the statues i was looking for we need to shoot this on the ground stand in here there's the first one there's the second one there's the third and there's the fourth there we go oh and a nuke perfect now we have the spear step this isn't too difficult it's just really about timing we also need to find the walls that we need to shoot first i think the first one's here yep there's one probably isn't the best idea to be doing this like in the middle of a round so we'll just go around shooting the walls first here's the second wall there we go and there's the last one cool now we need to stop this cog oh, missed fuck's sake there we go there's the first one done zeon breezy thank you for subscribing there we go there's the second one done as well right we need the last one now this is the hardest one and there's the third one i know i didn't actually like record myself throwing the spear but that one takes the piss so we got it done now though we're fine we're fine we're fine we're chilling bro we're on to the next step now we do need a new shield though because it's literally on death's door fucking blight father man no bed. Did we do it right? 
Yes, we did. Okay. Basically, just had to throw a spear into another one of them. And I just accidentally ended the round. Whatever. And now what we need this guy to do is shield blast this little stone thing here. Right, shield blast. Do you think? Come on. Doesn't help when we have like 5,000 zombies on us, though. And we've run out of ammo in the hand of Himera. Isn't that great? Right, come here and shield blast, please, bro. that do it? No, it didn't. You've got to get him to shield blast it properly. Okay. There's no way that took three rounds for him to do, bro. I'm on 50 HP. I think I just saw it drop off. Let me just double check. Please tell me it did. I can't be bothered to go through that again. It did. Oh my god, let's go. Right, we have the Ankh. Right, we need to kill man now. I don't know his name, so I'm just going to call him man because I need his spear. Right, let's give him the statue of whatever. Oh, not the statue, sorry. The uh, the Ankh. And then he's going to fire this massive fuck off beam. Or at least I thought he would. Oh, whoops. I don't have the hand Hemera. That would probably explain a lot of things. We also need to go do the sundial step before that. Getting way too ahead of myself. Give him the hand of Hemera. And then he should. Yep. He'll start firing that massive beam off. And we got to protect this thing now. I'm just going to use the specialist here. Fuck off. Oh, this is actually quite difficult. Sword off, you stupid skeleton, man. And the Blight Father. Do you mind? What do these skeletons have against this beam of light, bro? It's not that deep. Here's the question. Did we do it? Because I took a down for it. I think we did, though. Please tell me we did. I can't be asked to do that again. Did it break? Fuck you, you stupid skeleton bastards. Let's go. Give me that shit. Okay, so last game you saw me faffing about trying to get the uh, raw step done and all that jazz. But what I failed to neglect that we hadn't even done the Gaia step, which is where you shoot the roots. Hence why I was getting nowhere and ended up dying around 34. So welcome to game number two. Shoot that. There we go. There's the second one done. And then fire one there. Yep, there we go. And he spawns in. Big old bastard. All right, now that we got him, he needs to come over to the uh, treasuries area. Also, I don't know why my game audio just sounds like I'm in an echo chamber. I think my dying wish is glitched. Here's the piece we need once more. All right, let's just hope he does it and I don't have to do anything fancy. Right, hat on. There we go. He did it first try. There we go. There's the piece we need. And I'm going to bring him down here so we can grab a spear. Rest in peace, that zombie. Gone but never forgotten. Is he going to die or what, man? Really don't want to do this mid-round, big fella. Please just die. Ow. It actually took me two rounds to kill him, right? We got the spear this time. We are chilling. And we're like 10 rounds down from what we were last time. Right, I need a shield. Right, let's clear out this horde and then we'll do the sundial step. Okay, this little fella here is our last zombie. Right. We kind of just need to lure him over because he's not meant to be here. Come on, little guy. While we're here, I think we'll buy some ammo for the mog. Stick that in there. Right, the gold line is here. And wait for him to come over here. Yep, yeah, do your really scary attack, mate. Cheers. Right, there we go. Right, now the symbol's on. Wherever, wherever the hole is. Right, it's here. So how many is it from that? One, two, three, four, five. Okay. One, two, three, four, five. Yes, there we go. Right, we need another electric zombie now. We have our second victim, I mean, uh, test subject here. That's going to allow us to continue on with the Easter egg. Come on, bud. You know what you have to do. I've always found the catalyst zombies so weird because they can't actually smack you, I don't think. They can only do their funny attacks. Yep, come here, come here. No, I didn't want you to do that. Stand on here. There you go. Right, how many is it from here? One, two, three, four. One, four. There we go. All right, we got one more to do. We need one more electric zombie, and then we are done. I'm also going to get rid of brain rot in case that fucks me up. And I'm also going to take the liberty of swapping out my hand for this. Put my gun in here. This is why we grabbed the blue one. Killer what will do. All right, we actually have two of the fuckers this time. Oh, I thought that was end around. Surely it is, right? Yeah, we got... Right, oh, please don't die. You got killer watered. Oh, shit. Shit. Wait, is he good? Yeah, no, he's good. He's good. You've got a job, buddy. You're the last of your kind. Let's not fuck this up now, yeah? He's gonna do an attack before he gets on. Yep. All right, get on. There we go. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Yeah, let's go, bro. That's it. Sundial step is done. It's arguably one of the harder ones to do, especially on this map, because you've just got zombies coming at you from, like, every angle known to man. All right, we've got my least favorite stuff coming up. Stop. Step coming up. It's the raw step, the one where you got to kill all the skeletons. I hate hate them. Oh, a carpenter. Bro, I need mog ammo. Where is it at? There it is. Grab the ammo for it. We use the hammer a little bit here just before we start the step, so it's not too difficult on the already existing horde that's chasing me. We also need to grab the hand of Hemera, which we'll go do now. Probably took, like, the longest way possible to it, but it's fine. All right, give me the hand of Hemera, and we'll go start this absolute circus of a step. Give him that, and then he'll put his other hand. Oh, max ammo. All right, give him that. Now, I usually like to use the shield, but I don't know if that's going to be a viable option since I was winging it the last time. Yep, there's a guy there. Piss off. 
Fuck off, man. Move! There. Oh, they stopped it. Okay, okay, okay. We'll sort it. We'll sort it. It's fine. It might have took 9 million attempts, but there you go. That's all we needed. The fucking axe, for whatever reason. I can't believe that, bro. I lost all my self-revives doing that. We're probably gonna die in the boss fight, but honestly, if we've got this far, I'm calling it a dub. All right, we've got to go do the spotlight step now, but uh, my hopes are not high for completing this egg, I won't lie. But we'll still give it a go. I'm not, I'm not, I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna give up, do you know what I mean? We've got this far, might as well have a bash at it, you know what I mean? But it's just a no self-revive thing, that's like killing me. I got a little too excited with completing that there. We need to go give the uh, scepter to Ra there. You have no idea how long this egg's taken me, man. I've been like trying to crack this all day. Wherever we get up to, I'll be happy. And I hope you guys will be too, because this is took piss. <laughs> all right, give him that. There we go. Right, okay, here we go. Where are we going? Over here. Right, so if they're up there, one. There we go. Move to this one. Use that. Go here. Shoot them. Right, okay, I think that's one round of it done. I think so, anyway. Right, okay, let's do it again. Shoot one of those. There we go. Go over here. One of them. I think you've got to do that one more time. We should have enough ammo to do it again. Right, one more time. There we go. Oh, my bad. Oh, fuck. And this one. Shoot one. Is that it? No, maybe one more time. I don't know what we're doing here. Right, here. One. There we go. Shoot one. I think we did that one all right. I think. Because my character said something's gone wrong. All right, go here. Shoot one. There we go. Another one of these. There we go. Did we do it? I think we did it. There's no more spotlight. Right, okay. Well, that wasn't too bad. I thought that was going to be a lot worse. It looks like we failed it. Let's give it another go, though. Right, okay. Here. Kill them all. This one here. Kill them all again. There we go. Shoot them. Get back to it. Yep, there. Oh, right. Okay, that's what you meant to do. Okay. Not just let it go gray. Get on here. Shoot that. Get on here. Charge attack. Shoot them. Charge the attack. Go here. Shoot once. And again. Like that. There we go. Another charge attack. Shoot once. Yeah! Did we do it? That sounded like we did it. Yeah, we got the max ammo this time. Let's go. Right, okay. I feel like an idiot now. <laughs> <laughs> now we've got to enter some funky looking symbols. So it's this one, that one, that one, that one, that one, and then that one. Yeah, let's go. Slap down the Pegasus strike. That zombie's going to get killed by it anyway, isn't he? I mean, you'd think so. But Pegasus is going to rise this motherfucker out the ground. Whoa, <laughs> that's cool. Oh, it didn't kill the zombie. That's nice. I would prefer not to kill the zombie here. There we go. That's it cocked back. Right, we need to go grab a shield. Well, we have the shield, but we need the blue flame. So we got to leave here, unfortunately. Grab it there. All right, now all we need to do is run over to this little trap here, run through it, and hurry up, because our shield's about to break, but I think we should have more than enough time. We need to run all the way back up here, and then melee the crossbow, and then it will open the portal to the boss fight. There we go, and there's the boss fight portal. Right, what I think we should do, honestly, is we need to get the homunculus out of the box, and then we're pretty much ready to go, and I'm pretty sure the box is in here. Yes, and oh, it was. Oh, well, it was. It's not there anymore. Right, okay, look, I can't lie, I've been spinning the box for, like, a good 15 minutes. The round's just ended. I think we should just jump into it. We're going to be spending more than, like, we need to trying to hit the box rather than just going into boss fight right now. So I think we should just go for it, honestly. I know we're not going to have access to the Pegasus Strike once we get into the fight, but honestly, I feel like it's just, like, stupid to wait around for the monkey bombs or the homunculuses or whatever. I think we should just go for it and see what happens. Because it's been a fucking valiant effort since the start. Let's just hope we end it. Oh, hope we end it. I was going to say, I hope we end it on a high note. Well, here we go. There's my boy, Pegasus. No, my boy. Holy shit. Right, okay, here we go. Also, there's that fucker throwing stuff at us. Oh, and there's this guy. Who do you think you are? See, these mini bosses are cool and all, but they're just annoying, man. Ow. Right, okay, well, he's dead. I guess the shield works really well against him. Right, let's move. Right, our priority is getting Pegasus down on some sort of island. Where is he? There he is. Definitely going to be using the hand to try to get him down, though. This launcher thing's quite cool. What a unique boss fight, bro. Ow. Trying to do as much damage to him as I can. Well, so, you know, trying to, like, not die. I feel like we're doing some good damage to him, though. There he is again. Oh, right, he's down, he's down, he's down. Do as much damage as I can with the specialist weapon. Right, when you get the fuck off this island, bro. Grab the max ammo. Ow, bro, he hurts. Oh, we got a self-revive back. What? I'm getting so many subs, bro. I'm not even live. It feels like I am, though. <laughs> Where is he? There he is. Let's try to do some good damage to him. Get fucked, Pegasus. Never liked you anyway. Nah, I'm joking. He was actually really helpful. Oh, another one of the mini boss fucks have shown his face. Right, let's use the shield. Seems to do wonders. Oh, that launcher needs to recharge. Get me off this island, man. He's trying to do as much damage to, to him as I can. Ow, bro. Let's get me off this island. Right, he's down. He's down. He's down. The max ammo over there. But there's fucking things blocking me, bro. Give me this max ammo. I need some zombies, bro. I need to charge my specialist. Oh, asking you shall receive, I guess. It doesn't help that the mob is doing nothing. Ow, 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 ow. 
Specialist about halfway there. Oh my god, please. No, 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 no. Regen, damn you. Oh, okay. Bro, what is that attack he keeps whipping out? It hurts. Ah, fuck. He destroyed one of the islands. Right, we got our specialist back. Start doing some damage to him. Come on, show your face, your horse. There he is. I thought he fell there for a minute. Come on, come down, you big bastard. Right, I'm getting off this island. It's got all the electricity and shit on it. This one does too. What? Where is he? He's over there. Bro, I hear him. Where's he at? Come on, come down. Oh, that's him. That's him. That's him. Do as much damage as we can. We need this max ammo, man. Right, he got back up. Where's the max ammo? There's the max ammo. Cool. Oh, we did it. We did it, I think. Yeah, he kills him. Bro, no. Rest in peace. Right, we really need to start charging our... um. Ow, why is he hurting me? Why have I been down then? What the fuck? Where was... What? Nah, bro. Oh, I'm actually so upset. Do you know what it is? We gave it a good go. But unfortunately, I don't have all the time in the world to work on this video. Right, okay. Alpha Omega. Arguably one of the easier BO4 Easter eggs, but it's not easy by any means, like in BO3 standards, bro. It's still quite a challenge because it follows the, you know, do five challenges on every single map kind of thing with BO4. It does it on Blood of the Dead? I'm pretty sure it does it on some of the Chaos maps. You know how it goes with BO4 Easter eggs. They're long and tedious. Anyway, all right, let's go ahead and pop a shopping free here since we did that on nine. So I'm not going to throw a fit over using Gobble Gums or Elixirs as they're called now. Get this open. Get this open. Quickly run and get the power on. There we go. Grab one of these. Get generators open. And that's pretty much all we need to do, honestly. That was a good shopping free run. Kill some of these zombies for some extra points. Right, let's go do the lockdown step and get the power on. Grab this piece. All right, star ventilation systems. One minute till reactivation. That is fucking long in the COD Zombies terms for a lockdown, man. Then we got to go up and do, you know, the actual pack a punch step, which is rejigging all the vents outside and spawning a shit ton of zombies. That's an insta kill. Perfect. Use the well in here since it's insta kill. Okay, we're halfway done. Double points. Nice, I guess. We're only getting like 10 points of killing these crawlers anyway, but it's still kind of nice. All right, there we go. I think it's done. Yep, there we go. All right, yep. Let's go get pack a punch on now. Here's our first vent here. Come on, hurry up before they start spawning in. There we go. What the fuck is going on with the power? bro don't want to grab that nuke because i don't want to end the round I'm gonna try to get as much done as round, round one as possible here all right repair this there we go that's that on through here repair this one come on there we go right picking up this spitfire was definitely the right idea honestly some bonus points that's always appreciated what house are we missing i think it's a one back here yeah it's this one over here it's a blue one it makes sense because we haven't opened it right last vent to repair and then pack a bunch is on right, that's it right now i want to focus on the buildables first off we're going to do the shield then we'll do the ray gun thing and then we'll do the telepods because they're all needed for the easter egg well not really the ray gun thing but you know it's just nice to have right okay shield first it's not on there means the shield piece must be up here right somewhere yep there's the first riot shield piece nice now we're looking for the board bit, which can spawn in the cul-de-sac. We just have to, like, actually keep our eyes peeled for it, though, because it's kind of easy to blend in with a lot of stuff. There it is. And then the last one's down in the bunker. It's not there. There it is. Okay, right. Shield's built. Now let's do the ray gun thing. Bro, this bunker actually messes me up. We need to be on Yellow House side. Let's get this middle door opened up here as well, because we need the galvan knuckles at some point. Nope, it's not on the table. There it is. There's the first piece. Okay, our next piece is in the storage area of the bunker. I do really like how with Alpha Omega, they took the bunker and ran with it because we had no clue what was underneath here it was like the biggest easter egg of black ops 2 in my opinion well like placebo easter egg because it didn't actually exist everyone thought you could open it but you just couldn't is it on this barrel no it's not is it on this shelf yes it is right, is it on the card yes it is perfect right that's another thing built now we just need to build the tally pads which we already have a piece for oh please tell me we have enough to open this door yes okay right it's not in there is it outside on the little pallet of wood Yes, it is. Okay, there's the second piece. I was going to say first, but no, it's definitely the second. And then the last piece we need is in the greenhouse. There it is. Right, we have got every single buildable ready at our disposal. Right, we'll go make the assembly kit since it's like the one we'd need like the least at the minute, but we can just go do that in operations. This lets us upgrade the rig on Mark II, which we're going to be getting a free one anyway, so because it's right there. But it lets us upgrade it to an infinite ammo type. Right, craft the rig on assembly kit. There we go. Right, okay, we'll go build the shield in the greenhouse since I feel like that's probably the better location for it. Right, okay, there's the the shield and then finally we'll go build the telepads which are in the apd control room but we can go through down in the bunker through this house i'm pretty sure yeah there we go there's our final buildable table two telepads for me thank you very much Right, that is everything we need officially built. Right, so I took the liberty of writing some stuff down, like, beforehand, so I don't have to keep stopping the recording and tapping out to watch a guide. We need to activate Rushmore now, so we can actually start the Easter egg, but simultaneously, I also want to be doing the Mark II frames. Now, for that, we need to go look for TVs, but we'll do that after, because it requires zombie souls, and we're just going to get too high up in the rounds. It's not going to be good. All right, access Rushmore. 
four. Right, our first code is 7626. We need the one in the MPD, which is this blue house over here. It is 9684. Yeah, Rushmore's having a bit of an existential crisis because he hasn't been online for 50 years. Right, where is this stack of papers again? Is it on here? While we're here, actually, we can grab this key for the fourth code. Right, there's a stack of papers. Our third code is 0660. And then that little key we just grabbed comes in handy because we need to go to the yellow house now and open a drawer and then that will be our fourth code. I love this Easter egg in comparison to something like fucking Blood of the Dead Man. It's just straightforward. Just a lot of codes. All right, open that up. And then our final code is 26. 686. Right, okay, let's go input these into Rushmore, and then I'm going to start on the Mark II frames. So, 7, 6, 2, 6, end of that. 9, oh, come on. 9, bro, okay, I get it. 9, 6, 8, 4, end of that. And then it was 0, oh, 6, 6, 0. Oh. There we go. And then we need 2, 6, 8, 6. There we go. Right, okay, let's go start on the Mark II frames. Now that we've done that, that's the first step out of the way, nice and done. Nice and done, that's a new one, bro. Right, is there a one here? This is the greenhouse not the yellow house we'll go through yellow house because of the tv there are you on yes you are right okay right now we need zombie souls to fill up this little tv then we've got to go fill the, like all four of them then it will spit our code on each of the monitors the only unfortunate thing is we're on such a low round we're gonna get like no spawn so this will probably take us up to like maybe round six which is still fine we can also save our points for the galvan knuckles because that's needed for the next step okay picking up the pace a little bit for round three jesus they're already stumbling okay insta kill we can just knife them number acquired five okay so the yellow house is five that's a second number right let's go back to the site entrance and see if that tv's on if not it'll be one of the ones in the bunker right now it's a one in the bunker okay all right okay it's the one in the apd control room it's maybe do fucking laps kerry douglas thank you for subscribing right here's our next tv i don't know how many souls it actually needs i just i think it's six might be similar like that like the mob of the dead dogs no oh, blood of the dead for this game come on where are my spawns at okay maybe this will be enough i'm not too sure i think we need one more okay no that's it right the apd one is four that's our last number okay right since we're already in the bunker technically we can go back through solitary and just check the diner real quick i also would preferably want to end the round now please just be the diner yeah it is okay all right there we go all right this should be really easy it's round four we're getting tons of spawns double points perfect our numbers acquired nice whip out the katana here get some points with the galva knuckles what's our number though nine okay that's our second number i think no it's our third right so our last one would be the site entrance okay that is perfectly fine so it should be just here right yep there we go oh god i've run out of ammo that is the worst possible time ever i guess we'll use the shield all right our last number is four okay we also are just short of enough to get some galva knuckles here i think there's 7k on this game for some reason oh they're 5k what am i on about right there we go i'll right, we'll also grab our quick revive here right okay we can now input the following code into rushmore four five nine four actually i think i'm just entering them wrong hang on so is it five four nine four yeah there we go right okay we can start the upgrade process for our ray gun pretty soon but right now, I need to find a TV to continue this Easter egg. Because we can't actually start that upgrade process until we get a weapon with dead wire, unfortunately. And we just have 500 points. So I am looking for a TV. And I think I saw it was on somewhere. Is it this one? No, okay. Is it in the yellow house? It has a, I think it has a uh, chance of actually being in here. Oh, I think that's it. All right, okay. Yeah, I think it's definitely this one. We just got to wait for a zombie now. All right, there he is. He's coming full belt. Oh, wait, no, shit. We're looking for one with yellow static, not the broken arrow logo. That's after you punch it. I'm stupid. I think they're down here. And it's, yeah, it's literally right here, bro. That was really stupid for me. Right, okay. That is F0930. C1015, D is 0815, E is 1130, and then B was 0445, right? We have all of our codes, now we just gotta input them and figure out where our houses are. Right, this is A, that's the only code we didn't get, so we can skip that one. This is B, if I remember right, the clock is up here on the wall. B was 04, right, knife that once, and again. Right, that should be it, probably. We got code sequence incorrect, what? Oh, 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 have you gotta do it in the order that you found them so we gotta do f first okay well we'll try that we'll go find f this is c where's our boy f at? this is d so that means e and f must be the first two houses then there's f all right so f is 9 30 i for that once Wait, are the clock's not working now? What up, bro? I'm so confused at this step, man. It shouldn't even be confusing me. Right, let's try the TV thing again. Right, okay, it's reading through the same ones again. Let's just go try and input them. Right, so our first one here is 9.30. There we go. Right, yeah, there we go. Security clearance black granted. Nice. 
All right, next one's C. I think C is the prisoner holding. Yeah, this is C. C was 10.15. So knife this once and then press it once. There we go. We also got a free upgraded weapon. And then D. D is this house here, right? Yeah, this is D. Clear out some of this horde here because I can't be entering a time when there's like 9 million zombies chasing after me. I also need to find out where is the clock. There it is. Right, D was 8.15. I am going to quickly go and gr run and grab a shield as well, because it's just down here. Oh, wait, no, we didn't build the shield there. It's at the greenhouse. I'm stupid. Bro, I keep forgetting. Have I got dementia? Like, I'm forgetting so much stuff. I'm going to be forgetting my own name soon. Right, it was 8 and then 15, yeah? All right, there we go. Security clearance, red granted. Nice. Then it's E, which is not this one. E, I'd imagine, is operations, wherever this one's clock is. I think it's upstairs, actually. It would kind of make sense for it to be upstairs. I won't, I won't lie, though. Yeah, there it is. So E was 11.30, and then one down yeah there we go right we also have a pack of bunch mark two at our disposal let's go and then b was 445 that's the one in the original nuketown cul-de-sac which one's b is this b yes yeah, it's b b was 445 knife that once and then like that and we gotta knife it once more all right so if we go to a now it should just wind up correct wherever it is on the wall no i don't want to place my telepad there all right yeah there we go so our code is shit our code is not shit our code is 1045 i think if i can read time that would be really worrying if i couldn't there, there we go yeah he doesn't trust us but yeah that is the, how you do the step nice one all right he's gonna ask us to do a bunch of stuff but first we're gonna go get the weapon we have here dead wired and then we're gonna go shoot off a panel in the generator room to start the upgrade process for the Rigor mark ii all right hopefully it just gives us straight off the cuff and i don't have to spend all my points on it because i would like to grab some perks as well no that's brain rot that would be useful for a step later on though Prior free, bro, please don't do me like this. Yes, there we go. Killer what? Right. Let's head over to the generators. There'll be a glowing panel, apparently. Yep, there it is. I will be taking that. Right, what we'll do is we'll clear out some zombies and then we'll go look for these telephone posts because I think it's the sparking ones you have to shoot and then, well, the yellow one at least. Wherever that is, there's so many across the map, man. I want a shield now, though. There's the shield. Very nice. At least we have a pack of bunch of ray gun to hold us out until then, though. It's insane how you just get that for free. Oh, point city, bro. Okay, there's our first one. There's our second one. Okay, we're looking for another sparkling yellow little tower thingy. It's not that one. It's this one, then this one, and then finally that one. Yeah, there we go. Okay, we did it. Nice. Right, now can we stick the canister in here? Yes, we can. Right, now we've got a soul circle that we need to fill up. I actually never knew this upgrade process was this easy. Also, it's so sick how they're using the generator that everyone also thought was something to do with the bunker as a way in this easy... Bro, I'm not gonna lie. Alpha Omega's, like, design choices are so cool. Just the map is so shit. <laughs> we'll have this filled in no time. All right, let's whip out the uh, katana here. Oh, it's filled. Okay. Well, that did not take long at all. Let's pick that up. And then we can run over here quick. Move, man. And then get one of these. Yeah, there we we go wait we're pretty much set up i've just got to go run and grab my perks and that's why i wanted this variant we should also pack it because it has infinite ammo as you can see in the bottom right it's recharging let's grab stamina up here i'm sick of running around at a snail's pace chuck this in here all right we don't talk about the fact i just took it down and i almost thought i lost the ray gun but that's actually kind of impossible because they're technically the same grade as the staffs for like rarity so they can't be gone forever they just pick it back up all right rebuy my two perks here that was ridiculous i should not have down there it's like one of them ones where you get cornered by two zombies and you got like like this this bro i'm not going down again piss off like i said it's one of them ones where you get cornered by two zombies and it's just over and it's access rush more again pursue all avenues of science and invention we gotta go find a crawler gotta listen out for this thing spawning in there we go there he is come on little buddy this way come this way no come back bro it's actually kind of difficult i don't remember this step being so difficult man gotta be careful when i'm shooting as well fuck Swear to God, if I go down one more time like that, man. All right, there we go. Have we done it? He went in there. There we go. Right, nice. I can't believe we went down again, man. I want at least one self-revive before we have to go into the boss fight. Grab a shield, because I feel like that's why we're going down a lot. All right, let's go do the second core value. All right, this one's pretty easy. You're just going to get malt and cough up the canister of 115. Right, okay, knife the door. Right, we need to go grab the Adam unit from storage, and then we need to lead him over to Malton's little fucking hidey hole and get him to cough up the 115. Come on, Adam. Let's go. Re-plush. Thank you. Oh, it's Ray Plush. Okay, I'll th thank you for subscribing. Got the Adam unit now, bitch. Let me in. Right, okay. Pick this shit up. Right, we got it. Let's go. Transfusion facility, and then put it back on the shelf. There we go. And we have Adam for a little bit, because we've got to, like, use him up, I guess, because he is the civil protector of the map. Right, let's go do core value three. These challenges aren't honestly that hard. Right, okay. We need to chuck a telepad on there, and then we need to go run over to the power door, and we need to chuck a telepad on there, which is this bit here. All right, cool. Now we need one of them shocky crawler things to shock this box 
and open it. We just need to wait for one. Right, we'll probably get one this round, honestly. Oh, it's a dog run. Never mind. I am going to take this as an opportunity to go and grab Dying Wish. There's my favorite crutch perk. Right, now I need one of them electric crawlers, please. We'll probably get one this round. Yeah, there's one already spawning in now. It's the only issue I have now. There's going to be shit tons of zombies, man. All right, we're going to use the katana. I'm going to try to avoid the crawlers, though. Right, okay. There we go. It's open. And then press F on it. Go. Run, man. There we go. Right, now we need to go with Brain Rot so we can get zombies to smash paintings. Yeah, I know how weird that sounds. We can also grab our last perk here. All right, Electric Burst. Nice. I'm mainly getting that for the sake of getting our modifier on Dying Wish because it's kind of a necessity. You don't want to be backed in a corner and then have one HP and then go down again. All right, please give me Brain Rot. Please. Please. Firebomb. Cringe. All right, we've got to start saving our points again. All right, we use the Katana because we get the melee bonus. All right, let's go try get Brain Rot again. I doubt we're going to get it first try, but if we do, that's a plus. Chuck that in there. What do we get? Brain Rot. Perfect. All right, this is the first pain that we need. Come on, one is brain rot. Never mind, I guess I'll go another one. Ugh, it's annoying. Right, okay, you should rip off the pain and quick. I can grab this one and leave. 4990. Beds is 4990. Right, the next one we need is here. I'm going to whip out the ray gun, though, because we're definitely not getting another brain rot for a long time. Come on, surely it's got a brain rot now. All right, there we go. We got another one. 8174. Fuck's sake, man. One of the vents clogged up again. I actually got jump scared by them zombies, bro. Right, there we go. It's on. Right, and here's the last paint that we need. Hopefully, we can get the last zombie brain rotted, but I have no clue. No, please. No, okay. 6647 is the last code. I know I'm paused. I apologize. Right, let's clear out this round a bit here, and then we can go input the codes. Then we can go start the rush more step with all the powers off. Ideally, I want to save a zombie for that step because it's just way easier. Right, okay, we got one zombie left. Let's not kill him. All right, let's stick our first code in here, which is 4990. There we go. Then it's... 8174 and then it's 6647. There we go. Right, okay. This is the one where you have to turn off all the um switches in the correct order for the power to come back online because he kind of shits himself here. Right, okay. Diner needs to be on up. Beds is over here. It needs to be on. Oh, it's already on up. Hang on. There you go. Lounge needs to be on down. Wherever it switches. Hang on. Yep. Lounge needs to be on down. Generators needs to be on up. So we'll go do that one next. Generators is on up. And then the last one is storage, then solitary. So that's a trap. Storage needs to be on down. And then solitary down. Yeah, there we go. There we go. It's because I've read the word good at the bottom there. <laughs> right now we should be able to restart the power. All right, we're good. All right, the last core value, we got to go find atom units, I think. Oh, wait, no. Oh, I'm getting ahead of myself. What's the fifth core value? Oh, no, it is. It is. It's the atom unit. I was getting really confused. All right, let's go find some spark and atom units then. He has one. Let's overload him. Now we've got to do a minute lockdown. Honestly, with a ray gun here, we should be fine. You'd like to think anyway. I absolutely adore how fast this thing just gets zombies out my way. All right, lockdown's done. That's fine. Grab his arm. All right, let's go check down in the bunker to see if we can find any sparking ones. Yep, he has one. We'll do this one next. I'm going to wait for the katana here because I'm backed into a corner. Yeah, this lockdown should be pretty easy if we've got the katana out here. We've also got a long time left on it, so we can probably use it for, like, the duration. Got into a little bit of a sticky one there towards the end, but we're fine. Right, there's the second piece. Now we need to look for the third lockdown area. First, though, I am going to grab a shield because I am not fucking around. Thank you. Ah, right, here's our last spot. Fucking Adam, right. One last lockdown. We got this, we got this, we got this. Wait, hang on a minute. I can just teleport out. I didn't even mean to do... Is that a bug or something? It really doesn't seem like you're meant to be able to do that. No, we're going to do it again. Okay. Oh, full power. Okay, I'd really like to get my katana out. Now, please charge up, man. Right, okay. We've got a full power there that we can use to our advantage. Grab it now. Oh, my fucking God, man. Oh, we almost had it there as well. But no, it just had to teleport me, didn't it? All right, one more time. The only way we get through this is if we use the katana wisely. All right, okay. We're just down to the ray gun now. Max ammo. Ideally, probably would have wanted like an insta kill or something, but okay. Took another down, but we got it done. Finding our, our rest of our perks back. I think we got it done anyway. I hope. I can't be asked to do that again, man. Please tell me it's done. Yep, there's the head. Thank you. Grab another shield. Bro, they're getting pricey now. Right now, we can go chuck this on here. There we go. All right, let's go find this elemental orb thing. There it is. All right, this thing's going to take the longest route poss possible possible, to the APD, so we've got to be careful. I keep losing sight of the thing because I keep going inside and I can't see it. Oh, this is actually nerve-wracking. We're getting so close to finishing this now. Right, okay. There we go. That took so long. Hello, Peter McCain. My favorite zombies character. Right, okay. That's the fifth value done. Let's access Rushmore. Right, now is pretty much just boss fight. All right, here we go. All right, we got to charge one of these canisters up. We should be fine, though. This is so fucking goofy, bro. They're just running at us. 
Right, we're gonna let our ray gun charge up just a little bit here. Not there yet. Oh, can my gun just charge up, man? Jesus. All right, okay, here we go. This is the Avogadro part. Oh, Jesus Christ, they just nuked Nuketown, bro. Right, lounge diner storage beds. Lounge diner storage beds. I'm writing that down. Right, okay, we're at lounge. Right, here we go. Ow, ow, fuck, he hurts. Jesus. All right, I'm gonna whip out the katana. Uh, right, okay, that one's done. Give me my carpenter. Right, diner's next. I'm gonna pop one of these just so we can so charge up our um, thingy way faster. Where's the canister? There it is in the middle. I see. All right, let's so charge this. Oh, full power. Right, okay, let's begin the soul capture here. Oh, my God, this is fucking nerve-wracking. Don't get too close to him. Jesus Christ. Oh, we gotta keep charging this thing, man. Come on, surely it's almost full. All right, there we go. Run. All right, we're gonna get to the diner. Here it is. Where's the canister? All right, it's in the middle. This is probably the worst one by far. God, bro, the amount of atom units they're sending is so overwhelming. It does not help that our Reagan runs out of ammo in like 0.2 seconds either. Right, okay. Get out. There we go. Right, that's the second one filled. Now it's beds. I lied, it's storage. Right, get this turned on. Oh, bro, this room's tiny. Fuck's sake, man. Right, that's one of our... Oh, we don't have any perks now. Right, it's not all bad. We could have lost Quick Revive, to be fair. Right, okay, there we go. Right, our last one's bed. So this one. Gonna pop one of these. Start the stall capture. This room's kind of big, but the problem is with it is that it's got, like, a massive circle. Okay, we're running out of ammo. Gotta let our gun recharge, man. Oh, my God, we did it. Okay, run. Right, then we go solitary, yeah? And through solitary, we come back to the APD. Right, okay, let's pop another dead man walking here. Right, knife him. Get over this way. You dumb Avogadro bitch. Come on. Yes, 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 there we go. There we fucking go. Oh, my God, we've done it. We've beat Alpha Omega. Off you go to transit, little bro. I have Corona. Thank you for subscribing. What an occasion for you to subscribe. And we'll press F to claim the elemental shard. And on to Tag Datoan. And the last of many, Tag Datoan. Okay, this is the final Easter egg we have to do on Black Ops 4. And man, has it been a bit of a ride. Let's not freeze to death here. Let's get out of the water there, Jesus Christ. All right, let's get this power switch on. I am going to take the liberty of killing all these round one zombies. Just so we have enough points to open up the first door. Just so I don't waste my shopping free here. So we get an extra bit of extra distance. Fuck it, we'll also get this one open. Right, okay, let's get the lighthouse open. Pop the shopping free. Go, go, go. Get this open. Gonna grab a vapor, because why not? Run all the way back down quick, because we need to grab the blue rock for him, so we need to get that path open very quickly. This door open. Also, quickly run down here and get this other door open. There's the blue rock he needs. Get this open. Then I'm pretty sure the only area we won't manage to get open is the boat. Well, the inside of the boat, you know what I mean. Right, let's go give the hermit the blue rock, because that's basically how we have to start off. Because he'll locate pack a bunch for us. All the way up these stairs here. Give him the blue rock. Right, okay, that's pretty much all we can do. Let's get this round ended. In fact, we can actually build the shield. I'm going to head all the way back down again. And we'll go out through this way back to the tag spawn. Not the original spawn. There it is. There's the first piece. Nice. Right, we need some points. Let's get this last zombie killed. We need to get this side open so we can get the other shield piece. And then we can get the third one. That's one thing ticked off the bucket list. Then we should probably focus on the cranks to get the facility opened up. Get the other two power switches on. Free window off. All that good stuff. Oh, and the Samantha little box thingies. Here's our second shield piece. We also need to make a quick start on the dummy challenges for the hermit, which is fine. We can do that now. Pick up the snowballs while we're here. They're going to come in useful. Kind of forgot we picked up the vapor. Now, where is this last shield piece, man? There it is. Okay, cool. All right, let's go get this thing built then. And here's the perfect spot for it. All right, there's the shield. Nice. Good progress. Good progress. Start the challenges for this location. Let's get it done. Kill enemies with headshots and collect brains. That's easy peasy. Pick up the brain. Right, we need to get 25. Right, while we're doing this challenge, we can be looting other stuff as well. Right now, I do kind of want to focus on getting as many points as possible because we want to get that boat section open and get the other power switch on. We also want to get grab the cranks. We can also grab the icicle for the free wonder waff while we're here. Get that on the burn. There is our icicle. There we go. Right, we have a decent amount of points now. That should get us to the stern of the boat, which is, you know, where a lot of the stuff is, like the port, the crank, well, the first one. That'll get us up to that facility there where the third power switch is. There's so much stuff to do on this map, man. It's crazy. Right, there's our first crank. Nice. Right, let's make our way across the ship here. Got another brain here. Nice. 15 out of 25. We're doing well for this challenge. Right, we have 24 brains. Looking good. Get this barrier open. Yeah, this is where I want to be. The forecastle. We'll stick that in there. And it'll begin to melt. Alright, there we go. 25 out of 25 brains. Right, there we go. We also got a piece for the dynamite. We need to kill them flame zombies with our snowballs. That's why I'm always keeping some snowballs on me. We should also look for that other crank, shouldn't we? Before we do that, though, because we have it open, we can go rotate the first line into position. It's just here. Alright, let's get this rotated. Right, that's that one done. Right, we need to find the other crank now. Oh, double points always appreciated. There we go. There's another piece for the dynamite. 
There it is. Very nice. All right, let's go get this other line into position while we're here also because we're a little productive. We can also grab this key, slap the crank on here, get it twisted. Right now that they're both in position, we can go grab the handle off the hermit. We also get the second power switch on here now that we got the points for it. All right, we can head back down from here now and head up to the lighthouse like I said to go get this handle from the hermit. Get a carpenter from here. Kill 20 enemies with a shield bash. That is so doable. Zipline handle that is exactly what I was looking for. And we'll head up to the facility. All right, we are going to have to end the round again because we need more points. Fuck's sake. Dog round that's actually kind of perfect because i need some ammo for my vapor here there we go we got enough points now get the safe open and then we got the real device nice one oh don't get downed by like four zombies it'll be embarrassing uh, do our challenge as well here, actually, with shield bash. All right, it's charged. Oh, that's another flame zombie. We can do one of these. And there is our third dynamite piece. Nice. Right, let's grab the golden rod. I didn't want to zip line to the ship. I wanted to go over to the... Oh, okay, whatever. It's fine. Let's head up to the top floor, and then we'll give him the real device, and he should give us the key. Real device. Create key, and then use it on this one. And then, free window off. And there we go. Definitely the worst variant of the Wonder Off, but it's still a Wonder Off. Right, we'll finish off this challenge, and then I think I'm going to go do the music create Easter egg for the little Samantha boxes, because we need them for the Easter egg too. And then I'm pretty sure we're good to go-ish. Right, it's 10 out of 20, not bad. Right, okay, let's go get a new shield. We're only just here, so that's fine. Okay, a couple more zombies. There we go. We'll use a katana here a little bit, since, we get, since we're going to get a full power from the drop. Let's redeem the full power. Right, we're going to go do the P-Jar quest, which we can do later on. Right now, I want to go do the music box. Get this door open, and down here, I think, is the third power switch. Yes, it is. Right, let's go find some key cards, then. Here's the first one. Is it here? Doesn't look like it. It's not on the bottom of the rack, either. That means it's in the toilet. There it is. Right, let's loop around quick to the uh, security lobby. Oh, we don't have dynamite. We can't do that, unfortunately. We've got to go the long way around. That's annoying. Slap these key cards in here. Grab them. Head back through to the main bit. Stick that one in there. And that one in there. And open the vault. Right, we need to wait for the vault to depressurize or open or whatever. Yeah, it's gonna, this is why there's a lockdown event. Because the door takes nine years to open. It's fine. We've got a katana, though. We'll be chilling. Carpenter, nice. That repairs our shield. All right, there we go. Grab the Samantha boxes. If we're allowed to, Jesus, let me out. All right, there we go. Got full power here too. It's always nice. All right, and I think that is pretty much everything we need for now. Blood Wolf Bite, we'll grab that. Why not? All right, now we really need to be focusing on that challenge, the P-Jar one. Because we literally have everything we could possibly need. We just need to build the dynamite. I'd rather have a bunch of zombies, to be fair, and have them, like, slow and go do this than have loads of sprinters. So we'll go grab a P-Jar now from the top of the lighthouse. Pick up a P-Jar. Nearly there with the first one. We're not allowed to run, jump, or sprint, like, fully. So we've just got to kind of do a casual stroll down to the beach to empty them out three times. Annoying, but it needs to be done for these three, so... There we go. There's one. Got another PGR. What an amazing step, by the way. Cheers, Treyarch. There's the second one done. And the third one. There we go. Let's get our free self-revive here. And that is up. That's four self-revives, bro. That's actually kind of nuts. All right, let's go do the one at the forecastle now. We'll go start that. All right, okay. 20 enemies, 25 enemies while we're standing still. That's easy. We should also probably just get the rest of the boat open. We haven't even been inside. Oh, stamina up. That is a shout. Shoot this pipe so that it, like, you know, diffuses this. And we get access to pack a punch. Very nice. We use the shield weapon as well here a little bit just so we can get some extra kills without using all of our ammo. 16 out of 25. Not bad. We can use our shield bash as well. I kind of forgot. Oh, now we got a specialist. Perfect. All right, that's that one done. Perfect. I just said perfect like twice in the past two sentences. I'm sorry. Grab this. We actually need that carpenter. Melee attacks. Good thing we got that carpenter. And we should get a max ammo for the next challenge here, so I don't need to worry about ammo too much. Probably gonna be a dog round, though. Never mind. Our shield is definitely taking a beating, though. All right, one more. There we go. Oh, we got a fire sale this time. Oh, max ammo. Perfect. Ignore the fact I just lost all my perks there, please. Totally didn't go down. It's fine. All right, we need to find soup ingredients now. That's easy enough. Here's our first ingredient. Here's our second ingredient. We should really go and get another shield, huh? If we grab that. And now we need to go back all the way over to the tag to totem spawn. Not the original Call of the Dead spawn. I always get them confused whenever, like, I'm looking at a guide and it says spawn. It does my head in. And there's the other ingredient. Nice. All right, we need to go take all of these back to the cooking pot now. Chuck them in there. And then we need water. Grab some snowballs. Then chuck it off the pot. Grab a reward. And then we're done here. Right, let's go get the dials off the hermit. Then we can continue on with step three. Let's do that on the double because the round just ended. Oh, my God. That's a dog round anyway. We're fine. Fine. Take the dials. There we go. All right, now we need to go over to Artifact Storage and then slap these dials on the respective holders and then move on from there. But we're doing quite well. I've barely played Tag the Totem and I've basically got like set up by round 12. We really do need to build that dynamite though. This is doing my head in now. So many areas that need to be opened with dynamite and I just have it ready, but I haven't built.
sorted. I'm going to kill these dogs because they're going to get annoying for this step. One, two, three, and four. Right, three's that one because it dinged. And then, ah, fuck, it was six. Right, six, and then two, and then... Right, we need the apothecary to tell us where we need to look for our first sacrifice. Okay, our first one is where mountains throw, and that's like the little passing by area, like in between the mountains up at the facility, and we need dynamite for that, which we can do, because we have the pull the parts for it, I'm pretty sure. Right, and that needs to be built on the gangway, which we'll go do now. Okay, let's get the dynamite built. There we go. Right, let's head up to the facility, place the dynamite bomb, run away, and there's our first one. We're filth cleansers, okay. Really lucky, actually because that's literally where we are right now we need been decontamination this is the loading platform no it's a specimen storage my bad there's our next one where bread breaks i'd imagine that's in the little cafeteria area right and there's our third these offerings please us that's great and our last bit of dialogue there was where ether was made so we have to go all the way back up here all the way back to the facility and we need to go find the bulletin board and then knock it off grab this the is it the vessel or whatever it's called and then that's this step done i've always like wondered whenever i go on this part of the map they definitely must have took some inspiration from d machine like like to put into d machine from this because that just looks way too similar to the thing that you use in the easter egg for d machine here's the bulletin board i'm looking for from the safe okay day two of tag the totem so why is it day two um uh, i got really tired and halfway through the easter egg i was kind of just like nah i can't be bothered so this is the second day of me trying this easter egg even though i didn't even really fail it it was just more like willpower kind of thing because i'd already completed voyage that day and i was just very tired but we're back and we need to go to the walls of ice or whatever it told me i think that's over here how oh, i am getting swept by a million different zombies yeah that's over by spawn it's like the ice slide it's just down here knife this off here place this on there move and th give me bro, say your quote just give me the fucking seal of duality there we go all right okay let's make our way over to the ship and place this thing down we do kind of need to make sure we're also a little bit well equipped for this step because after we place the seal and shoot the orb we're gonna get infinite zombie spawns which we should be fine we've got the uh sharp shutter however it's called i don't know what else to call it like the wonder waff I, I don't know it's not really the wonder waff though is it i'm deep in this too much i probably butchered that german pronunciation as well i apologize to any german viewers i doubt there's many of you though stick the uh, down there there we go right he's gonna fuck off yep there you go I'm also just gonna take the liberty of shooting this pipe down so it gets rid of that fire there we go we shot the orb once i think and again and there we go retrieve what we have lost we gotta go look for a red orb around the map and apparently this thing can spawn anywhere so we kind of just need to keep our eyes peeled yep and the round ended which means that we are gonna get infinite zombie spawns looking for this thing can be a pain in the arse man so wait it's a dog round does that not mean it'll just end instantly it's not there i saw that on the guide it could be there but it's not okay he Here's our first one. We've got some snowballs. Can I aim it right? Yep, there we go. It'll fuck off. I see it. It went onto the back of the ship. Or does that just mean there's another one spawned in now? Is it not the same one? I'm not too sure. I do indeed see our next one here. Remember, don't get too close to it. Just got to be careful. I think this is a pretty good distance. There we go. Shoot that one. That one's gone. One more to go. Honestly, I thought this step was going to be a lot worse than it is. Tell me how there's a dog underwater, please. And tell me how it's not fucking drowning. Okay. Oh, I think I see it. Yeah, it's there. Yeah, can you sod off? I want my max ammo now. There we go. It's gone blue. And that's all three of them done. Nice. And we didn't have any infinite zombies either. Because luckily enough, it was a dog round. All right. Let's go back to the ship. Shoot them all once more. And then we need to go and throw away our snowballs. And chuck a little music box in front of the campfire. We're making very good pace on this, honestly. Do need to keep an eye out for the round counter, though. Because although I do have three of my birds and like four self revives i think our weapons are definitely going to start lacking soon oh good use of the snowballs get another dynamite pcx and probably i'm gonna take the safe guess that we're gonna need another stick at some point so better to keep an eye out for the uh, flame zombies but then you know just completely ignoring them this door cracked open annoyingly enough though we need to quickly head back up here because we need more snowballs it's good drop there's just a little pile here okay chuck one off that that'll fly into there one oh it's a bunch of zombies and I don't have a whole lot of bullets, so I'm just going to keep my distance, I think. Chuck one off that, shoot that, and one off this one. Oh, one off that one. There we go. All right, we need to go pick that thing back up. Though. There's just so many zombies down there. There's another flame zombie. Perfect. It means we can get another piece for our dynamite. I don't actually know if we need another stick. It'd probably just be nice to have one on deck, though. Oh, shit, we need more snowballs. As you can see as well, I also took the liberty of getting the Samantha boxes back because, you know, it's a fresh run. I don't want him to explode. Right, fine, we'll do a full loop. There we go. There's another piece. I love how that system works, by the way. I'm so glad it's not random either. Honestly, I quite like how this map flows. Won't even lie. Thank you. Now 
that we got that, we need to find this campfire. We need out of the water first. Oh, Jesus, we almost froze. Right, we need another dynamite piece because the uh, campfire that we need over there to place the little seal on is blocked by one of those. And the only way you can destroy those is with dynamite. So we're going to have to go around until we see a flame zombie. Well, that was fast. I found one already. There we go. All three dynamite parts again. Do you know what it is? I kind of like the gameplay loop of rebuilding the dynamite, but it also does get very annoying. I wish it was just static and you just bought it again like the shield, but whatever. 2,500 eventually for a shield does get a bit crazy though, so I can only imagine what they'd be charging for sticks of dynamite. Quickly get this thing built. Grab dynamite. Oh, double points. Very nice. Right, now that we got that, we can actually go continue on with the Easter egg. Definitely need to consider pack a punch and stuff soon though, because our guns are starting to do nothing apart from like the wonder off here. But that's because it's literally the wonder weapon of the map. If we find the pack a punch machine, we've got enough to at least pack both of them once. And then I think I'm going to go get dying wish after we've uh, at least got like first pack on both of our guns. All right, okay, let's chuck this here. Move, because I think that can down you if you stay too close. I mean, why wouldn't it? It's literally a fucking explosion. Oh, the pack a punch machine's over there, right? Let's go do that. We've got our uh, specialist weapon charged, so we can easily get through this horde. All right, I think that's last zombie as well. Right. Chuck that in there. And um, we'll chuck this in here too. Even if we're not going to keep it, it's good to have both our guns packed. There we go. Place that on top of it, and then chuck one of these down. There we go. Oh my god, story dialogue, guys. All right, we need to go see the hermit. He's got a gift for us. And by that, I mean two massive blocks of stone. And wow, bro, is that kind of looks like the Origins camo on the um, vapor we've got here. The creeping haze, whatever it's called. Oh, we fixed our gearbox as well. I forgot I did that. <laughs> yeah, this vapor's tearing through now that we pack a punch there. I'm kind of happy. You know, I'd love to go and pick up those stones, you know, but like an entire swarm of zombies won't leave me alone. Oh my god, bro. You'd think it was like round 15 or something. That's why we got a specialist weapon. It also makes me like crawl in my own skin knowing that I'm using the Path of Sorrows as Samuel Stoolinger. Thank you. Right, let's head down here. We need to be down here anyways. Place the stones there or there. Jesus. Wait for the zombie to come through because I don't want to kill him. And then turn that lighthouse trap on. Oh, is it going for the zombie? Okay. All right, let's grab the soapstones. Let's avoid any water, which we can do pretty easily since it's just a clear shot up to the lighthouse. To the facility, so we should be good. Line up here. And I think we can place one of them. Yep, there we go. And now everything's a little too hot. We've got to go place the other one on the floor. Which is just here or wherever, I think. Yep, there we go. Oh, I didn't mean to pick it up again. Yep, there. And pull the shower. Oh, I wish we could get Dying Wish, man, but we're like, oh, we're like 500 points short. It's annoying. Grab the other stone, chuck that on there, and we should have access to the fuse. Yes! Right, let's go grab the elemental shard. We'll have to take the long way around because I don't have the little bridge open in between the two zip lines, which is fine. Put that fuse in there, and this door should open up, right? Oh, it needs souls. Okay. Oh, never mind. I actually just rewatched the guide, and I oversimplified that step so much. That is ridiculous. I thought it was like, oh, it needs charged up, so it'll just be some souls. Nah, 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 nah. There's like two things you gotta shoot, then you gotta charge three generators up with like electric zombies, bro. We're in for a long run with long run? Long one with this run. Okay, there's our first one. And there's our second one. Okay. Right now we gotta kill electric zombies. Shouldn't be too difficult. Alright, okay. Here's our first generator. We just gotta kinda, you know, wait for last song. Oh, there he is. Then we gotta end the round. Oh, full power. Don't mind if I do. Honestly, I've been having fun with this Easter egg, man, like so far. It's definitely like a longer one. Oh, it's a dog round. That sucks. Like I was saying, no, it, it definitely is a longer one, but I feel like it's a little bit more enjoyable enjoyable than like you know solo blood of the dead you know like the, the challenge galore it is round 17 so i'm imagining that a lot of electric zombies should spawn we should get this done this round if not probably like round 18 yep there's our first electric zombie uh, is it just one it takes or is it like multiple i guess we'll find out all right there we go there's one. Oh, and nuke that's kind of perfect actually right i think it is just one honestly our next one's here Oh, this spot's kind of shit. Right, there we go. There's the second one. That was lucky. He came pretty early, and then we have a specialist weapon. Right, and our third one's just here. And unfortunately, there's no more electric zombies. Looks like we're going to have to kill these last two. That sucks. See, I like the sharpshooter, but the massive issue I have with this wonder weapon is that, yeah, yes, it kills them, but it kills them extremely slowly. Right, there's another electric zombie there. Can we try looping loop them around? Right, there we go. That's it. Right, I am going to kill the majority of this horde off before we have to do anything else, because... I don't want to die picking up the fucking elemental shard. I don't know if this is a PC thing, but like, whenever I pull out my shield sometimes, it just is not there. I don't know why. Okay, I may or may not have straight up just took a down while trying to pick up the shard. <laughs> Ignore it. We just need to go grab Quick Revive again. I've took the liberty of grabbing all three. Weirdly enough, like, the most important one here is probably Quick Revive. Because for some reason in this game, it's like the one for regeneration. I don't know. I don't actually know how it works. I think it just speeds up how fast you regenerate. I think that's it. But I just know it's very good to have. All right, give me the elemental shard. There. There we go. There we go. All right, and let's go quick revive again. There we go. All right, all four perks. I feel much better now. So our modifier has been activated, so we get 200 health. We get dying wished. Right, now we need to go do the orb step again, because Black Ops 4 loves its 
repetition for whatever reason. Why did they think doing the same thing over and over again is enjoyable? In what world? Probably be a good time to pick up some snowballs too. I think there's a pile just here. Turns out I'm absolutely tripping. Okay, whatever. Oh, there's some here. That's fine. I also really like how it doesn't take away your music boxes. That would literally turn this into the moon easter egg. Put the other gear box back there. That should fling us now if we ever need to use it, which I doubt it. But it's good to have. Chuck that on there. Move so the thing doesn't down us. Right, okay. Yep, that needs to be shot. I'd really prefer to not die in here. You know, shoot this thing. There we go. Right, we need to go find more red orbs. It was a piece of piss the last time, so shouldn't be too bad this time either. Let's see our first one. Can we get a first try? Yes, we can. Right, shoot that. Here's our second one. Oh, it's behind dynamite. Oh, you knob. Oh, we need to get another stick of dynamite. Oh, that's annoying, bro. Well, funnily enough, there's a fire zombie here. It's gonna be a pain in the ass to try and hit him, though. That took some doing, but I did kill him. We got our first piece here. Oh, this is so annoying, man. It's right there. Oh, wait, hang on. Hang, hang on, hang on, hang on, hang on. I am being absolutely dumb. Please tell me I can just do this. I, I can. Oh, my God. <laughs> what a waste of time in snowballs, bro. Saying that like they don't do piss all damage. I know we could go over to the golden pack, but I can't be also waiting for the lighthouse to rotate, so I'm just gonna chuck my uh, secondary in here. And that is another flame zombie. Might be a good idea to get another stick of dynamite, although I don't think we're gonna need it, really. We're, like, two steps away from boss fight. Hence why I'm upgrading all my stuff. There we go. It's about as strong as we can get it just now. There's our last one. Okay, let's hope it doesn't, like, fuck off because we're getting a little bit too close to it, I think. Can I get a better angle on that? Throw a snowball off it? Yeah, there we go. Right, that's all three of them. It's another piece for another stick of dynamite, too, in case we need it. I doubt it, though. Grab some more snowballs before we head down there because we need more anyway. That one, that one, and then this one, or this one. There we go. Grab it again. Get out of here in case we die, you know, to this funny orb. Throw away our snowballs. Do we have the Samantha boxes still? Yes, we do. Chuck that on top of there, and then chuck a Samantha box on top of this. And we get a little bit more ether dialogue. Pick this back up. All right, we need to go up to the Hermit's Pad, otherwise known as the Lighthouse, because we need to go do a little lockdown for him. Should be pretty easy. We're, we're like, pretty much set up. We just need another shield, and I think... Yep, there's a zombie behind us that we can headshot here, which will allow us to grab another shield. Go. 2,500 for another shield is fucking crazy, man. Round 20 and I'm on 30 points. Right, say your dialogue. Think, think your thing down. Yep, take your seal of duality. This shouldn't be too difficult. I'm also cutting a lot more in this video because I think I'm coming down with a chest infection. <laughs> I'm coughing so much and I really don't want to have to, like, edit out a bunch of coughs. So I'm kind of doing it now in Nuke. That would be much appreciated. Takes the heat off my back for a little bit. This is pretty tame so far, honestly. We've got our uh, three music boxes still. We've got a specialist weapon. We've got a shield. We're chilling. We're chilling. We're chilling. I'm glad those napalm zombies, like the ones on fire that you get the parts from, aren't like the chaos ones that literally explode an insta down you if you don't have all four of your perks. Oh my god. Okay. 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 I take back what I said about it being tame. I'm whipping out the uh, katana here. Get this thing up to level three because we're probably going to need it for the uh, boss fight. Jesus, this one's long. Oh, insta kill. Did we really just die and wish on insta kill? All right. Is he done? All right. Nice. All right. Take the seal of duality. Right, we gotta go up the Pack-a-Bunch machines now. Alright, let's get out of here before the round 21 zombies start spawning. Alright, there's our first Pack-a-Bunch machine. We'll go do that one. We are running a little bit low on ammo, though. I hope we get one, like, a max ammo or something soon. We could probably do a challenge or something for one, couldn't we, though? Chuck that in there. We've just gotta go about each one of the Pack-a-Bunch locations, including the golden one, to, uh, charge up the Agarthen device, as one would say. Whatever the fuck that means. Okay, we did get this up to level 3, nice. Okay, it's done here. I'm just gonna clear out all these fucking electric bastards, because they keep stunning me. Grab that. Was oh, that max ammo? No, it's not. It's a fucking zombie point cache thing. Right, the beam's pointing towards spawn. We can run up and grab another shield. We have two clips left of this window off. I wonder if it's worth it to get a thunder gun for the boss fight. Because I know you can get one by completing all the challenges. Here's our second one. Chuck that in there. Okay, yeah, we really need to pack our um, vapor a little bit more here. Let's use the uh, sharpshooter. Our uh, path of sorrows is done as well. We can use this. Oh, right as it fucking finishes as well, man. That's annoying. Well, at least it didn't go above halfway. Where's it pointing to now? Over there. Double points. Oh, that could have been the max ammo we needed, man. Okay, the round ended. That's fine, though. Chuck that in there. Oh, I didn't know you could get to the sunken path behind the Pack-a-Punch machine. That would have been good to know. You know, a little earlier. Oh, dog round. That's actually kind of perfect as well. Get max ammo. Oh, they count as souls. There's the max ammo we needed. I'm going to try to keep the use of the uh, sniper rifle here to a minimum just so we can save it for the boss fight. Okay, we've got the Path of Sorrows. That should help out. Okay, that's that done there. I'm going to kill the rest of these. Grab that. Run. What is that? 
That's a full power. Right, here's our fourth and final one. Chuck that in there. Come on, surely it's nearly done. Oh, it's done. Right, okay, there we go. For the final time, we need some snowballs. And chuck this on here. I am freezing very fucking fast. Right, there we go. All three of them done. We need snowballs, though. My bad. You would not believe the amount of tomfoolery I've had to go through to get to this stage, man. I ran out of ammo, so I was, like, running around like a headless chicken. That one. Go. That one. Go. And finally, that one. Grab it. Plonk this down here. And then throw away our snowballs, because fuck them. And then chuck down one of these. Should be the last bit of dialogue. Okay, let's grab the Agartham device. And the lighthouse beam has changed over to the golden packer punch. There's literally nothing else for us left to do now. I think we should just jump straight into it, honestly. All right, let's make our way up. All right, here we are. Insert the Sulu duality. Let's give this a go. That's it. Oh, God, this is scary, man. I've never done this boss fight before. Right, okay, so take us back. We just need to follow this thing around. We're going to max ammo soon. Right, we're doing okay. We're doing okay. It's only the first stage. I'm going to kill the ones that are behind us. Try and charge up our uh, katana. Really don't need to worry about ammo too much. All right, got to charge this thing up. Go pull out the katana here. Oh, a nuke. I actually don't know what that does for us. Oh, shit. It's gone downstairs. Okay. Get out the lava. No, we're fine. We're fine. We're fine. Keep moving with it. Keep moving with it. Come on. Catch up to me. Okay, we're doing fine. We're doing fine. I don't know where it's going to stop next, though. Right. Okay. I'm popping one of these. That should charge it up fully, honestly. Yep. There we go. Grab these. I need these. Right. It's going to head over to the boat now. I need to be careful with this lava, man. It's like really fucking me up. It's nice that we got that max ammo, though. Double points. I don't, I don't really need that. Oh, my God. That, that's what I mean, bro. The lava's so bad. I'm whipping out the katana. Got we don't have a shield, man. Maybe we can grab one on the way up. No, I don't think we're going to be able to, unfortunately. It's fine. Oh, full power. Whip that out now. Right, that's perfect. We need to charge it up anyway. Come on, must be nearly charged by now. Shit. I hate when the katana does that. I can never tell when it's about to go off. Right, there we go. Grab the max ammo and let's get moving again. This will probably be the scariest part going in the lighthouse because it's so close quarters. But I believe we're going towards the facility first. It's going to go upstairs. Yep. All right, wait till it's on the zip line and then go. It's fine. It's not ticking that long. Bro, hurry up. Up. Jesus, right, let me back in. Okay, that wasn't a very good down. I mean, no good downs are good down, but we should be all right, I think. I'm going to chuck one of these. I'm also going to pop my talking about regeneration. I forgot I had this thing. Chuck another one. Got a path of sorrows. Get that on. Okay, yep, another charge up event. That's fine. I hope this is enough, man. Oh, it's not. Surely we're close. Come on, surely. Come on, please. And conveniently enough, that's where my OBS decided, yeah, this will be a great time to stop recording because of drive space. So yeah, I did end up beating Tag the Totem, but I didn't get any footage of it. Just pretend you saw fucking the hermit going up into the sky and, you know, I picked up the little thing and you got the cutscene and all that good stuff. I'm really sorry it was cut so short, but I did, I promise you, I finished this. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? If you've watched all the way to the end, you are an absolute legend. Thank you guys so much for watching this video and this series, and I will see you all in the next big project. The grand finale of this video, Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War, or Black Ops 5, depending on what you want to call it. Now, my experiences with Cold War have honestly been nothing but positive. I just don't like how easy the game's skill floor is. There should especially in zombies be some sort of danger element. It just feels like I can run about, get cornered, get out of said corner, with all my perks, all nine of them, with the starting pistol legendary tier. Like, that doesn't make sense to me. That's not Call of Duty Zombies to me. But, the Easter eggs were very enjoyable. An outbreak was a very, very good refresher from playing nothing but round base for like months on end. All in all, I'll give Cold War an A tier. Oh, and by the way, at any point in this video that the bitrate seems a bit too low for your liking, head over to the i card I've got linked in the top right. It'll take you straight over to the Cold War video. It's just I didn't have the original project files, so I'm going off the YouTube rip, and we know how that is with compression. So, once again, thank you all for watching this long, and I will see you in the new year. Perfect. It's gonna wait here a little bit so we can spawn in. The machine honestly has a really easy Easter egg. The only one we really need to worry about, I'm saying, is Mawa with the uranium step, because you don't have a lot of time to really jump up there and clash them together on solo. Okay, there we go. And for some reason on this game, it's still a one knife on round three. I think that's because technically you're carrying a Bowie knife and not a normal knife when you upgrade a melee. That's something I've always wanted to do as well, is go back and do all the Ethereum upgrades again, because it's been so long since I've actually got an Ethereum crystal. Right, okay, we got 5k points. I think I'm going to stay here until maybe like round seven. It's usually round one. What time I leave anyway, so it's fine. I absolutely adore the fact that when you complete a certain amount of Easter eggs on this game, you get like a weapon upgrade if you go into Outbreak and do the little temple thing. It's so nice, man. Because now I don't have to worry about getting my weapon up to green rarity because i know a lot of people don't actually like to use wonder weapons and they just upgrade their gun to legendary and call it a day but you know i'm a bit of that traditional zombies player i'm also leaving it a little bit early here just because i want to get the ball rolling another interesting thing about this game is that your power is not really required in a sense that 
all the perks are powered by these little generators that are next to them and stuff. The only thing it really requires is opening that door, and it, that's only crucial to the Easter egg. So, realistically, you could go the entire game without turning on the power and probably not bat an eye. If you're a casual player, that is. Trying to build some extra points here, so we have enough for the power door, because that is the most pricey one out of the bunch. It's weird how I've got some form of nostalgia for this game, and it came out three years ago. How far have we dwindled to start getting nostalgia trips over Cold War, man? Get this door cracked open here. And slap down that power button. Then all we got to do is click this and this one over here. Okay, let's get pack a bunch on and we can also do the coffin dance easter egg thing for free jug and potentially a free ray gun or even a DIE I'd be happy with. It's always the fucking play accounts, man. Actually the worst addition to zombies we've ever seen. They're so annoying, man. It's ridiculous. Like that, man. They've drained me down to 60 health already. Right, let's crack this open. Smash a crystal. Maybe we'll get some like... Oh, oh, oh. I was joking. I was going to be like, maybe we'll get a free perk. But okay. Have the pack a bunch piece here. And let's slap that on there. And when we're done. Right, let's get these orb shot nice and quick. There's one. There's two. There's three? Question mark. Yep, there we go. Got some armor on the floor. That's nice as well, bro. We're having to spend no points this run. This one. Oh, where's the last one? I can... Oh, yeah, it's behind the cyclotron. It's there. Right, and there we go. Perfect. I actually can't believe this is a real Easter egg, man. And hopefully we should get blessed up with a la some of that free jug and maybe even a wonder weapon. What did we get? Oh, the fucking... Is that a Pellington, bro? Right, okay. Free jug's always nice. Motherfucker gave me a Pellington. It's legendary, to be fair, but it's a sniper rifle. Bro, there are so many zombies. It's only round eight. Calm down. Right, so realistically, I guess our first step is getting the hands on the DIE. We can also do the ether scope. I completely forgot that existed. It's literally one of the main reasons why you even need to go back into the dark ether. Right, let's go find these parts. I'm going to grab stamina up on the run around here. Right, it's not under there. Grab some stamina up. Is it on the wing? No, it's not. Fuck's sake. That means it should be here, right? Yep, there's the first one. We can also use these plague hounds for the gas upgrade. Bro, we're so good at this. Kill a few of them off, though, because there is, like, loads of them. All right, let's check if it's up here. No, it's not. Oh, my God. Bro, we're being taken from mug here, like. All right, then it's this one. Then this one. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Right, let's go shoot one of them into the gas upgrade because it means we don't have to wait for a play count round. It won't hold us back, which is great. That's it. Yep, there we go. Oh, I was going to say that could have been a down there. Oh my god, there's a few of them. Jesus. I do also ideally want them to shoot this tree before we end the round. Just means we don't have to wait for a megaton again. Come on, shoot it. You know you want to. Yep, that's it. Then we need the key card off the megaton. Then we can go get a free DIE because we do need that for the Easter egg. Grab some armor. Uh, and there's our key card. Nice. I'm gonna go grab the remote from the drawer, and then we'll head back up and get ourselves a free DIE. Honestly, we're doing quite well. We've done a lot. We can craft the ether scope while we're down here as well. There we go. Don't want to kill too many zombies, just so I can use them for the free wonder weapon process. Let's shove that in there. Thank you very much. And it's in there. We just have to charge it up. Need to put my training skills to use, and that's kind of hard with Cold War Pathfinding. All right, okay. Loop round, and here we go. Loop them round here. Try getting a few extra. Hopefully, we can get it in one charge. Come on, run over. Really, bro? Bro, that was literally the fuck, bro. That was literally the entirety of round ten. Just gone into that DIE, and that, now, nah, nah, bro. It's not done. What do you mean? That's insane. Greedy bastard weapon. I right, switch it on here. Grab this armor plate. Why not? That should be it. Yeah, it was literally one zombie off. That's terrible. Decompress it. And grab ourselves a DIE. And a max ammo. Shoot that down. Grab this. Test tube. Slap that down there. Oh, hello? Why won't it let me... Bro, what the fuck? Okay, I guess no test tube for me right now. Let's go do the gas one first and see if that fixes it. What I am going to do is upgrade ourselves to tier 2 armor and pack a bunch of M16. Get that done. Also going to get a weapon mod on it. I'm going to get Shatter Blast. The gas upgrade. We're just going to chuck that on there. Let the fucking green stuff go in there. And then grab our play account and we'll head back up to the box. And that'll be one of the upgrades done. There we go. Now can we place the little flask down? Oh, it was already done. What? Okay, that's fine. For those of you who don't know, this is how you get the cryo upgrade, which is sad, right? Yeah, that melts the chains. We need the electro one, and we also need the fuse. So what I'm saying we do is we take this little dark ether portal here, not die, fucking hell. Right, we need to go find all these anomalies and just slap down the ether scope. There's one here, I swear. Or we got to do it in order. I think we got to do it in order. Put that one down. No way I'm actually forgetting where these are, bro. I also need his diary, fuck. Okay, there we go. Give him his diary. There's the second one. Have your diary. And there's the third one. All right, let's quickly run back up here and grab the fuse while we're here because we can do that now. There it is. 
That is for the laser upgrade, and then all we have to do is the electro one, which is the one that takes the longest, but it's fine. Destroy some crystals, might get a free perk. Once again, that's insane luck, by the way. I was supposed to say 1 in 40 or something. Drop some quick revive here as well. Right, okay, our work here is done. Great. Right, I'm pretty sure now, if we jump up here... Well, I can't jump up there because it's too high. I can't mantle. Right, stick the password in here. Yep, that lights up. Nice. All right, let's grab our cryo upgrade here. And where's the blue one? There. All right, that's the first one done. See, this is why we get, I need all the upgrades, because we need to do all four of these little prong things. All right, number five. There's the green one. Let's grab our shockwave back here, though, because it is just the best one. And here's the portal to go and do the laser upgrade, which we'll do now. God, this Easter egg is like the back of my hand, man. I, I literally have never, ever had a look at a guide until the first time I played this. Ow. And down here, there should be a machine now that's ungated, wherever that shit is. Yeah, there it is. And that cuts open the box somehow and then it cuts up on the one in the future. I don't know, bro. Oh, it's a lot of zombies. Got some dead shot while we're here. Headshot multiplier. Right, and hopefully with a bit of luck. Yep, there's the thermal... Is that the thermal facic? Or is it... Th I, I can't read that. Thermal facic, okay. And the orange one should be here. Perfect. I think this might actually be the worst variant of the die. And with a bit of luck, yep, there's the electric one. We can get that started now. I do want my shockwave back before we start that, though. It's actually so arse, man. How is that variant so bad? I'm going to pack a bunch of my dies as well, actually. Right, there's the shockwave. Little pro tip is that you can swap to the cryo there and then swap back to the shockwave, and it takes like two seconds compared to running all the way up to the laser one again. We do need to fire a shot off here just so we can suck up the crystal's energy. If we're fast here, we can get this done all in one. Now, it's not often that I do that, but you never know. Today might be the day. There's a one up here, isn't there? I don't know for a fact there is. It's usually here. Yep. All right, there's our first one. I think PhD slider would have probably helped out a lot here. Okay, there's our first one here. There's one light. Okay, there's a second blink. I don't think we've got very long left. There's the second one here. If we get this done first try, I'll be very, very happy. If not, it's fine. We'll just go again. Okay, there's our second one. Go this way. No shit. Which way is it? Oh, it's up here. Where's the crystal at? Bro! Come on, give me it, give me it, give me it, give me it, give me it. Does it stay while we leave? Please tell me it does. Yes, it does. Okay, cool. I don't know if it works if you're not in the dark ether, though. We can give it a go. Oh, it does. Cool. Right, okay, there's the electrical one. Nice. And there's the third one. Well, the fourth one, sorry. Right, now we need the golden ball. So we just need to go around and wait for the portal. To get this golden ball thing that I'm cracking on about, we need to go fucking kill a zombie in a tank and let him shoot it out into a tree. I know that sounds weird, but it's just how this game works. All right, let's watch this little cutscene here. Right, okay. We need to go grab the ether wrench, bang it off the side of a tank, like I said, and then he should shoot shoot out this little thing that we need. It's called, like, the decontamination agent or something. I can't remember. Okay, there's our ether tool. We need to craft a semtex or something from what I remember. Where's the semtex? Is that lethal? Bang it off the side. One more time. Once more for good luck. Fuck off. Chuck that off there. And there it goes. Now we need to fucking run. The step's meant to be, like, really fucking, like, hectic and stuff, but you can still throw nades, so it's fine. And chuck that in there. Right, now we need a megaton. We just gotta wait for one to spawn in. It could be a couple of rounds until we get a megaton, so I think I'm just gonna try and get a setup as possible. The Wonderfish should have spawned in by now, so it's got a point build, really. The Electro Ball upgrade, honestly, the best one. Hands down. Even though the Shockwave technically is that little bit better, because I think it's infinite damage once it's tier 3. This one's just so much more fun to use, and you run like fucking Usain Bolt when you're firing it, so... Grab some elemental pop here. I also want PhD, and that's all of our points used up. Hopefully, there should be a megaton this round. I, I don't know the spawn rate. I think it's is it every eight rounds or every ten? I can never remember. Like I said, though, I just want to get as set up as possible for the boss fights while we're waiting for the megaton anyway. So it's fine. We'll go another couple of rounds. Grab some ammo here while it's still cheap. And I tell you what, we'll go upgrade our M16 to. I think we can do epic rarity because I think legendary is the thousand high grade scrap, which takes the piss to get. You have to really rely on the bonuses you get every so often. That's a play count round as well. All right rare. Yeah, it's a thousand high grade scrap. That is ridiculous. Alright, that max ammo was much needed, I'm not gonna lie. Bro, seriously, still no megaton? Okay, I guess we're going for another round. We can grab some more perks as well, I guess. It's one of the easiest boss fights there is, but like, I guess we'll get set up for it anyway. Oh, there he is. Okay, cool. I'm gonna try to kill off as many excess zombies as I can, because it'll just make it much easier. Bro, he walks so slow. Run after me, bro. Come on. My memory serves me right. We just have to split him and then get both of his halves into this machine. Right, split. Ow, ow, they fucking hurt, I remember. The bombers at least do. I don't know why. Right, get in. Come on. Go in the middle. Right, there's the first one. I need the second half in here, bro. Bro, please. Please, just get in. Right, there we go. Fucking hell. All right, chuck that on there. And they'll become one again, but he'll be human, kind of. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You're very big and scary. Now, let me out of this box, please. Oh, shit. We really need armor, huh? All right, let's buy ourselves tier three. We're going to need it anyway. All right, let's quickly grab... I'm going to get death perception and tombstone, because fuck me, will kick, honestly. Oh, my God. I've run out of ammo. I think I'm going to wait around here. We're going to grab some ammo for 
the die, and then we'll head into the Dark Ether, grab the family photo, and start the boss fight, because we've been waiting pretty much the entire run to do this, and it's really fucking easy. <laughs> Actually, never mind. I'm being big stupid. We have Ring of Fire. We can just charge it up, and there's a max up right. Let's go. We are a little bit low on armor, but there's, a, like, an armor stand in the boss fight arena, so it's fine. We got our M16 tier 2 as well. And there's a Dark Ether portal. I think it just takes a round to spawn in. I didn't see it on the way back. Bro, our gun's doing 10k... 40k damage? What? Let's grab a nuke here. Let's make everything way easier. All right, read the anomaly, and then grab the family photo. Ooh, then we're off. Bro, hurry up with your speech, bro, about your family. Come on. All right, family portrait. Off we go. Right, now we just gotta wait for this motherfucker to destroy the machine. LOL. Right, okay, you literally just have to wait for him to, like, fill this little bar on, like, the top left. Just gotta defend him. It's not that difficult. What is bro doing? He's just poking. Right, there we go. That's the first stage. And he actually charged my weapon a bit here. I need some spawns. Okay, that's another Megaton spawning in. It might be a Mayak, actually. They can't spawn during this fight. Oh, come on. You're nearly there, man. Don't be a pussy now. Jesus, there's a lot of them. Bro, fucking need off one of them. See how they like it then. All right, there we go. Oh, my God. Their Mayaks are so bad. Did they up the amount of spawns that have been in? Bro, it's ridiculous. Oh, fuck. I ran out. I mean, a ring of fire right now would be kind of nice. I'm getting just bombarded by these Mayaks. Come on. Do your thing, man. Let's love another nade off him. My armor's about to run out. Fuck. Right, okay. He's done it. 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 Grab some armor. Or at least I think he has, bro. Come on. Right, that's it. There we go. Fucking Panzer spawning him. What's going on, bro? Literally just gotta wait for this now. Fuck this place, bro. We out here. This can actually get hectic as fuck, bro. I mean, actually, never mind. If you run up there, you're pretty much out. Ah, oh, shit. Wrong way. Is he gonna land or what? Oh my god, bro, I gotta circle around. And there we go. Right, we're on. Nice. And that is the machine. We did that shit in 54 minutes. That's not too bad. All right, on to Firebase Z, I guess. And we are doing Outbreak as well. We've got a lot to do today. And here we are, Firebase Z. Arguably, probably the worst map out of the Cold War bunch. But, you know, it's fine. It's fine. First step is literally just speaking with Ravanov. It's interesting that, to me that Packer Punch is just straight in spawn. Kind of like Rev, where you can't use it. But, like, it doesn't necessarily get taken away. It's just, it's, you just can't fucking use it because the power's not on. But that should be enough points to get us up there, at least. So you're telling me the Packer Punch machine isn't on, but this massive fucking teleporter that is, you know, with power off, that's great. Right, we need to get all these fucking ether reactors on. Pretty much how the power works in this map. And we need to work on the free break here. There's a lot to do here. It's got a pretty interesting easter egg for, like, a pretty mundane map, I won't lie. Okay, that's a round. I think we should have enough points to head over to the first ether reactor here. And yes, we do. How much is it to activate? 500, okay. Pretty sure the Juggernog machine's in here, though, so we can grab some loose change. There we go. And let's start this. Nice little throwback to Origins here, but you don't have to really kill them in Origins, but you know what I mean. It's definitely, like, a hawk into it. Right, that should be it, hopefully. There we go. We get a thousand points for that as well. God. Right, I reckon if we're fast, we can quickly get this done and get double points. Run. Oh, fuck. That's local power. No. Okay, I guess we'll just get a headshot. It's fine. Or melee kills. They'll do too. Yeah, there was no way we were getting that done. Wishful thinking. Get 200 points here, though. Nice. Open up the data center here. Really important building for the Easter egg. I really never understood the point of the collectors taking damage because, yes, it's cool that you do have to kind of defend them and stuff, but it's not like they break easily and you're always going to be doing these on a low round. I really think they just wasted a lot of development into this. In my opinion, anyways. Right, there's the second one online. Nice. Let's crack this door open here, and this should be our final ether reactor. Can we really not mantle that? I feel like... Oh, yeah, of course you can. It's Cold War. All right, and the final one. Yeah, I was going to say almost probably 100% we're going into a new round to fill this one up. And that should be it. Yep, there we go. Nice. Oh, fucking Mimic already, bro. Oh, Intel. What the fuck? Grab some Juggernaut here, because why not? Then we need to go speak with Ravanov, I'm pretty sure. And then you speak with Peck, get the key card, gas Peck, blah, blah, blah. It's all coming back to me now. Got some armor here. That's very nice. Okay, cool. And I think we're going to grab stamina when we get back over there. Now we need to go speak to Peck. Because he's going to be like, psych, I ain't doing shit for you. Right, we need to go get the key card off Ravanov now. So he's had this little fucking speech. I don't know. He just thinks he's him, bro. Right, and there's our key card. Nice. Right, there's our first one. There's our second one. And up here should be our third one, I think, if I remember correctly. Yeah, it is. There's the locker. Nice. Right, okay. Now we need to mix them. That spawns a bunch of hellhounds, though. Chuck them in there. Yeah, there's a shit ton of these things and they have a habit of exploding. One more time. And there it is. And there's stamina up as well. That's perfect for running around the map. What I also quickly want to do is run over here, down by the beaches, and grab... Where's the shovel at? There it is. And we also need the eye for Reiki. Before we do that, we need the schematic, and then we have to go all the way back over here. Okay, there's our first piece. There, we get the eye out here. This is fucking gruesome, this. Oh, my God, bro. Why did they have to animate it so well? That's ridiculous. Jesus. I, I need my knife back. I'm not going to... Oh, okay. No knife me. All right, we'll chuck the 
little gas dispenser unit on top of here. Right, I'm going to leave Peck to do his thing while we go focus on the Ray K a little bit here. Right, okay, now we need to read the little dial here. So I'm going to grab an AK off the wall, I think, just so we have a weapon that shoots single shot. Right, let's read it. Come on, quick. So that one, 12, and then one Ray, okay. Right, I suppose let's go try and get this Ray K piece. I'm going to let Peck still just blabber, I guess. Okay, let's just try nine, and then what was it? 12, one. I guess it wasn't that one. Um... 12, 21, no. There we go. Okay. It was 14, 21. That's the hardest bit out of the way. Nice one. Grab some quick revive. Now what we need to do is run about these lockers and have a look for the mimic that has the little piece that we're looking for here. Probably the most convoluted fucking quest for a uh, wonder weapon like, but you know. Ow. Now, of course, it wouldn't just be that one, would it? Oh my god, there's so many zombies, man. Oh my god, there's like fucking double mimics. We might go down here. Bro, move. Pieces on the fucking ground. I don't even need to kill this one. Right, there it is. Now we just need a mangler, which we just have to wait for. Please don't kill me. Thank you. Right, let's get some tier 2 armor on the go here. Right, we actually need to go talk to Peck to continue the easter egg. I just thought we should get that far with the Ray K, because it's one of the most important things. You need it for one of the ethereum canisters towards the end of the easter egg, because it just keeps teleporting until you shoot, shoot it with the Ray K. And here we go, the mimic step. I can't wait to do this. Oh, fuck, I'm cornered. Oh, this might be it. Never mind, the mimic actually kind of saved me. Cornered in cold war? Bro, I'm, I'm, am I lacking that bad? Let's grab a max ammo here. I think we just need to do some upgrades to our weapon, to be fair with you. We'll do that in a bit. Kill this mimic off first, though. Right, okay, cool. Grabbed ourselves a Pokeball, and now we can go look for mimics. Fucking hate this step. Right, that's our first mimic. Get him down, get him down. Oh, I didn't mean to ring a fire room, man. Right, please just stay in there. Come on. Get in the fucking box. There we go. Right, nice one. Let's just hope it's this one first, because that's really good RNG if it is. Probably turn on subtitles as well, because it makes everything for this easier. And that shit on. I think that's the one we need. Yes, no? Yeah, that's it. He gave us a code. Cool. Kill this mimic here. He's nothing but dead weight to us, because he's not one of the ones we need. Let's grab another Pokeball. I mean, I tried to grab another one there. There we go. Right, let's go have a scout about. I'm going to go try the village and see if it's that one. If not, it'll probably be by the colonel's office. Yep, it's here. Right, that should actually be him. Get in the box. If this is another one we need, we're doing very fucking well. Give me it. Rinse and repeat, and then we just got to do this one more time. And if we've done it that fast, bro, mimic step, I'm just him, I guess. I'm just too good. Right, let's chuck this in here, please. So, oh, yeah, it is. Cool. I think so, anyway. Oh, my God, that's a lot of them. Right, that's the second one. Nice. Grab our third and final fucking Pokeball here, and let's go grab ourselves another Mimic. We'll grab some Speed Caller as well here. I really do think the third one's near the Colonel's office. I might be wrong, though. Okay, I think we just have to go around, to be fair with you, because I'm not... I've, I've been to all the spawn locations, and there's just nothing there. All right, let's just end around here. Oh, fuck, I forgot this is a thing. Assault Wave. Cringe, man. I completely forgot this was a feature. All right, okay, let's call in this fucking Napalm Strike right there. We really lack the firepower to be doing this. All right, let's pop a ring of fire here. Is that it? Oh, my God. I, I didn't realize how short that shit was. We really do need some sort of pack-a-punch soon, though. Right, let's quickly try and get this mimic done before the round starts. It's, I swear it's here. It has to be here. Okay, maybe not. What am I missing, then? Okay, we'll, we'll find it. We'll find it. It's fine. I'm gonna go upgrade my guns and stuff. Chuck this in the pack-a-punch machine. Maybe I'll get, I'll get, like, dead wire on it. We'll head over here. We'll grab dead shot. Oh, my God, bro. Grab ourselves a blue weapon rarity as well, and we'll get the fuck. Still waiting on a mangler as well. Right, okay, I think that's the last zombie. Right? That's kind of perfect. And what I'm gonna do as well, I'm gonna pack-a-punch this A Okay, but I'm not going to uh, double pack it with the weapon mod because I just want to use it to kill this mimic. Can they double spawn? I'm going to go check Peck's quarters real quick. See if there's any items in there. No, there's not. Okay. It was worth a look. It was worth a look. Planning officers. No. Have we got to go another round or something? Bro, I just can't find this other mimic. He's hiding from me. Okay, fuck it. We'll go another round. I can't find him. Right, well, there, oh, right, he spawns in now. Okay. Right, that should probably be enough health gone. Get in the box. There we go. That was weird. I had to go two rounds there. I don't understand why. We also really do need that mangler because this next step is the one that requires the Reiki. And I don't know why he hasn't spawned in. I swear it's round 12. Right, I should hope. Mm, it's a mimic. I thought that was him. Yeah, that's it. Oh, there's our mangler. Right, grab the floppy disk. I need to shoot his arm off if I want the part. Is that it? Yep, there we go. Right, let's go dump these power cells in the little charging bin. Let's wait for them to charge up. Grab the Reiki. Then we can continue on. Uh, they go. Where do they go again? Oh, yeah, they go here. What we can do in the meantime, though, is shove the floppy disk in this computer. There we go. Right, let's head over to the OPC. Right, we just need to wait for this thing to fail. Right, we need to talk to Peck, and then he's going to be like, psych. Right, there's our code, and there's our ether meter. Very nice. Right, now we've got to go look for these crystals. The only one we can't do is the one that requires the AK, but we can do this one over here. This is the one where you need to be careful and have a look at it, because we need to look for the one that doesn't have any black smoke. That's got black smoke. That's got black smoke. So does that one. That one doesn't. That's it. Do the other one as well, which is over here. It's in, like, the little middle path of, like, the trenches. I'll show you what I mean. Hang on. I think here, is it this one? Yeah. 
Yeah, there we go. All right, now we've got like a lockdown step, so to speak, but it's really easy. The only thing that does get annoying, though, is these fucking dogs, man. Oh, how long does this last, man? Please don't tell me it's a round. I can't be arsed. Ah, fucking mangler. Piss off. Oh, that's it. Okay, give me it. All right, there we go. Now we actually just have to wait a couple of rounds because we need to wait for those power cells to charge. Remember the ones that we stuck on before? Ideally, I do want to grab a nuke this round. It would just speed everything up. Oh, fuck off, Mimic, man. Oh, perfect. Come on. Where's the last zombie? Oh, it's a mangler. All right, let's go check on the power cells. I can't remember if it's one more round we have to wait or it's done. Nope, they're done. Cool. And there's our Reiki. Very nice. Bro, this has to be one of the coolest fucking wonder weapons ever, man. Right, now to grab the third canister that we couldn't do before. It's just here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. And then it fucks off to wherever it goes. It's over there. And then... You shoot one of them next to it, and then we can grab it. Nice. All right, now that we have all three, we just got to overload the generators, and then it's pretty much boss fight time, I can't lie. Before we do anything, though, I do want to try and get that pack-a-punch machine to me to get this Reiki packed. Almost fucked up on my words there. All right, okay, Reiki. Fuck it, we'll do a tier two pack on it. All right, let's go overload some generators then. There's our first one, second one, and our third one. Oh my god, that's a lot of zombies. Oh no, shock horror, Peck lied. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna go grab some extra perks while we wait for Reaver to say his dialogue because he's, he's like, wait, and then we have to go to the fucking computer terminal and beam down a massive laser from the sky. Yep, there you go. All right, the hard part is now aligning this satellite dish because it uses the worst controls known to man. All right, yeah, we should probably do this at the end of a round or something. In fact, what we can do, actually, because of the way Cold War works, you can just swap your field upgrade mid-game. Ether Shroud with purpose. Hopefully, we get enough charge on it to do it by the end of the round. I'm guessing we will. Or maybe we can just do it right now. Oh, Q. E, no, Q, G for down. That's American. No, I want the question mark one. What's this one? That's Russian. Fucking Mangler, man. Why are you going to do me like that? Ah, oh, there's an assault wave as well, bro. That's actually so peak. We almost had it. All right, let's grab this artillery thing here. You know what? Fuck it. I'm going to make a Casimir, I feel like. Where's it coming from first? And I'll just chuck me strike on it. Middle. Cool. That is a lot of zombies. All right, there we go. Okay, right. Let's go quickly run back over to this computer and use our ether shroud. We've got two shots at this. Should be more than enough, in my opinion, anyway. All right, I'm guessing it's the one down here, then. No, that's Russian, too. Fuck's sake. It's the one down there, you bastard. Is that it? No, that's American. What the fuck? Oh my god, it's gotta be this one, right? But yeah, that's it. Align it. That is so cool, man. Okay, this should be the first little cutscene. Bro, she got fucked up in there. But one more thing left to do, and that's the order boss fight. Probably one of the most underwhelming ones. Shit is so easy, it's ridiculous. Not as easy as the machine, though. It still proves a little bit of a challenge, but... Ow, bastard. All right, we're gonna do some high damage here, because he's got orange on his head. Shoot there. Oh my god. All right, he's already half health. Okay, yeah, tier two is definitely the right call on this. Shroud. Honestly, you don't even have to wait. You can just keep... Keep spamming with the rake and you'll win this fight. Oh my god, there are so many zombies, holy. Right, you should die, like, hopefully soon. Please die. Oh my god, he said one shot, bro. Bro, his health bar's gone, what do you mean? There we go. And that is Firebase Z. Honestly, pretty painless, I'm not gonna lie. Let's pick up some fucking scrap. <laughs> <laughs> All right, on the outbreak. Okay, I'm not being funny, but this is definitely going to be the two that take the longest amount of time here. Now, I don't play a lot of outbreak. The most I've played really recently is five victors on BO3, so you're just going to have to bear with me if I feel a little bit noobish towards this. I am aware of how important that optimizing our perks and point situation early on is very, very key before we head off to round three, which is when we can actually start the first Easter egg. Yes, there is two to this. We're going to be jumping back into another game after this. If you guys don't enjoy the outbreak loop and you just want to see round base easter eggs that's totally fine there'll be a timestamp on screen right now where you can skip over both of them but honestly they're worth a watch because they're quite interesting there just won't be as much action-packed gameplay if you get what i mean up until the boss fight of this one really right now though i think i'm gonna go do the side objectives before we end up doing the main one here i'm gonna go do this surge one this has to be my least favorite um outbreak map it's it's, it's a new one it came towards the end of Cold war's life cycle and I, i've just never really enjoyed it to tell you the truth oh my god i get fucked up here bro God, they're ruthless on this, right? Let's keep destroying... Bro, can these dogs piss off? I'm gonna keep destroying crystals and everything I can possibly do to, you know, like, better our point situation. There's a big violet essence up here that we can quickly gr jump and grab. I don't know how we get it, though. Here's our crate. Gotta prove ourselves to the dark ether that we can open this crate. Okay. Sounds wonderful, I, I guess. I think that just means survive the onslaught of zombies that we're about to throw at you. Ah! And we're down already? Bro, it's gonna be a long game. That armor vest is gonna be really useful! Okay, stupid down. We can get... We can get self revives 
back in this game though, so that's not terrible. We just have to uh, save a boss scrap to do that. Right, let's open this up. We died for it, so. And this is what we died for. You are taking the fucking piss. I mean, I'll take a Hauer. I'm not gonna lie, it's a rare weapon. By rarity, I don't actually mean like. Oh, it's like a wonder weapon. Oh, we got a jump pad over here that we can use actually. Let's go do that. Some essence. I want to try to pick up this big violet essence as well. How do we actually do that? Jump up here? Do we go up here? Do we jump up? Oh, we jump up. Okay. Thank you. All right, here's the jump pad. All right, I want to go this way. I want to try to hit some essence on the way there, though. All right, okay, we've got a storm chest or whatever it's called here, I think. Release you. Motherfucker, we've got to go. Bro. Oh, my God. What the fuck was that? Oh, have I got to shoot? Oh, I've got to shoot them. Okay. That's a lot of zombies. Not anymore. All right, there's one. There's a one up here as well. Oh, we've got a medium fucking. Is this medium or large? We've got a medium chest here. Okay. That's a like gallo. Oh, no, nah, the how is good, though. Ow, man. Come on, give me a perk or something. Really? You give me on D machine, but not outbreak? That's vile. This black chest better be worth it, man. Oh, my God. There's a fucking mangler as well, bro. What? Right, there we go. Right, we got all three of the locks. And I did use our frenzied guard there purely because I wanted my shield back up. Bro, how is there crawlers? I'm shooting them with an M16. Right, okay. Black chest. Juice me up. Come on. Oh, a chalice. Okay, that is really useful to be fair with you. Pack a bunch as a weapon. Some more armor. A magnum. Not really of really any interest to me. There's a rift down there that we can take, though. What else have we got to do on this objective list? We've got a HVT, but I don't think I... Mm, do I? I'm not sure. I was going to say, I don't think I really want to do that until I'm all set up. But I do have a pack a bunch of green rarity weapons, so it shouldn't be too bad. Oh my god, it's only over here. I got a lot of dogs. I fucking hate these things, man. Right, okay. This is probably going to be like a find and fix kind of thing. To be fair, vehicles and zombies is pretty fucking cool. And yeah, this M16 is making quick work of this Megaton here. And it's, oh, that's a lot of dogs. Okay, that double points would be quite nice. Ow. Okay, move, 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 move. Is that a random perk I see, I see before me? Yes, it is. That's Tombstone. Great. Cheers. Grab a cruise missile. I don't want the thumper. We have a crystal here. Nothing useful. Oh, Molotov, actually. I'll pick it up. Got some more crystals about. What just dropped from that? Oh, Essence. More Essence. One more crystal. Oh, my place. Okay. I suppose now, honestly, we should probably head over to the main objective. Oh, we got a uh, locked chest over here. No, it's not locked. It's just like a normal chest. Is it large? I can't tell. I think that's large. No, it's medium. Some scrap and stuff. That's not too bad. Empty Deadshot Daiquiri. I mean, uh, uh, oh, it's Intel. I was going to say, I thought it was like something we could actually use. That's ridiculous. We've got another uh, box in here that we can open. I think that's small. Yeah, it's small. Just some scrap and some ammo. We can't go wrong with that, to be fair, though. Right, let's start this then. Yo, we got a monkey. Gotta stick with this rover just until it gets into this breach here. Right, yep, yeah, it's nice to do its thing. I'm gonna go investigate what's in these crystals. I don't think there's anything much, really. Honestly, man, I actually quite like Outbreak, I won't lie. It's just not really something I want to sit down and play all the time. Cold War definitely had the best iteration of it, though. We've got a nuke here. That's kind of perfect. So let's escort this rover. That monkey turned into a fucking snow globe. Great. It's not gonna be it. Nope, it jumps again. There's a double points in there, bro. Oh, we're gonna save that. Never in my life did I think I wouldn't enjoy Hellhounds again. But honestly, they're actually such a good threat in this game. Right, we're saving this dump. Oh, fuck. Now we've got a timer. Great. Go. Oh, bro, can these zombies piss off? Oh, the fire on the floor. Welcome back to transit. There's a mangler. Come on. It's not happening, is it? It's not happening. Is it? I don't know. We might get the double points. Yes, no. Nah, did we fuck? That's sad. Okay. I didn't mean to pick it up early, but I'm just stupid, I guess. Uh, Right, we've got some crate loot here. There's an M. There's nothing else to do. Right, okay, let's head over to the place where we can upgrade all of our shit. It's a pretty decent haul for the first world. 20k points. 1,000 low grade. A little bit of high grade. Not too bad. Right, okay. And here's all of our stuff. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to upgrade my weapon to... How much is it for? Oh, it's 1,000 for tier 2 armor. But really? We are going to focus on the weapon. Let's get that upgraded. We can always get more low grade. Definitely going to grab jug and quick revive and stamina up and then we'll call it there. We'll get tier 2 pack probably as the next priority and can we craft one? Okay. Self revives are 250 so we need to keep an eye out for that. Right, let's, let's leave. Whoa. The world grows harder. Okay, right, let's see what we can do here. Right, we've got a dragon one, we've got a HVT and we've got a black chest. Right, let's go do the dragon. As mentioned previously, we can't actually do anything until world level 3. So we're basically just setting up until then. And I think we're doing a pretty good job right now, I'm not going to lie. Fucking Plague hounds, man. Why did they bring them back? Right, start feeding time. Gotta be careful. They do tend to sneak up on you. Really do want to try to get this up the full just so we get the full golden chest. Something's telling me they're not gonna spawn in quick enough, though. Oh, no, we got it up the full. Okay. That actually wasn't too difficult. Right, okay, that's that done. We got a cheeky 2,000 points there. Ow, 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 ow. Fuck. Okay, right. Big gold chest. Give me something good. That is not something good, man. All right, let's fill up our shield here and let's grab a full power. What is this? The type 63? Nah, I'm keeping my thing. Oh my god, we just fortnighted that fucking disciple. A grapple gun? 
Bro, we actually are playing Fortnite. What the fuck? Right, okay. Uh, there's a jump pad. If we do a 180, let's go do that. We'll do the HVT next. I want to try out this fucking grapple gun, though. Hang on. Where's the jump? Oh, well, we'll use the jump pad, then grapple. Whoa! HVT's over in this direction. Right, there's the radio. Right, let's try out the grapple gun here. That's honestly sick, to be fair with you. I wish that we had more charges of it, though. That's a Kranzi. Bro, they're actually scary. Oh, the Kranzi is the high-value target. Okay. It's so M60. Oh, fuck. There's so many hellhounds, bro. Go away. Oh, my God. What is with the theme of fire and outbreak, man? Right, okay. He's dead. All right, give me my free perk. Elemental pop. That is not bad. Mangler. It's a QBZ on the ground, but no, nah, I think I want to stick with the Howler, honestly. Got a nuke here as well. Perfect. We also have enough for our tier two pack on our M16. It's great. All right, do we have a jump pad? We do. All right, I'm going to go do that um, black chest, then we'll go do the other objective. Destroy some crystals here. We might get a perk. We might not. It's the whole reason why I do destroy them. Come on, drop a free perk. You know you want to. Ugh, nothing. Fuck's sake. Right, let's go do the soul chest, and then once we've done that, we can head off and do the main objective. And away we go. Worryingly enough, we are 23 minutes in and I haven't even started step one. <laughs> oh, these are really close together. That's nice. Okay, right. We need to find your fucking three lost keys or whatever. These actually become more and more difficult, I think, as uh, the higher the round you get. Oh, don't tell me it goes inside the house, man. Oh, that's a piss take. Oh, I'm getting on top of the house. Fuck this. Right, one more to go and it's in the church. Right, okay, that's all three of them, so that chest should be unlocked now. Nice. Right, let's open it up then. Quickly. Oh, level two armor. Is that silver chalice for me as well? Let's go, bro. Oh, it's a bronze chalice. We're gonna upgrade the hour. Oh, okay. That was speedy from me. That was a massive horde of zombies, mind. Wait, do we actually have to drive this thing? What? I didn't even... This is a thing? Ah, shit. Bro, I'm not good at driving it. Bro, we might actually... Don't, I don't want to fail this. Come on. Bro, 1 minute 30 is not enough time. What the fuck? Protect the transport truck. Okay. Oh, this is definitely one of the most unique ones I've seen. It's like a mix of them all. It's kind of cool. Oh, my God. We got to go again? Oh, bro. This is so fucked. I can't drive in this game. Right, okay. Chuck that in there. Right, we're good. Oh, my God, bro. 500 meters into... Oh, no. This is fucked. This is so fucked. Oh, now we'll be the worst time to get stuck, man. Now, what the fuck, bro? Now, I'm stuck. Oh, my God. Right, this is going to be the fucking wire, bro. Oh, my God. Why did I have to get stuck there? It might actually be fucked. It might be over. Bro, we've got to fucking floor it. Come on, bro. Who thought Outbreak could be this, like, actually fun, I guess. Oh, it's a Tempest. No, that's going to EMP your fucking truck. Nah, fuck off, bro. Let me move. Let me move. You're a rat. You're an actual rat. Let me in. Let me in. Drive. Drive. I swear to God, drive. Oh, my God, bro. Hurry up, man. I have an idea. I have an idea. Oh, my God. That was actually so nerve-wracking, bro. What the fuck? All that for 2,500 points, bro. Jesus. That was ridiculous, bro. All right, we got to get the fuck out of here. Is that a chest? That is a chest. Oh, my God. Got some scrap and stuff. Not bad. Oh, big box of scrap. Gonna grab this essence. Right, where's my pack and wrench machine? There it is. Right, give me tier two. I also want... What do I want? I'm saying dead wire. Let's get dead wire. Don't need tier three armor. We can save it for epic rarity. Let's get ourselves dead shot, and that's all we can do for now. All right, let's warp then. Right, now we can actually start the Easter egg. So we need to go look for a little radio, I think, first. All right, okay, let's head over to this little objective piece we've got here. I think this is where the radios are first. For this map anyway, I hope. Bro, stamina makes this so much easier. It's ridiculous. And here is our main radio. Okay, listen to the signal. Right, it's ringing the dinner bell. Here we go. Oh my god, it's a mangler. Find amplifiers to increase the signal strength. Active static noise three. Okay, right, let's go find it. I do believe we saw one in here. Right, that's active static noise three. We need to find two more. There's another one. What's this one on? Oh, fucking hell. Oh my god, they're throwing shit at me. I hear a mangler. Where is he? There he is. Get him killed. There we go. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Right, that's active static noise two. We want bro sound effect number three. Right, there we go. I hear another radio. Where is it? Is it up here? Yeah, there we go. Right, what one's this? Six. Oh, bro, we're definitely getting another thingy. Fuck's sake, man. Let's get our shield repaired here. Kill off this mangler. Is this thing gonna shut up? Two, three. Right, there we go. That should be all of them, right? right? I think now we need to head back to the main radio. Listen to full signal. Oh, cool. Right, and there's our beacon listening device. Perfect. Right, I'm pretty sure now we can just proceed on as normal. What I'm gonna do is we're gonna do all these other little objectives first because, you know, getting as many points as you can in this is definitely crucial because we want the best setup possible for this boss fight. And oh my god, I didn't think I'd go this far. Fucking grapple gun's amazing, man. Get me up there. Where have I just gone? What the fuck? Nah, bro, I don't want to be going through these red ones yet, bro. I just wanted to get my HPT. Look, I don't know what we're doing with that. I think that's second Easter egg type shit. We're not doing that yet. Oh, we got a locked box. Big one, too. Uh, nothing too great in there, to be fair. We're an RPD. All right, let's play this message for the HVT. Oh, Tempest, bro. You're my least favorite enemy in Cold War. Oh, couple that with Hellhounds, and you've got a game I don't want to play. Nuke, perfect. 
Ow, oh, he does a lot of damage. Well, he's dead now. Right, okay. Thank you for the free perk, kind sir. That disciple got fucking cooked, bro. Right, okay. Let's go over to this... Oh, big box of scrap. Let's go over to this uh, other mini objective we've got to do here. Oh, we definitely did almost start the other Easter egg there. I got confused. There's one. We're getting better at this. Oh, can we kill it? Nope. Right, that's that one gone. Where's the other one? Oh, it's down there. Jesus. A frenzied god would be really helpful right now. All right, it's gone. Nice one. That's a mimic. What the fuck? All right, okay. Black box. Give me something good. Really, bro? Oh, purple howl, though. And a bronze chalice. Don't mind if I do. It's better than our original one, so why not? All right, what else have we got to do here? We got the dragon one that we can do up here as well. I don't know about you guys, but I'm enjoying this quite a bit, you know? It's a nice break from just traditional round base. What is following me? I can hear something. Am I imagining things? I must be. Oh, big chest. Again, nothing really that interests me here. I've got a hand cannon. I will take that. We don't have a slot for it at the minute. Another big box of scrap, bro. It's our lucky day. All right, we've got a dragon thing up here as well. We'll do that. All right, let's give it a go. Like I said, the higher you climb in these rounds, the more likely you are to not fill this thing up, and it means you won't get a gold chest, but it's still worth doing for the points, because I think you get a little bit once you complete it. Oh, brain rot, not, brain rot is not good, bro. Get rid of the disciple as well. Little rat. That brain rot's fucking me up, man. Oh, mangler, piss off. Oh my god, the manglers count. What? Yeah, see, we didn't get it up full. That's just because that brain rot zombie fucked us up bad. I think now all we get is a meat. Is it a medium or is it a large, like, non-gold one? I can't remember. It's large, non-gold. Okay. And we got a whole lot of nothing. Got some scrap. That's about it. Right, let's head over to the main objective. Well, we're basically done here, Easter egg wise. Just parachute the entire way down there. Why don't I kill this disciple here, bro? Dead wire fucks them up so bad. Oh, this is one of the worst ones. You just gotta sit in defiant defend this fucking head that starts screaming. That sounded like a cranzy, and it did not sound good. Use the hand cannon a bit here, I guess. Yeah, I'd really prefer if you didn't hit my, you know, thing that ends my game if it gets destroyed. Thank you, zombies. It's these hellhounds, man. They do so much damage to it. I'm gonna pop a frenzied guard here. It's definitely the best field upgrade for Outbreak. Ring of Fire's decent, but it's not great for, like, moving around. You've definitely gotta stay in one place with it. This, I just get free armor every time I pop it. It's really, really good. All right, that's it. There we go. Nice one. All right, now we can actually head over to our anomaly and start the easter egg properly with like the communication to set mantha and stuff all right okay where's my pack of punch machine at? there it is all right let's get ourselves a tier three packed weapon we do have enough to get an epic rarity as well let's do that we're pretty good for shields can we spend any money on perks we got enough for that no we don't have to budget kind of cringe all right what can we do now all right ringer now after this we need to go find the monkey i'm pretty sure i was mixing that up at the start all right let's go find ourselves our monkey oh we got zoo okay this is actually something we can do as well now i'd be lying to you if I said this was the first time I've done any of these easter eggs. I've done them all before, but I've done them co-op. I'm gonna go get my super easter egg thing here as well, once we're done with everything to do with the easter egg here. I'll show you what I mean by that in a little bit, if you don't already know. All right, okay, let's go look for our monkey bomb then. These are random spawns, but I'm sure we'll find it. 20k damage to the head our weapon does now. I'm proud of this. We've got a good setup going on here. I've got a fucking pack of dogs following me, man. Large box of scrap, very nice. That's a mimic, bro. That's, that's trolls. That is trolls. Right, here's our slide projector. That's kind of what we need to know. For the end, anyway, we don't really know right now. I'm going to pause here and quickly check my map. Okay, let's go check this, the coordinates that I've just found here. Hopefully it's here. Please be here. Oh, there's a monkey. Does it have an M on it? No, it just gives loot. Crazy. Fucking disciples, man. Go away. You smell. I get it. You're not that good of an enemy. It's hard. I get it. I understand. I do. Oh, big box. What's that? It's a perk can. Oh, it's dead shot, bro. We already have that. Oh, is it tombstone? I can't see. Right, let's go check this other waypoint out here. We do have to be careful because there is an order on the left of us just fucking waltzing about casually. Now, usually, I'd be all thought to take that thing down, but we're not doing that right now. There's a monkey there. Ah, there's our microfilms. Nice. Right, let's go after the order. We'll go do the rest of our little objectives here. Just so we have everything completed. Or is it gone now? No, it's not. Let's go run after it. Hello, order. Oh my god, it fires dogs at me. Oh, this thing will be easy. It's fine. We got this. It's gonna frenzy guard real quick just to get some invincibility. Just kind of take down this thing's health just that little bit more. Oh, this is ridiculously easy, man. Oh, I didn't know he did that. No matter anyway, because he's dead. <laughs> what do you drop? What do you drop? What do you drop? Right, we got a max ammo. That's always nice. I'll run by and click, pick up all the stuff we can just pick up. That's napalm burst. That'll go on the hour. Magnum. Nah, not for me. Stoner, nope. Uh, Krig 6, nah. Nah, none of this is really for me, to be fair with you. All right, we've got a jump pad here we can use. Give that a go. Crate in here, too. It's always worth it for the scrap. All right, and off we go. Let's go do the HVT next. Kind of curious as to what it's going to be this time, to be fair with you. Oh my god, it's a Kranzi! Oh my god. It's ridiculous how powerful Kranzis are when they're HVTs. And they can fly about and everything, man. All right, there we go. What do you draw? Bunch of stuff and a free perk. PhD slider, perfect. All right, our next one is one of the ghost chests. Right, we'll go do one of them as well. No jump pad here, unfortunately. And here it is, right? We need to prove ourselves to the Dark Aether once more. Sound like such a fucking nerd saying that, bro. There's two people that live in my head. The one that likes COD zombies and the one that thinks half the shit in this game is for nerds. Oh, we just completed a Port Nova objective. That's great. It's better be worth it, man. What 
what you got against that chest, huh? Right, come on. What did we get from that? Some grapplers. Okay, that's not bad. Where's my grappler? Right, uh, full power is always nice. What's this? An M 1911 not with my weapon space. Right, let's go put our microfilms in the thing, then we'll go do the main objective. Bro, there's just a Kranzi kicking about over here. I actually hate them so much, man. What'd he drop? I thought he dropped a fucking Wonder Woff there for a minute. I was so confused. I'm gonna destroy these crystals just in case we do get our last perk. Well, our last couple. But nah, it doesn't look like we're getting much here. The scrap's always nice, though. Oh my god, it's a fucking helicopter. Can we shoot it down? Oh, we can. Wait, do we get points to stuff for doing this? I don't know, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, a mega supply crate. Oh my god! Bro! Look at all the stuff we just got! That was actually crazy. What the fuck? Oh my god, a war machine as well? Right, is this our microfilm room? I, c I can't remember. That's an ammo crate. It's nothing special. Oh, we actually do have a proper crate in here, though. All right, here. Right, insert the slides. Cool. Bro, I'm getting a fucking history lesson on Omega. All right, we got to get our asses over to Ruka, apparently, to try and stop this, according to Samantha, anyway. Um, is there anything else we can do, man? We're still short on um, high-grade scrap. Right, let's do the main objective, then we'll worry about that. There's a crate in here. We really need anything we can get in regards with high-grade, because I really do want a legendary weapon oh my fucking god bro right let me up here what have i got to do to this oh is it hvt oh no it's not all right okay we've just got to secure the rockets that's easy peasy oh it's this one okay then this, this one's fine right i'm running to the other one because it's taking damage wow this one was really not designed for a solo play right okay that's that them two done do we have to do anything else after this oh no that's it okay all right come on oh <sighs> Bro, we're so short. Right, let's head to the beacon. After we go and do our super easter egg thing that I was on about. I kind of forgot about that. Oh, there's another chest here too. Okay. There it is. Okay, there's our little ritual site that I want to go to. How many of these pillars are lit up? Right, every one of them, I think that's outbreak. I think they're just outbreak easter eggs I haven't done. Right, this should, hopefully. Rare loadout weapon. Let's go. Bro, this is fucking sick. Let's fucking go, bro. Right, we just need to do these other two outbreak easter eggs and I can come back and get legendary. Right, okay. Here's the beacon. 250 short, man. We do have one last opportunity to build some scrap, but I want enough for a self-revive as well, because I can't be doing this shit one-hit wonder, bro. I'm going to grab the rest of the perks that I can grab, and I might as well pack it, double pack the hour. All right, off we go. We need 1,500 regular scrap, bro. we got to hope for, like, another one of them helis. All right, let's go do the other objectives, and then we'll start on the Easter egg. I know I keep doing this. It's kind of like I'm fucking teasing what's yet to come, but, like, bro, I need to set up. We don't have a legendary weapon. It's not good. You don't, under you don't like, understand how stressful and difficult this boss fight is, so we need everything we can get bro even if that means just opening like that little one chest here and there and if you're watching this far after i even said you can stop watching if you find it a little bit boring you might as well stay to the end of this easter egg now bro okay we've got a medium loot crate here that's always nice got a little bit of blue grades anything in here anything yummy any yummy loot what's this i thought it was a rampage and do so i won't lie right let's go do the dragon first here's another crate here fucking play counts bro go away bro we can fish what the fuck oh wait bro bro i'm gonna die of this zombie because i'm fishing bro top 10 things i think i'd never say come on bro Give me something good. Give me a bite. Come on. Oh, that's literally what we need. Give me some of that, bro. Bro, fishing could 100% be this shot. Take this minute as a little breather for you guys. If you guys do enjoy this video, make sure you drop a like on it. And if you are watching this far, thank you very much. We've got a few Easter eggs to go. I feel like Bob Ross right now. There's a fucking mangler here to ruin it. Of course there is. I hate you. Did my rod break? You knobhead. There's a golden spark over here. I don't know what that means. Oh, it's a big crate. Okay, we got 812 high grade scrap. Come on. I just, I just want a legendary weapon at least. All right, let's start this up. Oh my god, please. No. No, 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 no. No, 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 Frenzy God. Oh, they're shambling because of my Frenzy God. No, bro, come on. We're off. Come on, we've got to get this thing full. Come here. Yeah, it's full. It's full. It's full. Great, 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 great. That's amazing news. All right, what you got for me? Not a whole lot. Okay, we did get some. We get a decent amount of scrap. I don't really want brain rot. Craig six again. We got a full power as well. It's always appreciated. Uh, we're gonna go do the order next because they do drop very yummy loot. That was the closest we've came to dying yet, though. I think I would have been so mad if we died to fucking zombies. I think we got a pretty godsend set of objectives that we can do here to close off because once we enter down in that bunker, we can't come back up. Where's the order? There he is. All right, try the war machine out on it. Honestly, not bad. Not bad at all. Gotta stay far away from this thing. I don't want it to kick me in the face. Okay, we're making good progress on killing it here. Oh, right. Okay, 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 okay. Right, there we go. Nice. All right, what did it drop? A lot of that yummy scrap. We do need that. There's nothing really much here that we can actually pick up, though, apart from them grapple take that. Right, there's a HVT we can go do. There's a jump pad as well. We can do that. Keep bashing my mouse off my keyboard. And up and we... Uh, up and we go. It's about to say, and away we go. And up, up and away. It's a mix of the two. Right, it's this way. This has to give us 100, and then we can go scavenging if it doesn't. Oh, we don't 
don't have a self revive though, man. That sucks. Right, let's go fuck this HVT up. Oh, it's a Megaton. Okay. Simple stuff. Oh, it's oh my god, he hurts. It's a Mayak. My game is stuttering like fuck as well. I don't know why. Oh, does he split or is it a Mayak? I'm confused. Oh, no, they split. Okay. There's one and there's two. Okay, random perk. Don't need that in particular. Oh, we didn't get any HP scrap, bro. Okay, there's a big box in here. This isn't going to give us much, but it'll give us a little bit. Yep, yeah, 932. We just got to find a little bit more of those. Have a bit of a better luck with these crates, man. Another one in here. Essence. 950. Okay, we're nearly there. The monkey. Drop ammo. So it's like a perfect place to put a crate, man. Come on, you're telling me there's not one in here? That's a joke. Okay, we've got a small one here. Fuck's sake, that's not anything good. Renny, are you going to be nice and just drop some? Okay, that's a no. Okay. Got a few more areas we can explore, yes, just before we head in. I think that's a crate there. That could be a... That looks way too good to be true. That's a mimic. No, it's not. Oh my god. 980. Okay, we're nearly there. Crystals, be with me with luck. Come on. What's that? <gasps> self revive. Oh my god, that's so clutch. I think the odds of getting that are like fucking point one. I've never seen that before. Nothing. Nothing. Fuck. Bro, 20 scrap. I'm not asking you for a month. I'm not asking you for a week. All I need is 20 scrap. Right, we still got a couple of places we can investigate. Let's go where the box is. There might be something there. Anything up here? Nothing. Bro, no loot. Nah, no, this is this is actually criminal. It's gotta be some kind of sick joke, right? I actually can't find 20 fucking scrap. Fucking disciple, man. Go away. Bro, I brain Roger. Ooh, high grade salvage. Okay, eight scrap. That's all I need, bro. Can this guy die? Because I know these have a habit of dropping it as well. Anything up here? Oh, it's a fucking mimic. Absolutely jabated me. Nothing. Nothing. Surely there's got to be something up here, right? I'm going to grab one. I'm not going to waste my time. Ah, uh, where, have, where else haven't we explored? We haven't been up there. Have we explored this little farmhouse? No, we haven't. There's a box in there. Oh my god, we have enough. Okay, right. I'm chilling. I'm chilling. I'm chilling, bro. Broken essence kind of stuff. Oh, it's just intel. Cringe. Still going to keep having a look around, though, just for the sake of we could get tier 3 armor as well. And I feel like them would be actually fully 100% set up. That's the only thing I'm worried about. We've had a prop. I thought I heard a little crate there. No, it's not. I was going to say, we've had a proper look in here already. There's nothing here. Nothing and uh, nothing. There's a crate in there. That's good. Essence. Okay, it's something. It's a big crate in here, I think. Please don't be a mimic. Nope, it's not. Good. Oh, oh my god, a ray gun. Okay. I didn't even see that. We should probably take that, huh? And an RCXT. Sure. I guess we'll take it as our mule kick weapon. It's a big box of green scrap, bro. I need, I need the blue stuff. Come on. All of white. Anything up here? Nope. What down here? Nope. There's something here, though. It's small, but it's something. And there's not always size that matters. Do you have another one here? It's a medium. Get out of the crystals here. We might get lucky. Nope. We didn't get lucky. That's some intel, though. Here's a crate. I honestly think this might be the best we're going to get. I see another golden glow up there. It's a medium one. Okay. Well, oh, we're so fucking close, man. The medium sized crate. Okay, right. I'm pretty sure we're about as set up as we can get. I'm going to go to that armor stand and upgrade all our weapons and get our stuff, pack a punch and all that stuff, and then we'll head down. And M16, legendary. Perfect. Right. Okay. I guess we're doing this medium armor then. I really can't find any more scrap if i'm being completely honest with you i've looked high and low everywhere bro there might be some down in there to be fair i don't know i'm gonna frenzy god then now just to get our stuff up make one last run to the pack a bunch machine for our ray gun and then it's time to go down one i think we get up to two can't we yeah that'll do okay as long as we have one tier three legendary weapon i'm happy without further ado here we go oh my god there's so many zombies down here bro right okay let's lift the lock down here and we got a mini cutscene. Cool. Right, okay, launch key time. Right, let's purge this Ethereum canister. This is how you get the one for B. We're doing B first, because, you know, why not? We never do anything in order on this channel. There are so many zombies, man. Right, now we need to go about and find a bit, little bits of uh, Ethereum. So there's loads in here. Let's pick these up. So yeah, these crystals on the wall here, we basically just need to shoot them down until they drop them little purple thingies that we can actually pick up. These. There's three more. There's another. There's a shit ton of it up here, I'd imagine. No, really? Some here. Oh, some more here. Right, I don't know how much we've got now i'm gonna lob my c4 over there though rest deposit while we can i guess I don't think we're going to have enough. Yeah, we need two more. Where's this last two? Oh, this is more here. Perfect. Right, there we go. Cool. Oh, that's a lot of zombies. Wow. I'm loving a fucking chasm here, man. I'm just going to try to clear out as many as I can because I don't really want to be walking around with that thing on my back while I've got tempests everywhere and stuff. Right, okay, let's grab it now. Right, now we need to find launch room D or whatever it's called. This is not the way through, I imagine. This is actually painful. This is A. Where's D? D's going to be around surely somewhere. There's the monkey up there for the other launch key, though. Right, we're at D. We're at D. We're at D. We're at D. Right, we 
need to go find the jellyfish and give him the canister. And there he is. He's up there. Right, there's another one of our ICBM launch keys that we just got there. I'm killing all the mimics in this fucking room. That was hectic, man. We need to redo this one with the Ethereum crystals, though, and I'm working on that again. Right, okay, let's deposit all we have. I think we should have enough. Okay, yeah, perfect. We do. Run. I'm using my death machine now, man. Wait, is there... I don't know if there's a crafting table down here, to be fair. Let's not do that. It's a bit foolish, to be fair. So many fucking zombies, man. Right, there we go. The jellyfish likes us. We need to grab the fucking key. That's wherever. But where's the key? Oh, wait, it should be on this guy, right? Did we get it? We did. We Okay, okay we got it. We got it. We got it. We got it. I'm going to pop my frenzy god again here just so we have some more shield. All right, the final key. Right, there's our monkey. Well, he was in the vent, but we got a bit too close. We need to find the trap first before we do anything. I think it's in here or something. I don't know. Right, we got it. We got it. We got it. Right, we need to find what air vent this little monkey's in. Oh, my god. There's fucking there's so many zombies, man. Right, lob that over there. Right, let's grab him. And we got the last key. Nice. Right, this is literally all or nothing now. We're going into the boss fight. I need to get fully prepared, bro. Right, pack a punch machine. I want a fully packed ray gun. Pair of armor here. Is there a work? I doubt there's a workbench in here. No, there's not a workbench in here. Right, let's trial and error these keys then, shall we? There's one here. Incorrect key. Okay. Is it this one first? I think this is B. There's too many zombies, man. B first. No. Right, so it's B first. Then we'll go try A. Is it this one next? I didn't hear an error. Right, there we go. It started. Right, okay. Here we go. Legion boss fight. I've literally done this one once with someone like two other people and it was not good we should be good to go we should be good to go gonna use the death machine right off the bat take down his shield bro how much shield does this motherfucker have but right, there we go it's gone need to do enough damage to these orbs right his health depleted good 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 okay we just need to be constantly attacking his health use the rest of our death machine here we might as well ah shit just trying to keep my composure here i can't lie this is stressful i'm gonna try and get my frenzied god up where is he where is he where is he where's he gone there right his shields are gone focus fire on them come on oh mimic no no, bro. That mimic actually fucked us. That's terrible. That is actually what a joke. I need Frenzy God, man. I'm just going to keep trying dinking his shield while I can. Right, there we go. Frenzy God. Here we go. Bro, where's his orbs? There we go. Right, there we go. There's another one. Right, one more, one more, one more. We got this. We got this. We got this. We've got more than enough time to charge up our ring as well. Not ring. Frenzy God. I keep getting them mistaken. Just going to keep focusing on him now and again just to get our damage on his shields up a little bit. We are being harassed by these fucking zombies, though. Ow, ow, ow. No, 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 no. Right, we need Frenzy God ASAP. Bro, these manglers are not helping, man. We just got to keep shooting them. Got to keep laying into them. He's immune right now, I think. No, he's not. No, he's not. No, he's not. Come on, break, you bitch. Fine, it's fine. It's fine. It's fine. We've still got time to go one more time if we fuck this up. It's fine. Right, it's, there we go. There we go. Where's he at? Where's he at? Where's his orb? Come on. Yes. Oh, my God. Yes. Let's fucking go, bro. Oh, my God. That is so satisfying. I've never done that solo before. Okay. All right. On to the next one. Right, so as you can see, I've got a little bit of a setup going on already. Welcome back to Outbreak, first off. Now, we're doing the second part of the Easter egg here. Yeah, yeah, this fucking mode is so extravagant that it has two Easter eggs. And the first step actually involves going towards a red rift underwater on this map. Now, the reason why I'm already a little bit set up is because I felt as though I didn't really need to show you the whole setup process at Outbreak again. You have seen it in the first one, and I think I explained it a little bit better in the first one. He's got to see me get all the legendary weapons and all that shit. Now I need to focus up, though, because we need to fly into more red portals. Oh my god. I didn't realize this would be underwater, man. We're gonna drown. Oh my god, get me to the red portal. Come on, quick. Right, now we need to chase this thing. Yep, yeah, there it is. This is the thing that allows us to communicate with Ravanov about his plan. Now, we already had Ravanov's plan in the first one, but this is a completely different one. I don't know. Right, yeah, lost all. I don't really care, pal. I'm not gonna lie. We'll get the first objective done. We're pretty much set up, in my opinion. We've got tier 2 pack, so zone 5 shouldn't be too bad. But we'll just do the main objective here, and let's skedaddle. Right, retrieve what? Oh, we're gonna go purge them. Okay. Okay, a uh, quick question. Yeah, how the fuck do I get that back over there? Oh, it's a dinghy. Okay, got to park up here, bro. Oh, let me up the ladder. Oh, this is such an awkward map to do this one on, man. Right, quickly slap in our Ethereum here. Right, let's use our dinghy again. Let's go find this other one. All right, it's on the big ship. Right, that'll do. Oh no, bro, let me repel. There. Oh, our grapple gun will be really useful right now. Oh my god, there's a lot of zombies. Perfect. Give me that. Right, and away we go. That was honestly a lot easier than I expect. I just thought on this map with all the water around it would have been an absolute piss take, but they were nice enough to put dinghies, which I do respect. And the second. Ethereum crystal is going in now. And there we go. Pretty straightforward, I'm not going to lie. And off it goes. Now we get to talk to Ravanov. Trigger the anomaly and we can head through here. Well, not head through. We need to do something first, which is respond. We can upgrade our gun to Epic tier as well. Double pack our Hauer. Oh, we can also chuck an ammo mod on it. Dead wire on that shit. And this crashed helicopter that we're looking for is down around here. We'll find it. It's like it, we don't have to mark the exact.
exact area. It's just in that region. Is there a jump pad around here? No, there is not. We are on foot. I can see that massive cloud of smoke indicating that crash chopper might be over there. I don't know, though. Yeah, that is definitely the crash chopper that we're looking for. We're looking for a radio attached to it as well. It was a cranzy, fuck's sake. Can't go five minutes without seeing one of you, can I? And he's dead. There we go. What's that, dead wire? No, we already have that on both of our guns. There's the radio I'm looking for. Secure crash. Ah, bollocks. Must mean we're going to get a lot of spawns. Luckily, we're at least a little bit set up. Disciples have to be one of the coolest looking enemies, but they're so weak, man. That insta-kill will indeed come in useful. But that'll do. Can we play this now? No? What about now? Yeah, there we go. Right. Right, now we, like you just said, we've got to find an ethereal orb. Now, these can be dotted around the map, so we're going to have to go put our searching goggles on here. Something's telling me it might be where this massive fucking beam of energy is going into. And also, we're going to quickly mark down where the bridge is, just so we know where to shoot towards if it's inside. Fucking cranzy, man. <laughs> oh, shit, our armor's gone. Okay, let's be careful now. Okay, so it's not in the middle of the pool. Weird. I could have sworn I saw the massive thing beam down into there, but okay. Let's go and check the bathhouse. I hope it's here. Sick of running around, man. We do get to play Mauro after this, though, so that's good. Uh, I think I see it. Yeah, it's, it's, up, it's up here. It's up here. Oh, fucking playgrounds, man. We'll use this uh, little rift here to jump through and quickly get on top of this building and shoot it towards the bridge. And once it's going towards the bridge, we should be good. Why has it chucked us all the way over here, bro? That's ridiculous. Wait, the orb's not even here anymore. What the fuck? Oh, no, it is. It is. It is. It is. I'm just tripping. Right, I crafted one of the uh, zip wire things with, like, the grappling guns. Yeah, that gets us on top. Nice. Right, I want to shoot it towards the bridge. Right, we're definitely making some progress here. Why is it going in here? Why have you got to do that for? Right, yep, yeah, it's still going in the right direction. That's good. Right, okay, we got it in the right position. We need to look for a little broken mystery box now. Why is that, I hear you asking? Because we need a fucking teddy bear. Right, well, the mystery box is already in one location, so we'll go check the roof first, because I doubt it can be in the same space where the actual mystery box is. That would be way too confusing. Our grappling hook should help out here a lot, actually. It means we don't have to go actually go inside the building, but we can just, like, you know, grapple up there. I think, anyway. Hopefully. Please. Okay, yep. Yeah. Oh, gotta time that quite well. Holy shit, this is high up. There we go, the smash mystery box. Maybe we have to kill zombies for it to come back down? Oh, right, cool. There we go. Flamethrower, I'll take that. Right, let's head back over to the bridge. Bro, this thing's doing my head in. Right, place Ether Bunny. There we go. Right, now the orb's in the cage. Play the Omega Audio. Yeah, we have completed the device, little bro. Now, give me my Easter egg completion quest. I guess we'll change the world, but I don't think that happens because I think we took- I think we show up and they're all dead. <laughs> Spoiler alert. Kind of cool how you can go outside the phase in this, though. The phase being the massive purple barrier around, like, the playable area. This is a really cool little Easter egg. It's not insanely difficult like the Legion one, either. Louis the Hedgehog, thank you for subscribing, bro. Wait, do we have to do something to get this to move again? Oh, no, I think it's... Oh, no, the Tempest is hitting it. Okay. Right, it should be good now. I did hear a Megaton spawn in there. I don't know where he is. There he is. I like the difficulty where it's at right now. I just don't want it to get, like, unbearably difficult. Double points, always appreciated. Okay, we actually need to watch this thing's health. It's in yellow now. Right, I think we're close. We're definitely nearly there now. Here, we're about half health. We should be okay. You know what it is? Staying alive is not even that difficult. Oh, there we go. It's done. It's done. It's done. It's done. Oh my god. So many particles. Now we gotta go find the scientists, and I don't think they're gonna be here. Yep. Spoiler alert. <laughs> what a little betraying little cunt, man. Who are so souls, man? Look at them. Okay, now what? Oh god, we got Xville. Oh my god, there's so many of them. Oh, there's an order. What the fuck? Okay, we got five minutes. We got five minutes. We can do this. We can do this. We've done this before. So many times. Really need a frenzied god or something here, man. Oh, God, we don't have any armor. We gotta be careful. There's a cranzy as well, man. I think I underestimated World 5 a little bit. Oh, my God, that armor vest. We need that. Oh, no, are we dead? No, we're good, we're good, we're good. Come on, frenzied god, man. There we go. Right, focus on the order, focus on the order, focus on the order. Right, she's a shotgun here. It seems to be doing more damage. Oh, my God, we're getting flung everywhere, bro. Okay, we broke our armor again. Oh, my God, no, 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 not the cranzy. No, bro, you're joking. I gotta kill a zombie to get revived, bro. No. I need a normal zombie. There, there, there's one there. Where'd he go? Where did he go? Nah, it's fucked. Now we're done for? Bro, no way we die like this, man. Oh my god, that mangler's nearly dead. Bro, 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 please. Oh, oh my god. Oh my god. Bro, we have no perks. Oh, and the order's full health. What? Do you know what that is? That, that's a bunch of bullshit is what that is. And we done. Bro, no actual way we can complete the uh, original outbreak quest, but we fail on that. Okay, bro, I'm not going back and doing that. Outbreak's done. We pretty much finished it anyway. You just x -fill. GG's all around, though, I guess. Anyway, on to Mauer de Toten. Right, okay, here we are. Mauer de Toten. Now, I always have really bad frame issues with this map, bro. I swear it's just because of my donkey-ass fucking old-ass computer. Well, it's not that 
old as like five years old, but definitely you needed some new parts. Anyway, we gotta get an Easter egg done. So from what I remember from this Easter egg anyway, it's pretty self-explanatory. Like it kind of tells you what to do in some aspects. It's what I kind of like about Cold War. I think our priorities right now are getting the Cerberus, which is the wonder weapon of this map. We also need to get Klaus online and we also need to start the challenges up, I think. No, we don't need the challenges. That's if you're not building the Cerberus. We're building the Cerberus anyway. Oh, too much shit to do. Honestly, it's like best practice to try and build some points while you're up here. It's kind of like the D-Machine starting room, which is weird because whenever I play Firebase here, I do just like to like open the first door and just leave it ASAP. But no, we're actually going to stay and build some points. If you guys have watched all the way through to this part of the video, first off, you're a legend, man. I can't lie. And second off, make sure you have subscribed and make sure you have liked the video because it does help out a lot. And if you really want to consider it, actually, I do have a members thing I don't talk about a lot. So if you guys are watching this far, you get exclusive access to like previews of videos and stuff. It's 99p a month, which I think is like $1.20 or it's a dollar for you guys as well. I don't know how it works. But all I know is that I said it of one of any currency. So even if that's like, like one fucking Indian rupee, bro, your support of the channel is much appreciated. And I mean that wholeheartedly. I know it might seem like I'm being a sarcastic little twat, but no, no, no. It is two in the morning as I'm recording this. So I'm going to have to keep it down because my uh, my neighbors just moved in, right? And I swear to God, whenever I'm too loud, they bang on the side of my wall. Now nah, I'm not talking like that for the rest of the video, but they can bang on the wall all they want. The content grind never stops. All right, we got like 7k points. So I'm going to stay up here one more round, then we'll head down. I want to have enough for pack a punch and stuff so we can get the ammo mod to grab the part for plot the part for klaus right okay that should definitely be more than enough points to get us started here at least right okay let's crack open this door and off we go i'm gonna ignore the gallo wall by despite how enticing it looks head straight down here towards power bro fuck that P tempest in particular that's a fuse as well nice crack that open there's gonna be a couple of trains going by but we can beat them we're better Ooh! okay it's a little bit scary i'm not gonna lie some bonus points always appreciated as per got a loose change here very quickly right, we're back up like 9k points this is fine crack this door open crack this one open too power switch is gonna fail i probably i know this map like the back of my hand we need to go kill another tempest all right there we go tempest is down there's our other fuse and let's go slap them in there turn the power on i'm quite glad this one has a traditional power switch rather than you know like the one that we see all the time in cold war which is just a fucking button it's quite cool to see that little throwback okay we ended the round all right let's go get pack a bunch open shall we i think before we do that though i'm gonna grab stamina up there we go honestly better than jug i can't lie all right let's unlock it there'll just be one of them i'm pretty sure that's spawning you imagine if all of these turned into disciples bro oh my god i forgot how strong the zombies get once oh no piss off man stop draining my life force bro what I hate disciples, bro. They're so annoying. Worst mini boss ever, bro. How did that little bastard kill me? All right, no self revive. Fuck it, I guess. All right, let's get digging. We are looking for a Klaus piece in amongst this rubble, I think. It's not there. Is it there? No, nope, this is more scrap. It's not there either. It's more shit. Come on, it's got to be around here somewhere. This one? No, bro. This one? No. What? Bro, I'm being trolled. Did I miss one over here? Yeah, I did. Okay, there's two here. That one and that one. Yeah, there it is. Dish. That's what I needed. Let's get brain rot on this and let's head over here i can't believe we lost stamina up and everything man what a joke all right okay we got a brain rot zombie that's literally what i wanted break down that door little bro all right move bro come on move all oh, right there we go all right grab our hands run the fuck out of here i am also gonna go grab some tier two armor we should also probably just focus on getting our gun back to be fair because it's nearly round 10 it's nice to be back playing round based though that is a self revive like i said though it's nice to be back playing round based because outbreak was getting to me a little bit and i know we fucked up the last one but what can i say i've been i was playing outbreak for like four hours plus at that point cut me a, cut me some slack here we'll go we'll, we'll do the rest with flying colors i promise you okay let's go get our gun packed we've got enough to do so we're kind of just waiting on the cranzy at this point put our gun in there nice one once we get klaus we can work on the cerberus once we get the cerberus we can actually start the easter egg for now we just kind of have to kill zombies i'm gonna grab that insta kill and start punching actually because melee kills it's a lot of money bro so satisfying to punch them the bonus points as well bro we're rolling in it right okay let's grab oh what do i do fuck it we're grabbing stamina up again it just makes everything better we'll grab jug soon it's literally like 800 points if we die again i think i'll cry right cranzy spawning in absolutely perfect gonna get dead wire on this on second thought we'll get jug in a sec i just don't want to brain rot this cranzy because if i do i don't know if he drops the piece ow 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 there we go he's dead that was really difficult battery thank you oh double points all right let's jump up here and grab jug one kind of juggernaut for me thank you and klaus my friend come back to me all right we need to get him over to the locker asap get a klaus guy over here bro thanks for the black light and now we can actually work on getting our free weapon it's not 
not that we really need Klaus for just yet up until we have the Cerberus, so we can just keep on keeping on right now. We're making good time, honestly. We're only like 15 minutes in. Is that a Disciple? Oh, no. Wait, is that Klaus? What was that noise? Oh, wait, it is a Disciple. It just teleported on me. All right, let's go find our first code then. My oh, box is here. It's a pity I'm not going to use it. Lol. Uh, nine. Okay, that's number one. And the other one's over here in the drain. Let's open this up. Oh, what the fuck? Well, I thought I was entering a cutscene there. Uh, no. Can't it be on this wall as well? No. This one? Nope. Here? Oh, no, I just saw it. Where was it? There. 25. Right, well, I think I might try and do is just trial and error the last one. Because there's no lockout on the code, so it should just be alright to keep, like, spamming it until we get it. Which I'm all for, to be fair with you, because any cheese steps, you know I'm for it. Kind of like putting God mode on some of my videos, but, you know, <laughs> I'm joking. I do need to stop doing that, though. Nine, and then this one was 25. There we go. Trial and error always works out. One of the cooler Cold War Wonder weapons, the Cerberus. Now we can actually start the Easter egg, and then we can get that little bit closer to the boss fight. So what I want to do first is upgrade Klaus, because you do need him upgraded at least once. We also need to try and get the rifle drop so we can melt the door downstairs. Um, Right, okay. Let's go sort this out then. We need to go back to spawn and shoot down the tower because the tower will give us Klaus's first little headpiece. There we go. There's the first bit. Let's head downstairs. I think the next bit's in the sewers. It's like by the train line almost. I think you've just got to shoot the right one. Yeah, it's this. There you go. Right, now that we've got that, our next item on the agenda is the one in the little radio sh act little shop thing. That was the one I was forgetting. And funnily enough, it's just across the road here. I think so, anyway. Isn't it in here? No, it's not there. Where is it? Oh, it's down here. All right, we've got to find a radio. There's one. Oh, it's that one. Nice one. It could be one of three. All right, now that we have all three, I'm pretty sure we just slap this on the little upgrade thing. Place microwave dish. There we go. All right, it's round 13 already, bro. Jeez. We just basically need to let Klaus get kills, and then once that little screen on the thing goes green, we can let him get upgraded, then he can break open the wall, and then we'll fly in to a secret lab, and we'll start the actual Easter egg. Right now, we're just kind of Klaus and up. I'm going to grab a tier one pack on our Cerberus as well. I'm going to wait for some zombie spawns as well, actually, before I spawn him in, because he is on a timed thing before he goes and recharges, so... He's kind of like a moving trap. He's like the civil protector. All right, let's call him in. Oh, there's a disciple. Now there's not a disciple. <laughs> All right, let's call him in here. All right, do your thing, Klaus. Shoot them. Get back over here. Yeah, I was going to say, bro, there's like hundreds of zombies for you to be killing. Right, I think that's him. If we're fast, we can get him upgraded this round, but I don't know, honestly. I don't know how long he actually stays in for, but I think that noise means he is ready to be upgraded. You probably didn't hear it because I keep the audio of the game so low in my videos just in case it's too high than my voice. All right, let's have a look. Yeah, it does. Right, okay. Come here. Come here. Get in the station, little bro. Right, there we go. Bro, we're doing this so fast. Holy. Right, now we kind of just need to focus on RNG because we need that little attachment for our Cerberus. The one that actually, like, turns it into a rifle. Yep, there we go. This is the one we actually need to keep, so we just need to be careful with its ammo a little bit here. Oh, we got another one anyway. It's fine. Oh, my God. There's so many spawning. Right, okay. Klaus is upgraded now. Right, let's go get him to punch the wall. Hopefully, he's got enough juice left in him for it to, you know, actually, like, do it. Is it just going to recharge? Because I feel like he's gonna. But we can always give it a try. Let's head down here. Bro, bro. Nah, he's gonna go recharge. Fuck's sake. Oh, we could have had that open and everything by this round. Oh, that's sad. Okay. All right, we'll just we'll clear the round and let him recharge. I suppose it does let us get that little bit more set up. We can go grab some of the perks and stuff. Don't know what perks we should grab. Oh, no, I do. We should grab quick revive, dead shot. Oh, I was gonna grab PhD as well, but not enough. Oh, fucking disciples. I'm so glad these things never came back. They're like hellhounds, but just so much worse. Well, actually, hellhounds on this game are bad in themselves. Right, there's our max ammo. Come on, Klaus. Recharge, man. That's a Kranzi coming in to fuck our shit up. Bro, this thing just melts him. Holy. Oh, another one of these rifle things. Perfect. Come on. All right, there. He's awake. Cool. Klaus, I need you down here, buddy. I need you to smash a wall. All right, come on. Smash the wall. You got this. Yeah, there we go. That's what I wanted him to do. Then you just melt the door with this. This is why I wanted the rifle so bad. Pretty sure we've just got to wait for it to shut up before we're allowed to touch these. But we need to take this and then go fill them up in the little canister deposit things. You'll see what I'm on about later. I am going to get rid of this rifle thing, though, because it's kind of doing my head in. Didn't we just have a disciple around? What's going on? Not a disciple. Not a disciple. A torment around. My bad. All right, there we go. Grab ourselves a canister. Wait, can we just pick up all three? Oh, we can. And well, we can't grab an essence trap yet. Okay. Cerberus makes this so much easier, bro. Just like a fully auto ray gun. I'm gonna get myself some tier three armor. I was gonna get epic rarity, but I kind of feel like if we're not running frenzy guard, we should really focus on the armor more than the gun. We've got the Cerberus anyway, so we should be okay. I am gonna quickly run up here and grab some more perks, though. I think we're gonna get speed call and PhD. All right, there we go. All right, is there an Ethereum collector here? No, there is not. They're in random locations, I'm pretty sure. Is there one here? Yes, there is. Place that empty, empty, empty cannon. 
canister in there. Okay, I may or may not have forgot to grab the little essence trap. I, we, we don't talk about that. We don't We don't talk about that. Oh, we just have to shoot it. Okay. Right, there we go. That's why I didn't grab it because it wasn't available. Right, let's head back up and let's lure some tempest over to our location. Right, let's chuck this down here. Right, there's one. There's two. Oh my god, this is getting hectic. And there's three. Right, then we need to take this like full Ethereum canister back down to the place where we got the empty canisters and rinse and repeat this three times. Oh, shot myself. I thought that was the fucking train. This step really does take the piss a little bit solo though. All right, put that in there. There's one. Grab another lure. Now, where are these other empty canisters? That is the question. Yeah, there's usually one here, but there's not. Oh, is that one there? No, it's an ammo creeper. I got trolled. Right, let's go check out the Corba building to make sure it's not on top of there. Every time we ran past Deadshot, the fucking jingle's gone off. Okay, yeah, there's not one there either. That's fine. There's not one there either? What? Bro, where are they at then? Okay, there's one here. That'll do for now. Chuck down the lure. There's one. There's two. There's three. This is pretty easy with the Cerberus, I won't lie. We take the zip line with these? Oh my god, we can. That's OP. So a whole lot of rinse and repeating, especially with zombies easter eggs in general. It's just usually rules are three. Got in one more after this. All right, there's our second one, and need to get another lure trap here. There we go. Our last one should be somewhere around here. Now, where that is, I've got no clue, but we'll just have a look around. I guess we can double check the sewers. That's really the only place we haven't checked. I don't know why I'm seeing sewers. Oh, it is. It's here. Okay. Chuck that on there, then chuck a lure down. Right, it doesn't matter how far they are. The energy always still just goes in. That's it. And off we toddle. That is the most British thing I've ever seen. Seen? Said? Seen? Said? I can't speak bro it's three in the morning cut me some slack i'm about a boss fight at 3 a.m guys and that's three out of three nice right now is probably one of the hardest parts we've got to get klaus to stop the train <laughs> now timing this is actually so difficult but we'll give it a go okay let's give it a go come here klaus okay he ended the round dick <laughs> all right switch the tracks run 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 get here klaus get here get in position klaus all right do your thing oh he did it 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 where's the bomb bro there's the bomb give me the key card did i grab the key card where's the key card there get me off right we got everything we need all right clear out as many of these as i can we got a shield back too that's nice all right i'm gonna grab the rest of the perks that we need all right let's get death perception i think that's all the ones we really need mule kick and tombstone really aren't needed i also really want to get enough points to get some more ammo for our cerberus here because we are running dangerously low i think we picked some up actually hang on right yeah we got loads now right let's head down to the computer where klaus was right and then we'll call in the little airstrike thingy that actually gives us the uranium then we can start this step we have to be speedy with this because this can end our game right insert the key card right and this is where the headgear that we went and ran about and grabbed comes into play because now we opens up that pc for us yes we're so prepared bro all right let's activate the satellite here it's gonna spawn a megaton in which will give us the uranium then we have to do some funky business with that uranium we just need to be careful basically oh my god ow 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 oh my god there's a lot of them i didn't realize it spawned all of this in to be fair all right there we go that's the mimic dead all right it's split now we just need to kill him quick there's the uranium and there's the other one let's go additional parts required what i just picked it up oh my god no we can't be fucking around like this bro where's the other bit gone oh it's up there okay i guess we can't slide with this shit it's fine it's fine don't worry about it it's not damaging us that much i just wanted to be speedy all right craft the uranium device pick that shit up all right let's head back up here we need to attach this to the corba building zip line and then we need to go to the opposite end for the other one all right uranium device is on there nice we got buckets of time buckets of time we're doing fine i thought i'd lost that other bit of uranium there i was about to fucking cry because it means our game would have ended all right there slap it down on the workbench thank you right run we need to go up here i was about to go to the corba building again but that zip line doesn't work where's the one with the corba building there it is right smash them together bosh Right, where's my rock gone? There it is. Right, and funnily enough, once we've done this, we've got to do it all over again because it needs two doses for whatever reason. I think Treyarch just decided to be funny. Right, there's the first dose. Ideally, I don't want to end the round. Right, let's fire another beam down here. All right, it's over there this time. Okay. Is that on top of spawn? It is. Bro, these are just regular zombies. Where are my HVTs at? Oh, they're on the way. Ow, 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 ow. Okay, they really hurt. Right, okay. Come on, hurry up so I can split. Yep, yep. And there we go. Right, give me this. I left the fucking uranium behind, bro. You can't slide with PhD slider. That's so weird. All right, we got two of these things. Please don't blow up. All right, there we go. Can we just do the same zip line as before? That would be really useful, I won't lie. Can we? Yeah, we can. Okay. Book it to time. Book it to time. We got that done in a minute. There's another bit of uranium. Cheers. All right, get this thing crafted. Pick it up. I'm surprised we've held the round for this long. I'm quite proud of ourselves. Then we just need to head up here and slap it on the other side again. So this side, right? Yep, there we go. And hopefully, we should get a cleansed rock. Nice. I'm gonna quickly just tier two pack my gun here. You know, just casually while I'm holding fucking uranium. And the second dose. There we go. Oh, yeah, shit. I think we're boss fighting now, actually. I completely forgot that he just chucks you in like that. Look at you, bro. Who do you think you are? Fuck you, bro. Just gotta destroy a bubble real quick. Ring of fire would be nice, to be fair. 
Right, that'll do. Now she's immune. Okay, I think we're swapping. Look, in the nicest way possible, this boss fight ain't it, bro. It's so ridiculously easy. We just gotta keep getting rings of fire, which is fine. We just have to kill zombies. Ah, shit. She has a DE attack. I forgot how... Wait, how do you get rid of this? Oh, you just don't stand in our way, I guess. Okay. Okay, she's got her shields up again. I really just kind of want to ring a fire. It make everything a lot easier. Do some extra damage to her here. Get some more spawns flowing in. Ow, that really hurts. That's not nice, Valentina. Bro, I'm being so monotone about this boss fight because I don't think it's that difficult. Personally, anyway. All right, there we go. This should drain our health. Come on. Go to second stage. Bro, she's not even in second stage yet. You're joking. Oh, no, she is. She is. She is. Oh, God. Did she gain health or something? Oh, that's not fair. Oh, fuck. She's doing a DE attack. I need to buy in a car or something. Yeah, we're fine. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. We went down. All right, whatever. What are we looking? No, we still got loads of perks. We're chilling. Where's our ammo crate at? Oh, my God. Run. Holy shit. Oh, disciple. Not now, bro. Okay, actually, we have a shot at this. Hang on. Oh, God. Move. Oh, my God. Move, 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 move. Bro, she got shields up again. Come on. Oh, another disciple, man. We really should have upgraded her other gun. I kind of cucked myself by doing that. No, 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 no. Blood, I'm stuck in an infinite loop unless I can get some fucking ammo. Right there. Jesus. Ah, shit. Right, we're fine. No, stop being a little bitch. Just die, please. Ah, bro. Why do you think you're him? Oh, we actually picked up some armor off that Kranzi. Right, we're chilling. Ow, man. What's your problem? Bro, what is your problem? Right, can I just focus all my energy into her, please, instead of having to fucking worry about my armor and stuff? Like, can Ring of Fire do its job? Nicest way possible. Right, is she actually, like, thingy now? Or what? Yeah, I think she is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. We're good, we're good, we're good. Right, let's go grab our perks back and stuff. I kind of forgot I chucked you into the boss way. I would have got more prepared. Uh, I want dead shot. I want... Elemental pop, and that'll do. Oh, she's gone up there. Okay. Speed caller would have probably been a shout, but eh. Let's grab some armor as well. Fucking cranzy, man. All right, let's go kick her ass. She's doing my head in now. Oh, shit. How do I dodge this? So let's go under here. I'm going to guess yes. Okay, yeah. It's fine. Bro, she's got, like, some of the cheapest attacks ever for a called Zombies boss. Ah, 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 fuck off. Oh, on a real, do you mind? My poor armor is not had a rest. All right, that mangler should give me some. No, he just give me scrap. Okay. All right, we have a ring we can use. Pop it here. It's going to keep shooting up. Oh, she's immune. Did we do it already? Oh my god, yeah, we did. Right, I'm leaving here, bro. I'm out. No, 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 no. You're not healing. Fuck off. Oh, bro, surely. That's a cr- Oh, no, no, no. It's a mangler. It's useful because he drops ammo. Oh, that was a tempest. They're fucking annoying. I'm going to get rid of them. Head in here. Oh my god, bro. You know when you actually break a bubble, she does that attack, and then you just have to run around and then let her get a new bubble. Who designed this boss fight, bro? No, 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 no. Look, I've been no armor gaming for like the past, I don't know how long now. Yeah, surely she, I was gonna say, surely she's done now. There's some armor here, some ammo, not a lot of each, though. I'm gonna quickly try and head down and grab some. I don't know if I'm gonna be fast enough, though. Speed caller, gimme. Need everything that's gonna help me. Go, 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 go. Oh, she's down here anyway. Whatever. Armor. Ah! Oh, you can kind of just like, be oh, whoa, whoa, no, 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 she was destroying my armor, I didn't even realize oh fuck we can't even go and run grab more oh never mind it's a cranzy solves all my problems no 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 you're not healing at all piss off you need to bring a fire and then she's basically dead ah she broke my armor again man i was gonna say yeah surely she must be done now right bro i was in my ring Oh my god, no, she's not done. Cringe. Ow. Uh, why don't manglers drop armor? I've always wondered that. Oh, bro. Your attacks are so cheap. All right, now she's gone. Cool. Let's go grab some armor again. Oh, she's down in the lab. Okay, that's easy enough. Shit. Oh, please tell me this dodges the attack. I don't even know what that attack is. It is a DE attack, right? That's armor vest. Yes, please. All right, let's kill her. No, 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 no. Not spawned by anything. Fuck you, bro. You maybe waste my ring of fire. You should have been dead. Oh my god, is she... Oh, no, never mind. We killed her. Lol. <laughs> LOL. Nah, fuck you, bro. It's over. And with that, Mauer the Totem is done. Now we have to watch Klaus carry this warhead off into the dark ether. Rest in peace, Klaus. I'll never forget you. We've got to give him the proper send-off. Oh, I've run out of ammo. Oh, it's over. Goodbye, Klaus. Oh. And with that, we are done. <laughs> well, here we are. Forsaken, the final chapter. I'm going to stay in the spawn room for a little while just because I like to build the points before leaving. And we've also got an armor station there, so we can grab that before we leave because the zombies do drop a lot of armor. Scrap, I mean, sorry, to build the armor. But well, it's round four already. I forgot how quick they go when you're, like, in this little zone. That double point's perfect. All right, we've got, like, 10k points now. I'm going to stay just a little bit longer, but we'll start the teleporter up. Ow, 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 ow. Ow. All right, let's quickly grab ourselves some tier one armor here. I'm going to try to kill off as many of these as I can just before I leave. All right, let's go. And here we are. Let's grab some juggernaut. This might be the only map where you can get out the spawn room and buy jugs straight off the bat. That's another double points, bro. Oh, bro, we're chilling. There's another armor vest as well. Let's go. Don't want to end the round, though. Okay. 18k points. That's more than enough to get the map open and get it set up. Grab some stamina up here. This door cracked open. Through the teleporter we go. Now we need to fix the teleporter. There's the first piece. There's the second piece. 
There's our third piece. And there's our final piece. Nice. Throw this together. And there we go. Now he's going to lift the lockdown, which is just basically turning on power. I do find it cool how they brought these back, but they, God, are they fucking annoying, man. Like, I, I'm, I'm not, I ain't going to lie, bro. They are so annoying. Right, okay, let's go get the power on. Bosh. And this one too. All right, okay, honestly, let's just start a trial. I'm going to try and get the Crystal Axe. Uh, Main Street Bridge, let's do it. We'll probably get a rare one here, and then we'll have to go up and do another. Oh my god, the plague hounds, bro. I'm getting fucking bombarded. Oh, that nuke would be so helpful right now. I'm not going to lie. Right there, 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 there. I think I accidentally shot one of the orbs. All right, I've got to move in a sec, man. All right, okay, I'm going back up to the tower. Mainly because I want to pack a bunch of my weapon, because it's doing fuck all. all. Right, let's get an ammo mod on it as well. Let's get dead wire. Right, let's go start another challenge then, shall we? There it is. Kill enemies with melee attack, bro. I, I doubt it'll still be a one knife on round 10, like. Oh, maybe. Mm, hang on. Hang on. No way, bro. Some bonus points as well. Don't mind if I do. Ow. Okay, my armor's gone. No fucking around now, bro. Okay, we got an epic rarity. Just trying to be careful because we got no armor. Right, okay, we need to get another challenge. Bollocks. Snack bar. That's over there. Just need enough to take us over into legendary. I'm not gonna lie. Our gun's one-shot now, which is nice. Right, we got legendary. We can get out of here. That carpenter will be much appreciated because I need my armor back. Oh, an arcade token as well. Right, let's go see if we got the crystal axe then. Come on, please. Oh, we got it. Let's go. And a fire sale and a max ammo. Right, okay. That's a lot of weight off my shoulders to get this RNG piece of shit. I'm saying that like it's a bad wonder weapon. It's really good. Right, let's go do the lockdown step. Should be easy enough for this, to be fair. Can I just train them around or do I have to kill them? Okay, this disciple can fuck off, bro. Oh, double points as well. Also, this tempest. Bye-bye. All this for one measly fucking piece, bro. Okay, we got a nuke here. That helps out big time. We're nearly done. Oh, disciple, fuck off. Got a bunch of scrap on the floor here. Right, there we go. Done. Give me the piece. There we go. Right, we can also start work on that, which is the uh, the feeding the abomination step to get the other little bit. Now, if only I knew where a fucking wonder fizz was, we could get on with it, but I don't know where one is. Is there one in here? I doubt it, right? Because PhD's in here. No, there's no wonder fizz. I guess we'll pack our crystal axe. Got a dead shot here. It's always good for the headshot multiplier. <laughs> Probably the coolest Cold War Wonder Weapon, I won't lie. What's that? Energetic Shard? What the fuck is that for? Oh, is that just ammo? No, it's not. Okay. There's Speed Caller anyhow, though, so we can grab that. Thank you. Okay, let's give this a start, then. All right, okay. Thinking the crystal. Where's the shard? There it is. Right, where's my abomination at? There it is. All right, eat. There we go. That's one. All right, we got one to do in the little bunker bit, and then we got one to do in the starting area. Oh, we got an abomination here as well. We can get this piece as well. Oh, there's a Wonder Fizz in here. Okay. I need them to charge at this wall. Ideally, now rather than later. Never mind. Bro, come on. Charge. Right, that's it. Thank you. That's that abomination gone. Right, let's grab uh, Elemental Pop here. Just feel the electric cherry effect. Now, our second big crystal should be just here, I think. Yep. Right, okay. Smash it. Grab it. Right, fed the abomination, switch back to this, kill it. Oh, bro, that's so simple. Right, and I'm pretty sure up here there is a portal to go back to spawn. Yes, there is. Right, these are probably the hardest ones to hit, I think, out of all of them, to be fair. Did we just get two of them? No, 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 it's still one. Yeah, that thing is zooming, bro. Holy shit. Bro, I need tier two armor. I swear there's an armor stand here, right? Yep, give me, give me. Bro, just give me a break so I can shoot this thing. Holy. That's actually ridiculous. How are you meant to shoot that? Oh, did we get it? We got it. <laughs> Right, give me this. And I need to feed whatever. Where the where the fuck's the abomination? Oh, there. Did he eat it? I can't. No, he didn't. Right, he's ate it. Right, there we go. That's the last shard. Thank you. Right, that's three out of three. Now we gotta get the uh, RCXD thing. So we need dead wire. I think we already have dead wire actually. Yeah, we do. Right, cool. Honestly, we're doing great. We've literally got one more piece left to get. Then we basically have the boss fight. Right, we have a shit ton of scrap as well. Right, so essentially we need to head over to the arcade and charge up a arcade machine with dead wire, and then that spawns in an RCXD. I think. I'll know what one it is when I see it. It's this one here. Yep, that's it. Oh, bro, I don't know where I am. Oh, it's gone. Oh, right. I think we should probably wait to the end of the round to do that. I won't lie. Right, let's try it again. Which way do we drive it out, bro? Is it through here? Yep, okay. Oh, bro, this thing's battery just depletes like fuck. Holy. Right, TV store. Behind here, isn't it? Oh, oh dude, I can't tell if we did it. Did we do it? No, we didn't blow a hole in the wall. Bollocks. All right, one more try. We got the vent off, at least. It's just so hard to steer on PC. I'd imagine this is way easier on console. Oh, bro. Okay, we need to hurry up because the zombies are going to start spawning in. Right, let's see if that worked. Should have, right? Yeah, there it is. Thank you. Right, okay, we're pretty much ready to boss right now. All I want to do is just kind of get a little bit more set up because, you know, we don't have all the perks. We're still tier one pack. We'll just grind for a little bit. I think we're going to get the Crystal Axe up to tier two and then we'll go buy the rest of our perks. To be fair, this is one of the shortest ones we've done. We're only 26 minutes in. Got another max ammo here, bro. We're getting blessed. Right, we have 18k. That's enough for double pack. I'm just trying to get a few more points for my perks. Crystal Axe is such a fun weapon to use, man. Right, okay. I think 25k should be enough. Let's head up and pack a bunch of Crystal Axe and then we'll go grab the rest of our perks. I can't believe we haven't bought a Quick Revive yet. It's one of the best ones to get for regeneration. I guess I'm just built different today. All right, Quick Revive. Hello. Oh, fuck off, Disciple, man. PhD slide. 
Spider, and I think that's all we can afford right now, which is fine because that's like, like you don't really need the rest of them. Death perception doesn't really help all that much in the fight. Right, let's get this tier two packed and let's craft this thing. Right, it's warming up. Oh, come on, warm up, man. Right, there we go. Right, off we go. Oh, yeah, I forgot we've got to constantly refuel this thing. That's the gripe with it, right? Grab one of these. Bro, move. No, 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 no. Chuck that in there. Chuck that in there. Just got to keep on top of it. We've got to keep on top of it. We'll be fine. Bollocks. Right there. Bro, that mist is so deadly. Chuck that in there. We're nearly there. I can see the door. Oh, my God. That was close. I'm 36 HP. Fucking hell. Bro, get up the ladder. What the fuck? Give me this crystal. Right, let me in. Take your fuel. Oh, my God. This is so fucked. No, my God. Big, 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 good. Right, there we go. What a piece of shit engineering, bro. My armor's all broke. Give me some. Upgrade this to epic, for, I guess. Um, Can't do anything there. I need ammo for this thing. I don't have enough. Right, we've got an axe still. That's fine. Can we make casimirs? Let's make some casimirs. And we'll get a death machine. All right, let's go. All right, we've got to charge up our essence level. Oh, my God. We've got to use that attack first. Right, okay, that's one charge. I'm going to get the other one done as well. All right, she's nearly charged up again. All right, she's, she's done. She's done. All right, now what we can do... Oh, my God, that's a lot. We can whip out this death machine and get rid of his shields. That's one. And that's two. All right, laser cannon time on the shoulder. And this is why you charge up the second one as well. Because you can quickly run over and do it again. Jump on and then... Right, now it's half HP. Oh, yeah, I forgot we get this little mini cutscene as well. All right, okay, we're back. Oh, my God, I forgot he has that laser beam attack. I'm going to lob a chasm here. Use the rest of my death machine on his main shield there. Oh, my God. All right, let's do it again. Let's get the other turret charged up. Honestly, a fun boss fight, but it's not too difficult. Ow, 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 ow. Scratch that. I regret saying that. All right, let's use our little gun here and get rid of the rest of his shields. Oh, my God, we need to reload. All right, that's a shield gun. Get on the turret. Die, motherfucker. Right, one more, one more, one more. Oh, God damn it. Oh, I forgot about his shield on his head. Oh, I'm such an idiot, man. Oh, God, we actually need some ammo for this thing as well. Is there an ammo crate in here? Or have we just got to pick some up? Ow, 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 that ball hurts. Right, we need to charge Maxis up again. Right, she's charged. The problem is, is that I need ammo for my thing, man. Oh, we do, we've got one clip. Okay, let's use our ring and let's get rid of his shield here. Right, there we go. Jump on the turret and... Fuck you. <laughs> Easy peasy lemon squeezy, bro. We have just completed every single Call of Duty Black Ops Cold War Easter egg solo. If you guys did enjoy this video, make sure to drop a like on it. And if you want to see more content like this, why don't you subscribe? It's completely free and you can always change your mind later. With all that said, I will see you all in the next video.